Chapter 451 Spider Silk Thrower Hey! Zhang Tuohai pulled Lilina's body. What? Lilina turned around and asked. Just now! You forgot to turn on the safety of your heavy aerial bomb! Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. What? Lilina looked at Zhang Tuohai in shock. Look if you don't believe me! Zhang Tuohai pointed at Lilina and said. Lilina looked back and found that the heavy aerial bomb was embedded between Okoin's two huge compound eyes. And half of the heavy aerial bomb was embedded in Okoin's carapace. This. Lilina scratched her head and looked embarrassed. It's okay. Come again. Zhang Tuohai directly dragged another heavy aerial bomb over and stuffed it into Lilina's hands. Whoosh. Lilina flicked her hands violently. And the second heavy aerial bomb flew out fiercely. As a result, Okoin pulled the spider thread. The infantry fighting vehicle swayed violently. Lilina's hand lost its aim and the heavy aerial bomb flew past Okoin's head. Of course, this time was not entirely without gain. The heavy aerial bomb knocked out the snowman high priest standing overhead. With a bang, the heavy aerial bomb exploded, and the snowman high priest was blown to pieces on the spot. As soon as the high priest died, the remaining snowmen became even more chaotic and ran away in all directions. Without the snowman's encouragement, the ice spiders became even more chaotic and ran around everywhere. Quick! Quick! Give me another bomb! Lilina said anxiously. For you? Zhang Tuohai ran over dragging a new heavy aerial bomb. Let's go! Lilina grabbed it and threw it out. And then said without looking at it. Hurry up! Let's have another one! This guy is too big! I'm afraid one is not enough! Hey! Where is the person? Lilina looked back and was shocked to find that Zhang Tuohai, who was standing next to her, was missing. She turned around again and saw Zhang Tuohai flying towards Okoin with a heavy aerial bomb. She just made a mistake and threw Zhang Tuohai out together. Seeing this, Lilina couldn't help but cover her mouth with both hands. It's over. It's over. I threw my boss out. Now I can't keep my meal ticket. Zhang Tuohai, on the other hand, looked confused. Originally it was just to provide some assistance and deliver a few bombs. But accidentally, he turned into a Kaikion torpedo out of thin air. However, now that things have come to a point, there is no use in complaining. All we can do is think of solutions. After seeing Zhang Tuohai flying in, Akian's eyes showed excitement, and he opened his mouth, waiting for Zhang Tuohai to throw himself into the trap. Want to eat me? Oh, first think about whether your teeth are sharp enough. Zhang Tuohai pulled the safety of the heavy aerial bomb, and when he was about to reach Okian's mouth, he threw the heavy aerial bomb towards Okian's mouth. Then, the eight mechanical tentacles behind him spun like a whirlwind. Zhang Tuohai's whole body was forced to hover three meters in front of Okian's mouth. Zhang Tuohai could even smell the fishy taste in Okian's mouth. Okoin stopped when he saw the meat near his mouth and immediately leaned forward to bite Zhang Tuohai. With a thought in his mind, Zhang Tuohai suddenly lifted up a section and then quickly flew high into the sky. Upon seeing this, Okoin adjusted his posture and prepared to spit spider silk at Zhang Tuohai. At this moment, the heavy aerial bomb thrown by Zhang Tuohai exploded. Boom! There was an earth-shattering explosion. Oak was completely blown into pieces from the inside out, and his huge body fell to the ground. Seeing Oak's death, the already turbulent group of ice spiders became even more chaotic. Many ice spiders fought with each other, and more fled around. After a while, there were only a few ice spiders left in the entire area that were missing arms and legs and couldn't walk even if they wanted to. The rest were all gone, and the snowman had long since disappeared. Seeing that all the enemies around him were finally gone, Zhang Tuohai slowed down and slowly returned to the ground. Classmate Xiao Ai also landed the infantry fighting vehicle on the ground. Lilina came over embarrassedly. Boss, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I shouldn't have. Clean up the cobwebs. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. She didn't have a good way to deal with Lilina. It was an honest mistake. So you can't be punished for this. Right? If that happens, who will be willing to give him a job in the future? What's more, he still has many projects aimed at her and her sister Lilith. At this time, he needs to coax even more. Oh, I got it. Lilina went to clean up the spider silk stuck to the air bag. Zhang Tuohai held up a Gatling gun, preparing to patrol the surrounding area and kill everyone who is alive. 001 is responsible for hitting and burning the ice spider corpses to extract bone powder. We spent all the money on ammunition. So we can't come here in vain. Right? At this moment, the game system's prompt sounded. 
Congratulations to the player for killing the hidden boss giant ice spider O'Coin. Obtaining O'Coin's spirit statue. And obtaining O'Coin's web thrower. A flash of white light flashed. And Oak's huge body quickly shrunk. And finally turned into a palm sized statue. And fell into Zhang Tuai's hands. The statue is made of crystal material. And is completely transparent. The Ock looks lifelike because of its expressive appearance. O'Coin's essence statue. A special ornament made from O'Coin's bones. After being loaded on the car. It has a suppressive effect on all spider-like creatures. Any spider-like creature will be afraid of you and has low strength. Those who are addicted to oak will choose to go around and not attack. It's pretty awesome. Seeing the statue in his hand, Zhang Tuohai waited in his hand and decided to install it in the car. With this thing, at least in this world, he no longer has to worry about being attacked by ice spiders. Even in other worlds, it can be used to drive away spiders, which is a relatively practical piece of equipment. As for the Orcoin Spider Silk Jet, it is in the shape of a huge cylinder. Orcoin Spider Silk Injector, a special vehicle accessory. Divided into two parts, a Spider Silk Generator and a Spider Silk Injector. The generator can generate 10 kilograms of Orcoin Spider Silk per day. The injector distance is 2,000 meters. And the towing weight, 10 tons. This is awesome! Zhang Tuohai looked at the Spider Silk Jet with an excited look on his face. Although this is not a powerful killing weapon, it is indeed a very useful auxiliary weapon. With it, many difficulties can be solved. He can also do more fancy things. If his car hits this thing, wouldn't he become the car version of Spider-Man? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai decided to immediately go back to the car and load these two things to test their power. At this moment, Lilina rolled over from a distance like a ball, her body covered with spider silk. Boss, do me a favor and cut this ball of spider silk for me. I'm entangled in it. Lilina said with an embarrassed look. Chapter 452. Slapped to death. John Tuohai looked at Lilina. And black lines appeared on his forehead. How did you end up like this? John Tuohai asked helplessly. I just went to pick those spider silks. But I didn't expect that the spider silks were too sticky and very strong. And then, they accidentally got tangled on me. Lilina also said helplessly. She pushed her body hard a few times. But the spider threads wrapped tightly around her body and could not be broken free at all. Boss, is there any way to untie it? I don't want to be tied up like this all night. Seeing Lilina's appearance, Zhang Tuohai was also a little helpless. This thing is so sticky. If he tries to untie it, he might get stuck too. However, keeping Lilina tied up like this was not an option. What can we do about it? Zhang Tuohai rubbed his head and thought of a solution. Suddenly, he had an idea. By the way, what is the high temperature your body can resist? Zhang Tuohai suddenly asked. Probably less than 2,000 degrees. What's wrong? Lilina asked doubtfully. Call. Several tentacles from Zhang Tuohai's back stretched out and sprayed scorching flames at the spider silk. Raging flames enveloped Lilina. The spider silk was immediately ablated when it was exposed to the flames. After a moment, Lilina jumped up from the flames and kept shouting. Oh! It's burned to death. It's burned to death. Can't you withstand a temperature of 2,000 degrees? The flames I spray are only around 1,000 degrees Celsius. Why do you still feel hot? It can withstand high temperatures. But that doesn't mean you can't feel hot. Okay. Lilina rolled her eyes at John to a high and rubbed her shoulders. At this time, her body was hot and all red from the flames. How's it going? Any questions? John to a high asked. Fortunately, there's no problem. It's just that the machine is a little hot. Just dissipate the heat, and it'll be fine, Lilina said. That's good. Go back if you don't have any problem. John Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief and went back with a lot of things. He loaded Oink's web thrower and Oink's essence statue onto the cart. The statue was placed near the bridge, next to the lucky tree stump. Oink's web thrower is placed next to the main gun. John Tuohai planned to use this thing as a diversionary weapon. After restraining the enemy, he would kill him with one shot. The plan is perfect. Isn't it? Of course. John Tuohai has some other ideas. But it takes some time to test them. Zero Zero One had burned the bodies of those ice spiders to ashes and obtained a lot of bone meal. John Tuohai threw the bone meal into the ecological park and handed it over to Wang Kai for disposal. After the matters outside were dealt with, John Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai to continue driving. This area had just experienced a battle. And there was a lot of movement. If there were other players or other powerful creatures around, they might come to check on the situation. No matter who it is, 
Zhang Tuohai doesn't want to face it. So it's better to leave first. As the infantry fighting vehicle set off on the road, Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and began to tell people he knew well to be careful of ice spider sneak attacks. Those ice spiders dispersed and might enter various roads. Those ice spiders are nothing to him. But if those ordinary players don't pay attention, they may suffer fatal injuries. What? Can you become invisible and have sharp jointed limbs? So powerful. Really or not? You won't lie to me. Right. Su Chi looked at Zhang Tuohai's private message and asked in shock. Anyway, you just need to be more careful. Otherwise, I'll find two and throw them into your car so that you can have close contact with them. Zhang Tuohai asked jokingly. It's really fake. There is such a thing. Wouldn't it be tragic if we encountered it? It couldn't be fake. Right. Su Chi said to Su Mu next to her. Puff. As soon as she finished speaking, there was a hole in the car door next to her. A triangular hole. Su Chi stretched out her hand and banged it. Obviously there was nothing. But there was a touch on her fingertips. Su Chi's expression changed greatly. Sister, there really is something. Su Mu looked grim and stepped on the accelerator. Buzz. Their car sped out suddenly. The ice spider was thrown out. Sister, was that really what you just said? Su Chi asked in disbelief. Probably. Su Mu sighed and said. Then what should we do? Su Chi asked. I don't know. But we can't stay here any longer. We need to run 200 kilometers ahead first. Su Mu said as he stepped on the accelerator and ran towards the distance. What the hell are those? Su Chi sent a private message and asked. You saw it. Now you know how powerful they are. Right. Don't try to attack those things. You might even lose your life. If you can, run as far away as possible. John Tuai said. Although the Su sisters have many blueprints and rich soft skills, their combat abilities are really average. At least judging from what he knew about the strength of the Su sisters. If they faced the Ice Spider, who was good at assassinating, they would definitely lose more than they would win. After confirming that the Su sisters were okay, Zhang Tuohai sent messages to others in turn. Is this what you're talking about? Vladimir sent a photo of half an Ice Spider. That's right. You met? You weren't hurt. Were you? Zhang Tuohai asked. No. When I was enjoying the cool weather just now, my wife Natasha met this guy and slapped him to death. Slap him to death? Zhang Tuohai was shocked when he heard this. He originally thought that Vladimir's unarmed fighting ability was high enough. But now it seems that Natasha is the ceiling. Slapping an ice spider to death is simply inhuman. By the way, why is there only half left? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. Here, I put the remaining half in the oven. It's probably almost done now. Wait a minute and I'll go take a look, Vladimir said. Throw it in the oven? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He didn't expect that Vladimir was still a foodie and would throw the ice spider into the oven to taste it. After a while, Vladimir wrote back. Damn, I don't know what happened. I clearly remember that I put half of the ice spider's body into the oven. Why is it missing? Are there any damn thieves in this world? Vladimir said angrily. Maybe that guy's body was afraid of heat. And maybe it was roasted. Zhang Tuohai said. Maybe? Vladimir thought for a while and finally accepted Zhang Tuohai's statement. However, Vladimir still looked disappointed. As if he felt very sorry for not being able to taste the ice spider. After sending out the messages one by one, Zhang Tuohai drove forward. After driving more than 100 kilometers forward, Zhang Tuohai suddenly saw a fire ahead. Chapter 453 A Strange Situation What happened? Zhang Tuohai frowned and drove forward quickly. However, out of caution, Zhang Tuohai turned off the headlights. The infantry fighting vehicle slowly moved up and around a mountain pass. From a distance, Zhang Tuohai saw someone exchanging fire in the distance. And a vehicle was burning. Listening to the sounds. They were mainly the sounds of assault rifles and submachine guns. There were very few sounds of machine guns. There seemed to be only one or two. And they only rang a few times occasionally. There was no sound of artillery at all. And there was no sound of a series of explosives such as hand grenades and rifle grenades. Sound. Player melee? However, these players are too miserable and their firepower is not good enough. Zhang Tuohai decided to go over and take a look. There's no danger anyway. If there's no life or death enmity, just give them some good advice and let them stop. Wouldn't it be nice to just be our own leaks together? Although there seemed to be no risk. Zhang Tuohai still exercised the utmost caution and quietly leaned in without alarming either party. When he arrived nearby, Zhang Tuohai was shocked to find that things seemed different from what he expected. 
The road ahead was blocked by some huge blocks of snow and ice. These snow and ice blocks are very huge. Each one more than one meter in diameter. When these things are stacked together, it is very difficult for even a main battle tank to hit them with brute force. Let alone ordinary cars. On top of the snow and ice, there were some snowmen crawling. These snowmen were holding various submachine guns and assault rifles and were shooting at a car on the road. However, it seems that their movements are very unskilled. There are many snowmen who are still pulling the trigger when they have run out of bullets. After a while, they will remember to change the bullets. And they are also very unskilled in loading the magazine. A problem that could normally be solved within three seconds was dragged out by them to more than ten seconds. Or even a minute. Moreover, these snowmen had no obvious coordination and did not form a firepower echelon configuration. Many people burned out their bullets at the same time, creating a long firepower window. As a result, although their number is large, their forms are not one-sided. On the road opposite them, there are two cars, both of which have strange shapes. One car had two chimneys erected on it, and the other was simply transformed into a holiday cabin. The car that looked like a holiday cabin was already in flames. The iron sheet on the exterior was burning red. The decorative horseshoe above the door fell off, and two wheels were blown off. It looked like it was not scrapped even if it was not scrapped. That's almost it. Half of the driver's body was lying outside the car window, with a spear on his head, piercing his forehead. The other car was firmly blocked by a thick composite armor plate. The Yeti's weapons could not penetrate the armor and effectively damage the car. A 12.7 mm automatic machine gun on the roof of the car was continuously firing at the snowman. However, it seems that there are not many bullets, and they are all fired in bursts of three rounds. How do these snowmen have thermal weapons? Seeing this scene, Zhang Tuohai had a question in his mind. The snowmen he had seen before were all using cold weapons, even in the early days of cold weapons throwing spears and even stone ropes. There were not many decent metal weapons, and armor was extremely scarce. Zhang Tuohai didn't even see a shield. The biggest advantage is that it can drive animals such as snow wolves, snow silkworms, and ice spiders. Overall, these snowmen look like a group of uncivilized primitive people. However, now, these snowmen actually have a large number of modern weapons in their hands. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai could clearly find that these snowmen were not skilled in using them. This shows that they have just obtained these weapons not long ago, not even familiar with performance. Otherwise, there would be no point in using a submachine gun to deal with composite armor, wasting bullets in vain. How is this going? The game system increases the difficulty and then distributes weapons to the snowmen? This was Zhang Tuohai's first idea. However, Zhang Tuohai felt that this was not in line with the habits of the game system. If the difficulty is really to be increased, the game system should directly instill knowledge about firearms into them. Otherwise, just giving weapons will have little effect. In addition to making a surprise attack and causing the initial intimidation to the players, the next step is probably to deliver food, with limited difficulty increase, and most likely to become Kaishin Logistics. It's hard to tell whether it's to increase difficulty or to provide benefits to players, since it's not made by the game system. Where did it come from? Aboriginal villagers? All they had were large caliber shotguns, not such military standard weapons. Player? With Snowman's habit of using cold weapons for a long time. If he gets these things rashly, he may not be able to use them so easily. Moreover, looking at the snowman's movements, he is very rigid. Although he is very stiff, it is obvious that he has been pointed out by others and is not the kind of wild path that he has explored on his own. This is strange. Why a group of snowmen who have used cold weapons for a long time will use a large number of hot weapons? And there are obvious traces of training? Zhang Tuohai was filled with doubts. No matter what, just grab a few tongues and ask. Zhang Tuohai thought of this and said to classmate Xiao Ai, Kill these snowmen. Remember, leave a few alive. I have something to ask. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai adjusted the artillery scale and loaded a high explosive bomb. Boom. After a dull sound, the fragment swept away most of the snowmen on the snowdrift and ice blocks, and the rest were blown far away by the shock wave. Even the snowdrifts and ice blocks blocking the road were blown open to create a large gap. The gunfire suddenly stopped. The car with two chimneys also stopped, and a periscope turned precariously. After a few seconds, the door opened, and a dwarf jumped out of the car, waving to Zhang Tuohai. Hey, friend! What a blessing! Thank you for your help! Zhang Tuohai was also stunned when he saw the dwarf. That person was Hagrid. He felt that he was very destined to this person. 
although he was new to this world. He had already met him three times, more often than many familiar friends. Since we are acquaintances, it will be much easier to communicate. Zhang Tuohai picked up two bottles of beer and got out of the car and walked towards Hagrid. What's going on? How did you meet these guys? Zhang Tuohai casually threw a bottle of beer to Hagrid and asked casually. Tons, tons, tons. Hagrid drank half the bottle in one go, and his face turned rosy. I don't know what happened, but I was walking halfway, and found that the road ahead was blocked. My friend wanted to see what was going on, but as soon as he poked his head out, he was shot in the head by these guys. Hagrid shook his head and sighed. Chapter 454, Latent Attack Hearing what Hagrid said, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but nodded. It seems that these snowmen deliberately set up roadblocks and ambushed the players with intention. By the way, I saw that your friend was hit with a javelin on the head. Did those guys sneak attack with the javelin first? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the corpse and asked suddenly. That's right. It started with a volley of javelins. And then after a while, about ten seconds later, the gunfire rang out. Hagrid took a sip of wine inside. Thank you for their hesitation for a while and letting me raise the composite armor plate. Otherwise, I'm afraid you wouldn't be able to see me now. Hagrid said fearfully for a while. After speaking, he took another sip of wine to calm down his heart. After a few sips of wine, Hagrid felt a little too much. His face was flushed and his body was shaking a little. Through Hagrid's words, Zhang Tuohai became more convinced that his speculation was correct. These snowmen had obviously just taken over these firearms and were not quite used to them yet. Otherwise, they would not have used the spear first. Essentially a distrust of new weapons. In addition, there are also big problems in the connection between the two weapons. It was unusual for experienced hunters like them to have such a long window between the two weapons for the person being ambushed to be prepared. Seeing Hagrid's staggering appearance, Zhang Tuohai asked him to sit aside and sober up while he went to search for the snowman survivors. At this time, a large gap was opened in the snowdrifts and ice blocking the road by high explosive bombs. There were scattered ice and snow fragments everywhere, as well as fragments of those snowmen. It is still a bit difficult to find a living person among these wreckage. At this moment, the prompt system issued a prompt. Pay attention to the 10 o'clock direction. Someone 200 meters away wants to sneak attack you with an AKM. Although the assault rifle cannot break through the defense. Be careful of the anti-infantry mines he placed 50 meters in front of him when pursuing. So stubborn? John Tuohai was shocked. And the steps he was preparing to pursue suddenly stopped. Da da da. At this time, Gunfire came from the woods at 10 o'clock, and several bullets hit his exoskeleton, making a crisp sound. After discovering that his gun could not cause effective damage to Zhang Tuohai, the man continued to fire the gun and fired rhythmically, as if he was provoking. Humph. You want to lure me there, and then use anti-infantry mines to kill me? That's a good idea. So I'll go over and take a look. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and ran quickly in the direction of the target. The Gatling gun in his hand kept firing to suppress the opponent's attack. Although bullets cannot break his exoskeleton, it is quite annoying to let it hit him. Donatello, who is hiding in the woods, lowered his body. The surrounding trees were constantly hit by powerful machine gun bullets, and broken wood splinters flew everywhere. There was even a small tree with a thick arm that was broken by the waist and hit a place not far in front of him. However, Donatello did not have any fear in his heart, but instead felt joy. He is cautious by nature, and before every ambush, he will lay out mines to block the attack. Even though it may not work even once out of ten times, he still enjoys it. Today, the mines he laid are finally going to work. Donatello was filled with joy. You will hit a landmine in 60 meters. Your gun will be mine by then. Don't shoot. Save some bullets for me. Those are all my bullets. Donatello was extremely annoyed that Zong Tuohai wasted his bullets so much. However, he was also somewhat relieved that there were only 60 meters left and everything would be over. Since the other party dares to use ammunition like this, there should be spare ones in the car. All of them are mine. Just when Donatello was secretly expecting Zhang Tuohai to step on a landmine. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai stopped. The gunfire also stopped. Why is there no sound? Donatello raised his head cautiously and observed quietly. As soon as he looked up, he saw a scene that frightened him. Several micro-rockets were shot out of Zhang Tuohai's exoskeleton and hit the area where he had planted landmines. Boom! Boom! There was an explosion, and Donatello was shocked to find that all the mines he had laid had been detonated. 
Various steel balls were flying in all directions, and he hurriedly lay down to avoid them. Unfortunately, the speed was a little slow, and he was hit in the body by more than a dozen steel balls. Ah! Donatello screamed and lay on the ground. The severe pain caused him to cover his arms and roll on the ground. However, as soon as he turned over, a big foot stepped on his back. Don't move, or I'll blow your head off. A cold voice sounded from behind. Don't do anything. I surrender. Donatello, who had served in the Gallic Foreign Legion for many years, immediately raised his hands and simply gave up resistance. Tell me, what's going on with you, and why are you here? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. I just happened to be passing by. I have no other intention. So, as long as you let me go, I can give you my gun and all the equipment as a ransom. Okay, Donatello asked. Are you trading my stuff with me? Zhang Tuohai showed a look of disdain. Your stuff? Donatello asked in surprise. That's right. Understand your current status. You are now my prisoner. Everything on you has become my asset. You actually want to use my assets to trade with me? Do you think my brain is broken? Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. You devil. As greedy as the vampires on Wall Street. Donatello yelled angrily. I don't have time to chat with you. Come up with something that satisfies me right away. Otherwise, I can't guarantee your life safety. John Tuohai said coldly. My car. Two kilometers away. At eight o'clock, there is a white chevron covered with camouflage nets surrounded by three booby traps, two fragmentation grenades, an offensive grenade, and under the driver's seat, there is a long sword anti-infantry weapon landmine. The car key is in the crack of your shoe. Am I right? John Tuohai said with a sneer. You? How did you know? Donatello had a ghostly look on his face. He couldn't believe that Zong Tuohai actually told him the location of his car and explained the layout in such detail, as if he was watching him decorate it next to him. However, he had already investigated it, and there was obviously no one else around. How did the person in front of him know? Donatello was puzzled. Zhang Tuohai sneered. Of course, he was not watching Donatello's arrangements. In fact, he didn't even recognize him a few minutes ago. The reason why he knew so much was because the prompt system told him. Think quickly. Is there any information that can be used to buy your life? Otherwise, I will have to shoot. John Tuohai said coldly, feeling the cold muzzle of the gun behind his head. Donatello was heartbroken and said loudly, Don't shoot. I have a secret. Do you know why those snowmen have guns? Chapter 455 The Secret of the Snowman Coming! John Tuohai was overjoyed when he heard Donatello's words. He wasted so much time with Donatello just to get this information. The snowman set up an ambush halfway suddenly began to use hot weapons. The firearms were messy, and his movements were unfamiliar, all of which revealed weirdness and weirdness. And Donatello, who is setting up an ambush nearby, is very likely to know something. Zhang Tuohai just tried it out with the idea of giving it a try. Unexpectedly, it actually worked. Then let's talk. Don't try to play tricks. Otherwise, I will kill you with one shot. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Yes, Garrison. It's all his fault. Donatello shouted. Garrison? Which garrison? Zhang Tuohai felt that the name was familiar, but he couldn't remember where he had heard it. Who else could it be? The leader of the secret order. Garrison, Donatello said. When Donatello said this, Zhang Tuohai thought about it. When he was tracking down the mysterious shadow, he once traced the secret order. As his biggest enemy, Zhang Tuohai naturally wanted to check their open information. As the leader of the secret order, Garrison is naturally the focus of Zhang Tuohai's investigation. Garrison's appearance is still remembered by Zhang Tuohai. He has a bald head, tattoos, and a monocle on his right eye. This weird mix of outfits left a deep impression on Zhang Tuohai. It turns out it's him. Zhang Tuohai nodded. Tell me more about it. It was Garrison who communicated with the mysterious shadow, saying that he and the mysterious shadow have reached a deal, allowing us to provide weapons to the Yeti clan, help hunt players, and then share the benefits with us, Donatello said. Boom. Zhang Tuohai's foot immediately stepped on Donatello's neck. Ah! Donatello screamed. Concealing information from me. Right. Zhang Tuohai asked with a sneer. How can I make you so obedient just by sharing the profits? Can you contribute your weapons? Can you squat here and fight an ambush? The main mission don't do it anymore? Zhang Tuohai didn't quite believe Donatello's testimony. Needless to say, these players who can use the mysterious shadow statue are undoubtedly greedy in their hearts, 
and want them to contribute items unless there is a greater benefit as a temptation. And what Donatello just said. The price is obviously not enough. Even Zhang Tuohai feels a loss. Let alone Donatello. He must not be telling the truth. At least, there is something hidden. Also, there is one more. Donatello felt as if his neck was about to break, and he couldn't breathe at all. Explain, Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Grizzin said that the person who does the best can be qualified to leave the game. Donatello said, Get out of the game! After hearing these four words, even Zhang Tuohai was not calm anymore. Although, his life was pretty good. He had wine and meat every day. And he lived a pretty cool life. However, his family knew about his own affairs. And he was walking on the edge of death every day. If he was not careful, his body would be wiped out. Not to mention, a few hours ago, the giant ice spider O'Coin was an example. He himself nearly died. If he could escape from this damn game and return to his original world, he would be willing to give up everything here. Therefore, after hearing these words, he who had been calm almost lost control. You must get this secret and then seize the opportunity to escape from this world. You must seize the opportunity. Zhang Tuohai's heart became restless. Calm down. What Donatello tells is only what he thinks and may not be true. The prompt system suddenly popped up. Seeing the reminder in front of him, Zhang Tuohai's restless heart slowly cooled down. That's right. Zhang Tuohai figured out something. That is, what Donatello said was what he knew from Garrison. And Garrison is just a player. If there was such an opportunity, then why didn't Garrison use it himself? But instead selflessly shared it with Donatello? Unless Donatello is Garrison's illegitimate son. There's no way to explain it. Besides, where did Garrison get this news? From the system? From the mysterious shadows? Or from the mouths of the natives? None of this can be proven. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head. I was actually confused by a piece of news whose source and authenticity could not be distinguished. It seemed that I still lacked training. What did Garrison want you to do? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. Garrison asked us to negotiate with the local snowmen. Give them weapons. Teach them how to use them. And then assist hunting players. Every time we kill a player, we will cut out their hearts to see who can give more. As long as we go up the one who turns in the most will get the chance to lead the game. Donatello said. This is a rare opportunity. Do you want to work with me? The heart you will get will be 30 to 70 points. And that's all? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. You don't have anything else to say to me? What else is there? Nothing more? This is the most important thing. Donatello said confused. Since there is no more. Then goodbye. Zhang Tuohai said and pulled the trigger. Wait. Before Donatello could finish his words, a cold bullet penetrated his head. After beating Donatello to death, Zhang Tuohai bent down and searched his belongings, taking away all the useful things on him, leaving only a naked body. After a while, there should be a forest scavenger to help him solve it. After leaving the woods, Zhang Tuohai returned to the road. At this time, Hagrid was blown by the wind for a while, feeling that the alcohol was rising, and he became even more confused. I'm sleepy. Go take a nap. You go first. Hagrid waved to Zhang Tuohai, then got into his car, laid down on the seat and fell asleep. Without even closing the door tightly, Zhang Tuohai closed the car door for him and returned to the car. Let's go two kilometers forward to find the guy's car. Zhang Tuohai said. He didn't forget that there was Donatello's car two kilometers away. After killing Donatello, he collected some things from Donatello's body. But how could these things satisfy Zhang Tuohai's appetite? That car naturally became Zhang Tuohai's target. As commanded, Xiao Ai drove the car towards where Donatello's car was parked. The distance of two kilometers is really too close, which is just a matter of stepping on the accelerator. Zhang Tuohai found Donatello's car hiding place without much effort. It has to be said that the place where Donatello hid the car is quite secretive. It happens to be in a forest and is covered with a camouflage net. Most people passing by may not be able to spot it. However, Zhang Tuohai had a prompt system to guide him, so he found it easily. After removing the booby traps, Zhang Tuohai lifted the camouflage net, revealing a white chevron. Chapter 456 Mutated Players Zhang Tuohai opened the door and got into the car. This Citron has also clearly undergone a makeover. Inside the car is a huge living room with leather sofas, large oil paintings hanging on the walls, and a large fireplace in the corner with a pile of firewood next to it. In the front direction of the living room, there is a shrine with a mysterious shadowed statue inside. Sure enough, 
It has something to do with a mysterious shadow. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows and showed a look of understanding. However, this can be considered a good thing. Since the statue of the mysterious shadow is enshrined in the car, the supplies in the car should also be very rich. These people are all rich people. Zhang Tuohai calmed down and began to check the things in the car. Be careful. There are booby traps under the first, second, and fifth sofas. There is a grenade in the fireplace. There is a transparent silk thread behind the mural on the right. If you take it off forcibly, it will trigger the mind behind the mural. The prompt system gave more than 10 prompts. All about the traps in the room. Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he heard this. Does Donatello have a persecution delusion? Even if there are so many traps on the outside of the car, isn't it really a pain in the ass? Aren't you afraid that he might accidentally trigger them when he wakes up in the middle of the night? Zhang Tuohai was helpless and patiently dismantled more than 10 mechanisms under the guidance of the prompt system. Zhang Tuohai first went to Donatello's kitchen to take a look. Donatello didn't have much food in his hands. The rest were frozen pizzas. There were more than 70 servings. Enough for Donatello to eat alone. Nearly a month. In addition, Zhang Tuohai also found a bag of Matsutake mushrooms. However, this top delicacy in the world was obviously not welcomed by Donatello, and he threw it in the corner. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai hurriedly put it away, preparing to take the opportunity to make charcoal barbecue. Although the food is not rich, Donatello has a water bar with a full range of drinks. There are more than 10 kinds of soda water alone, and there are three rows of fruity drinks. Zhang Tuohai also gathered them all. These are all dispensable things for Zhang Tuohai. For Zhang Tuohai, the most important thing he gained in the car was a whole box of penicillin. For Zhang Tuohai, this thing is as good as gold. No, more precious than gold. Gold is just a relatively scarce precious metal in this world now. But penicillin is an extremely important anti-inflammatory drug. Moreover, the explosive rate of medicines in this world is extremely rare. Zhang Tuohai opened hundreds of boxes, but could not get even a single medicine. It's enough to show how scarce medicines are in this world. Zhang Tuohai could predict how valuable this box of penicillin would be. If it is run properly, it may be possible to obtain quite generous profits. After removing all the items that could be dismantled, Zhang Tuohai asked 001 to dismantle the chevron. Sure enough, in addition to the metal ingots and metal parts given as usual, there was also a piece of parchment for making a mysterious shadow statue. At this point, Zhang Tuohai was certain that the parchment of the mysterious shadow statue should be something that would definitely fall. However, he was not prepared to make it. After cleaning up everything, Zhang Tuohai drove the car and continued to move forward. After the car tried two sections of road, the sky gradually became brighter and the time came to 6 o'clock in the morning again. A new day has begun. The game prompt popped up again. Congratulations to all the players for seeing today's sunrise. Today is your fourth day in this world. There are still 87 hours left for you to reach the top of the mountain. Players who have not reached the snow line yet, please hurry up. Issuing a side task to obtain a concentrated bone powder. Please try to collect it if you can. Concentrated bone meal. Seeing these four words, Zhang Tuohai jumped up. Isn't this what you get after killing those ice spiders and cremating their bodies? Why did the game system ask for this thing by name? Although he didn't know what the game system was going to do. Since he was asked by name, based on his experience, he must be well prepared. And the more the better. If you are fully prepared, you may not be rewarded. But if you are not fully prepared, you will definitely be punished. I hope the wealth hasn't been used up yet. Zhang Tuohai thought as he ran towards the high-end ecological park. Prosperous wealth. Prosperous wealth. Where did you put the concentrated bone powder? Zhang Tuohai broke into the high-end ecological park and asked. At this time, Wang Kai was hoeing the ground. They're all there. What's wrong? Wang Kai said, pointing to a snakeskin bag in the corner. Zhang Tuohai took three steps in succession and ran over. When he opened the snakeskin bag, he saw a bag full of concentrated bone meal. Fortunately, it wasn't used. Zhang Tuohai patted his chest and let out a sigh of relief. Now, he has installed the spirit statue of Oaken, which has a repelling effect on ice spiders. If the bone meal is used, he really doesn't know where to get some more. Maybe you have to buy it from other players at a high price. This was something Zhang Tuohai couldn't bear. He has always cut other people's leaks. How could he allow others to cut his leeks? From now on, no one can touch this bag of bone meal without my permission. Zhang Tuohai warned, took the bone powder out and stored it properly. After storing the bone meal, Zhang Tuohai stretched himself and prepared to go to the kitchen to make some breakfast. 
At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly said, Commander, an armored personnel carrier is coming from behind. Armored personnel carrier? Let me see. Zhang Tuohai immediately sat on the command chair. The scene at the rear of the vehicle was shown on the huge spherical screen. An eight-wheeled armored personnel carrier was slowly approaching from behind. The armored transport vehicle is covered with reactive armor and painted in white snow camouflage. There is a 12.7 mm automatic high-level dual-purpose machine gun on the roof, a 20 mm machine gun at the back, and a series of smoke generators on both sides of the vehicle. The equipment looks okay. Player? The equipment is pretty good. Looking at the armored transport vehicle, Zhang Tuohai felt that this guy's equipment level was acceptable. At this moment, the armored personnel carrier began to accelerate, and soon, it was parallel to Zhang Tuohai's car. Brother, what do you want to do? Zhang Tuohai opened the roof of the warehouse, stuck his head out, and asked curiously, It's nothing. We are all players. I saw that your equipment is good and I want to get to know you. The roof of the car on the opposite side was also opened. A head wearing a steel helmet appeared from inside, with a cigar in his mouth, and he said with a smile. However, when Zhang Tuohai looked at the other party, he always felt that something was wrong. Zhang Tuohai put his hands on the frame and jumped up suddenly. Standing on the roof of the car, Zhang Tuohai finally realized what was wrong. It turned out that the player with the cigar in his mouth only had one head left. Part of his body is actually a fat and white snow silkworm. Chapter 457 Why is it you again? Hack! What is this? Zhang Tuohai was so frightened that he almost fell back into the car. A human head is installed on the body of Snow Silkworm. This weird way of putting it together is really too scary. Zhang Tuohai can accept all kinds of weird and terrifying monsters. But he can't accept the combination of humans and monsters. Waves of cold sweat broke out on his back. Soaking his clothes. Zhang Tuohai subconsciously touched his Gatling gun. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's actions. Zhu Kanran also knew that he had been exposed. The automatic machine gun next to it turned around and pointed at Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai was even faster, taking a step to the side and falling into the cab. Don't run! Seeing this, Shui Kanran immediately chased out of the car, hoping to catch Zhang Tuohai before he closed the hatch and killed Zhang Tuohai. If Zhang Tuohai could successfully escape back into the car, it would not be that easy for him to catch Zhang Tuohai again. Moreover, it does not have an advantage in terms of vehicle mounted weapons. When the time comes, it is not certain who will kill whom. After Shwek Cameron jumped out of the car, he jumped onto the infantry fighting vehicle and then twisted his huge body to get into Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. However, just as it approached the roof of the warehouse, a guy in full armor suddenly emerged from inside, holding a huge tower shield in his hand. Before the snow silkworm could react, the huge tower shield slapped it on the head. Although the snow silkworm's body has been modified, his brain is still at the level of a human being and his ability to withstand blows has not been significantly improved. After being slapped by the tower shield, I suddenly felt like stars were shining in my eyes, and my head was spinning with dizziness. Before it could recover, Ken Ken hit its head twice more with a huge tower shield. Bang bang. Shwek Cameron's eyes darkened, and he fainted. Catch the ones alive! Don't beat them to death. Go and have a look in its car. Take control of the remaining people, and kill them if the life-threatening situation allows. Zhang Tuohai got out of the car and said, Can listen to the order, rushed out with a tower shield and a gasoline-powered saw, and got into the opponent's car. Then, there was a ping-ping-pong-pong sound inside, as well as occasional screams. Within a minute, the sound disappeared. Can drag the other guy out of the car. This guy has also been physically transformed. Except for his head. His body has been transformed into the shape of an ice spider. His body is almost transparent. Like glass. The eight jointed limbs are extremely sharp, comparable to a sword or a long knife, and there are some inverted teeth like shark teeth on them, which greatly increases the lethality. However, at this time, this guy was extremely miserable. Two incisions were made on his body by the electric saw, and four of his limbs were severed. Two of them had only a little bit of skin and flesh attached to them. One of them had no idea where it was, and only one could still move. There is only one left. Good guy! This is not an isolated case. Zhang Tuohai took a breath of air when he saw the Snow Karen's accomplices. Things had clearly exceeded his expectations. According to his initial speculation, it was probably that someone took some kind of medicine and changed his form. It's like the source of one's own blood. Or nano-injection. Now it seems that things are more complicated. 
Keep an eye on these two guys. I'll go check them out. Zhang Tuahai entered the opponent's armored personnel carrier. The armored transport vehicle has also been modified. But it is not a comfortable and luxurious living room. But a conference room-like room with a sand table in the middle of the room. The sand table shows the shape of the nearby area. You can even clearly see several cars moving on it. It's actually a map. Zhang Tuahai was very happy when he saw this huge sand table. However, when he tried to move it, he found that it was a car accessory and could not be disassembled. Even if he forcibly dismantled the thing, it still wouldn't work. Zhang Tuahai let go of his hand angrily, preparing to stay for a while and try his luck to see if he could disassemble the blueprint. Zhang Tuahai continued to check in the car, and soon he discovered a small cold storage. There were seven or eight smoked hams and more than ten smoked fish hung in it. There were boxes of cheese and barrels of cheese in the boxes below. Milk. It looks like life is pretty good. Zhang Tuahai even found a bucket of ice cream. Zhang Tuahai happily transported these things to his car. After moving the things away, Zhang Tuahai was surprised to find something familiar to him a statue with a mysterious shadow. The statue was placed in the corner of the cold storage, covered with a layer of white frost. Why is it you again? Zhang Tuahai felt a little numb when he saw this, old friend. He felt that whatever happened to him recently seemed to be related to this statue. Could he be the boss of this area? Could it be said that the physical changes of these two players are also related to this guy? Zhang Tuohai became nervous. If he was dealing with people or monsters, he was confident that even if he couldn't defeat them, he would only die. At least clearly. However, when faced with something as mysterious as a mysterious shadow, Zhang Tuohai would be a bit weak. Faced with this thing, even if he died, he didn't know how he died. People's greatest fear is the unknown. Not understanding is the biggest source of fear. However, Zhang Tuohai quickly calmed down again. I have a system. And I'm worried about what you might do. I've already dismantled it several times. And I haven't seen any counterattack. At worst, I'll dismantle it again today. I want to see what tricks you're going to play. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and moved all the supplies out of the car. When he came outside the car, Shue Kanren was slowly waking up. Tell me, how did you become like this? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly from the side. The snow canker didn't answer Zhang Tuohai's intention at all. Instead, he twisted his body and wanted to jump up and attack Zhang Tuohai. However, Zhang Tuohai had already taken precautions and tied it to a tree as thick as a person with a thick rope. No matter how much Shue San twisted her body, she couldn't break free from the restraints of the rope. Stop trying to resist. Zhang Tuohai came out with a bucket of gasoline and poured it on the snow silkworm while he kept fiddling with a windproof lighter in his hand. You'd better answer my questions honestly. Otherwise, I will throw this lighter on you and let you taste the taste of being cooked over a slow fire. John Tuohai said coldly. Devil. You devil. Shui Kanren heard Zhang Tuohai's words. His body couldn't help but trembled. And he cursed loudly. No. Compared to you who transformed yourself into this ghost, I feel that I still belong to the category of human beings. Zhang Tuohai said while fidgeting with the lighter. Okay. My patience is limited. Stop talking nonsense and tell me how you transformed yourself into like this. Chapter 458 Red Maple Manor Shwek Cannon originally didn't intend to say it, but when it smelled the gasoline on its body and looked at the lighter in Zhang Tuai's hand, it hesitated. It really doesn't dare to bet. What if Zhang Takumi really dares? Its life is gone. Even if he really died, he couldn't be burned alive. This is so painful. Besides, he is not a strong-willed person to begin with. Besides, there is a companion next to him. If the other party speaks first, then you will have no room for bargaining. I said. Shwe Kanren decisively chose to confess. It was the potion that Garrison sold me, said the snow silkworm. It's this guy again. Zhang Tuohai frowned when he heard Garrison's name. He felt that he was at odds with this guy. He had always been involved with him in the past two days. Tell me in detail. Don't try to lie. If I find out that you told a lie, humph. Zhang Tuohai fiddled with a lighter in his hand. Then don't blame me for being rude. It was Garrison who contacted us and asked if we wanted to quit the game. He has a way. However, if you want to quit, you need to meet two conditions. First, inject the potion, and then hand over the hearts of 30 players. Shui Cameron said helplessly. Do you believe it like that? Zhang Tuohai looked at the snow silkworm in astonishment. You believe whatever he says? Also, how can you quit the game and return to the real world after you have become like this? Garrison put poison in the red wine he gave us. If we didn't inject the medicine at that time, 
we would be poisoned to death. I didn't dare to take the risk. Furthermore, Garrison also said that becoming like this is just to increase our combat effectiveness and survivability. As long as we eat 10 more player hearts, we can gain the ability to transform at will. And we can change between mutant and human forms at will. Switch, and the gains won't disappear. If you can eat 30 players' hearts, your strength can be further increased, and you will gain strength far beyond what you are now. Shwek Cameron said with excitement on his face. You can switch at will. Moreover, after injecting the medicine, I can feel that my strength, my recovery ability, and my muscle strength have all been greatly enhanced. This powerful feeling is really intoxicating, Shwek Cameron said, falling into excitement and talking nonstop. Seeing Snow Cameron's appearance, Zhang Tuahai's expression turned cold. If everything this person said is true, then it is hopeless. It has completely degenerated into a slave to power. In order to gain strength, he can actually eat the player's heart. This has crossed the bottom line and cannot be tolerated. Today, he can eat the hearts of players for the sake of strength. And tomorrow, he can do even more extreme things for the sake of strength. This kind of person has become the public enemy of all players. Zhang Tuahai would never keep such a person. You said your muscle strength and recovery ability are very strong now. Zhang Tuahai suddenly asked. Yes. What's wrong? Asked the snow canner. Nothing. Just test your resistance and resilience. Zhang Tuahai said. Raised the Gatling gun and pointed it at the snow silkworm. You? Duh duh duh. After a series of fires, the upper body of the snow silkworm was almost shattered. Player Snowden dies. An obituary floated over the regional channel. The strength isn't that great. It can't even hold a machine gun. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but curl his lips when he looked at the corpse of the snow cannon. This thing was not even comparable to his nano injection. After killing one of them, Zhang Tuohai targeted the remaining player who transformed into an ice spider. After pouring cold water on him to wake him up, Zhang Tuohai followed the instructions and asked again. The answers he got were similar to those given by the Snowkin man, which showed that the Snowkin man did not lie. However, the other party finally revealed a piece of information that the Snow Silkworm did not reveal. That is, Garrison was currently in a red maple manor, hoping that members of the nearby secret order could go over and help him. The symbol of that manor is its red maple leaves, which can be seen from a long distance away. Red maple manor? John Tuohai felt as if he had seen it somewhere. John Tuohai thought for a moment and suddenly ran towards the armored transport vehicle. After getting into the armored transport vehicle, Zhang Tuohai laid down on the sand table to check. Sure enough, I saw a manor surrounded by red maple trees in the white snow. Zhang Tuohai checked the location of the manor. It was only 300 kilometers away from him, with two forks in the road. Would you like to go take a look? Zhang Tuohai became more active. Garrison had caused him a lot of trouble directly and indirectly, and he had to go see him no matter what. Send some small gifts or something. Zhang Tuohai recorded the path on the sand table. Later, Zhang Tuohai called 001 to dismantle the armored transport vehicle. He himself was begging Goddess of Luck to reveal the drawings of the sandbox. He felt that this sand table was so important that it almost came with its own perspective hanging with a range of hundreds of kilometers. If he had this thing, it would be even more powerful for him. If anyone dared to provoke him, he might not have been able to do anything before. However, with this thing, if the other party dares to appear within a few hundred kilometers of him, he can solve it offline. It's simply a bug-level piece of equipment. John Tuohai is determined to get this thing. 001 is already very proficient in this kind of business. He took more than 20 self-propelled machines and took 10 minutes to dismantle the armored transport vehicle. A drawing appeared in 001's hands. John Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw it. He immediately ran over, grabbed the drawing, and opened it. When he opened it and saw it, Zhang Tuohai's heart instantly cooled down. It turned out to be a blueprint for making a mysterious shadow. Looking at the mysterious shadow drawing in his hand, Zhang Tuohai felt a sense of disgust in his heart for the first time. He felt that it was this mysterious shadow drawing that prevented him from revealing the drawing for making a sand table. Okay, you actually dare to cut off my financial resources. This time we two are not finished. Zhang Tuohai angrily threw the blueprint for making the mysterious shadow statue to the ground and stepped on it hard. Anyone would be angry if the strategic items that could be obtained were replaced with such useless garbage. Mysterious shadow. Right. You want faith. Right. Okay. From now on, I will kill every one of your believers when I see them. And I will collect one of your drawings after I explode them. Let's see how many drawings you can explode. 
Zhang Tuahai thought through gritted teeth. That garrison is the boss of the secret order and a believer in the mysterious shadow. Right? This time I'll take action on this guy. Zhang Tuohai got into the car angrily and drove towards Hongfong Manor in the direction he remembered. Chapter 459 Game, Ownership of the Legacy Zhang Tuohai drove all the way towards Hongfong Manor, passing two intersections along the way. He didn't even read the prompt information carefully. He's a little over the top. The distance of more than 300 kilometers is neither too far nor too close. Especially on this road full of ice and snow. Zhang Tuohai was afraid the garrison would escape. So he raced faster along the way even increasing his speed to more than 100 miles at one point. Finally, at noon, Zhang Tuohai finally saw a forest of fiery red maple leaves on the hillside in the distance. Finally reached, Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and slowed down the car. If he remembered correctly, on that sand table map, except for the red maple manor, there was not a single red maple tree anywhere else. There are all kinds of cold zone trees, such as pine, birch and so on. As long as you see the red maple trees, you are right in the Red Maple Manor. Hopefully this guy hasn't left yet. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the Red Maple Forest in the distance. Open the rocket launch slot. And prepared to cover it with a wave of rockets. As for Garrison, he didn't even plan to meet him. He just beat him to death. The other party was the one who had used that weird mutated potion. And who knew what other methods he had. If they met rashly, Zhang Tuohai was afraid that he would suffer a loss. So he simply used remote coverage to kill him even if you have thousands of ways to do it. What else can you do, if I don't see you? Zhang Tuohai was preparing to launch a long-range strike when suddenly, a game prompt popped up. Player Zhang Tuohai discovered Red Maple Manor. Would you like to enter the Red Maple Manor to participate in the special game, Ownership of the Legacy? If you participate, you will have a chance to obtain Red Maple Manor. If you give up, you will need to pay 5,000 units of gasoline as compensation. Please choose. Gone! Zhang Tuohai was speechless due to the game prompts. Although this game says you can freely choose whether to participate, but who can get the gas compensation of up to 5,000 units? I'm afraid only that oil guy Sharon base is about the same. Right? Although Zhang Tuohai can produce part of it himself and has solar power, the consumption is not small. Various flamethrowers are a big head. So much so that he has only saved more than 3,000 units of gasoline. Compensation of 5,000 units is absolutely unavailable. It seems I have no choice. Zhang Tuohai smiled dryly. Join. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. Player Zhang Tuohai has chosen to participate in the game, The Belonging of the Legacy, which is loading now. The player's identity is generated. The player Zhang Tuohai is the adopted son of the owner of Red Maple Manor in his early years. He has been wandering away all year round. After hearing that his adoptive father passed away, he was summoned by a lawyer to return to the country to participate in the Division of the Inheritance. Rule 1. Players need to complete the contents of the will according to the game prompts. Those who complete can advance to the next round. And those who fail will be punished, highest kill. Rule 2. It is prohibited to attack in various ways between players. Violators will be punished according to the situation, maximum kill. Rule 3. Players are not allowed to attack any character in the manner without permission. Violators will be punished depending on the situation, maximum kill. Rule 4. Players are prohibited from escaping midway. Otherwise, they will be sentenced to violation and killed directly. For other matters not covered. This game system has the final right of interpretation. Looking at the bloody prompts. Zhang Tuohai frowned. It seemed that this was another very bad game. Please follow the directions and drive into Hongfong Manor within 10 minutes. A three-dimensional map and an arrow popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. Pointing forward. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to follow the map and arrows. It took about three minutes for Zhang Tuohai to drive the car to the gate of the manor. The two wrought iron gates opened automatically. The musical fountain in the center of the manor played minuet music. A breeze blew by, and large red maple leaves fell, adding a bit of literary beauty to the manor. This place is really nice, but I don't know how many players will die in a while. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and drove the car to the parking lot in the direction indicated by the arrow. At this time, four cars were parked in the parking lot. A red Lexus, a modified Hummer, a huge RV, and a huge one-wheeler. Moreover, these cars have all undergone some modifications. Even the most humble Lexus has two turbofans added to the rear. I don't know what they are used for. This lineup is considered luxurious among players. The strength is pretty good, but I don't know if Garrison is here. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Players are asked to enter the manor living room within five minutes. 
otherwise they will be sentenced to violation. A red game prompt popped up. Zhang Tuohai parked the car and entered the three-story building in the center of the manor along the corridor. After opening the door, Zhang Tuohai saw a luxurious hall with a huge crystal chandelier that was dazzling. The floor was covered with a thick velvet carpet. There was a circle of leather sofas on the left side of the room. He sat on the sofa. Six players. Zhang Tuohai saw a bald man with a single eye at a glance. Staring at him with stern eyes. It's you. Garrison. You are indeed here. Zhang Tuohai's eyes narrowed slightly. And then, he looked away. He didn't want others to know his true intentions before actually taking action. It would be great if you could instigate other players to kill each other first and consume some of their strength. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai showed a somewhat reserved expression. Shrank his neck slightly. Lowered his head. And secretly looked at the people around him. To Garrison's left-hand side. There sat a muscular man with a big body and a round waist. He was about two and a half meters tall and weighed over 300 kilograms. He had tattoos on his body and was wrapped in iron chains. He looked extremely powerful. Next to the strong man, there was a graceful woman sitting, wearing a chonsam, holding a round fan in her hand, slightly covering half of her face. To Garrison's right sat a guy with long white hair on his body. Except for his head, almost all of his body was covered with long hair. He was almost the same as a snowman. Could he be the reformer of snowman? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed and added him to Garrison's gang. Next to the suspected snowman transformer sat a hippie young man wearing a tight leather jacket and combing his hair into a mohawk. Opposite Garrison sat a fair and chubby young man wearing a t-shirt with rim printed on it, black rimmed glasses, and a shy smile on his face. He looked like an ordinary person. There is no difference between the ordinary Asiai who looks harmless to humans and animals. Are you the last player? Why did you come here? The strong man said dissatisfied. At this moment, a wooden door next to it opened, and a middle-aged man in a suit walked out and walked slowly in front of everyone. Now that everyone is here, I will start reading the will, the middle-aged man said calmly. Chapter 460 Spikes Wait! I object! The strong man with tattoos and chains suddenly stood up and said, I don't think it's necessary to go to that trouble. Just give me the reward. I can pay you extra. The strong man with the iron chain on his body said, suddenly picked up a suitcase from his feet, threw it on the coffee table. The coffee table shook and then opened the lid of the suitcase. The suitcase was opened and a golden brilliance flashed inside. It turned out that it was full of gold bars. One by one, they are all marked with unknown emblems. It looks very visually impactful. Even though he knew that gold was almost worthless, Zhang Tuai couldn't help but take a few breaths when he saw so much gold. The other players around him had similar reactions. It seems that the value scale brought by the original world still has considerable inertia, which will be hidden deep in people's hearts and will not die so easily. Seeing the appearance of the people around him, the strong man with iron chains on his body grinned and showed a smile that was uglier than crying. How about it? Sir, if you are willing to hand over your inheritance to me, then these the gold is all yours. Hearing the strong man's words, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but look at him again. He actually wanted to bribe the NPC. So he had some ideas, and he didn't look as brainless as his appearance suggested. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't think he could succeed, since the game system dares to send such a person to supervise and guide. There must be considerations, and there must be something extraordinary. Otherwise, the players will join together and kidnap each other directly. After agreeing on the distribution of benefits, they can directly pass the level. Zhang Tuohai didn't make a sound and leaned back slightly with a look on his face as if he was watching a show. The Chong Sam woman sitting next to the strong man raised the fan in her hand and moved her body quietly away from the strong man. Her beautiful eyes were constantly scanning the people around her. The otaku wearing a rim t-shirt pushed up his black rimmed glasses and moved away from the burly man without leaving any trace. Garrison didn't say much except that one hand had been retracted into his sleeve. As for the man on Zhang Tuohai's right, who is suspected of being a snowman transformer, and the hippie with a mohawk, they have no obvious expressions. They are staring at the box of shiny gold bars in a daze. How about it? Do you agree or not? If it's too little, I can add more. The strong man with chains wrapped around his body said, took out another black velvet bag, opened it, and threw it on the table. Inside the bag, there were gems of various sizes, which shone brightly under the light. Are these things enough? The strong man with chains wrapped around his body said coldly. Seeing the butler's appearance, the middle-aged man remained unmoved. 
The strong man with chains on his body looked a little ugly. He pulled out a thick M500 from his waist and pointed it at the butler. Here's the last one for you. The opportunity to choose. Do you do what I want and take the money to live happily ever after? Or let me make a hole in your head? Don't blame me for not giving you a chance to choose. It was detected that the player was trying to threaten the facilitator to change the rules and impose a penalty. A cold voice sounded from nowhere, surrounding everyone's ears. When everyone heard the sound, they looked around vigilantly, looking for the source of the sound. The expression of the strong man with the iron chain on his body changed even more. He hurriedly put the M500 in his holster and said repeatedly, Wait a minute. Doesn't the rule say that you are not allowed to attack any NPC? I didn't. Attacking those NPCs without even touching a finger cannot be considered a foul. Before the strong man wrapped in iron chains finished speaking, a spike as thin as an arm stabbed out from the sofa, piercing through the strong man's tail vertebra, piercing out from the top of the skull, and piercing through the main trunk. There were many sharp thorns. These thin thorns are as thick as a thumb, piercing out from the main trunk, growing more than a foot long, and piercing out from various positions on the strong man's body. At this time, the strong man's body looked intact on the surface, but his internal organs had been completely messed up. It looked like there was no life left. However, when everyone around him saw this, they unconsciously moved their buttocks. Anyone who thinks that there is such a thing buried under the sofa where he is sitting will not feel very comfortable. Even the woman sitting next to the strong man, holding a round fan, just moved to the side. But she was not frightened and screamed. Instead, she looked at the strong man with interest. With a twinkle in her eye, there was a look of excitement. Zhang Tuohai secretly looked at the people around him and sighed in his heart. Sure enough, there would be no stupid people who could come here. The strong man must have used gold to clear the way in front of other aborigines. But he became arrogant and ended up capsizing here. The man who looked like a butler saw that no one around him said anything. So he continued to say in a deep voice, Since no one has any objection, I will read out the will. The man who looked like a butler took out a piece of paper from his pocket, opened it and read out. According to Mr. Fox's will, all heirs must wait at Red Maple Manor until 1800 hours in the evening. During this period, all players are not allowed to attack each other. Violators will be punished. At 1800 hours in the evening, all players who are still alive need to vote to elect an heir. And the heir with the most votes will receive the entire inheritance. The butler finished reading the will in a cold tone. Just stay in the manor? There are no restrictions on doing anything? The hippie suddenly became eager to try. Of course not. The butler showed a sneer. Every time the specified time comes, you must complete a task or game. You cannot refuse. Otherwise you will end up with this idiot. Okay. I understand. Old man. Don't be nagging. Can we move around? The hippie asked impatiently. No. On the contrary. You need to complete your first task. The housekeeper took out a rattle from his pocket and shook it twice. Immediately, a maid in a black and white maid uniform pushed over a shiny dining cart filled with all kinds of food. There were pork knuckles, steaks, lobsters, foie gras, and John Tuahai even saw a whole roasted suckling pig. All the food smells amazing. Many players have been waiting here since the morning, and their stomachs are already growling. If it weren't for the corpse next to it, they might have passed by long ago. The dining cart was pushed next to the sofa. Now please each participant choose one food in order. Remember, it can only be the same food. No more. No less. By the way, let me give you a tip. The butler paused and continued. This is your only chance to eat until 1800 hours in the afternoon. So please choose carefully. Chapter 461 The Mystery of the First Game This lady will choose first. The housekeeper said to the woman wearing a chong sam and holding a fan. The woman holding the round fan slowly stood up, twisted her graceful figure and came to the cart. Her beautiful eyes glanced at the maid on the cart and said, This young lady, there are so many things. I don't know how to choose. How about you pick one for me? However, the maid just stood there without any reaction. Please choose as soon as possible. Each person's selection time should not exceed one minute. The butler said coldly. Humph. The woman holding the fan rolled her eyes at the butler and chose a filet mignon in a decent manner. Next it was the turn of the housekeeper. A shy walked over, hesitated for a moment and finally chose a hamburger and cola set meal. Next, it was Zhang Tuohai's turn. There are so many. Which one should I choose? According to the butler, I should eat more. But will it be a trap? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself while scanning the things in the cart. 
The food in the cart has been poisoned. The higher the price of the food, the more deadly the poison is. The lower the price of the food, the lighter the poison. The prompt system silently popped up a line of prompts. Is there still such a thing? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He knew that the game system must not be so kind and let them eat and drink in the dungeon. Now it seems that there is something fishy. It was poisoned according to the price. And it was really a shame. Zhang Tuohai began to rummage in the dining car. Steak? No. Elbow? Move aside. Chicken feet? You can consider grilled sweet potatoes? This should be cheap enough. Right. Wait. Spicy strips? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He saw a very familiar food. Spicy strips. Still familiar packaging. It's 50 cents a pack. This should be the cheapest. Right. Even if it's not the cheapest, the toxicity should be minimal. Zhang Tuohai thought of this, grabbed the spicy strips, and walked towards his seat. Ajai was a little curious when he saw that Zhang Tuohai only took a bag of spicy strips. So he came over. Why did you only take one bag of spicy strips? The other players also looked at him curiously. Oh, the barbecue I had for lunch included two pounds of Wagyu beef and one pound of beef belly. I'm still burping. If everyone didn't have to choose the same thing, I wouldn't even want to choose this. Zhang Tuohai pretended to look miserable, lying on the sofa, and said helplessly, It's actually Wagyu beef. I've never had it before in my whole life. Is it delicious? Ajai became interested when he heard this and came over to ask. Actually, it's just like that. It's pretty awesome. But it doesn't taste as good as the beef tenderloin. I opened a big box last time. And I haven't finished it yet. I almost vomited the food. And I'm almost worried to death. I haven't eaten this thing for a long time. So I'm going to eat it to satisfy my craving. Zhang Tuohai said pretending to be helpless. Nah. Upon hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, the players around him couldn't help but froze. Needless to say how expensive Wagyu was in the original world. The explosion rate in this world is also very low. Even if they spend three or four worlds, they may not be able to see each other once. Zhang Tuohai is still worried about not being able to finish the meal. This is really annoying. After listening to Zhang Tuohai's words, the Mohawk turned directly to the man and asked the maid, Is there Wagyu beef here? The maid didn't say anything. She just opened the lower part of the cart, took out a baking pan, and brought out a large box of beef, which looked like five or six kilograms. Are you sure? The housekeeper asked from the side. Of course. Mohawk said proudly. Why? Do you regret it? The butler shook his head slightly and let the remaining people continue to choose. Next, it was the turn of the snowman transformed player. With the Mohawk ready to sample, the snowman transformed player walked over without even looking at the food in the dining car, and directly asked, Is there a two-foot-long lobster? The maid expressionlessly pulled out a three-foot-long steamed lobster from the second floor of the dining car and delivered it to the snowman-turned player. Only one? That's not enough. The snowman-transformed player said with a look of dissatisfaction. Are you sure? The steward blinked and asked the snowman-transformed player. Of course. The snowman-turned player also looked proud. Whose appetite are you looking down on? I was a big eater back then. Give him another one. The butler said expressionlessly. After hearing this, the maid dragged out another lobster and stuffed it into the hands of the snowman turned player. The snowman transformed player returned to his seat with two lobsters in his arms. Then only Garrison remained. Garrison pushed his single eye, walked to the dining car and looked at it carefully. Jean Tuohai was lying on the sofa, showing a lazy look. But his eyes glanced at Garrison from time to time wanting to see what he would choose. Garrison lingered in front of the dining car for a long time, and finally chose a red wine foie gras when time was running out. Garrison returned to his seat with a red wine and foie gras, and even picked up a pair of knives and forks. Why did you only choose this little bit? Is it enough to eat? That guy said that he only has one chance to eat in the afternoon. What if he gets hungry in the middle of the day? How about I share half of it with you? The Yeti player said to Garrison. Obviously the two of them were very familiar with each other. Let's talk again. Garrison shook his head slightly, and at the same time glanced at the snowman with disgust, and moved his butt slightly away from the snowman, seeing that everyone had chosen their food. The butler clapped his hands and drew everyone's attention to him. Now that everyone has chosen their favorite lunch, it's up to me to announce the dining rules. As an heir, you need to have a good sense of responsibility and not waste food. Therefore, the food chosen by each person can only be eaten by himself. No leftovers are allowed. No exchange is allowed. 
and methods such as inducing vomiting are not allowed. Violators will be punished. Punishment. The degree of punishment will be determined based on the amount of food left. After hearing the steward's words, everyone's expressions changed. Especially the snowman mutant player holding two three-foot-long lobsters turned pale. How can I finish eating so much? I gave up. Can I just take one back? The snowman mutant player asked anxiously. You can give up. But it will be dealt with directly as a failure. And the wasted food will be calculated as two whole lobsters. Are you sure you want to give up? The steward asked expressionlessly. I. The snowman mutant player wanted to give up from the bottom of his heart. But after looking at the body of the strongman next to him, he swallowed his words again. Okay. I'll eat it. Just two lobsters? What's so great about it? Yes. Very good. The butler nodded with satisfaction. Second, as an heir, you need to have good work and rest habits. Lunch time is half an hour. Anyone who does not finish eating after half an hour will be treated as a failure. Now start the timer. Chapter 462 Piranha Hearing the butler's announcement, Ajai was the first to react. He picked up the hamburger in the set meal and took a big bite, chewing it in big mouthfuls. The woman holding the fan put down the fan, picked up the knife and fork, and cut her own steak. She is very confident about herself. She chose a standard filet mignon. Even if it takes time, half an hour is enough to finish it. Garrison cut off a piece of foie gras, put it in his mouth, and tasted it carefully, while his eyes scanned the people present. John Tuahai looked left and right, opened a package of spicy sticks, took out a spicy stick and threw it into his mouth, chewing it slowly while watching the fun of the people next to him. The snowman mutant player looked bitter, took a knife and cut off the lobster's head, reached into the lobster, grabbed a large handful of meat, and stuffed it into his mouth. The one with the mohawk was the most miserable. He looked at the baking pan, then at the pile of wagyu beef that looked like a hill, and wished he could give himself a slap. With so much meat, I guess it would take more than half an hour to roast it. Just eat it raw. It's not like I've never eaten like this before. The mohawk thought of this, grabbed a few slices of sliced wagyu beef, stuffed it into his mouth, and ate it in big bites. After taking his first bite of wagyu beef, the mohawk knew there was a big problem. The meat of wagyu beef looks beautiful, red and white, like marble stripes. Those white beefs are all fatty meat, so they are quite delicious if used for barbecue. But there will be problems if they are eaten raw. It's okay if it's just one or two pieces, but if you eat too much, it's like drinking Quan Yu. You feel like your throat is blocked, and you feel nauseated and full from the inside out. After barely eating half a caddy, Mohawk couldn't bear it anymore and spit it out in one gulp. Zhang Tuohai had been staring at him when he saw that he was disgusting. He immediately jumped to the sofa so that he didn't get splashed all over. The snowman mutant player was not so lucky. One of his legs was covered in all kinds of filth. The snowman mutant player immediately glared at the Mohawk. What are you doing? I just washed my hair this morning. Zhang Tuohai squatted on the sofa and made a pitiful sound. What a pity. If I had known, I would have pulled him directly to the river. I could have made a nest directly. The housekeeper looked at Mohawk coldly. Vomiting food will result in a foul and stop eating. It will be determined that more than 90% of the food was wasted and a penalty will be imposed. No, I can still eat. Please don't punish me. The Mohawk begged, grabbing the Wagyu on the table and continuing to stuff it into his mouth. But the maid picked him up like a chicken, walked to a pool on the right side of the hall, waved her hand, and threw the mohawk into the pool. The pool was not deep, only reaching the calf of the mohawk. Mohawk climbed out of the pool in embarrassment, his straight hair falling down, and his whole body was in a state of embarrassment. Moxic and wiped the water from his face, tried to see his situation clearly. However, before he could move, a huge black shadow rushed out from the side and bit his head. Only when the behemoth fell into the water did everyone see clearly what was attacking Mashi Gone. It turned out to be a huge crocodile that was over four meters long. After the crocodile bit the mohawk's head, it suddenly turned 360 degrees. Mohawk's body also spun around. However, the body of the mohawk was not as strong as the crocodile. After being spun around twice by the crocodile, the mohawk's neck made a snapping sound and the cervical vertebrae were broken. Seeing that mohawk was dead, the crocodile pushed his body to the center of the pool and then gradually dived into the pool preparing to wait for Mohawk's body to rot before eating it. The wasters have been cleared away. Please continue to eat. The butler continued to speak to the remaining players without any emotion. 
seeing the tragic situation of the Mohawk. Ajai was obviously frightened and dropped his half-eaten burger on the ground. Upon seeing this, the otaku immediately fell to the ground, picked up the fallen hamburger, and stuffed it into his mouth. Even the crumbs and jam that fell on the ground were licked up one by one. Although Fangirl and Garrison were not as exaggerated as Ajai, their eating speed was obviously accelerated, and they no longer had that leisurely atmosphere. Garrison was the first to finish. He thought for a moment and licked the sauce off his plate. After all, he has seen the ability of the game system to find faults, and he does not dare to give the game system any words. The fangirl next to her saw Garrison's appearance and frowned. She doesn't want this. It really damages her image. However, when she saw the butler's poker face, she felt scared again. She raised the plate in front of her aggrievedly, stuck out her pink tongue, and started licking the plate. As for the snowman needed players, they are still stuffing lobster meat into their mouths. He wasn't even sure whether he could finish the two lobsters, and the ones that fell to the ground were no longer within his scope of consideration. Seeing the looks of several people, Zhang Tuohai shook his head in confusion, just stuffed the remaining spicy strips into his mouth and chewed them slowly. The prompt system has told him that in this level, he only needs to finish the food normally. Licking the plate and leaving residue on the floor are all allowed. As long as it is not intentional, there will be no problem. After Zhang Tuohai finished eating the spicy strips, he threw the bag into the trash can nearby and looked at the people around him leisurely. Soon, half an hour arrived. The butler looked at his watch, then at the plates of everyone around the place, and pointed coldly at the Yeti mutant player who was still stuffing lobster meat into his mouth. Not eating all the food is required is a foul. Punishment will be imposed. Upon hearing this, the maid grabbed the Yeti mutated player by the back of his neck and dragged him to the side. When the snowman needn't player saw this, his eyes turned blood red. Want to punish me? Let's see if he has the ability first. The snowman needn't player popped out ten black nails from his hands. These nails were half a foot long, sharp and strong, like ten steel structures. The snowman needn't player twisted his hands and grabbed the maid's legs. If an ordinary person is caught, one of his legs will be useless. However, with a slight turn, the maid avoided the attack of the snowman needn't player not to mention her legs, and even the flying skirt did not touch it. The maid backhand slashed the snowman needn't player's neck with a knife. With a muffled bang, the yeti mutated player was knocked unconscious. The maid dragged the unconscious snowman needn't player to a huge aquarium, which contained dozens of piranhas swimming rapidly. The maid used a strong force and threw the snowman mutated player in. This punishment is to stay in the piranha tank for three minutes. And the timer starts, the butler said coldly. Chapter 463 The Sequelae Continue The butler took out a pocket watch with a gold bracelet from his jacket pocket, opened the cover with a click, stared at the second hand on it, and started timing. The piranhas in the fish tank began to bite the body of the yeti mutated player. The snowman needn't player was knocked unconscious by the maid's hand knife. It is more reliable to say that he was unconscious. At this level, even if he was thrown into the water, he would drown directly. Not to mention that there were a lot of piranhas inside. Three minutes later, most of the Yeti mutated player's body was mutilated, and the water in the fish tank was completely dyed red. Another player was completely killed. Looking at the fish tank covered with blood, John Tuohai's heart felt cold. There were a total of seven players participating in this game. As a result, three players died after a meal in the first level. This loss rate was really too high. However, the snowman needn't player felt like he was taking his own life. If he hadn't actively attacked the maid, but was thrown directly into the piranha's fish tank. He might not have died. It seems that in this maple leaf manner, you still have to exercise some restraint. Even if you are punished, it may not necessarily lead to death. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. However, this maid's martial arts value is so high. I wonder if it is included in the inheritance. Zhang Tuohai's mind was spinning. While he was deep in thought, the sound of clicking high heels sounded in his ears. The woman holding a round fan walked up to the maid and asked, is there a bathroom? There was some urgency in the voice. Please follow me. The maid turned around and led the way without any unnecessary movement. When the two passed by Zhang Tuohai, Zhang Tuohai saw the girl with a round fan looking very ugly. Is the poison working? Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. He remembered that the other party ate an ordinary filet mignon, which cost between 50 and 200. According to the rules, it should not be fatal. Now that Tuan Fan has reacted, then, turning to look at the sofa area. At this time, Garrison was half kneeling on the ground. His face was pale, 
and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. He covered his stomach with one hand, pointed at the housekeeper with one hand, and said intermittently, How dare you poison? It's just a little hidden punishment, the butler said calmly. His tone was extremely calm. There was no fluctuation at all, and his eyes were unusually cold. Is there an infirmary or a family doctor? I, I need treatment, Garrison said intermittently. It seemed that the poison was acting very violently. Okay, go forward, turn right, and go all the way to the end. There is a small medical room there, the butler said calmly. Thank you. Garrison gritted his teeth and thanked him. With the lessons learned from the first three guys, even he did not dare to be presumptuous in front of this butler. After speaking, Garrison staggered towards the direction pointed by the butler. Seeing Garrison leave, Zhang Tuohai came and sat down next to the house. What did that guy do? Zhang Tuohai asked pretending not to know. Who knows? There are too many ways in it. It's more complicated than a mystery novel. I can't understand it. Ajai pushed up his black rimmed glasses and said shyly. I don't understand it very well. By the way, are you okay? It's still intact now. But there are only two of us left. It will be troublesome if they hold grudges for a while. It's best to establish an offensive and defensive alliance between us. If they deal with us, we will join forces to counterattack and catch them off guard. Zhang Tuohai tried to build a relationship. Ajai thought about it and felt that Zhang Tuohai's analysis made more sense. Those two people have been punished. But he and Zhang Tuohai are fine. They will probably be targeted next. It will be beneficial to both parties to form an alliance at this time. Good. As soon as Ajai said a word, he felt a cold air in his stomach. And then it kept rushing back. Ajai tried his best to control this airflow, but failed. Puff. A loud voice echoed throughout the living room. This is not the most embarrassing thing. Ajai felt a hot and sticky feeling behind his butt. Ajai's face was almost red. And his eyes were foggy. He walked quickly towards the direction where Tuan Fan Girl left just now. Halfway through, he suddenly thought that the fan girl must be in the bathroom now. He didn't know how long it would take to wait. The villa was so big. There must be a bathroom on the second floor. Couldn't he just go to the second floor? No need to queue yet. After thinking about it, Ashai turned around and walked towards the second floor. When he passed by the housekeeper, he asked, Is there a bathroom on the second floor? Certainly. The butler's expression changed slightly. Then he regained his composure and said calmly. After receiving the butler's approval, Ajai walked quickly towards the second floor. He didn't even dare to run, because he felt that those sticky things had begun to flow elsewhere with his movements. The greater the range of his movements, the faster the flow. Ajai felt like he couldn't hold himself any longer. Sweat dripped down his forehead. His face flushed, and the fog on his black-rimmed glasses became thicker. After arriving on the second floor, he looked around. There were white wooden doors on both sides, all of the same shape. There was no sign on them. If he didn't push them open and take a look, he wouldn't know what they were for. However, Adai knew that he didn't have that much time to check. It would be nice if I asked the butler. Ajai regretted in his heart. How can I find the bathroom quickly? Ajai suddenly felt something in his heart. He remembered that Tuan Fan girl followed the maid along the corridor on the right until they reached the end of the corridor. According to normal planning, Bathrooms on different floors must be built in the same location, which facilitates the layout of pipelines. As long as you walk to the right, you will definitely find the bathroom. Ajai casually wiped the foggy lenses with his thumb and walked quickly towards the end of the corridor. At the end of the corridor, he saw two different doors. One door was locked. The other was ajar. Ajai pushed open the door, which was ajar. There was a tile floor, a sink outside, and a bathroom inside. But what is strange is that in such a large manner, a partitioned bathroom, like a public restroom, is built. For partitions in a row. Maybe for the servants? Ajai was extremely anxious at this time. His body no longer allowed him to think so much. And fog rose on his glasses again. Ajai quickly walked into the last partition, sat on the toilet, and finally relaxed. However, just when he felt so relaxed that he almost entered the sage mode, he did not notice that at some point above his head, a man crawling on all fours appeared. Maybe the other person was always there. But the anxious Ajai didn't see him. Chapter 464 Clues in a Study Zhang Tuohai sat on the sofa board. There was no mobile phone to play with. No one to chat with. Not even melon seeds. Which made him feel extremely bored. From time to time, he looked at the huge grandfather clock not far away. It had been half an hour. 
and everyone who had left had left without looking back. No one had come back. Did these people discover something and go explore on their own? Zhang Tuahai felt a little panicked. You can try to go to the study to get further clues. The system prompted. Yes. There are no restrictions on my activities anyway. I can also look for clues. Zhang Tuohai stood up and asked the housekeeper who had been standing beside him. Excuse me. When will the second test start? When it's time to start. It will start naturally. The butler said expressionlessly. If he wasn't wearing an exoskeleton. Zhang Tuohai would definitely beat this guy up. The Riddler is the most hateful thing. Okay. Can I move around freely now? Zhang Tuohai asked tentatively. Of course. You are one of the inheritance candidates in the will and are not a prisoner. We will not impose restrictions on your personal behavior. As long as it doesn't break the rules. The butler said calmly. Okay. Where is the study? I want to see it. Zhang Tuohai said. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, the housekeeper was slightly startled. And then said, Second floor. On the left. Second door. Thank you. Zhang Tuohai walked towards the second floor. Stepping on the thick carpet to the second floor. Zhang Tuohai opened a wooden door according to the housekeeper's instructions. The first thing you see is a huge study room. Facing the front was a huge floor-to-ceiling window. Flooding the ground with sunlight. There is also a huge desk in front of the floor-to-ceiling window. There are some pens. Inks and other stationery on it. But there is not half a sheet of paper. Zhang Tuohai looked left and right. There are entire walls of bookshelves on both sides. And a small ladder is placed in the corner for people to eat. Zhang Tuohai walked in and glanced at the books on the bookshelves on both sides. The bookshelf on the left is filled with large books and exquisite hard shell cases. They are neatly arranged in rows and rows. They look very stylish at first glance and have a full decorative effect. The bookshelf on the right is filled with various miscellaneous books and periodicals. From Alabuda to Treatment of Common Bamboo Rat Diseases and 32 Practices. Covering almost all categories that Zhang Tuohai can think of. Zhang Tuohai even saw several central novels placed majestically in the center. With so many books, how can I find clues? Looking at the densely packed books, Zhang Tuohai felt a little dizzy. With so many books, it would take a long time just to read all the titles, let alone look for clues from them. It is recommended to browse the second shelf on the left. The second shelf. The first book. The prompt system popped up again. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up, and he immediately walked over. Following the prompts of the game system, Zhang Tuohai found the book. The title of the book is very simple. Just Red Maple Manor. Zhang Tuohai took out the book, came to the desk and sat down, flipping through the pages. Zhang Tuohai discovered that this was a historical introduction to the manor and its residents. According to records in the book, this manor was built 30 years ago by the Earl of Windsor himself. The Earl of Windsor had a son and a daughter. His son was Jason, who was good at eating, drinking and gambling. After being drunk, he suffered an unexpected cardiac arrest and died suddenly in the servant's bathroom on the second floor. Daughter Ivanka is obsessed with medicine and especially likes to perform human anatomy. According to rumors, Ivanka had been researching skin replacement experiments before her death. As a result, due to overwork and operational errors, a fire broke out in the laboratory. When the flames were extinguished, only her charred body was found. The Earl of Windsor was so sad that he fell seriously ill. After he recovered from his illness, the Earl of Windsor converted the laboratory into a family infirmary and said that he had received an oracle and wanted to give away the family property to the destined person. But it must pass his test. The story ends here, and the rest is blank. What is this scenario? After reading the contents of the book, Zhang Tuohai looked confused. Only three characters are mentioned in the book. The old Earl of Windsor, his son Jason, and his daughter Ivanka. However, Jason and Ivanka are both dead and the old Earl of Windsor is also dead. Otherwise it would be impossible to leave a will. But what about clues? Three dead people? What kind of clue is this? Not a word about those bullshit trials, and what follows? Zhang Tuohai had a headache. However, since the prompt system said that there are clues here, there must be clues. Zhang Tuohai kept flipping through the books, reading word by word, trying to find useful information. However, after Zhang Tuohai checked it several times, he found that there was indeed only so much content. Just when Zhang Tuohai felt discouraged, he suddenly thought of something. He opened the book again and found the parts that he was more concerned about. Jason died in the servant's bathroom on the second floor, while Ivanka died in the original laboratory. Now the family infirmary. 
If we extrapolate from supernatural novels, there must be something dirty in these two places. And there must be ghosts of the dead lingering there. However, the world I live in should be scientific. Right. Zhang Tuahai thought to himself. However, when he thought about the talking fox, the black technology that could use the mysterious source stone to extend his life, and all kinds of weird clockwork technology, he was not sure. In short, it's better to believe that it exists than to believe that it doesn't exist. It's better to stay as far away from these two places as possible. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. After flipping through the books again, Zhang Tuohai stood up and was about to walk around the room and find some clues. At this moment, there was a knock on the door. Zhang Tuohai hurriedly inserted Red Maple Manor back and replaced it with How to Make a Useless Mechanical Device. After confirming that there were no mistakes, Zhang Tuohai coughed lightly. Please come in. It was the maid who appeared at the door. Mr. Butler invites you to participate in a second game project, said the maid. Thank you. I'll go down right away. Zhang Tuohai followed the maid downstairs. At this time, Garrison, a Zhai and Tuan Fan girl had gathered in the hall. However, a Zhai and Garrison looked very familiar as they were chatting and laughing. Seeing this scene, Zhang Tuohai was shocked. When did the two of them become so familiar? Formed an alliance? However, if an alliance is formed, shouldn't it be done quietly? What are they doing so obviously? Zhang Tuohai's mind changed, and he walked down the stairs slowly. At this time, the butler came over with a tray. The tray contained a cult python, three bullets, and a dice. The housekeeper threw out the cult python's magazine, loaded three bullets in the order of one empty and twenty-three, and then quickly turned the wheel to close the magazine. This game is very simple. According to the order of the dice points, everyone takes a pistol and shoots himself in the head. Those who are not dead will enter the next round. And those who are dead are automatically eliminated. The butler said and handed the dice to Zhang Tuohai. You are the last one to show up. So you should roll it first. Chapter 465 Garrison Transforms The last to arrive should be the first to throw? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the butler strangely. Then rolled the dice and threw it on the tray. Bada. There was a crisp sound. And a red dot appeared in front of everyone. One point. Youngest. It looks like it's up to you to start. The butler said as he handed the Colt Python on the tray to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took the pistol and his thoughts changed rapidly. Was he really going to shoot himself in the head? A 50% chance of death is too high a risk. Kill other players? However, there are rules prohibiting attacking other players. If you attack forcefully, according to the temper of the game system, the punishment you will face is almost certain death, which is worse than shooting yourself in the head. Do we really have to follow the rules? At this moment, a line of prompts popped up. The game restrictions were lifted 10 minutes ago. You can attack everyone in front of you. The target threat level is arranged from high to low. Housekeeper. True identity. Earl of Windsor. Ajai. Real identity. Jason. Fangirl. Real identity. Ivanka. Garrison. True identity. 2. Internship. P.S. Never try to attack a maid. Seeing this line of prompts in front of him. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but froze. He quickly opened the game system and checked. It was true that the ban on attacking each other and the ban on attacking NPCs had been lifted. It just sent a message without any prompts and no beeps. If not for the system prompts, Zhang Tuohai would still have not sure the restrictions had been lifted. This game system is really insidious. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai raised his head and glanced at the fangirl. The doubts in a shy and others' minds were all explained clearly. No wonder the butler always has a condescending attitude. It turns out that he is the owner of this place. The Earl of Windsor. No one of these people have become familiar with each other. They were already very familiar with each other. According to the description in Red Maple Manor, Ivanka once studied skin replacement experiments. Maybe the original players were skinned and replaced by them. The most hateful thing is that Garrison is actually a dog caretaker. No wonder I can chat and laugh with those NPCs. We are all our own people. How can we not talk and laugh? After co-writing until now, you are the only player left. Right? The dog caretaker and a group of NPCs banded together to lie to me. Right? Anger arose in Zhang Tuohai's heart. Sir, please play the game according to the rules as soon as possible. Otherwise you will face very severe punishment. Which I don't think you want to see. The butler said with a smile. That's right. Hurry up. Don't waste time. Ashai also said at the side. It doesn't matter. The 50% probability is already very high. If you win, 
Maybe everything here will be yours. Even the maid. Garrison also said while pushing up his glasses. Several people vaguely formed a semi-encirclement shape. Surrounding Zhang Tuohai in the center. Trying to put strong psychological pressure on Zhang Tuohai and force him to submit. You think it's fun to lie to me. Don't you? You actually handed me the pistol and tried to use the rules to get me to kill you. Right? Zhang Tuohai was sure that this gun and even the dice had been tampered with. If he dared to shoot, he would definitely die. Any 50% probability is a lie. With him. It is absolutely 100%. He? A smear rose in Zhang Tuohai's heart. And then he raised his pistol with a dejected look on his face. Okay. In that case. Then goodbye. Zhang Tuohai flicked his wrist, pointed the gun at the housekeeper with his backhand, and pulled the trigger. Boom! There was a gunshot, and a bloody hole appeared on the butler's forehead. Until this moment, he still had a smile on his face as if his plan had succeeded. And he didn't understand what happened at all. You dare to shoot? Ajay's expression changed sharply, and he looked at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief. Doesn't it mean that players can't attack NPCs? How could he kill his father? How dare he? Go down and ask your father. Zhang Tuohai turned his hand and pointed the gun at Ajai, and pulled the trigger again. Boom! There was also a bloody hole on Ajai's head. Ajai fell to the ground with disbelief in his eyes. After two successful blows, Zhang Tuohai turned his hand and pointed the pistol at the fangirl. At this time, the fan girl threw the fan in her hand towards Zhang Tuohai. At some point, a few more scalpels appeared between her fingers and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took a step back, knocked away the flying fan with one hand, and pulled the trigger one after another at the fan girl with the other hand. Click, click, bang, click. The last bullet hit the fan girl's chest, and a trace of blood seeped out of the Chong Sam. The girl's eyes lost color. Her body fell softly to the ground, and the scalpel in her hand fell to the ground. My marksmanship is pretty good. They all kill with one shot. The three most threatening ones are all dead. Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath. Raise your hand. Garrison pulled out a dagger from his boot, holding it upside down and approaching Zhang Tuohai. I have a gun in my hand. Zhang Tuohai raised the Colt Python in his hand. You think I can't count? Right? Garrison said with a sneer. You just fired a total of six shots. And all three bullets were gone. That broken gun is of no use to me. Besides, even if you the gun is full of bullets, and it's of no use to me. So give up. As Garrison spoke, large scales appeared on his face. And his body continued to expand. The clothes on his body were torn. A huge tail stretched out from behind him. And his palms and saws became huge. The nails turned into black claws. A pair of blue eyes turned red and the pupil stood upright, looking like a lizard man with a human face. Garrison exerted force with one hand, and the dagger in his hand instantly changed shape. Heck! Zhang Tuohai was shocked. Is this the weakest one? So how strong are the NPCs in front of him? While shocked by Garrison's power, Zhang Tuohai was secretly glad that he had killed those people before they could react. Otherwise, they would have been in big trouble. However, even now, the trouble is not small. How should I kill this guy in front of me? Judging from the strength he showed, his muscle strength is definitely not low. With such strength of muscles, it seems that ordinary pistol bullets can indeed be blocked. Moreover, there are those hard scales. Zhang Tuohai felt regretful at this moment. If he had known better, he would have come in wearing an exoskeleton and killed the opponent directly with a machine gun. At this point, I can only use that thing. Zhang Tuohai made a decision in his heart. Smashed the pistol at Garrison's head and then rushed towards Garrison. Chapter 466 Obtaining Red Maple Manor Zhang Tuohai rushed towards Garrison fiercely. Garrison's eyes flashed with disdain. In his eyes, Zhang Tuohai was just a little man worth mentioning who could be crushed to death with one hand. He grabbed Zhang Tuohai's neck with one hand and directly lifted Zhang Tuohai up. Boy, you still dare to attack me. I will break your neck bit by bit and make you feel the fear of death coming but being unable to do anything. Garrison's eyes flashed fiercely, and he increased his strength on his hands. Zhang Tuohai felt his neck being grabbed by a huge force, and he couldn't even breathe. However, he felt happy in his heart. He picked up Garrison's black nails with both hands and pulled out the ticket to the endless stream from his sleeve. Zhang Tuohai activated the admission ticket. A stream of light flashed, and the admission ticket disappeared. Garrison suddenly froze, stopping in place like a statue. Motionless. 
Zhang Tuohai wanted to break off Garrison's hand, but found that Garrison's hand was like a vice. Even though Garrison's consciousness had been absorbed into the endless dream, his body still maintained its original movements without any change. Grandmas! Zhang Tuohai pressed the button on the bracelet. The infantry fighting vehicle that had been parked quietly outside suddenly started, crashed through the outer wall of the room, and rushed in. Commander, do you need help? Classmate Xiao Yai asked excitedly. Put me down quickly! Zhang Tuohai shouted with his last breath of strength. Although Garrison was unconscious, the strength in his hands did not loosen. And Zhang Tuohai felt like he was about to suffocate. As you command? Classmate Xiao Yai popped out a robotic arm and held up a gasoline-powered saw to cut down Garrison's arm. Sizzle. Sizzle. Sparks actually appeared on the scales. Garrison's scales are actually so hard. If Garrison can still resist at this time, this level of defense will cause Zhang Tuohai a lot of trouble. However, Garrison was just a statue at this time, allowing Zhang Tuohai to do whatever he wanted. Zhang Tuohai used two electric saws to completely cut off Garrison's arms and fingers. This guy is really strong. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his neck and complained. At this time, there was a green mark on his neck. Rubbing his neck, Zhang Tuohai felt something was wrong in the atmosphere. He turned around sharply and saw a pair of eyes staring directly at him. This shocked Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai jumped back suddenly. And then he saw clearly that the maid was standing behind him at some point, with her hands folded in front of her, as if waiting for orders. Motionless. What do you want to do? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. The maid didn't answer. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand in front of the maid's eyes. And then, there was an inexplicable meaning in the maid's eyes. Zhang Tuohai always felt that the other party was looking at a fool. After studying for a long time, I still didn't understand what the maid wanted to do. So I simply stopped studying and got the rewards I could get first. Commander, what should we do with this guy? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. Saw off the head first. Zhang Tuai said decisively. Although the possibility of Garrison escaping from the endless dream was so slim that it could be ignored. Zhang Tuai still felt that it was better to be careful. Cut off the head first. In this way, even if Garrison has thousands of trump cards, he will be unable to save his life. As for the scales on the body, Find an opportunity to remove them and attach them to the exoskeleton to increase defense. So the work is not in vain. Clear. Xiao Yai took out a new chainsaw and started cutting Garrison's head. After exhausting the efforts of two tigers and three electric saws, Xiao Yai completely sawed off Garrison's head. Player Garrison dies. The game system promptly popped up the obituary notice. Seeing that the system confirmed that Garrison was dead, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he brought props like the Endless Dream ticket with him. Otherwise, if he had a head-on fight with Garrison, it would be hard to say who would win and who would lose. This guy's defense is simply too strong. It was so powerful that even Zhang Tuohai had a headache. It can be said that this is the ceiling of individual defense for players at this stage. Thanks to the game's mechanism, players were prevented from fighting each other. Otherwise, he and Garrison would probably have their heads blown off when they met. The maid stood nearby the whole time without any reaction. Just watching Garrison's head being sawed off without even blinking. Zhang Tuohai was worried at first that she would take action. After watching for a while, I found that the maid made no movement. So I simply ignored it and let her stand there. After Garrison died, the game system popped up in time. Because only one player, Zhang Tuohai, is left in the competition and the ending conditions are met. The copy of Red Maple Manor ends and rewards begin to be issued. Reward. The land of Red Maple Manor is transplanted into the player's car. The player can choose to open up a separate space or merge it into a certain facility. Warn. Because the player Zhang Tuohai killed an internal game player and was of a bad nature. The punishment mode was turned on and the vehicle level was forcibly reduced by one level. A ray of white light shone on the infantry fighting vehicle. And the infantry fighting vehicle began to melt like ice cream. What happened? Zhang Tuohai panicked. The infantry fighting vehicle is his foundation. If he is forced to downgrade, his future survival will be a problem. However, there was nothing he could do. At this moment, the maid who had been standing nearby moved. The maid came to Zhang Tuohai, stretched out her hand wearing white gloves, and touched Zhang Tuohai's face. Just erased that line of punishment. The white light shining on the infantry fighting vehicle dissipated instantly. And the infantry fighting vehicle returned to its original appearance. You dare to stop me. Angry voices came from the void. Moriarty, you have crossed the line. The rules are the rules. If you dare to break the rules again, the master will talk to you personally. 
The maid was not afraid at all, and said coldly, Snort. The voice in the void snorted coldly and disappeared. What? What's going on? Zhang Tuohai was stunned and had no idea what was happening. Sorry. I don't have the authority to explain it to you. If you have any questions, just reach the end point. The master will be waiting for you there, the maid said, stretched out an index finger and drew a circle in the void. And a door of light suddenly appeared in front of her. By the way, the master wants me to tell you something. The maid took half a step forward and suddenly turned back to Zhang Tuohai and said, For those entrusters, whether they are formal or trainee, you don't have to hold back. If you see a killer if you drop one and something goes wrong, the owner will naturally help you solve it. After the maid finished speaking, she stepped straight into the light door, and the light door disappeared. Zhang Tuohai was left stunned on the spot. Chapter 467 Unstable Potion Making Machine Looking at the direction in which the maid disappeared, Zhang Tuohai was in a state of confusion. What is this and what? How come someone suddenly jumped out to punish him? And then someone stopped him and canceled the punishment. The scene changed so fast that he almost couldn't keep up. Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and reviewed the scene again, slowly trying to figure out the flavor. He seemed to be involved in a high-level game. That garrison should be a person placed in the game by someone high-level to achieve certain goals. So he is so strong. As a result, he was killed by chance. The senior executive became angry and wanted to use his authority to punish him, but was blocked by another senior executive. His grandma! Who am I provoking? Zhang Tuohai scratched his hair helplessly. He just wanted to get some resources and live well. But he didn't pay attention and fell into the whirlpool of high-level fighting. A friend who works in the public sector has heard about this before. It is best for little shrimps like them to hide as far away from this kind of vortex as possible. Otherwise, a wave can smash them to pieces. However, there was no use worrying now. He had already stepped in, and could only hug one of the thighs as tightly as possible to save his life. Moreover, looking at that look, Moriarty's authority to intervene was limited. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been stopped by the maid. The most important thing is, judging from the tone of the maid lady, she seems to have a good impression of herself. What are you waiting for if you don't hug her thigh? Zhang Tuohai knows very well that since he has stepped into this whirlpool, he must stand in line as soon as possible. If he wants to bet on both ends, he will die ugly in the end. Moreover, the guy named Moriarty actually wanted to forcibly lower the level of his car, which would almost cut off his life. Since the hatred was sworn in, it was naturally impossible for him to run to the other side and place a bet. If you kill your dog, you will have to deal with me. Right. Okay. From now on, I will kill everyone I see. Let's see. Zhang Tuohai thought viciously in his heart. Anyway, the maid lady said, kill as you like, and if something happens, someone will help deal with the aftermath. Since this is the case, what does he care about? He can just do it. Red Maple Manor has been prepared. Will it be loaded into the car separately and become an accessory? Or will it be integrated with other spaces? The following are the names of spaces that can be integrated. High-end ecological park. High-end warehouse. Lilith's laboratory. High-end bedroom. It is recommended to integrate with high-end ecological parks to facilitate the construction of a complete ecological chain. Great benefit for the future. Prompt system pops up a prompt. Then integrate it with the high-end ecological park. Zong Tuohai follows the good deeds. A flash of white light flashed. And Hong Maple Manor disappeared completely. Zhang Tuohai and his infantry fighting vehicle appeared on the road full of ice and snow. Next to the road was a large open space, which sunk down more than five meters, and a large square pit suddenly appeared on the ground. Bravo! Zhang Tuohai hurriedly ran into the car and entered the High End Ecological Park. At this time, the High End Ecological Park had changed its appearance. The area had more than doubled, and there was a large maple forest and a winding river not far away. There are birds squirrels and rabbits in the woods, a family of beavers in the river, and some unknown small fish in the river, which seems to have added many more creatures. Let his high-end ecological park look more and more like a complete ecological circle. At this moment, a game prompt popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. The original house was recycled due to excessive damage. Zhang Tuohai can choose a new house, and the system will build it for free. Below are rows of pictures. Everything from holiday cabins all the way to ultra-luxurious castles. Zhang Tuohai looked through it and finally selected a luxury villa with 20 rooms and a usable area of more than 2,000 square meters. Well, I'm alone now. It's better to have a smaller house. It's too big. 
too spacious, and unpopular. Zhang Tuohai thought about it again and again, and finally gave up the castle and chose a villa. Of course, the lack of an elevator in the castle is also a major problem. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to climb the stairs. As soon as Zhang Tuohai finished choosing, a super luxurious villa appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai, just like the one in the previous picture. Quite presentable. Zhang Tuohai was about to go in for a visit when the door of the garage next to him opened automatically. Four cars were revealed. Four vehicles, a Lexus, a modified Hummer, a modified giant car, and a super touring car were lined up in a row. They were surprisingly the same cars that Garrison and the others drove before. It turns out to be here. When Zhang Tuohai saw it, he was immediately overjoyed and called 001 to dismantle the cars. If he had been like him in the past, he would have kept one of these four cars as a means of escape if something went wrong. However, things are different now. After entering the arena, he has no way out. He can only have a chance of survival by moving forward, defeating all enemies and showing his worth. Otherwise, if it loses its value, even if it temporarily escapes a life, it will eventually be abandoned and its death will be even more ugly. Rather than that, it would be better to make a desperate move and increase the attack to the full point. 001 immediately began to dismantle these cars. Soon, these cars were dismantled. Finally, Zhang Tuohai got a drawing. One is a Hummer transformation drawing, and the other is a giant wheel vehicle transformation drawing. They are the same as the ordinary transformation drawings, which means spending some resources to directly transform the car into a RV or a giant wheel vehicle. The good thing is that you don't need those accessories. As long as you have enough resources, you can take shape immediately. The disadvantage is that subsequent transformation is difficult and the upgrade potential is limited. Zhang Tuohai naturally doesn't need it, but it's appropriate to sell it to other players. The last drawing moves Zhang Tuohai the most. Unstable Potion Making Machine, a special accessory that can be placed into the corpse of a creature to obtain a potion of random quality. After taking it, the user will have some of the characteristics of the creature put into it. Manufacturing Materials, High Grade Metal Ingots, 100 Units, Metal Parts, 200 units, high grade plastic, 100 units, high grade rubber, 100 units, high grade glass, 50 units, advanced electronic components, asterisk 5. Seeing this drawing, Zhang Tuohai finally knew what was going on with those weird half human, half creature guys. It turned out that it was all the fault of this machine. However, now that it fell into Zhang Tuohai's hands, Zhang Tuohai's mind became active. If this thing were made, it would definitely be a huge leak harvester. Who wouldn't want to become stronger immediately? Just look at the Snow Silkworm Man, Snowman Transformer, and Ice Spider Man. Some people are willing to become so ugly, which shows the charm of strength. Why don't you make one and try it? It's a potion of poor quality. So it's okay not to sell it. Zhang Tuohai hesitated for a moment and clicked make. Chapter 468 Potion Test. A white light flashed. The material disappeared and a machine appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. There is a huge funnel-shaped feed opening on the top, and a round roller placed on the shelf below. A square box is connected to the side, and next to it is an outlet. It looks very simple. We have to find a test product to try. Zhang Tuohai stared at the machine and thought. But what should be used to test it? The corpses of the previously killed creatures had been disposed of, either abandoned or burned to ashes and made into bone meal. He had killed countless creatures, but now there was not a single corpse to use for experiments. I have to say this is a bit funny. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and finally decided to use Garrison's body as a test subject. It's already dead anyway, so it can be used as waste. Zhang Tuohai threw Garrison's body in. I have to say that the crushing function of this machine is really powerful. Zhang Tuohai used several electric saws to cut off Garrison's hand. However, within a few minutes of being thrown into the machine, it was already beaten into flesh. Sauce. Buzz. The machine buzzed. And after a while, a can of Red Bull like can drink rolled out from the outlet. This. Zhang Tuohai picked up the drink in a daze. And a line of game prompts appeared on it. Lizardman Transformation Potion, improved type incorporated into some human genes. After drinking it, it greatly enhances physical strength, muscle and bone strength, but weaker than the original effect. Cancels scales. Enhances skin flexibility. Cancels body enlargement, tail shrunk, retaining claws, and greatly increased speed. After drinking it, you will go through a 10-minute body transformation period. You will face great pain, but you will be 100% successful. This thing, 
Zhang Tuohai held this thing and observed it for a long time. Compared with the garrison version, this thing is less sturdy and faster. It's hard to say whether it's good or bad. However, for players, it is definitely a huge improvement. However, Zhang Tuohai will definitely not use it. Mainly because after Garrison used it, it looked so scary that Zhang Tuohai couldn't even accept it. Even if he needs to enhance his own strength, he has better nano machinery injections and does not need to transform himself into such a terrifying thing. Since it is no longer used, it can only be sold. However, who to sell it to is a question worth thinking about. Strong players may not be interested in this kind of thing. Women will pay more attention to appearance. Even if they are forced by strength, they will be greatly discounted because of appearance. As for those who didn't get along well, Zhang Tuohai didn't consider them at all because they couldn't sell for a high price. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai suddenly discovered that the people who were most willing to buy and most receptive were actually people from the secret order. They are one of the wealthiest people under the blessing of the mysterious shadow statue. After being PA'd by Garrison, their desire for their own power is also higher and their requirements for appearance are lower. It seems that only they can afford a higher price. Moreover, after selling it to them, Zhang Tuohai had no worries when encountering him again. He could kill him again and refine it into a potion again to see what effect the new potion had. The more Zhang Tuohai thought about it, the more he felt that this plan was feasible. Moreover, there is no psychological pressure. Just do it if you think of it. Zhang Tuohai began to browse regional channels, looking for members of the secret order. Finally, he settled on a target, Cullinan. There was no other reason for choosing him. It was because Cullinan was a fat man with two gold teeth in his mouth. He looked like a rich guy at first glance. Zhang Tuohai sent the effect map of the potion. Cullinan was currently sitting in a super RV, squatting in front of the freezer and counting the hearts inside. One, two, three. At this moment, the private message notification sounded. Who sent it? The boss should be busy with the mission now. Why would he send me a message? Isn't it the guy from Sackler who wants to cause trouble again? Cullinan was extremely dissatisfied. Counting his heart every day was his happiest moment. However, he didn't dare not answer. He couldn't afford to offend either Garrison or Sackler. The two giants of the secret order. Cullinan reluctantly clicked on the private message. It was an unknown person. Cullinan subconsciously wanted to close it. But after he glanced at the information inside, the hand he wanted to click to close froze in midair and could no longer press it. Lizardman Transformation Potion? 100% successful? Cullinan's eyes lit up. As a member of the Secret Order, he naturally obtained a potion that could change his body. However, Cullinan was not very lucky. After drinking a bottle of potion, he only had a dog's tail, but otherwise remained unchanged. With his appearance, he naturally became the target of cancellation by other members, make him unable to hold his head high in front of other members. The reason why he hunts down players so hard is to obtain enough resources and exchange for a potion to cancel this damn dog's tail. Even if he turns into a snow silkworm, he can accept it. Therefore, when he saw Zhang Tuai's potion, he couldn't take his eyes away. According to the description of the potion, he can maintain his human form at ordinary times. And when fighting, he can also transform his claws and tail, which is much better than a dog's tail that can only wag wildly. We must get it! Cullinan made up his mind. How to sell? Cullinan immediately replied to the message. The higher the quality of drawings or treasured items, the better. Don't try to give me those ordinary things. I don't like them. John Tuohai said as he took a photo of a warehouse full of hams and sent it. So much ham. Cullinan's eyes widened. Before he entered this game world, he was an avid ham lover and his dream was to collect all kinds of hams from all over the world. He even built a warehouse specifically in the yard to store all kinds of hams. Now that I saw this photo posted by Jean Tuohai, I suddenly lost my composure. Not only do I want to get the potion, I also want to get these hams. Cullinan couldn't help but clenched his fists and looked at the statue next to him. It seems that I have to use this thing again. A photo triggered Cullinan's murderous intention, which Jean Tuohai did not expect. He just took a random photo to prove his strength and didn't want Cullinan to fool himself with ordinary things. In order not to arouse people's greed, he also deliberately avoided the piles of cans and high-end materials and only took the most inconspicuous ham. Unexpectedly, it still aroused Cullinan's evil intentions. The exchange must be successful. Take the potion immediately. Complete the transformation. Then activate this thing. Complete the hunt. And then take back the hams and exchanged items. 
Cullinan had a plan in mind. However, there is a problem that needs to be solved here. That is, the drawings used for exchange must be high-end, must be able to attract the other party's attention, and must ensure that the other party cannot build successfully, so that you can ensure that you can successfully take back the drawings. Otherwise, if the other party builds the blueprint, he will lose a blueprint in vain, which he cannot accept. Which one should I choose? Cullinan was rummaging through his collection. And suddenly, his eyes locked on a drawing. Chapter 469 hit you with your cannon. This will definitely work. Cullinan looked at this drawing and was full of confidence. 125mm smoothbore cannon, level 4 automotive accessory. The ammunition fired is a stabilized wing sabo armor piercing projectile. It can work normally under all extreme conditions and penetrate 1,000mm of homogeneous steel armor, 500mm of composite armor, and 100mm of titanium alloy armor. Crafting materials, titanium alloy, 50 units, high-grade metal ingots, 50 units, metal parts, 100 units. Appendix, stabilized wing sabo armor piercing projectile production drawing. This thing can't be made, can it? Cullinan fumbled with the drawing. Putting the car grade aside for now, he didn't believe anyone could take out this titanium alloy. All of their fleets have mysterious shadow statues, and they can collect supplies twice as fast as ordinary players. Even so, they have not been able to obtain even a piece of titanium alloy, and there is no way to obtain it. He didn't believe that any player could come up with enough resources to make this thing, and he would definitely be able to safely recover the drawings. That's it! Cullinan rubbed his hands, and sent over the performance parameters of the 125 smoothbore cannon. However, he was a little more thoughtful and deliberately did not send out the manufacturing materials. He was afraid that the other party would stop buying it after seeing the production materials. This thing is pretty good. Looking at the parameters of the 125 smoothbore cannon, Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied. He is now worrying about how to increase the power of the artillery. After all, the matter with the Eye Spider O coin and the clockwork armor hadn't been over for long. And it still bothered him. The main gun is actually unable to cause effective damage to the opponent, which shows that his artillery still has room for upgrade. The 125mm smoothbore gun just solves this problem. 1000mm of homogeneous steel armor and 500mm of composite armor, which already exceeds the protective performance of most land warfare weapons. Not to mention that it can also break through titanium alloy armor of no more than 100mm. If the main gun is upgraded to this level, there should be no problem in defeating the boss and breaking through the defense. As for the problem of not being equipped with high explosive bombs, Zhang Tuohai didn't care too much. Zhang Tuohai had long handed over the task of high explosive plus firepower coverage to rockets. It has a large coverage area, strong power, high density, and fast speed. It is much stronger than high explosive bombs. The lack of high explosive bombs will not have a big impact. He even considered his future tactical arrangements, using armor-piercing shelling shells to open up the defense, and then using high-explosive shells to clear the ground. Just perfect. These guys from the Secret Order are really good at it. It seems like the leaks have to be cut according to the fat. John Tuohai agreed immediately. The two parties completed the transaction immediately, and both of them secretly rejoiced, thinking that they had obtained the greatest benefit. Cullinan looked at the potion in his hand, his eyes glowing green. Ha! Ah, lizard potion. I can finally get rid of the dog's tail. Cullinan opened the lid and drank the potion in one gulp. Tons, tons, tons. Cullinan drank all the bottle of potion without leaking a drop. As soon as he finished drinking the potion, Cullinan felt a strange feeling in his body. His body became hot, and a severe pain spread from the inside of his body to the surroundings. The muscles on his body felt like tearing pain. Ah! Cullinan screamed in pain. Along with his cry, his hands turned into black claws. The dog's tail turned into a thick and powerful lizard tail. His eyes turned into orange vertical pupils. And all the excess fat turned into strong muscles. It looks much more energetic than before. Pooh! Cullinan spit. And two gold teeth were spit out from his mouth. Cullinan touched his teeth. And the extracted teeth actually grew back. Ha ha ha! Cullinan looked at his majestic appearance in the mirror and laughed loudly. Let's see who else among you dares to laugh at me! Cullinan said, and slapped the table next to him with his sharp claws. The solid wood table was smashed into pieces on the spot. Ha! Ah, this is what power feels like! It's awesome! Cullinan's eyes were filled with excitement. Now that I have the power, it's time to take back the drawings! To express my gratitude to you, I will let you watch your heart being dug out with your own eyes! 
Cullinan touched the statue excitedly. Start the duel process. Player Cullinan challenges you to a duel. Please accept it. If you refuse, you will need to pay double the compensation. The compensation list is as follows. Below is a dense list of supplies. This guy also has something to invite a duel? Zhang Tuohai was slightly stunned when he saw this line of prompts. The last time I saw this thing was at the Sakura Convoy in the Second World. He also confiscated the statue and used it as a trump card. But he never had the chance to make a move. Unexpectedly, I was asked to fight again today. Cullinan? Isn't this the person who bought the potion just now? Just after drinking the potion, he felt that he was okay and wanted to come over to grab supplies? A sneer appeared on Zhang Tuohai's lips. Okay, since you want to rob it, then I will grant it to you and let you taste the power of the artillery you sold. Zhang Tuohai decisively chose to agree. Because you are the passive challenger, you have the right to choose the venue first. Of course, you can also choose to waive this right. Then the game system lists a lot of optional scenes, arena, tropical rainforest, desert, maze, ruins of death, swamp, desert island. This guy's speed has been greatly improved. You can't choose a too big venue. You must limit the use of his advantages. It's best to kill him with one shot. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and finally chose the arena. This scene has a small area and limited maneuvering space. Both sides can meet each other as soon as they appear, which is most suitable for players like him with firepower coverage. Scene selected. Loading. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. When the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai appeared in a huge arena. The ground was covered with yellow sand, and there were specks of blood and broken weapons everywhere. It was unknown how many people died tragically on this land. Parked opposite him was a huge tiger main battle tank. There is also a ferocious spike steel armor on the outside, which looks majestic. Seeing the tiger tank, Zhang Tuohai showed a disdainful smile on his face. This thing may have been considered top-notch during World War II, but in front of modern artillery, it was no different than paper. Classmate Xi'ai, let him taste the power of the new artillery, Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Classmate Xi'ai happily loaded a stabilized wing sabo armor-piercing projectile, aimed at the tiger tank in front, and pressed the launch button. At this time, Cullinan was rubbing his sharp claws, imagining tearing open the opponent's chest and taking out the heart. After discovering that the venue was a duel, Cullinan was relieved. The tiger tank in his hand focused on strengthening defense and artillery and was not good at speed. He was most afraid of Zhang Tuohai playing hide-and-seek with him, which would cause him trouble. After seeing the arena chosen, he felt like he had won half the battle. When he saw that the opponent was an infantry fighting vehicle, his heart became more stable. His tiger tank had just been equipped with 200mm composite front armor, and infantry fighting vehicles were notoriously incapable of attacking tough targets. He was even more confident in victory. Just when he was wondering whether to win with artillery or rush out directly, and tear apart the opponent's armor. His eyes caught a glimpse of the 125mm rifle gun on the opponent's car. How is this possible? How did he get titanium alloy? He? Cullinan became frightened and stepped on the accelerator desperately to avoid it. But it was too late. A cannonball became bigger and bigger in his eyes. Chapter 470 Death at the Speed of Light No! Cullinan screamed. However, it was too late. The stabilized wing sabo armor-piercing projectile had hit the front armor of the tiger tank. This kind of armor-piercing projectile can penetrate even 500 millimeters of armor, let alone the 200 millimeters of composite armor installed on the tiger. The sharp warhead directly pierced the armor and penetrated into the interior of the car body. Cullinan put his hands in front of his chest, trying to block it. However, the sharp bullet pierced him completely. The scorching heat directly burned his internal organs into ashes, giving off a burnt smell. He himself was broken into two pieces, with his lower body still sitting in the original position, and his head and half of his shoulders hit the iron wall directly. However, he no longer felt any pain at this time. Player Cullinan dies, and the duel ends. All items belonging to Cullinan belong to Zhang Tuohai and are being transferred. White light enveloped the two cars again. Zhang Tuohai reappeared on the original road. It's just that there is an additional Cullinan Tiger tank next to it. Tell me why you are so polite! and you are rushing to deliver gifts. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and came to Cullinan's tiger tank. The warehouse roof has opened automatically. Zhang Tuohai jumped in directly. The inside of the tiger tank has been decorated. Unlike other people's luxurious interiors, Cullinan decorated the inside of the tiger tank like a kitchen. On the chopping board not far away, there is a half-cured ham. 
There is also a freezer with a lid open on the right. Zhang Tuohai walked over and was surprised to find 12 human hearts neatly placed in the freezer. Under each heart, there is also a photo of the victim at the time of death. Above the freezer is the shrine of the mysterious shadow. It's really not a good thing. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and wandered around in the car. Without much effort, Zhang Tuohai found a warehouse. There was nothing else in the warehouse, and it was filled with all kinds of hams. Various, filled with the unique salty flavor of ham. TSK! TSK! There are so many hams! The number of hams on a single wheel is almost more than mine! Zhang Tuohai smacked his lips and continued to rummage in the car. After rummaging around, Zhang Tuohai was a little disappointed. Except for the warehouse ham. There was nothing special. Just ordinary things, such as biscuits and soap. Zhang Tuohai walked out helplessly and asked 001 to help dismantle the car. As for Cullinan's body, he dragged it out and threw it into the unstable potion-making machine. Zhang Tuohai really wants to know if the potion can be extracted again if he kills the person after he has absorbed it. If it is really possible, then this bottle of potion can be continuously recycled. I hope it can succeed. Zhang Tuohai clasped his hands together and prayed secretly. Ding. With a crisp sound, a jar of medicine rolled out of the outlet. Lizard Man Transformation Potion, fusion type incorporated into some human genes and some teddy genes. The properties of the potion have changed. After drinking it, the physical strength and muscle and bone strength are partially enhanced. The scales are eliminated. The flexibility of the skin is enhanced. The body's enlargement properties are cancelled. The tail is reduced. The claws are retained. The speed is greatly increased. And the desire to mate is greatly increased but the endurance will be reduced. 30%. After drinking it, you will go through a 10-minute body transformation period, and you will face great pain. But it will be 100% successful. Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai frowned and looked at the bottle of potion in his hand in confusion. The basic instructions for the potion haven't changed much. But what's going on with Teddy's genes? How come this Cullinan has Teddy's genes? Could it be? But isn't there reproductive isolation? How the hell is this done? Zhang Tuohai was puzzled as to why Cullinan had Teddy's genes again after drinking it. However, this is a minor problem. As long as the normal effect is not bad, there is no need to worry about selling it. As for reducing the durability, that's not a problem. It can also be sold with a little blue pill, which also increases the selling point of revenue. Zhang Tuohai put away the bottle of medicine and prepared to find someone to sell it to, or grab a guy from the secret order, pour the potion into the opponent, and then wash the corpse to extract the potion to see if Teddy's genes can be diluted. After getting the potion, Zhang Tuohai was about to leave when he suddenly felt someone tugging at the corner of his clothes. Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and saw that it was actually 001. There were two drawings in 001's hand. Hey, I'm good at it. I actually got two. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw it and immediately grabbed the two drawings in his hands. The first drawing is, as usual, the production drawing of the mysterious shadow. Zhang Tuohai only glanced at it and threw it into the garbage pile. He wanted to see how many he could collect in total. And if he collected seven, he could summon the dragon. If you collect ten of them, can you summon an enhanced version of the mysterious shadow? Zhang Tuohai opened the second drawing. Ham drying storage room, level two special accessory, which can dry and store ham to make the ham flavor richer. Crafting materials, intermediate wood, 50 units. This thing is okay. Zhang Tuohai looked at the drawings, nodded, and chose manufacturing. Anyway, the manufacturing materials are cheap, and there is some extra space for storing ham. In this way, part of the warehouse can be freed up to hold other things. After sorting out the trophies, Zhang Tuohai looked at the sky. It was already evening, and the sun was setting on the back of the mountain. It's time for dinner. Zhang Tuohai looked at the sky and felt that he had wasted an entire afternoon at Red Maple Manor. What a sin! It seems that I have to work overtime tonight and run an extra distance to try to make up for the wasted time. Zhang Tuohai thought. But before that, he had to make dinner. There happened to be good ham. So he made himself a pot of pickled fresh ham, which was very enjoyable. After eating, classmate Xiao Ai was responsible for driving. While Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel to see what the players were doing. As soon as he opened the channel, Song Shakong sent him a private message. Boss! Someone in Legend has found a way to exit the game. And it has been widely circulated. What? How to leave the game? Zhang Tuohai frowned upon hearing this. Yes. The method is to dig out the hearts of other players. 
after collecting a certain number, you can find a person and get the chance to leave. However, there are many versions of the news. Some people say that they want 12 hearts. And some say that they want 20. Some people even say they want 108. Chapter 471 Information Fermentation These must have come from the secret order. After listening to Song Shikong's report, Zhang Tuohai immediately thought of the information he had tortured from the snow silkworm and ice spider reformers. Boss, do you know? Song Shaokong asked in surprise. She also verified these information and checked several information channels before finally confirming that the source of the information may be related to the secret order. Unexpectedly, Zhang Tuohai directly revealed the source of the news. If I guess correctly, there should be another piece of news. That is, the player's heart can be exchanged for body strengthening potions. Zhang Tuohai asked. Yes, there is indeed such a piece of news that came out at the same time. But it is not as attractive as the first one. Song Shaokong said. Boss, how did you know? How do I know? Because the machine to make this thing is in my hands now. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the unstable potion making machine beside him. This is the general effect of the potion. You can take a look. Zhang Tuohai said and sent the lizardman's potion effect. If Song Shaokong takes a fancy to this potion, it is not impossible to sell it to her. They are all our own people anyway. This, let's forget it. Seeing the effect of the potion, Song Shaokong imagined the changes in his body and immediately refused. Now, she is living quite well relying on Zhang Tuohai. There is no shortage of various supplies. And there is no need to make herself look like a human being or a ghost. Then, boss, news about leaving the game. When Song Shaokong heard what Zhang Tuohai said, he already had some guesses in his mind. But he still asked reluctantly, Of course it's a lie. The guy responsible was killed by me. And the bottle of transformation potion was extracted from his body. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile, Then why did they send this message? Song Shaokong asked with some confusion. I have a guess. That it is to incite players to kill each other and cause as many casualties as possible. Zhang Tuohai said. Why are they doing this? Song Shaokong was a little puzzled. I don't know. I guess there is some ulterior motive. However, there are too few clues to tell. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said. He thought about it, but still didn't tell him about Garrison's entrustment. This kind of thing is so explosive. If it leaks out, I don't know how much trouble it will cause among the player community. If Moriarty notices it, something might happen. Right now, his strength is still too weak. Let's wait until it improves. Then boss, how should we deal with this news? Song Shaokong asked. What else can we do? Just stay on your own. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. Don't you care? Song Shaokong asked. How to care? We are all the poor people who have been dragged down from this world. And most of them are not living a good life. Suddenly a hope of leaving appears. Who is willing to give up? If you go up and tell them the truth, they might still return he will say that you cut off his way to leave, but instead blame you, or even take action against you. Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. Is that so? Song Shaokong is not a girl who is inexperienced in the world. When she was selling alcohol in nightclubs, she saw a lot of dark things. You can know the psychology of other players just by thinking about it. Okay, everyone has their own destiny. We can't say too many people. So just control yourself. If possible, find out more about the secret order. If you kill the secret order, these rumors will be disproven. John Tuohai said. Understood. I will pay close attention to news about the secret order. Song Shaokong said. The two discussed some more details. And Song Shaokong hung up the private message. And tell other friends the news. John Tuohai immediately informed these familiar friends of the relevant news. Don't worry. I definitely won't believe it. It takes the hearts of other players to leave. How could I believe such an outrageous lie? Su Chi said with a smile. Zhao Wanwan said that even if it was true, she would never do such a disgusting thing. At the end of the private message, she reiterated her desire to soak in a hot spring, hoping to meet Zhang Tuohai at the next intersection. Vladimir was even more interesting and responded with a video in which he was wiping a crowbar covered in blood. What did you kill? Snow Wolf? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously because in the corner of the video, he seemed to see a fluffy tail that looked a bit like a wolf's tail. No, just smashed a dog's head that was smashed by the secret order, Vladimir said with a smile. Why did these guys provoke you? They actually asked you to use a crowbar? John Tuohai was a little curious. Vladimir usually either uses his fists or directly uses a gun. But this is the first time he has used a cold weapon. 
That guy has a dog's head. And he actually bragged about getting a potion to become stronger. Vladimir sneered and said, It's so funny. I just tried it gently with a crowbar. And its head broke. Well, Zhang Tuahai didn't know what to say. It's not good for these secret order guys to provoke anyone. But they chose to provoke Vladimir. Is this okay? Did you hit the iron plate? Zhang Tuahai continued to inform the remaining people. Among them, Li Feiyu was more interested in the jar of strengthening potion in Zhang Tuahai's hand. However, when she saw that there was Teddy's gene in it, she was finally defeated. She could accept it becoming weird. But she couldn't accept it becoming a succubus. There is no news about Hagrid. He is probably still hungover. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say about Hagrid. He obviously didn't have much capacity for alcohol. But he still liked to drink. In other words, he was lucky enough to meet himself. If he had met anyone else, he would have died a long time ago. After notifying several friends of the news, Zhang Tuohai finally breathed a sigh of relief. He found that since he came to this world, his heart had become colder and colder. Except for a few people he knew well. Others died. He became more and more indifferent, and his blood became colder and colder. Even if someone dies in front of him, he will not blink an eye. You know, before coming here, he was still someone who didn't dare to watch horror movies alone. Now, he has become a cold-blooded butcher. A dog's game. Zhang Tuohai cursed and turned to the regional channel. At this time, the regional channel was still busy, but no one mentioned leaving the game world or strengthening the potion. I don't know if I really don't know. Or if I just want to pretend to be stupid and take advantage of the troubled waters. Chapter 472 Revenge Looking at the lively atmosphere on the regional channel, Zhang Tuohai knew that there was an undercurrent surging beneath the surface excitement. The players who are chatting lively now may be thinking about how to kill each other. After all, the bait to leave the game is too tempting. If Zhang Tuohai didn't know the inside story, he wouldn't be able to control it. Even if it turns out to be fake, the materials obtained from other players are enough for them to learn their taste and even get worse. This news just opened a floodgate, expanding the dark side deep in the hearts of players. Zhang Tuohai is sure that even if there are no confrontational games or projects scheduled tomorrow, there will definitely be bouts of bloodshed among the players. At the same time, on a remote road, a huge RV was parked on the side of the road. The lights in the RV were brightly lit, and three people were sitting around a round table. Boss Sackler, the news has spread. What should we do? Asked a man with a crocodile head and body. Isn't that great? Sackler asked. But there are players who want to exchange potions with us. Crocodile head said helplessly. But that potion can only be made by Boss Garrison. But Boss Garrison is dead. So there is nothing we can do. That's enough. Sackler slammed the table. Garrison is dead. Now I'm the boss. Don't mention that damn guy again. Do you understand? Sackler said coldly. Yes. Crocodile's head trembled. But, on the player's side, okay, just tell them that the hearts submitted are not enough. Or there are many people in line in front of them. If you want to jump in line, you need to submit more hearts. Don't you know how to make up lies? I really don't know those damn school directors at community colleges. How did you graduate? With your butt? Sackler waved his hand with a look of disgust on his face. I know. I know. The crocodile head said hesitantly. You know. Why don't you go quickly? Sackler said coldly. The crocodile head rolled and crawled away. Celia, follow him. If he dares to have other thoughts, kill him and replace him. Sekiel said to the empty seat next to him. I understand. A voice came from the void. An almost transparent figure stood up and followed the crocodile head out. From the shaking light and shadow, we could see that it was a woman with an almost transparent body. Her upper body was humanoid. And her lower body turned into four sharp jointed limbs. It looked like like a half-human, half-spider monster. After both people left, Sackler knelt in front of the shrine of the mysterious shadow, clasped his hands and prayed. Oh, great mysterious shadow! Please tell me where I can find the machine for making potions! After saying that, Sackler took out a knife and cut his wrist, letting some blood drip on the statue. The blood fell on the statue and quickly disappeared into it. Then, the statue's eyes emitted a red light. John to a high. The statue made a low voice. Find him. Kill him. And you can get everything you want. As well as my reward. A player? Sackler looked a little downcast. If the opponent was a player, this would be a bit difficult. There are thousands of roads on the spiral mountains. And there are more than 3,000 remaining players. It is undoubtedly very difficult to find a designated player among so many people. 
Don't worry. I'll show you where he is. The deep voice sounded again. In front of the shrine, white light flashed. And a moment later, a yellow sheepskin scroll appeared above the shrine. Take it. Go kill that guy. And I will give you everything you need. Even to truly replace Garrison. Everything to truly replace him. The statue's red eyes flickered twice. Then dimmed, turning into an ordinary statue again. Sakeli picked up the parchment scroll and slowly opened it. He found that there was a map on it. The surrounding routes were marked on the map. There were two red dots on it. One was himself, and the other was marked with a name. Zhang Tuoha. Great. With this thing. Why am I afraid that I can't find you? Sackler's face was full of excitement. Beyond the joy of getting the locator, Sackler was even more excited about the promise of a mysterious shadow that would truly replace Garrison. This is what excites him. The secret order was originally founded by him and Garrison. The two of them were about the same strength. Whatever happened, the two of them would discuss and resolve it. However, since Garrison first believed in the mysterious shadow, his strength has skyrocketed, quickly leaving him behind and becoming the leader of the secret order. Everything in the convoy is his own decision. Sackler wanted to resist, but he was not strong enough and could only endure it. Unexpectedly, the arrogant Garrison died. Everyone else in the convoy was in panic, but he was secretly happy, because once Garrison died, the secret order would be his world. Moreover, he has always had a guess that Garrison's rapid improvement in strength must be related to the mysterious shadow. Otherwise it would be impossible to explain it all. Now, the mysterious shadow has given him a promise, confirming that his previous guess was correct. Ha! Garrison, you didn't expect that I have also won the favor of the Lord. I will prove that I am more suitable to be the leader than you, and I will lead the secret order to a more glorious future. With longing for a better future, Sackler began to look at the map carefully. He found that the distance between him and Zong Tuohai was a bit far. From the current point of view, we have to cross at least six roads before we can meet each other. Moreover, the red dot representing Zong Tuohai is still moving. Humph. Let you live a little longer. Sackler walked to the cab, started the car, and sped forward quickly. Within a room, Moriarty turned off the microphone. A sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth. Humph. No one can escape my grasp yet. If they dare to kill the chess pieces I laid out, they will pay with their lives. At this time, Zhang Tuohai was speeding on the highway. Commander, there is something wrong with the road conditions ahead. Classmate Xiaoyai said. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai has withdrawn from Savage Six. The temperature ahead is steadily increasing. It used to be around minus 20 degrees. But the further I drive, the higher the temperature is. Now it has risen to minus 10 degrees. Are we going the wrong way? Is this still the case? Zhang Tuohai got out of the car and checked the situation. The road surface has always been tilted upward. And there seems to be no problem. However, the temperature outside is indeed a bit higher. Even though Zhang Tuohai was wearing an ordinary down jacket at this time, he felt a little hot. Since there is no prompt from the prompt system, it doesn't seem to be a big problem at the moment. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself, Let's go on and see what's going on. Zhang Tuohai made a decision. Chapter 473 Critical Moment Zhang Tuohai drove forward. But the further he went, the higher the temperature became. The temperature was still below zero before. But by midnight, he had even seen some of the ice and snow begin to melt and turn into streams. Flowing down the mountain, on both sides of the road. You can even see sparse weeds sprouting. What exactly is going on? Zhang Tuohai couldn't figure out what was going on. We have clearly passed the snow line. According to normal logic, the higher we go, the colder the climate should be. But why now it has become the warmer the higher we go? Everything is turned upside down. Zhang Tuohai is sure that the game system must be doing something wrong again. No matter. Since the prompt system hasn't prompted me yet, I'll just keep driving forward. I want to see what's in front of me. Zhang Tuohai drove forward and drove all night. When the sky got slightly brighter, he stopped the car and rested for a while. At this time, the temperature outside was already very high, with the temperature rising to about 10 degrees above zero. There was no ice or snow around, but lush weeds and shrubs could be seen around, and some small trees on the cliffs had even sprouted. Call! Zhang Tuohai stretched for a long time and took a breath of fresh air. After driving all night, he was mentally exhausted. Even though he was driving alternately with his classmate Xiaoyai, he was still a little sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I want to do something interesting to cheer me up. Zhang Tuohai stretched out, feeling a little bored. At this moment, 
he saw a sharp flash of light in the sky rushing towards him. Xiao Ai responded quickly and ejected 20 robotic arms, each of which held a 4-unit 23mm cannon. Da da da. Although Zhang Tuohai does not have a close and defense system or a dedicated air defense phalanx, the barrage of 80 cannons is comparable to the firepower configuration of an air defense battalion. Before the flash of light even got close to Zhang Tuohai, it was hit and exploded in the air, forming a bright firework. Rocket missile! Zhang Tuohai's expression changed when he saw the explosion while holding something. As an old player who has used rockets all year round, he knows what they are. Just now, someone definitely fired a rocket to attack him. Who? Players or natives? Zhang Tuohai looked at the direction from which the rocket was launched. At the end of the road, a huge RV roared over from a distance. The roof of the RV slowly opened, and another rocket launcher stretched out. Whoosh! The rocket roared out and shot in his direction again. Gone! Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly got into the car, stepped on the accelerator, and rushed forward. Click! 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 The cannon fired another barrage, blasting the rocket into the air. Where did this guy come from? He's so powerful! He even uses rockets! Zhang Tuohai looked at the opponent's rockets with envy. They were thicker and bigger than his own. But there were fewer of them. He could only fire one at a time. Unlike his own. Who could use rockets to wash the ground. At this time. The giant RV behind also discovered that the rockets could not effectively attack Zhang Tuohai. So they retracted the rocket launch slot. Instead. A cannon with an unusually thick muzzle was launched. Aiming in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. The caliber of the artillery seemed to be at least 200 millimeters. Is this a train gun? Zhang Tuohai cursed in a low voice, then did not dare to neglect and immediately took counterattack measures. Zhang Tuohai fired 20 rockets directly behind him for a covering strike, and at the same time activated the smoke generator. A mist rose from around the car, covering the nearby road, blocking the field of vision and making it impossible for the opponent to aim. As soon as the dense rockets flew over the giant RV, Several 88mm high-level and flat dual-purpose cannons stretched out from the carriage of the giant RV and fired continuously at the rockets. Bang bang bang. Those 88mm high-level and flat dual-purpose cannons were extremely accurate. 20 rockets were actually fired one at a time. And all of them exploded in the air. None of them came within 500 meters of the RV. Who is this? So powerful! Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed what kind of player this was. He was so fierce and his weapons were even more powerful than him. And even the caliber of various artillery pieces was larger than his. Especially the 88mm high-level and fly dual-purpose cannon was so accurate that the rockets could explode in the air, which directly cut off his idea of taking to the air for combat. Zhang Tuohai believed that as long as he dared to take off, those 488 guns would definitely teach him how to behave. It's so difficult. How should we deal with this guy? Zhang Tuohai frowned. At this time, Sackler, who had been chasing behind, was also a little surprised. Since obtaining the statue of the mysterious shadow, he has obtained an unusually rich supply of materials, and his strength has grown by leaps and bounds. He believes that among the current players, no one except Garrison is stronger than him. Now that Garrison is dead, he is the undisputed number one player. In his eyes, chasing Zhang Tuohai was just an ordinary small task. As long as he finds Zhang Tuohai, he can kill him with just one shot but I didn't expect that the guy in front of me was far beyond my expectation. Instead of solving it with one blow, he actually fought back and forth with me. He even forced out his 88mm cannon and made his 203mm train gun unable to fire. Aim effectively. This was the first time he encountered such a difficult enemy. Ha ha. You are quite capable. But do you think you can escape from my grasp like this? You are so naive. Sackler adjusted the elevation angle of the 203mm train gun raised the muzzle, and then pressed the launch button. Boom! There was a deafening sound as a huge artillery shell passed over Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle and exploded on the road ahead. The 203mm artillery shell was so powerful that it directly broke the two-lane highway in the middle, leaving a large crater with a diameter of more than 10 meters. If it was forced to rush through, it would definitely fall into the canyon. Shout Ai broke suddenly and stopped in front of the big pit, avoiding the tragedy of falling into the cliff. At this time, it is unrealistic to inflate and fly over the deep pit at ground level, because the huge RV was already chasing after him, and the 488mm anti-aircraft guns were ready. Zhang Tuohai was sure that as long as he dared to cross the deep pit, he would definitely be shot by 88mm anti-aircraft guns. 
a target as big as a helium balloon would never be missed. He would still be destined to fall into the cliff. At this moment, Zhang Tuahai encountered the most critical moment since entering this world. The huge RV slowly stopped 500 meters away. Its huge muzzle pointed at the mist. Sekna picked up the loudspeaker and said loudly, Friends in front, don't make fearless resistance. Come out, as long as you hand over something. I can let you go. Chapter 474 Crack Sackler shouted loudly with a loudspeaker, trying to lure Zong to a high out and kill him. Now that the infantry fighting vehicles were hiding in the fog, Sackler did not dare to bombard them with heavy artillery. After all, the machine for making medicine was most likely in Zhang Tuohai's car. If it was broken, he wouldn't even have time to cry. Zhang Tuohai hid in the fog and did not dare to fire back. He didn't know how thick the armor of Sackler's super touring vehicle was and whether it could withstand his main gun. If he can't bear it, everyone will be happy. And he can take advantage of the situation to get out of trouble. But if he resists, his position will be exposed and he will probably be taken away by a shot from the opponent's main gun. He didn't know Sakeli's heart was full of fear. And he was also frowning. No. Time waits for no one. We must find an opportunity to kill him quickly. Zhang Tuohai's mind changed rapidly. He thought for a moment and pulled Lilina out. Come out with me to deal with an enemy. Who is it? Lilina asked excitedly. Rather than holding a screwdriver. She prefers cutting people with a knife. That's the guy outside. Zhang Tuohai pointed to the RV outside. Stay a while and rush out together to kill this guy. Otherwise, we won't have a good life, Zhang Tuohai said. Understood. Lilina moved her body aside. Zhang Tuohai also brought the can out, patted the can on the shoulder and said, Wait a moment. Rush over from the front. Catch the guy inside and smash his head. Ken Ken nodded and raised the tower shield in front of him. Superior. Zhang Tuohai gave an order, and three figures rushed out of the fog and rushed towards the giant RV. Sackler was startled when he saw three phantoms rushing out of the fog, and then became ecstatic. He immediately activated his automatic close-range defense machine gun and fired at several people. As for the 88 gun, due to the shooting angle problem, it cannot hit targets that are too low. Zhang Tuohai and others avoided it perfectly. Although he was unable to use the 88 gun, Sackler was still confident. Even though he didn't expect so many people in Zhang Tuohai's car, he didn't care at all. He has six 12.7mm close and defense machine guns, which are enough to kill all intruders. At least, from what he knew now, there was no body armor that could block machine guns. Sackler was so confident in his weapons that he was even ready to take over the potion-making machine. However, something he didn't expect happened. Zhang Tuohai's exoskeleton has been strengthened several times, and he has no problem blocking heavy machine gun fire. Not to mention Lalina's physical strength. She didn't even need to resist. She could even dodge those bullets using her movement speed. As for the mid laner, Can, he directly raised the huge tower shield and blocked his body tightly. The heavy machine gun bullets were all bounced away, unable to cause even a trace of damage to him. Damn guy! Why are you so powerful? Sackler was a little angry. Something unexpected happened, which made him very unhappy. He pressed a red button angrily. The front hood of the car was opened and a 40 millimeters rapid-fire cannon stuck out from inside. Go to hell! Sackler pressed the start button. Duh duh duh. The 40 millimeters rapid-fire cannon hit the shield of the can in an instant. The huge impact pushed the can backwards, and the huge tower shield suffered varying degrees of damage. Isn't this dead? If you try this again, I won't believe it. Sackler pressed another button. Whoosh! A short-range anti-tank missile was launched from the launch slot. Moved in an arc, and hit the can. Boom! A small mushroom cloud rose. At the same time, Sackler pulled the car's control lever and controlled the car to retreat rapidly, trying to distance himself from Zhang Tuohai and Lilina. However, at this time, Zhang Tuohai opened his palm, and there was a crack in his palm. The machine gun in his palm burst into flames, and a series of bullets shot at the link of the 40mm cannon. This cannon has not been specially reinforced and it has never been thought that the cannon will be used as a key target. As a result, after being hit by dozens of bullets, the quartering device inevitably suffered some malfunctions, and was unable to turn normally. Damn guy! Sackler cursed under his breath. The 40mm machine gun is his most powerful closed defense weapon. If it is lost, he will lack many means of response. Humph! There is still a chance. As long as you let me distance you, I will make you look good! Sackler snorted 
and finally pressed a button with a flame symbol on it. Several nozzles protruded from the car, and blazing flame shot out from the pipes. The blazing flames enveloped the front half of the car, making it impossible to get close. I'll see what you do. Sackler's eyes flashed with pride. John Tuohai's foot speed did not slow down, and he activated the ultra-miniature rocket mounted on the exoskeleton. Whoosh whoosh. Several rockets were fired at the flamethrowers. As luck would have it, a rocket hit the oil pipeline. Boom. An explosion rose up from the super RV, shaking it violently and even breaking a hole in the side wall. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately fired a few more rockets at the hole and fired random shots at the inside with his palm machine gun. Da da da. Boom. Call. I don't know what was hit, but blazing flames and billowing black smoke came out of the hole. And the speed of the Super RV also slowed down. What happened? Sackler looked at the flashing warning lights with beads of sweat on his forehead. He kept hitting various buttons. But he still couldn't get the car to resume normal operation. Just when he was extremely anxious. There was the sound of breaking glass next to him. Sackler turned his head and looked over. And was shocked to see a metal man with a shiny body appearing outside the car. Sackler immediately turned the steering wheel. Trying to throw the other person off. However, Lilana is a not a robot and her hands and feet have long been turned into ice picks and inserted into the car body, and she cannot get rid of it at all. Come down! Lilina stretched out her hand towards Sackler. Her hand suddenly stretched out and grabbed Sackler. Sackler's mind was on the steering wheel, and he was caught off guard when his arm was grabbed and his body was involuntarily pulled out. At the same time, his hand turned the steering wheel and the car hit the cliff. The rear of the car was hit with a huge dent, but it finally stopped. You destroyed my car. That's unforgivable. I'm going to kill you. Seeing the miserable condition of his super RV, Sackler was so angry that he tore his shirt and his body began to swell. Chapter 475 Hellfire Sackler's body swelled up in the blink of an eye, and his body rose to more than three meters tall. Long white hair grew on his body, and six more arms grew on his body. In the blink of an eye, he transformed into a human being with long white hair on his body. Hairy eight-armed monkey. Roar! Sackler, who transformed into an eight-armed ape, grabbed Lilina's wrist with his backhand and slammed it down to the ground. Boom! Lilina was smashed to the ground, and fine cracks appeared on the ground. Boom! The eight-armed ape swung backhand and smashed Lilina to another piece of ground. A shallow human-shaped mark appeared on the cement road. Boom! 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 The eight-armed monkey swung Lilina back and forth and smashed her back and forth making two big holes in the cement road. In the end, the eight-armed ape swung Lilina hard against the cliff. Boom! Lilina was embedded into the cliff. Roar! The eight-armed ape roared and wanted to rush towards Zhang Tuohai. As a result, Kinkin had already rushed up and stopped Sackler with a huge tower shield. Is that okay? Zhang Tuohai moved over and asked. No serious injuries. Just a little dizzy, Lilina said. I have a way to kill it, Zhang Tuohai said. What can I do? Lalina's eyes sparkled. Do as I say. Zhang Tuohai came close to Lalina's ear and whispered the plan. Roar! The eight-armed monkey grabbed the limbs of the can with four hands and then punched the can with the remaining four hands like a taiko master. Boom! 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 After dozens of punches, Ken Ken's chest plate was dented. Bang! The eight-armed monkey punched out with all his strength, knocking the can away and falling heavily to the ground. Although the eight-armed monkey smashed the can badly, it felt uncomfortable too. Two of its ribs were broken by the can. After the eight-armed ape knocked out the can, he continued to hammer his chest with his eight fists, showing his strength. Thief! Stop leaving! Jean Tuohai shouted, raised a huge round hammer with a diameter of one meter, and smashed it down at the eight-armed ape. Seeing the huge round hammer hitting him, the eight-armed ape showed disdain in his eyes and he stretched out his eight arms to hold a huge hammer head in his arms. The eight-armed ape was about to throw the ball away with all his strength. At this moment, the originally smooth round hammer was suddenly densely pierced with hundreds of sharp spikes. Each of these spikes was fully to the ruler is so long that it can directly stab the eight-armed monkey into a sieve. Ho! Ho! The eight-armed ape panted heavily, his eyes full of unwillingness. At this time, it still has a lot of vitality and the ability to fight back. However, it didn't wait for it to make any move. Densely dense spikes emerged from the spikes that had penetrated its body. These tiny spikes grew wildly inside its body, turning its insides into mud. 
The eight-armed ape's eyes lost color, and his body gradually lost strength. Crash. Crash. Those spikes were retracted one after another and submerged into the body of the ball. Then, the ball changed and turned into Lilina again. Let go! Lilina glanced at Zhang Tuohai and said, Huh? Oh! Zhang Tuohai glanced at the thigh in his hand and quickly put it down. Lilina rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai, entered the RV, and checked to see if there were any remaining enemies. Zhang Tuohai came to the eight-armed ape. At this time, Sackler could no longer maintain the form of the eight-armed ape and turned back into the fat middle-aged man with a hairline crisis. Sackler's body was covered with blood holes. His internal organs were in pieces, and his eyes had lost their light. Eight-armed monkey. If this thing is extracted, there should be buyers. Right. Zhang Tuohai thought as he dragged Sackler's body back to the car and threw it into the unstable medicine-making machine. Buzz. Along with the buzzing sound of the machine, a jar of medicine rolled out. Zhang Tuohai picked up the jar of medicine. ECR monkey potion. After consumption, the strength will be greatly increased, and you can transform into an eight-armed ape. The defense will be slightly improved. You will have a bad temper, and will be dominated by emotions such as violence and anger. You will easily fall into madness. You need to use it with a sedative. It's just SOSO. It doesn't seem to be easy to sell. Zhang Tuohai knew that this thing would not sell well when he saw the description of this potion. Most of the players who can survive in this world are not too stupid and they all understand the consequences of such behavior dominated by negative emotions. However, this increase in power was really terrifying. Even Lelina was smashed back and forth on the ground. Most people would have been reduced to mincemeat if they had touched it. Maybe some players who worship muscles to the extreme will like it. Zhang Tuohai put away the jar of medicine. Lelina also came back with the broken body of the can for repairs. Thank you very much. I'd like to help you modify it. It's best to add some rockets or something. Zhang Tuohai feels that the canned food's ability to attack tough problems is still a bit lacking. And it would be better if it could be strengthened a little more. After listening to this, Lilina almost stumbled. Before she finished the work at hand, Zhang Tuohai arranged a new job for her. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he took 001 to dismantle Sackler's super touring car. Whether it is a 203mm train gun or an 88mm high level and flat dual purpose gun, Zhang Tuohai is very coveted. If the blueprints are disassembled, his strength can be further increased. Even if the 40mm cannon is taken out, something will be gained. Zila, Zila, 001 started dismantling a bunch of self-propelled machines. Soon, the huge RV was being dismantled into parts. 001 returned to Zhang Tuohai with two drawings. Zhang Tuohai opened the first drawing, which was the drawing of the mysterious shadow as usual, and threw it aside casually. Zhang Tuohai opened the second drawing. Hellfire anti-tank missile, guidance method, laser semi-active guidance, infrared imaging, projectile length, 1.7 meters, warhead, 45 kilograms, range, 8 kilometers, penetration depth, 1,400 millimeters, homogeneous steel armor, usage climate conditions, all weather, can lock targets in battlefield smoke, rain and fog. Note, due to its huge size, it cannot coexist with other rockets. If you want to install it, you need to replace it. Good stuff. Looking at the drawings of the Hellfire anti-tank missile, Zhang Tuohai immediately chose to replace the original honeycomb rocket. The original rocket is just the initial version of the rocket. After it is fired, what it hits depends entirely on luck. The lethality can only be ensured through large area coverage strikes. However, this undoubtedly resulted in a lot of waste. In addition, the original lethality of rockets is also a problem. There is no problem with dealing with ordinary vehicles and lightly armored targets. But if faced with heavily armored targets, the effect is not very good. This is not the first time that Zhang Tuohai has encountered enemies that honeycomb rockets cannot defeat. The emergence of the Hellfire anti-tank missile just helped him resolve the above problems. Laser guidance solves the problem of accuracy. The huge warhead and 1.4 meter penetration also ensure its lethality. The 8 kilometer range allows Zhang Tuohai to extend the combat distance which greatly ensures his safety. Make it! Zhang Tuohai immediately chose production. Chapter 476 Border Village Copy A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai's car, and the honeycomb rockets originally loaded disappeared and were replaced by the launchers of Hellfire anti-tank missiles. Zhang Tuohai also made a weapon storage bin for him and put it away. From the appearance, 
John Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle is just an infantry fighting vehicle with a relatively large main gun. And it does not look too conspicuous. Well, that's almost it. John Tuohai looked at the infantry fighting vehicle and nodded with satisfaction. After modifying the car, John Tuohai continued to drive forward. The further you go, the higher the temperature becomes, especially after the sun rises. The temperature outside reaches about 15 degrees above zero. John Tuohai even saw a few winter jasmine flowers blooming on the cliff. Although the prompt system never indicated that the direction of travel was wrong. John Tuohai was still very uneasy and immediately sent private messages to several familiar friends for verification. Su Chi was the one who replied. Did the temperature get higher as you walked further? It's great. Finally, it's not us. I wish you had sent me a private message earlier. My sister thought I was pointing the wrong way and beat me up. After a meal, I still have a bag on my head. Suchi said aggrievedly. What? It's only 15 degrees there? It's already 22 degrees here. It's simply too hot. I can't stand it anymore. I feel like I'm going to die from the heat. This was Vladimir's answer, accompanied by a photo of a corpse lying on a chair. The rest of the people also gave affirmative answers. Indeed, the further you go, the higher the temperature becomes. It's so strange. Why does the temperature get higher as you go up? John Tuohai was curious. He had never seen this kind of phenomenon before. What exactly is going on? John Tuohai scratched his head and couldn't figure out what was going on. By the way, I still have a copy of the map in my hand. Maybe I can go in and ask about the situation to see if they know. John Tuohai thought of the copy map he obtained from the border village. Go in and take a look. Maybe you can get something. Even if you can't get any information. You can still get some supplies. John Tuohai thought about it and immediately took out the copy map and chose to enter. A flash of white light flashed and John Tuohai and the infantry fighting vehicle disappeared on the spot. The surrounding scene changed and John Tuohai appeared in a small village. The village was full of birds and flowers and the surroundings were full of vitality. It was an idyllic scene, completely different from the snowy border village before. Could we be in the wrong place? John Tuohai looked at the surrounding scene and felt that it was out of place with the border village. Apart from various houses made of blue stones and thick logs, there was almost nothing similar. Forget it. Let's find someone to ask about the situation. John Tuohai drove an infantry fighting vehicle and wandered around the village. However, something even weirder happened. There was no one in the village, and the whole village was silent. Like a ghost, John Tuohai walked carefully in the village. There were traces of human existence everywhere in the village. There were even freshly washed clothes hanging in front of several doors, still dripping with water stains. It must still be nearby. Zhang Tuohai pinched his clothes and made a judgment in his mind. If you were prepared to run away in advance, you would definitely not do the laundry. When he was about to pass through the village, Zhang Tuohai finally heard a whisper. There's someone ahead. Zhang Tuohai quickly drove forward, passing through the village. A huge altar appeared in front of us. On top of the altar, a little girl was tied up. The little girl was dressed in red and tied up with five flowers. Her eyes were filled with tears and her mouth was stuffed with a piece of cloth. She looked pitiful and pitiful, which made people feel pity. Under the altar, a circle of villagers were kneeling, and an old man was mumbling in front of him. What are you doing? John Tuohai asked coldly. You have met the priest of the border village. Please make your choice. One interrupt the sacrifice and save the tribute. You will gain access to the secrets of the border village. But you will be hated by the villagers. Causing unpredictable consequences. To join the sacrifice. Gain the favor of the villagers. Gain the qualification to eat at the table. And sit at the same table with the widow. In the instance after the sacrifice. Choose one of course. John Tuohai didn't hesitate and chose option one. Compared to having dinner with the widow. He is more concerned about the secrets of the border village. This may be able to solve the mystery of the strange climate and even allow him to predict future changes and prepare for the situation in advance. John Tuohai had just finished choosing when the eyes of the leading old man turned blood red. How dare you stop us from worshipping the great mountain god? Folks, he wants to destroy our village and our home. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! The villagers who were kneeling piously on the ground suddenly shouted loudly and rushed towards John Tuohai's car. Several villagers even pulled out muskets from their waists and fired frequently at the infantry fighting vehicle. There was a clanging sound, and the front armor was hit by bullets. Warning! Warning! Retreat immediately! Otherwise, I will shoot! 
Zhang Tuohai showed off a 4-unit 23mm cannon. The villagers turned a deaf ear and still rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. And various gunshots continued to ring out. There were even a few villagers trying to cut Zhang Tuohai's tires with sickles. You force me! Zhang Tuohai pulled the trigger. Ta 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 ta. The sound of machine guns rang out. Zhang Tuohai did not attack everyone, but just fired at a few people who fired. The villagers were immediately cut off by bullets from the machine gun, and half of their bodies fell to the ground. If a normal person saw this scene in front of him, he would have been scared away. However, the villagers acted as if they had not seen it, and continued to rush towards Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. Something weird! Zhang Tuohai was wary, and immediately pulled the trigger on the approaching villagers. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. A series of artillery shells were fired, and the villagers fell down row by row. But they still rushed towards Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. After a while, the gunfire stopped. There was no longer a villager around who could stand up. Zhang Tuohai stared blankly at the Shura field-like scene in front of him, somewhat in disbelief. He obviously came in to inquire about things and get secrets, but ended up killing all the villagers at once. What a nonsense question. However, he had no choice but to continue. There is something weird here. Zhang Tuohai frowned and looked around, hoping to find clues to solve these mysteries. At this moment, the little girl on the altar not far away spat out the piece of cloth in her mouth and shouted loudly, Brother, can you save me? Chapter 477 Stop Her Mouth Seeing the little girl on the altar, Zhang Tuohai hesitated. If only he could save her. He always felt that there was something wrong with this little girl. It wasn't that he discovered something wrong, but that something felt wrong intuitively. If you don't save him, he will kill almost all the survivors who can ask questions. Now there is only one left. If you don't save him, you will lose the clue to clear the level. Just when he was hesitating, the prompt system popped up. Accompanying the little girl to the underground palace is the best route. But be careful not to do anything to irritate the little girl. Otherwise, it is best to choose a cemetery with better feng shui for yourself immediately. Tip 1. Never let a little girl lead the conversation. Refer to the previous article for consequences. Tip 2. Little girls like sweets. Please increase feeding efforts. What did I say? Zhang Tuohai slapped his thigh. I knew there was a problem. However, now even if Zhang Tuohai knew there was a problem, he had no choice but to rescue the little girl. Of course, rescue is rescue. And methods must be paid attention to. Zhang Tuohai took off his exoskeleton, changed into a clean outfit, dressed up like a polite scum, and got out of the infantry fighting vehicle. Before leaving the house, I filled my pockets with candies. Zhang Tuohai quickly came to the altar, and with a smile on his face, he stretched out his hand to the little girl, lifted the little girl's hair from her forehead, and showed what he thought was a kind smile. Don't be afraid. I'll do it. Save you. Zhang Tuohai said as he took out a survival knife from his pocket and cut the rope that bound the little girl. Brother, thank you for coming to save me. Why aren't the people in the village as kind as you? Why do they all think I'm a monster? Why are they trying to kill me? You obviously had so much fun together yesterday. Why is this all happening? The little girl became more and more excited as she talked. Fine cracks appeared on her body, and wisps of black smoke slowly emerged from the cracks. Zhang Tuohai, he was shocked at the time. So I said there was a problem. Right? What the hell is this? Why is there still smoke? Just when Zhang Tuohai was stunned, the prompt system popped up the information. Hurry up and feed the sweet tooth. Don't let her lead the conversation. Wait until her outer skin completely falls off. And you can choose your own graveyard. The font is twice as big and bold as usual. Gone! Zhang Tuohai hurriedly grabbed a handful of lollipops, tore off the wrapper on one lollipop and stuffed it into the little girl's mouth. In a hurry, several lollipops fell to the ground. When the little girl saw the lollipop that fell to the ground, the black air on her head became more serious, and the cracks on her body began to spread rapidly around her, becoming more and more numerous and deeper. Seeing this, Zhang Tuohai helped pick up the lollipops and put them into the little girl's hands. He stumbled and explained, It's just that there's a little dirt on the packaging. When you're ready to eat it, just tear off the packaging. It doesn't affect the taste of sugar, so there is no waste. The little girl looked at the candy in her hand, then at Zhang Tuohai, thought for a while, and finally nodded. The cracks no longer spread, and the rate of black gas leakage is greatly reduced. Although there are still traces of black air coming out from time to time, it is much better than the previous steam queen-like speed. Seeing that the little girl calmed down, Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath 
and was about to ask something. At this moment, there was an earth-shattering sound in the distance. Boom! A mushroom cloud rose from the distance, and even the ground began to shake. What happened? Zhang Tuohai barely stood up and looked into the distance. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction of the sound. That was the direction of the top of the mountain. At this time, a black mushroom cloud rose into the sky. The black clouds quickly spread towards the surroundings. The sky quickly became dark. Lightning flashes flashed across the black and red clouds. And a strong smell of sulfur followed. The wind blew. And the temperature in the air rose rapidly. The hot air quickly evaporated all the moisture on the body surface. Zhang Tuohai felt that his throat was dry and had become hoarse. In the distance, pieces of red lava rolled down. Large swathes of trees were set on fire. And thick smoke obscured the sky. It all seemed like the end of the world was coming. Hey, the volcano erupted? Is the Spiral Mountains an active volcano? No wonder. Zhang Tuohai looked at the scene in front of him and felt that everything was explained. Why does the temperature get higher as you go up? Because, as you go up, the rock walls of the mountain become thinner. And the volcano has reached a state about to erupt. So the temperature is so high. As for the time to reach the top of the mountain limited by the game system. It is probably the time when the volcano erupts. If you don't reach the top of the mountain on time, you may be swallowed up by a wave of volcanic lava. There is no use hiding anywhere. They will all be burned to ashes by the hot magma. It's like being in a wasteland world. In the wasteland world, you can at least try your luck and find a larger island. However, here, you can't even fight for luck. If you can't reach it, there is only one word. And that is death. Get out of here quickly. Unless you want a free cremation. A prompt pops up from the system. Zhang Tuohai was shocked and withdrew from Lenovo. Do you know where there is a place to escape disaster? If we continue to stay here? I'm afraid we will all be burned to death. Zhang Tuohai asked the little girl. Below the ancestral hall in the village. There is a tunnel leading to the underground palace. The villager said that it is very safe there and can avoid any disaster. No one can find it. No one can find it. As the little girl spoke, the cracks on her body began to spread again, and the black air leaked out faster. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai hurriedly stuffed a piece of milk chocolate into the little girl's mouth, then picked up the little girl and ran towards the infantry fighting vehicle. Classmate Xiao Ai also adjusted the direction of the infantry fighting vehicle and was ready to set off at any time. Zhang Tuohai jumped onto the infantry fighting vehicle in two steps and shouted to classmate Xiao Ai, Let's go! Go to the village ancestral hall immediately. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai immediately started the infantry fighting vehicle and rushed towards the village. Zhang Tuohai had seen the village ancestral hall when he came here just now. It was a very conspicuous building in the center of the village. The village ancestral hall is a large iron gate with bluestone brick walls more than two meters high on both sides. It may be okay if it blocks ordinary people and wild animals. But it is no different from an infantry fighting vehicle or a paper house. Xiao Ai didn't even use the main gun. He accelerated and knocked the door open. He even knocked open the wooden door inside and rushed directly into the house. Chapter 478 The Truth About Boundary Village Zhang Tuohai looked at the surrounding layout. It was similar to an ordinary village ancestral hall. There seemed to be no hiding place. Are you sure we can avoid disaster here? Zhang Tuohai asked. Twist the candlestick. And a passage leading to the underground will be revealed. It can be found there. I remember. As the little girl in red said, the cracks on her body began to spread again. And the black air on her head began to increase everywhere. A lollipop was inserted. Okay. I understand. Leave the rest to me. Zhang Tuohai said jumped out of the car, and went straight to the candlestick. Zhang Tuohai held the candlestick and gently broke it. But there was no reaction. It's been in disrepair and is rusty. Zhang Tuohai tried to increase his strength. But there was still no reaction. Isn't it broken? Zhang Tuohai broke it with force. Bang! The ground collapsed. And a huge slope appeared under his feet. Zhang Tuohai and the infantry fighting vehicle slid down together. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai accelerated and ran a few steps caught up with the infantry fighting vehicle that was slipping away, and rushed down with him. The car entered a dark underground space. Crunch! A harsh sound came. Zhang Tuohai looked back and saw that the huge slope was slowly rising, and finally closed up, returning to its original appearance. The underground space fell into darkness. Uh-huh! The car headlights came on, illuminating the dark underground space. In the light, the cracks in the girl's body were spreading and black energy was leaking. Upon seeing this, 
Zhang Tuohai immediately took out a candy gift bag from the car and stuffed it into the girl's arms. Looking at the colorful candies in the gift bag, the girl calmed down and the crack stopped spreading. Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath and then had time to check the surrounding situation. This is a long, dark tunnel that leads to nowhere. However, the road was cut off at this time, so he had no choice but to move forward. The infantry fighting vehicle moved forward slowly. The girl sat on the roof of the vehicle and ate a lollipop in small bites. Her attention was attracted by the candy bag in her arms. Zhang Tuohai looked around and checked the surrounding situation. The surrounding walls are all made of bluestone, which looks extremely solid, and there are some murals on the walls. Zhang Tuohai looked at it carefully. Through those murals, Zhang Tuohai learned some hidden secrets in the village. A group of refugees trying to escape the war crossed the snow line, accidentally discovered a paradise, and finally settled down. However, they found that it was not as beautiful as they imagined. They found a stone tablet. According to the description on the stone tablet, they must sacrifice a 12-year-old girl to the mountain god every year. Otherwise, the mountain god will bring disaster and destroy the place. On the stone slab, a secret underground tunnel is also recorded which can be used as a final refuge. While preparing for sacrifices, the villagers built this underground tunnel as the last escape route. Every time they perform a large sacrifice, they will paint a mural in this tunnel. Legend has it that when the mural fills the entire tunnel, the disaster will end forever. This, Zhang Tuohai looked at these murals and didn't know what to say. If you are afraid of a volcanic eruption, just run away below the snow line. There are more than a hundred murals produced every year. Even if the Hundred Years' War is over, wouldn't it be nice to move to the mountains and live a better life? Do you have to sacrifice one person every year as a sacrifice? After reading the mural, for some reason, Zhang Tuohai felt a lot less guilty about killing those villagers. We are all guys with blood on our hands. No one should stand on the moral high ground and accuse the other party. The origin of the ritual in the border village has been found. But who is the little girl? Another question arose in Zhang Tuohai's mind. Anyone who is guided by his words will die. If he hadn't brought enough candies, I'm afraid the other party would have split open long ago. When the time comes, I don't know what terrible things will appear. What a shame! I should have known better that I wouldn't have come in. Zhang Tuohai thought a little depressed. Originally he just wanted to find out why it got hotter as he went up. But he finally found the reason. But he seemed to have fallen into a larger whirlpool. And he might die if he was not careful. Zhang Tuohai continued to drive forward while driving the car. At the same time, he stared at the little girl in red from time to time. If he found any movement in her, he would quickly stuff a lollipop in her to prevent her from cracking. The little girl in red rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai several times, disdainful of his rough actions. However, for the sake of having lollipops to eat, I didn't bother to worry about it, and everything was fine along the way. The infantry fighting vehicles continued to move deeper along the tunnel. After driving for two hours, suddenly there was a corner ahead. Zhang Tuohai's heart moved, and he immediately reduced the speed of the car and became fully alert. Soon, the infantry fighting vehicle reached the corner. After turning the corner, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but froze when he saw the scene in front of him. In front of it is a high platform. The entire high platform is made of red crystal. It shines with glaze and exudes crystal light under the light. A red staircase leads straight to the top. At the top of the high platform, there is a red throne. This is, seeing the scene in front of him, John Tuohai's heart raced. Just as he was about to say something, he saw the little girl jump off the infantry chariot and slowly climb up the steps. As she walked up step by step, flames emerged from the steps and wrapped around her body. Those flames kept licking the girl's body, and the girl's skin fell off in large chunks. At the same time, black stickiness continued to flow outward. The black stickiness was licked clean by the flames and burned to ashes. Without a trace. Finally, the girl slowly came to the throne, turned around and sat down. At this time, her body was crystal clear, and red light flowed in her body, as if it were carved from red crystal. You? I am the incarnation of the hope of those villagers. Those black colors are the evil thoughts accumulated over the generations. Everything before was just a dream. The girl said slowly. Thank you for letting them know the consequences of continuing and the path ahead. When they wake up tomorrow... They will pack their bags and go below the snow line to open up a new border village and guard it there to repay what they have committed. Sin. Zhang Tuohai never expected that he would eventually encounter such a result. At this time, he also vaguely understood that this was not the current border village. But the border village a long time ago. 
to be precise. It was the group dream of the border village a long time ago. Zhang Tuohai's intrusion made them realize the consequences of continuing to perform sacrifices, and finally made them give up the sacrifices, return to the snow line, and open up a new home. From a certain perspective, this is a good result, Zhang Tuohai thought. This is what I should do. So, can I go out? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course, but we will never forget your kindness. This is a thank you gift, the girl said, and threw a parchment scroll to Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 479 Dream Gems More than 10 more updates with monthly tickets Zhang Tuohai slowly unfolded the sheepskin map and was shocked to find that it turned out to be a map. Map depicting a large area of the spiral mountains. Although it is not very detailed, some areas are described in great detail. And various products, dangers, and countermeasures are clearly marked. It can be said that Zhang Tuohai will have peace of mind for the rest of his journey. Thank you for your generosity. It has been of great use to me. John Tuohai said happily. You can take this too. Thank you for the candy. This is my personal thank you. The girl threw a crystal stone at John Tuohai. John Tuohai took it in his hand and saw that it was a red gem. Dream gem. You can drag a designated opponent into the dream to build a battlefield that is beneficial to you. Note, if you kill the enemy in the dream gem, the enemy in reality will also fall into brain death. Use distance, contact. Number of uses, three out of three. Good stuff. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he saw the gem in his hand. The invitation ticket to the endless dream last time gave Zhang Tuohai a sweet taste. Garrison is so powerful. Wasn't he turned into a vegetative state by one shot? No matter how powerful the enemy is. As long as he is dragged into the dream. He can kill him without any damage. With this thing. Zhang Tuohai can kill three enemies without any damage. However. The only drawback is that it must touch the enemy to use it. Which is a bit restrictive. Even so. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied. Zhang Tuohai put the red gem into his pocket. This was his new trump card. A flash of white light flashed. And Zhang Tuohai returned to his original path. Suddenly leaving the dark tunnel and appearing on the sunlit highway. Zhang Tuohai was a little uncomfortable. He involuntarily blocked the sun and squinted at the surroundings. A strong smell of blood assaulted his nostrils. Zhang Tuohai frowned and glanced around intently. There were six or seven corpses scattered around and several dilapidated cars were parked on the side of the road, emitting black smoke. Two players were holding daggers, disemboweling the corpses, and taking out the hearts. Even if their hands were covered in blood, they didn't care at all. Why are you still digging out the heart? John Tuohai frowned. He had just corrected the disaster of the border village sacrifice, and saw the player digging out the heart of his companion, and he couldn't help but see anger in his eyes. However, his appearance also attracted the attention of these people. There's one more. I'll get the potion together soon. No one can compete with me. A player was overjoyed when he saw Zhang Tuohai and immediately reached out to touch the AK-47 behind him. Duh duh duh. Xiao Ai was the first to react. Popping up a 4-unit 23mm cannon and beating the opponent into a honeycomb. With a pop, the body fell to the ground. Court death. When the player next to him saw this, he immediately jumped onto the Humvee next to him. Set up the vehicle-mounted machine gun and prepared to fight back. However, the second before he pulled the trigger, dense cannon shells tore him into pieces. Buzz buzz. There was an engine sound, and the car next to it roared. Zhang Tuohai turned around and saw a Corolla about to turn around and run away. Stop him! Zhang Tuohai said. Click. 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 A series of bullets were fired, blowing out the Corolla's tires. Come down! Or I'll kill you and the car on the ground! John Tuohai picked up the loudspeaker and shouted. No! Don't do it! I'll get out of the car right now! The people in the car were frightened and immediately raised their hands obediently and got out of the car. This is a fat man who is 1.6 meters tall and weighs 260. He has no clothes on his body. Only a crotch cloth wrapped around important parts. Why aren't you wearing any clothes? John Tuohai asked. I... I can't put it on! The fat man whispered. Why can't you put it on? There's nothing suitable? No. It's this. The fat man turned around slightly. On the back behind him, there is an erected spine. From a distance, it looks a bit like the dorsal fin of a swordfish. At the buttocks, there is a huge red and black tail pouch, which is more than half a meter long, more than 30 centimeters in diameter. With my body in this state, I really can't put on clothes. You transformed your body? Are you from the secret order? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. A small member. 
Just a small member. Not a leader. The fat man raised a little finger to emphasize his words. What do you want to do by ripping out other people's hearts? Zhang Tuhai asked. Of course, it's a transformation potion. Ten hearts can be exchanged for a bottle of transformation potion. But the effect is completely random. I'm unlucky. This is the only one. The fat man seemed a little aggrieved and said. Do you still have channels to exchange for potions? A cold light appeared in Zhang Tuhai's eyes. Who is it? Who do you give your heart to? Hand it. Hand it to. The fat man hesitated. As if he didn't want to say it. As a result, a 23 millimeters cannon was pressed against his lower body. Give you three seconds or I'll shoot. Zhang Tuohai's voice was full of coldness. It's Celia. It's that bitch who said that as long as she gives her ten hearts, she can exchange for the strengthening potion. But the effect is random. The fat man was so frightened that he almost peed and shouted out. His voice so sharp that it broke. Who is Celia? Zhang Tuohai asked. The old man of the secret order. Sakeli's mistress. Used to be responsible for the team's account management and financial work. After the two bosses died, she proclaimed herself the new leader and took full charge of the team. The fat man didn't dare to hide it. So he said it clearly. So that's it. Zhang Tuohai nodded. Can you tell me where she is? I don't know. But I have a guess. The fat man said hesitantly. Explain. Zhang Tuohai controlled the robotic arm and pushed the 23 millimeters cannon forward. It is said that Celia is the strength in spider direction. So she likes to go to places that spiders like. She once mentioned a little bit that she was in a place full of spiders. And she liked it very much. The fat man said tremblingly. A place full of spiders? What's the clue? Zhang Tuohai muttered. But still remembered the information in his heart. I told you everything I know. You see I have put in so much effort. Can you let me go? The fat man asked cautiously. Duh duh duh. He was answered by the roar of the cannon. As for the members of the secret order, Zhang Tuohai would never leave them alone. Quickly. Dismantle the car and take away everything you can. Zhang Tuohai summoned 001 and shouted instructions. As for the fat man's body, Zhang Tuohai restored it into a strengthening potion. Although he doesn't like this thing, it can be sold to other players in the secret order. Zhang Tuohai doesn't have any psychological burden at all if he can trick these people once. Chapter 480 Deduction After assigning the guys who were cleaning the battlefield, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car and laid down on the car to start studying the map he got from the copy. I want to see where there are the most spiders. For other players, it may be difficult to find a location according to the conditions. But for Zhang Tuohai who has the map, it is very easy. Especially when the resource division is marked on the map. Soon, Zhang Tuohai found a suitable place on the map spider forest. According to the above description, this is a jungle. And for some unknown reason, there are a lot of spiders living here. There are also an unusually wide variety. Some are as big as a bull. Some as small as a gadfly. Some are so poisonous that even a little contamination will kill someone. And some spider webs are so tough that even if they are cut with a sword, they will stick to them. People from the border villages in this area have only explored one area and marked it as a restricted area. Painted red to represent extreme danger. This is the only place that fits the bill. Zhang Tuai checked the map for a long time. And finally drew a circle in this area with a pencil. He was going to take a look. This area can be said to be a forbidden area of death for other players. If you are not careful, you may die on the spot. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care, because he has the spirit statue of Oaken. With this thing, all spiders whose strength is lower than Oink will retreat. Therefore, the spider forest, which is extremely dangerous to others, is like his own back garden to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai compared the map carefully and found that the spider jungle was really not far from him. It could be reached in two hours by driving along a route. Moreover, if you can cross the spider forest, you can save a lot of distance. Roughly half a day. Which is very attractive to Zhang Tuohai who is in a hurry. Just go here. Zhang Tuohai threw the pencil on the table and said proudly. Goodbye. Sir. Wakai said with a thumbs up. Zhang Tuohai almost stumbled and fell. Where did you learn this? Zhang Tuohai turned around and asked. The game database you loaded was mixed with a few movies. I watched it when I had nothing to do. I thought this sentence was quite appropriate. So I learned it. Is there any problem? Wonkai asked in confusion. Don't say it again in the future. It's too unlucky. Zhang Tuohai said with a look of disgust. Oh. Wonkai didn't quite understand. But he nodded and responded. Sweeping his big tail back and forth. 
Why are you just sweeping the floor? If you have nothing to do, go to Lalina's place and see if there is anything you need help with. After Jean Tuohai finished speaking, he got into the cab, looked at the map, and drove towards the spider jungle. On the way, Zhang Tuohai also picked up a white supply box and took out a box of eel rice and a box of parent-child rice bowl. Zhang Tuohai gave the parent-child rice bowl to Wang Kai with a look of disgust. I took a bite of eel rice. He had always wanted to find a chance to try it when watching cartoons and saw that Yuan I ate so deliciously. But there had never been any suitable opportunities. Today, he finally got what he wanted. Zhang Tuohai took a bite and felt that the eel tasted good and could be used as a side dish with wine. And the rice was just fine. Overall, it was about the standard of a box lunch for about 15 to 20 yuan. And it was not as awesome as it was boasted to be. After lunch, Zhang Tuohai turned into a small road, which can shorten the journey to the spider jungle by 30 minutes. The condition of this path is very poor and very bumpy. Almost no different from a dirt road in the countryside. From time to time, large holes will appear on the ground and the tires will sink into them. Xiao Ai jumps around on the spherical screen. Commander, there is a pit here. Commander, turn quickly. We're going to fall. Commander, there's a tree ahead. Be careful. Oh, it broke. That's okay. Xiao Ai couldn't complain about Zhang Tuohai's posture skills. In the end, he was too lazy to deal with some minor problems. Anyway, with the size of an infantry fighting vehicle, ordinary obstacles can be charged directly. Only when there are insurmountable obstacles will we be reminded. Classmate Xiai, why has your form changed again? Zhang Tuohai glanced at classmate Xiao Ai sitting in the corner of the screen with dead fish eyes. At this time, Xiao Ai's body was made up of thick pixels, and a strong pixel wind blew towards his face, giving Zhang Tuohai a retro feeling. Oh, I have played several pixel-style games, and I like this look better. Moreover, it saves computing power. So I used this one, Xiao Ai said, after hearing classmate Xiao Ai's explanation. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. He usually chooses outfits based on practicality or good looks. Shall I? On the other hand, can calculate computing power. This may be the difference in the way humans and artificial intelligence think. It's quite interesting to think about. After about half an hour, Zhang Tuohai arrived at the edge of the spider forest. In front, Zhang Tuohai saw several broken trees and deep ruts on the muddy ground. Someone passed by here. Zhang Tuohai became alert. Looking at the tire marks. It should be a super off-road vehicle such as a predator. The wheels are very tall. And the location where the trees were broken is also very high. Indicating that the vehicle's footprint is higher than that of a normal car. About 1.2 to 1 meter. Between 5 and 5. The vehicle width is about 3 to 3 and a half meters. And depending on the depth of the tires. The load capacity is about 15 tons. Classmate shall AI analyze from the side. By the way. It's still painted in red. Or the body is partially red. A raised stone appeared on the spherical screen. With a bit of red paint hanging from one corner. Seeing classmate Xiao Ai talking freely. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but look at him with admiration. In the past. He only regarded the other party. As an artificial intelligence. That could automatically control a car. Now it seems. That the other party has good attainments in deduction. And can even play a guest role as a detective. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's dumbfounded look. Classmate Xiao Ai felt a little embarrassed. While the commander was driving, I secretly watched two Sherlock Holmes movies. I thought they were quite interesting. So I gave them a try just now. Well done. Now I'll give you a task. Follow the marks and catch up. Don't let the car in front of you find you. Zhang Tuhai said. He guessed that this rut was probably left by Celia. The possibility that it is Celia who appears in the Spider Clan during this time is very high. I understand. Leave it to me. Classmate Xiao Yai said happily. The infantry fighting vehicle started and slowly drove into the spider jungle. Chapter 481 Iron Spider The spider jungle looks much like a normal jungle. There are big and leafy trees everywhere. And there is some muddy soil on the ground. Except for the occasional huge spider webs that can be seen. It is no different from a normal jungle. However, the owners of these spider webs ran away. Scared away by the statue of Okoin. The jungle near Zhang Tuohai was quiet. And no spider dared to come within one kilometer. This also saved Zhang Tuohai a lot of trouble, as he no longer had to distract himself from dealing with these annoying guys. Moreover, since the ground was very soft and the rut marks were obvious, Zhang Tuohai did not worry about losing him and could just follow the ruts and pursue him. 
It is very difficult for a car to drive in this roadless jungle. The muddy land, tangled branches, muddy puddles, and densely packed trees everywhere are all obstacles that block the way forward. Even for a heavy infantry fighting vehicle like Zhang Tuohai, it is very troublesome. However, fortunately, Celia was leading the way, and Zhang Tuohai replaced the wheels with tracks, so he could travel through the jungle without any worries. There's just one problem. That is, the rough ground makes the car vibrate so much that even the best shock absorption can't leave a good experience. What the hell is this bitch doing in this damn place? Zhang Tuohai grabbed the armrest with both hands and cursed in a low voice. The car drove for more than half an hour. And at this moment, classmate Xiao Yai suddenly stopped the car. What happens? Zhang Tuohai asked immediately. The rut is gone. Classmate Xiao Yai said loudly. Disappeared? Zhang Tuohai quickly focused his eyes on the road ahead. The extended ruts disappeared without a trace after crossing a small river less than five meters wide. Lost you? Zhang Tuohai hurriedly looked at his surroundings. There are pebbled shoals on both sides of the river. About three meters wide. It seems that the river is still very wide during the wet season. The creek is no different with dense jungle on both sides. There were no signs of fallen trees or wheels in the woods across the river. It was as if everything had disappeared. Where have you gone? Zhang Tuohai turned his attention to the river. The lower reaches of the river meander gracefully and submerge into the depths of the forest. The upper reaches of the river is a deep pool. Above the pool is a cliff less than 10 meters high. A waterfall flows straight down into the deep pool. There are various vines growing on the cliff, which is lush and green. Could it be that he walked downstream along the river beach? Zhang Tuohai guessed in his mind. At this time, a prompt appeared in front of me. Celia is watching you from the cliff. Above the cliff? Zhang Tuohai quickly turned his head and looked over. There are dense jungles on the cliffs making it easy to hide someone. It is simply impossible to find the other party from here. At this moment, a muffled sound sounded. A cannonball hit the infantry fighting vehicle's head and exploded. After the shell exploded, there was no shock wave or flame, but instead a huge spider web emerged from it. This spider web directly wrapped the infantry fighting vehicle inside. Then, a series of shells exploded in the air. Large nets layer by layer covered Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. Zhang Tuohai asked Xiao Yai to try it. These large nets are very sticky and tough, and it takes a lot of effort to break free from them. However, you can use a flamethrower to burn it down and ask Zhang Tuohai if you want to use it. Make wait! Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. He is worried that he can't find the other party. In this case, why not pretend to be caught and fish the other party out? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai immediately stopped what he was doing and asked Xiao Yai to prepare his weapons and be on guard while he scanned the opposite cliff to find the opponent's direction. At this moment, two more shells fell near Zhang Tuohai. The two shells also did not explode, but instead emitted black smoke. The smoke quickly dispersed, and the surroundings were shrouded in black smoke. A lot of smoke even seeped into the infantry fighting vehicle along the gaps. A large amount of poisonous mist containing coma-causing agents was detected, and the air purifier was started. The air purifier modified by Lilith was started, and at the same time, the evolutionary statue in the car was also started, and the poisonous mist that penetrated into the car was purified. Seeing this look, Zhang Tuohai felt confident. Since the poisonous mist has been sprayed, it means that the other party is about to show up. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai was no longer in a hurry. He put his hands on his shoulders and lay on the command chair and waited quietly. Zhang Tuohai waited in place for about 10 minutes. Perhaps he realized that Zhang Tuohai was no longer a threat. The trees on the cliff opposite shook for a while, and a huge spider came out of the trees. This spider is at least 6 meters tall, with a segmental limb length of at least 4 meters, which is as thick as a telephone pole. A pair of compound eyes kept turning, looking ferocious and terrifying. What's most concerning is that the spider's body has a metallic sheen. Could it be that the outside of this thing's body is covered with metal? And is it a more powerful guy than Okoin? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. No. The cannonballs that sprayed spider webs were fired just now. This is definitely not what a normal spider can do. And it is not a normal way to transform. It is very possible that this spider is a puppet made of steel. And those cannonballs were fired by it of. If the hypothesis is more bold. This is a spider-shaped vehicle. Otherwise, there is no way to explain why the other party suddenly disappeared here and then hit on the cliff. Zhang Tuohai's mind suddenly changed. At this time, the huge metal spider walked down from the cliff with eight sharp limbs. 
The metal spider's jointed limbs were extremely sharp and easily inserted into the cliff. Its huge body seemed to be walking on flat ground on the cliff. After the metal spider came down from the cliff, it walked towards Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. It was not fast, and it did not go in a straight line. Instead, it traveled along an S-shaped route, and from time to time, it was in front of the main gun port of the infantry fighting vehicle. Wander around a bit. Do you want to prepare the amount in advance and feed it? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. The spider car has very high control flexibility and has an active avoidance system, which is enough to avoid artillery fire from this distance. If you want to solve the problem with one shot, it is best to put it within 10 meters. A prompt pops up from the system. Good guy. Is there such a thing? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He just didn't know whether this system was considered a car accessory or whether it could be disassembled. If it could, his car would have an extra layer of insurance. Zhang Tuohai's eyes gleamed. He wiped the sweat from his hands on his trouser legs, put his hands on the joystick, and waited quietly for the other party to approach. Chapter 482, Trapping the Mechanical Spider Click, click. The mechanical spider took a coquettish step and jumped left and right in front of the infantry fighting vehicle's artillery looking like it was in need of a beating. If it weren't for the reminder system, John Tuohai would have been unable to hold back his anger and would have hacked the opponent. However, now, when he looked at the mechanical spider, he felt a little funny. He asked Wong Kai to bring him a cup of coffee and quietly watched the mechanical spider show off. The mechanical spider swayed there for five minutes and then stayed still for a moment to confirm that the toxic smoke had taken effect. It believed that if there were people in the infantry fighting vehicle, then based on its actions of jumping left and right just now, the other party would definitely be unable to help but fire. There has been no response from the infantry fighting vehicle until now, which means that everyone inside has been attacked. The mechanical spider began to move quickly towards Zhang to a highest direction. As he walked, he showed off two sharp forelimbs, seemingly ready to cut through the armor of the infantry fighting vehicle. Just when it was less than 10 meters away from the infantry fighting vehicle, Zhang Tuohai finally moved. Start now! Zhang Tuohai pressed a button fiercely. Twenty flamethrowers popped out and sprayed towards the spider web covering the car. Those spider webs are very sticky, very tough, and even highly resistant to rain. But fire is its natural nemesis. The sticky spider web was swept away by the flames and burned quickly, and was burned to ashes in the blink of an eye. When the mechanical spider saw this, he immediately knew that he had been fooled. However, it didn't panic too much. Instead, it stretched out a plastic tube from its mouth and sprayed a stream of mucus towards the infantry fighting vehicle. Caught off guard. The mucus sprayed onto the front armor of the infantry fighting vehicle. GG. White smoke billowed from the front armor. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately let the flamethrower spray towards the slime. Clouds of white smoke rose. And the highly corrosive mucus was ignited. Click. Click. The mechanical spider quickly rushed towards the infantry fighting vehicle climbed to the top of the infantry fighting vehicle in three steps and two steps, and pierced the top cover with two sharp jointed limbs, trying to open the top cover. However, at this time, most of the robotic arms have replaced their weapons with four 23mm cannons. Ta-ta-ta-ta. The dense metal storm enveloped the mechanical spider. Although the damage capability of the 23mm cannon is not as exaggerated as the 120mm armor-piercing discarding sabo with stabilized fins, it is still very good, coupled with the continuous blows. Even thick armor will suffer a lot. Under the blow of the dense metal storm, in the blink of an eye, the joints of the two limbs were beaten out of control. Moreover, the metal spider's movements were inevitably disturbed by the metal storm, and even its two forelimbs could no longer be effectively controlled. Even the huge tail sack behind the spider was exploded, and a large amount of spider silk protein flowed out. Two mechanical arms held flamethrowers and sprayed them at the tail pouch and a burning smell spread out. We can't go on like this. If we continue like this, we will die here. Celia, who was sitting inside the mechanical spider, frowned. She knew by chance that there was a pursuer behind her. So she set up an ambush based on the geographical conditions. However, its tried and tested method failed with Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai even seized the opportunity and fought back, causing huge damage to her. It looked at the mechanical spider's damaged tail, and two out-of-control jointed limbs, and gritted its teeth angrily. Just wait. I will get this back sooner or later. Celia controlled the mechanical spider to jump off the infantry fighting vehicle and ran towards the dense forest not far behind the infantry fighting vehicle. It has calculated that it is only 10 meters away from the woods. 
as long as it rushes into the dense forest and the trees are used as obstacles. Zhang Tuohai will definitely be unable to do anything to it. It can take the opportunity to get rid of the pursuit and even have a chance to regain the place. In the dense forest, the spider form is much more convenient than the car form, but it consumes a lot of fuel. Humph! You have caused so much damage to me! And you can still let me run away? Zhang Tuohai pressed a button cruelly. A precious cornet anti-tank missile shot out, then made a sharp turn and chased after the mechanical spider. Damn it! Seeing this, Celia immediately controlled the spider to jump, trying to avoid the missile. However, the distance between the two was too short. The mechanical spider she controlled was hit by the cornet anti-tank missile before it even finished its movement. Boom! There was an explosion. The tail sack, which occupied most of the mechanical spider's body, was directly blown into pieces. And the two arthropods also fell off the mechanical spider's body. Two more were damaged to varying degrees, and their performance was affected. At this time, six of the mechanical spider's limbs had lost effective control and the damage rate was as high as 75%. Celia frantically pressed the buttons on the control platform, trying to regain control of the mechanical spider. Unfortunately, the mechanical spider had lost control at this time. Even if she smashed the keyboard, she could not restore the result. At this time, the infantry fighting vehicle's turret had turned around and aimed at the mechanical spider. Boom! A stabilized wing armor-piercing projectile was fired from the muzzle and directly hit the mechanical spider's body. Damn it! Celia's eyes were filled with angry light. But he also knew that his mechanical spider could not withstand such a level of blow. It pressed the escape button bitterly. The roof cover above the driver's seat was opened. And Celia and her seat were ejected. Boom! The mechanical spider exploded. And the body was blown into three large pieces. Scattered on the ground. And black smoke rose up. Where are the people in the car? John Tuohai scanned the surrounding jungle. He clearly saw a seat being ejected just now and the driver must have been ejected. What he has to do now is to find the driver and kill him completely. Cutting the grass without leaving any roots is the right way. However, the surrounding woods were too dense. Celia underwent the transformation of the ice spider again, and her body became almost transparent, possessing the almost invisible ability of the ice spider. In this densely wooded area, there is a natural the hidden advantage allows it to be perfectly hidden in it. If it doesn't want to appear, no one can find it. Celia is hiding in a tree 200 meters away, looking at you with hatred, wanting revenge. The system prompted. You haven't left yet? Thinking of revenge? Just in time. Let's take the opportunity to kill you too and get rid of future troubles. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. But 200 meters is a bit far. So we have to find a way to lure it over. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, patted his head, and had an idea. He thought of a perfect way to trap and kill Celia. Chapter 483, Lucky as Hell, More Updates with Monthly Tickets Zhang Tuohai walked out of the infantry fighting vehicle wearing an exoskeleton. Behind him were dozens of self-propelled machines. These self-propelled machines held electric saws and began to cut and dismantle the mechanical spiders. While Zhang Tuohai stood beside him, walking back and forth, pretending to be a supervisor. In fact, his attention remained on his surroundings, paying attention to the movements around him. He also carried a steam machine gun in his hand. He knew that if he didn't bring a weapon, Celia would definitely suspect fraud. Because it was a bit unreasonable for a person to go out without taking a weapon in a strange environment and had just experienced an attack. However, in order to increase Celia's confidence, he deliberately only took a steam machine gun and not a too advanced weapon. For fear of scaring Celia away, seeing Zhang Tuohai wandering outside the infantry fighting vehicle, Celia said it was impossible not to be tempted. Since it came to this world, it has never suffered such a big loss. Moreover, the mechanical spider car that it had worked so hard to build was destroyed by Zhang Tuohai before it even enjoyed it a few times. This was a blood feud. What's more, in this world, not having a car means slow death. It has to capture a car. The infantry fighting vehicle in front of us is the best target. However, it had just been ambushed by Zhang Tuohai. And it was full of fear of Zhang Tuohai so it had been hiding and observing from a distance. Not daring to approach, Zhang Tuohai stood near the self-propelled machine and walked back and forth. His face seemed relaxed and happy. But in fact, he was very anxious inside. There is someone hiding in the dark waiting to give him a fatal blow. This feeling is really not good. The self-propelled machinery was very efficient and quickly dismantled the mechanical spider. 001 was so lucky that he took out two drawings. 
Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately took the two drawings over and examined them carefully. Good chance. Seeing Zhang Tuohai focus on the drawing, Celia knew that her opportunity had come. If it delays any longer, Zhang Tuohai may have to drive away. In that case, its chance of revenge will be extremely slim. And even until it dies, it may not be able to see Zhang Tuohai again. Celia took a deep breath, quietly came to a position not far from Zhang Tuohai, jumped up suddenly, and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. For sharp limbs were aimed at Zhang Tuohai's back. Although Zhang Tuohai wore a strong exoskeleton, Celia was more confident in her own limbs. It can easily pierce ordinary bulletproof vests. Although Zhang Tuohai's exoskeleton looked stronger, it still cannot block its own joints. When it was less than two meters away from Zhang Tuohai, more than a dozen mechanical arms suddenly popped up from the side of the infantry fighting vehicle. Each mechanical arm held a steam machine gun and fired at the area where Celia was. Moreover, the bullets used were all tracer bullets. Dozens of tracer bullets entered Celia's body, forcing Celia back a few steps. Trap! An idea came to Celia's mind. Run! Celia turned around and ran without any hesitation. It knew that if it stayed where it was, it would definitely be shot to death by a machine gun. Only by getting into the woods and relying on the dense trees can one save a life. However, at this time, the weapon storage compartment on the infantry fighting vehicle opened. A Hellfire missile was launched and chased Celia. Seeing this, Celia immediately went around behind the tree. From its point of view, these rockets can only go in a straight line. And as long as it goes around the woods, it can avoid them. But what it never expected was that the Hellfire anti-tank missile actually followed its movement and deflected directly penetrated the tree and hit its body. Boom! This earth-shattering explosion sounded. It directly blew up Celia, who was hiding behind a tree. The entire body was torn into pieces by the huge shock wave. Celia's head rolled in the air. And she didn't know how the rocket followed it until she died. Looking at Celia's blown corpse, a sneer appeared on the corner of Zhang Tuohai's mouth. Humph! No matter how powerful your mutation is, if you don't have a brain, won't you still be blasted by technology? The reason why he changed the weapon to a less powerful steam machine gun was because of the characteristics of tracer bullets. Although tracer bullets do low damage, their temperatures are extremely high. Otherwise people would not be able to see the light and correct their trajectory. These bullets penetrated Celia's body, raising the temperature of Celia's body in disguise. One or two may not tell much, but there are dozens of tracer bullets in Celia's body. So many tracer bullets make Celia look like a huge human-shaped torch. The Hellfire missile had an infrared seeker at the front. So it naturally followed Celia. Unless Celia found a way to quickly lower her body temperature, she would not be able to escape being killed by the explosion. This plan is a plan that is tailor-made for Celia by Zhang Tuohai. He even paid the price of a handful of hair for this. There is no reason for failure. Go collect that guy's body and refine it into potion. Zhang Tuohai said to 001. The missiles had all been used. And Zhang Tuohai felt like he was at a huge loss if he didn't get anything back. 001 immediately took many self-propelled machines to do it. Zhang Tuohai finally took the time to look at the drawings in his hands carefully. The first drawing said nothing. It was still the manufacturing drawing of the mysterious shadow statue. Zhang Tuohai threw it into the garbage pile. The second drawing is more interesting. It is actually an upgrade drawing of a mechanical spider. Just like the upgrade drawing of a giant wheel car. As long as there are enough supplies, the car can be converted into a mechanical spider. According to the description of the drawing, the mechanical spider has a speed of 60 miles per hour and is especially good at traveling through jungles and rugged roads. Not only that, players can also equip the mechanical spider with tires to facilitate driving on the road. In addition, the mechanical spider is armed with a small mortar and two special shells, a cannonball that spreads cobwebs, and one that emits stunner-inducing smoke. They all come with their own manufacturing drawings and can be mass-produced with enough materials. It is also quite practical. This thing is pretty good. Zhang Tuohai looked at this drawing with joy on his face. This blueprint is very practical and should be very popular among players who do not have enough resources to gradually upgrade their cars. Judging from Zhang Tuohai's experience with players, there are far more players who use this kind of one-step car modification blueprints than those who accumulate accessories step-by-step -step to upgrade their cars. Although this kind of one-step modification lacks upgrade potential and is difficult to upgrade again, for players with sluggish strength. It can quickly improve their strength in a short period of time. For them, whether they can survive until tomorrow is unknown. Considering the potential for future upgrades is really too luxurious. 
Even some excellent car modification drawings are more expensive than high-end car accessories. This thing can be sold at a good price. Zhang Tuohai thought happily. Chapter 484 Drawing Exchange Who should I sell this to? Zhang Tuohai was thinking. Zhang Tuohai planned to ask his friends for good things of this level first. If anyone wanted it, he would digest it internally. If he didn't want it, he would sell it to the outside market for auction. Who are you selling it to? Zhang Tuohai thought. Su Qi and Su Mu definitely won't want it. They seem to have embarked on the road of modifying cars. The shape is like a beetle, which looks very confusing. They probably won't like this thing. Xiao Wanwan also converted her car into an aerial gunship. Its firepower is very powerful, and most of them will look down on it. Li Feiyu has a black octopus. When encountering obstacles, just let the octopus carry the car and run. It is completely unnecessary to buy this thing. Vladimir is enjoying his wife's supercar, and he definitely doesn't like it. Finally, after much selection, Zhang Tuohai set his sights on Song Xiaokong. As her white glove, Song Xiaokong has been helping to take care of the business, contacting customers, and relying on the profits given to her by Zhang Tuohai. Unfortunately, she has not been very lucky, and has never collected a more powerful car. Accessories, so that after the car was upgraded to level 3, there has not been much change. The defensive capabilities, firepower, engine, and auxiliary performance are all mediocre and there is almost no one that can be used. Until now, he still holds an MG-42 machine gun as his main firepower. In other words, I'm pretty lucky and haven't encountered any powerful enemies. However, if you continue like this, sooner or later you will become fat in the eyes of others, being eaten up and wiped clean. Zhang Tuohai naturally doesn't want Song Xiaokong to end up like this. After all, it has brought him huge profits, and it is still very easy to use. It can also increase the opponent's ability to protect himself. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, and directly sent the detailed information of the drawing to Song Xiaofong. How about it? Do you want it? If you want it, I'll keep it for you. If you don't need it, I'll put it up for auction on the regional channel. Zhang Tuohai said. Yes, I want it. Please keep it for me. Seeing the drawings of the mechanical spider car, Song Xiaofong almost jumped up with excitement. She was worried that her strength was too weak. Just half an hour ago, she had just escaped from a chase. When she saw the drawings for the transformation of the mechanical spider car, she was immediately moved. The car is a bit off speed, but can be modified by adding replacement tires. It can also run on various obstacle roads, and its climbing and dodge abilities are very good, although it does not have strong firepower. Its attack method is very strange. If it is not equipped with a flamethrower, even a main battle tank can be killed by a combination of spider webs and poisonous smoke. For her, it was perfect. As for the difficulty of modification in the future, she didn't really care. If you keep saving accessories, you will die. So you should focus on the present first. Song Xiaofang thought for a while, then took out a drawing and sent it to Zhang Tuohai. I can trade this with you. Okay. Ecological Park Expansion Drawing Level 5 Car Expansion Plugin adding a saltwater lake and mariculture projects on the original basis of the ecological park. Materials, high-grade stone, 500 units, high-grade water collector asterisk 3. Bonus, sea cucumber seedlings, scallop seedlings, seaweed seedlings. Is there such a thing? John Tuohai was immediately shocked. He did not expect that the high-end ecological park could be expanded and upgraded to allow for the cultivation of seafood. If it really succeeds, won't he be able to eat fresh seafood if he wants to eat it in the future? Moreover, this thing is also a level 5 car expansion plugin, which is more than one level higher than the mechanical spider car modification blueprint. Although the effect is slower, it can be used for exchange. Okay, let's exchange. Zhang Tuohai chose exchange. The Eco Park expansion drawing was obtained. The only regret was that it was a level 5 plugin, and his car needed to reach level 5 before it could be installed. However, the embarrassing thing is that his car is still one upgrade blueprint away from level 5 and cannot be upgraded for the time being. It would be nice if there was a stable channel to get upgrade blueprints. Zhang Tuohai thought with some regret. Song Shakong happily went to upgrade the car. Zhang Tuohai also put away the drawings and added another item to his to-do list. After finishing everything, Zhang Tuohai drove the car across the river and continued to move forward. Due to the presence of the statue of Oaken, spiders of all sizes fled away after sensing Zhang Tuohai. The entire jungle formed a pure land with Zhang Tuohai as the center. Wherever Zhang Tuohai went, there was silence. 
and not a single spider dared to jump out and cause trouble. So much so that Zong Tuahai felt that the spider jungle was too quiet, not even a little alive. After spending two hours, Zhang Tuahai passed through the spider jungle and finally set foot on the road again. According to the markings on the map, he saved at least four hours of traveling through the jungle. Unfortunately, the journey was a cliff, which did not allow him to opportunistically. So Zhang Tuahai had no choice but to drive on the highway honestly. After driving for a while, Zhang Tuahai felt a little bored. So he handed over the driving authority to Xiao Ai, while he opened the regional channel to see how the players were doing. As soon as he opened the regional channel, he saw red obituaries flashing past. Players were killed from time to time, and the causes of death were gunshot wounds or knife wounds. It looked like they were caused by similar players. Many players also cursed in the regional channel. What a crappy potion! I worked so hard to kill 10 people to get a new one! But my legs turned into mermaid tails! What's the use of this thing? How should I drive? Is the person who developed the potion really stupid? Brother upstairs, just be satisfied. After I drank the potion, I got an extra dog nail. The problem is that I am still a man. What do you think I need this thing for? Should I use one after I use the other? Also, I want to ask you a question. If I use a penis to make love with my girlfriend, does that count as having sex with me? I'm even worse. All the hair on my body has fallen out. But I haven't become stronger yet. My hair has turned white. My eyes have turned red. And my ears have turned into cats. I look so cute. But the question is, I am a boy. Can I change it back? My head is turned into a crocodile. Now there is a problem. The crocodile's mouth cannot chew. How should I eat now? Is it so miserable? When I see you saying this, I don't dare to drink the potion anymore. You are all good. At least you got the potion. I worked hard to hunt down 10 players and collect the potion. But the guy in charge of selling the potion died. Who can I ask to explain this? Chapter 485 Dragon Potion Players in the regional channel are noisy and chaotic. However, Zhang Tuohai was able to extract some key information from it. That is, the potions that the players exchanged were not very effective. At most, some changes were made to their appearance and body characteristics. But it did not greatly improve their combat effectiveness, mainly close combat effectiveness. To explain it in game terms, it means getting a better looking skin or costume. In fact, some of them can't even be said to be good looking. They can only be said to be relatively unique. Of course, it is not ruled out that many players have achieved relatively good improvements, but have not shown off in the regional channels. However, looking at the players who complained, Zhang Tuohai believed that there were not many of them. Moreover, after fighting Garrison, Celia, Sackler and others, Zhang Tuohai felt that a powerful transformation potion was still no match for a Hellfire anti-tank missile. At least the transformations he has seen so far look like this. The second key piece of information is that the redemption channels for those players have been cut off. Zhang Tuohai guessed that these batches of potions were spread from Celia's hands. After being killed by him, those players also lost the way to exchange. In some ways, I stopped a large-scale bloody conflict between players. Those players who are still alive should be grateful to me. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. At this moment, a message suddenly attracted his attention. Dear players, I'm sorry that there was a problem with the previous transformation potion redemption. But the problem has been solved. I will be responsible for the future transformation potion redemption. Reappeared? Zhang Tuohai frowned and stared at the spokesperson's information. The other party's name is George. And his profile picture is that of a bald middle-aged man. However, his hair has turned gray and dots of age spots can even be seen on his forehead. Of course, these are not the point. The point is that part of his exposed shoulders no longer look like a human being, but green skin covered with fine dark green scales. It seems that at least half of the body structure has been transformed. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the other party's identity, and found that he was indeed a member of the secret order. Members of the secret order again? How many potion-making machines do these guys have? Why are they so persistent in selling genetically modified potions? Is it related to the mysterious shadow behind them? It seems that we need to find an opportunity to catch a few he is a member of the secret order and needs to be interrogated. Zhang Tuohai's eyes sparkled. Can you redeem the potion? Do you have evidence? How should I trust you? Some players didn't believe it and asked. I know that words alone cannot convince you, but I have video to prove it. George said, uploading a video. In the video, except for his head, George's whole body has changed. He is three meters tall. His body is dark green, 
covered with fine scales. His nails turned into sharp black claws. And there are many people behind him. A thick tail emerged. There is also a huge bone hammer on the top of the tail, which is full of sharp thorns and looks very powerful. There is even a pair of huge bat-like wings on his back. Next to him stood a curly-haired Hispanic, about 1.7 meters tall. Next to George, who was 3 meters tall. He looked very weak. Ka! Drink it, George said, throwing a bottle of potion to the half-breed. Ka grabbed the bottle of potion and drank it without hesitation. Ho ho ah! After Cal finished drinking, the medicine bottle in his hand was crushed, and he knelt on the ground with one knee, grabbing his face with both hands, as if he was experiencing great pain, and pustules bulged on the surface of his body, and these pustules kept bursting. Balls of green viscous liquid enveloped Ka, continuously stretching Ka's body, breaking the bones in his body, and then growing again. Soon, Ka's body was stretched directly to about three meters, which was about the same height as George. The originally very thin body became muscular. The surface of the body was covered with scales, and a pair of huge bat wings with a wingspan of four meters spread out from behind. However, the tip of his tail is not a bone hammer, but a black, claw-like hook. As soon as Ka completed his transformation, George took out an AK-47 from the side and pulled the trigger on Ka's body. Click, click, click. A series of bullets were fired at Ka. However, when those bullets hit Ka's body, they were bounced away. It seemed that nothing happened at all. After firing a magazine of bullets, George threw the AK-47 aside and said loudly to the camera, Did you see it? This is the second generation genetic modification agent we have recently developed. The disadvantage of stable mutation is that as long as you drink it, you can transform into a dragon. A real dragon. After turning into dragons, our bodies will become extremely powerful. Our strength can bend steel bars. Our scales can block direct shots from assault rifles at close range. And our speed is comparable to that of cheetahs. Only those of us who have taken genetic modification, those who use medicine, are the truly perfect human beings. Come and get rid of that weak body with us. You only need 20 hearts to become one of us. If the player you hunt has taken the first generation genetic modification potion, then one of his hearts can be used as five. Come and join us. As long as you gather the hearts, you can contact me. The video has finished playing. After the short video was played, the originally noisy regional channel suddenly became quiet. And in the next moment, it became more enthusiastic. As if a drop of water dropped into a hot oil pan. Holy shit! What did I see? The second generation gene potion? Can you transform into a designated one? No need to turn into those cheating huskies? Why the hell didn't you let it out earlier? I drank it all before you let it out? Do you have a grudge against me? It's so powerful. The scales can actually withstand direct fire from an assault rifle. Isn't this more powerful than a body armor? Hack. Brothers. My heart is moved. I have decided. I am going to hunt. If anyone accidentally dies in my hands. Don't resent me. It's just that this potion is too attractive. Ha! This is a giant dragon. This is a real giant dragon. I want to become a giant dragon too. I want those who look down on me to kneel in front of me and repent. I want to give my girlfriend the bottle. I just want to be a dragon knight for once. Chapter 486 Response Plan The discussion in the regional channel was very lively, but the direction of the discussion had begun to change. From disdain and gloating about the potion to longing for it. Although there is still a heated discussion about how to use it if you gain power. An obituary that rises from time to time proves that there are already people who can't wait and are ready to take action. Even though he was separated by the regional channel. Zhang Tuohai could already smell a trace of blood. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the remaining number of people on the regional channel, 2,289. Based on the 20 hearts given by George in exchange for a bottle of potion, about 100 people can complete the transformation. However, some people can hunt down players who have drunk the first generation potion to reduce the number of kills. However, considering that some fire damage effects are very strong and may blow the heart into pieces, the actual number of people who can complete the transformation may still be there will be some shortcomings. If this situation is allowed to develop, there will definitely be rivers of blood on the regional channels. Moreover, this is only the second generation potion. What if we create a third generation potion or a fourth generation potion? Without the game system taking action, the players would kill them all themselves. This situation must not be allowed to develop. Zhang Tuohai felt his heart bleed as he looked at the obituaries floating by one after another. These are all fine leaks. But now, 
They have been dug up by these shameless guys and used as their own nourishment. How shameless, especially the leader, George, should be punished by God. John Tuohai thought angrily. At one point, John Tuohai wanted to activate the statue of the arena of life and death to pull George into the dual map and kill him. However, Zhang Tuohai hesitated for a moment and then rejected the idea. George was just an ordinary member of the secret order before. And now, he suddenly rises to power. There must be someone behind the scenes. The secret order has been able to come up with gene-changing potions over and over again. So someone must be pushing it. Just solving George doesn't solve the problem. The mastermind behind the scenes can definitely find another Tom or Jerry or something and support them. This situation cannot be changed unless this black hand is cut off. Moreover, it was only the fifth day of this world. And there might be some changes in the future. He had to keep this trump card to deal with possible accidents. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Song Xiaokong. While ensuring your own safety, try to find some information about the secret order as much as possible. Especially its possible location. I understand. Boss, don't worry. I promise to check the color of George's underwear clearly. Song Xiaofang promised, patting his chest. She is an expert at finding information and gathering intelligence. Zhang Tuohai did not place all his hopes on Song Xiaofang. He also sent messages to several familiar friends, asking for help in finding George's whereabouts. Of course, other official members of the secret order could also do so. And he would be grateful. Don't worry. If there is any news, I will definitely tell you. Su Chi patted her chest and promised. Okay. There's no need to thank you again. Just let me take a good bath in the hot springs a few times. But where are you? I've been driving alone for five days, and I'm almost bored to death. This is Xiao Wan on reply. I can leave it to you, but if there is a transformation potion, remember to leave a jar for me. Li Feiyu was obviously tempted. Several others gave similar responses. However, there was also a hint of excitement in the tone. Vladimir, in particular, seemed to be very covetous of the muscles that were comparable to those of a giant dragon. Zhang Tuohai did not reply to these people, and he did not place any value on them anyway. He just gave them a routine notification. As for the specifics, it all depends on how they make their own decisions. He cannot make decisions for others. After reading the content on the regional channel, Zhang Tuohai felt a little bored, so he simply turned off the regional channel, took over the control of the infantry fighting vehicle, and stepped on the accelerator. The infantry fighting vehicle sped along the winding mountain road. Soon, the speed of the infantry fighting vehicle increased to 150 miles, which was already very fast on the winding mountain road. Seeing the scenery on both sides retreating rapidly, the resentment in Zhang to Ahai's heart gradually dissipated. Commander, there is a giant python in the tree ahead. Please stay out of the way. Classmate Xiao Ai suddenly reminded. Zhang to Ahai immediately raised his head and looked forward after hearing this. Not far ahead. A big tree extended a branch across the winding mountain road. It is about three meters above the ground. A giant python with brown and black spots was wrapped around a big tree, constantly spitting out its core. A giant python has appeared here? It looks like the temperature is very high. Zhang Tuohai frowned. Normally, he might have passed it directly. However, he was feeling very unhappy now and needed to find some relief. He immediately said, Ignore it. Use the machine cannon to shoot it down for me and make snake soup at night. Wait a minute. Zhang Tuohai decisively stopped Xiao Ai as soon as he opened the cannon. Let me do it myself and stretch my muscles. Zhang Tuohai said as he put on the exoskeleton. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai slowly stopped the car. Just as Zhang Tuohai was about to get out of the car, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Be careful. There is a player hiding in the woods at 3 o'clock, preparing to ambush you. 500 meters away from the position. Is there an ambush? I know that no one will give you snake soup for nothing. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and immediately looked in the direction prompted by the prompt system. It was a steep hillside. The hillsides are densely wooded, overgrown with weeds, and the vegetation is so dense that if you want to hide from someone, you won't be able to find them at all. But Zhang Tuohai is someone with a prompt system. Now that he has the location provided by the prompt system, he doesn't have to look for it. The direct operator aimed the 120mm smoothbore cannon at that location and filled it with a thin discarding sabo armor-piercing projectile. Rupert, who was hiding in the grass and preparing for a sneak attack, saw the thick 120mm main gun pointed at him. He screamed in fright, jumped up, and turned around to run away. At the same time, he secretly cursed in his heart. 
I just want to set up an ambush. As for using the 120mm main gun to deal with me, seeing the figure covered in jungle camouflage, Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and ordered the revolving gun to fire a shrapnel grenade. His purpose was to capture someone alive and ask about the situation. If armor-piercing bullets were used, the person would be vaporized. So why ask about an egg? Boom! A shrapnel grenade shot out, and a large number of steel balls completely covered the area. Rupert screamed and fell to the ground. His two legs were pierced by dozens of steel balls, and he collapsed on the ground and lost the ability to move. Chapter 487 Tongue Catching Monthly Ticket Adds More Updates You son of a bitch! You don't have martial ethics! Rupert cursed and touched the medical bag on his waist, preparing to inject himself with a sedative. The pain on his leg was unbearable, and he felt like he was about to pass out from the pain. However, as soon as his hand touched the medical bag, a metal-wrapped foot kicked over and kicked the medical bag out of his hand, and then a gatling was pushed in front of him. Don't move! Otherwise it won't just be a broken leg! Zhang Tuohai's cold voice came from the mask. No! Don't kill me! I really didn't do anything. I just stayed here for a while. I didn't want to ambush you. Please let me go, and I can compensate you. Rupert begged for mercy. He farts. He has a certain ability to control animals. He controls the python. He has successfully ambushed you three times in this way. He is stalling for time, and trying to control the python to attack you from behind. A prompt pops up from the system. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows when he saw the prompt. He glanced lightly at the python in the distance. The python was indeed slowly leaving the branches it was entangled with and swimming towards Zhang Tuohai. Kill that python! Zhang Tuohai said to the bracelet. Duh duh duh. A quad-mounted 23mm cannon aimed at the python, spitting out flames. This python is only as thick as a thigh. Compared with ordinary people, it can be said to be a giant. But it is not big enough to face the machine gun. After dozens of bullets, its body was broken. The remaining two sections were twisting randomly on the ground. Seeing that the threat was dealt with, Zhang Tuohai withdrew his gaze and said to Rupert lying on the ground, You'd better tell the truth. If you let me hear another lie, I will make you the same as that python. No, I will stuff you into the 120mm main gun and shoot you out with one shot. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai threatened in a cold voice. I understand. I will tell the truth and cooperate absolutely, Rupert said, raising his hands decisively. But can you give me a sedative first? I can't stand the pain anymore, Rupert begged. It depends on your attitude, Zhang Tuohai said coldly. If your answer satisfies me, it doesn't matter how much sedative you take. I can even keep you alive. Otherwise, you can just wait and enjoy the feeling of being shot out. I protest. You are abusing the prisoners. I demand to enjoy my rights. I have the right not to be troubled by pain. Give me a sedative quickly. Rupert yelled loudly with cold sweat dripping from his painful forehead. The pain made his judgment questionable. Shut up! Zhang Tuohai hit Rupert on the head with the butt of his gun. Now let me ask you an answer. You have no right to resist. Otherwise, I will stuff the muzzle of the gun into your butt and then button up this damn thing. Trigger. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai said. Seeing Zhang Tuohai actually cutting his belt with a knife, Rupert was immediately frightened and said quickly, Okay, damn guy. You win. I will tell you everything you want to know. But, could you please put your gun away before you do it again? Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to pay attention to him and asked directly, Tell me your name. Rupert, you can also call me Rube. Very well. Mr. Rupert, which team do you belong to? Zhang Tuohai continued to ask. Secret? Secret order? Rupert said helplessly. It's the guy from the secret order again. John Tuohai's eyes flashed with a cold light. And murderous intent surged in his heart. How did you control that python? Did you drink that potion too? John Tuohai asked calmly. How do you know I can control that snake? Rupert asked in surprise. This was a secret. And even in the team. Only a few insiders at the time knew about it. He didn't understand how John Tuohai. Who had just met by chance. Knew his secret. Is there a traitor in the convoy? Rupert thought to himself. It seems you forgot the rules. Zhang Tuohai pointed the gun at Rupert's lower body. If you violate it again, then I will let you experience a different kind of happiness. Zhang Tuohai said with a sneer. Don't. I said. It's that damn potion. After I drank it, I gained superpowers. I could communicate with some animals and make them obey my words. The change in my body was an extra horn on the top of my head. Rupert said in panic. Hearing this, 
Zhang Tuohai pulled off Rupert's helmet. Sure enough, he saw a small, black, threaded horn on the top of his head. There were some holes on it. If you didn't pay too much attention, it's really not easy to find. Are there many people like you in the secret order? Where do you get your potions? Zhang Tuohai asked. Every member has drank the potion. As for what their abilities are, it is a personal secret. Members will not take the initiative to ask about it. This is a very taboo thing. As for the potion, I don't know where it comes from. All are controlled by the new leaders. The distribution and exchange are all controlled by the leaders. And others don't know about it at all. Rupert said, Is it controlled by the new leader? How is the new leader elected? Do you elect it yourself? Or do you run for election? Or is it some other way? Zhang Tuohai asked suspiciously. The oracle told us. Rupert grinned and said, The pain in his legs was already unbearable. Oracle? Yes. It's the oracle. Rupert gritted his teeth and said, Every time, the mysterious shadow tells us who the new leader is and tells us to follow the new leader's arrangements. Otherwise, the buff for obtaining resources will be cleared. The message conveyed by the mysterious shadow? Interesting. Zhang Tuohai sneered. This mysterious shadow is more powerful than he imagined. He can actually choose a leader and freely control whether to add buff to the player. Maybe those potions were obtained from the mysterious shadow. Now it seems that that mysterious shadow is the mastermind behind the scenes. As for whether there is someone behind the mysterious shadow controlling it, it is not something he can detect at his level. So, can you know the location of others? Especially the location of your new leader. George. John Tuohai asked, We are not a unified whole. We are very independent of each other. We only come together when needed and do not always know each other's dynamics. However, George recently asked us all to come together tomorrow. I arrived at a place before the afternoon. And I marked the location on the map, which is in my car. Rupert said loudly. Chapter 488. Opportunity to catch them all in one fell swoop. In the car? Where is your car? John Tuohai asked. It's in the woods on the right. My car door is unlocked. You can just pull it open. Rupert shouted. I've said all I can say. Can you give me a sedative now? He is lying. If you pull the door, it will only detonate the booby trap inside the car. The correct way to enter the car is through the top sunroof. The system prompted. He he. Zhang Tuohai looked at Rupert with a sneer. What are you going to do? Rupert looked at Zhang Tuohai in panic. Even though the other person was wearing a mask, he could still detect something bad in his voice. You violated the mutual trust between us. But I am merciful and decided to give you a decent death. Zhang Tuohai's cold voice came from the mask. No. I'm telling the truth. You can't. Duh duh duh. Before Rupert could finish his words. A series of bullets shut his mouth forever. Of course. I will never be able to feel pain again. After beating Rupert to death. Zhang Tuohai looted all his equipment. Now is the time of war. So these things can be sold at a good price. Since there is no way to stop it. Then try your best to gain benefits from it and strengthen yourself to avoid being caught by the wind and waves. This is Zhang Tuohai's creed. After searching for Rupert, Zhang Tuohai found his Panamera parked in the woods in the direction he pointed. After prying open the skylight, a spiral staircase leading to the interior appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. He followed the spiral staircase and walked into the car. A huge space appeared in front of me. Panamera's car was transformed into a huge living room. A huge 72-inch TV was mounted on the wall connected to various game controllers. The cabinet next to it was filled with various game discs. And there were also other things around it. There are many promotional posters and figures of the game on display. It seems that this guy named Rupert is a standard game geek. However, on top of the cabinet full of discs, there is a shrine with a mysterious shadow. Zhang Tuohai continued to wander around the living room. Rupert also had a lot of food. But they were all fast foods such as hamburgers and hot dogs. There were also some bacon and luncheon meats all piled randomly in the refrigerator. I guess Rupert Burt's guy hadn't been in the kitchen often. So he didn't know that canned lunch meat didn't need to be put in the refrigerator. There were 10 full boxes of Coke, filling the entire wine cabinet. There are also more than 60 sedatives, which is an unexpected gain. Zhang Tuohai wandered to the coffee table, swept aside the cigarettes and lighters on it, and revealed the map on it. This map is different from the map in Zhang Tuohai's hand. Some places are more detailed, while others are more sketchy. There is a red mark on the map with the time written on it. It seems that this is the gathering place. Zhang Tuohai took out his map and compared it. And found that this place seemed not too far away from here. Only less than four hours drive. No wonder this guy is not in a hurry and still has time to ambush here. 
Zhang Tuohai had some calculations in his mind. Since you are gathering here, I can't join in the fun. Zhang Tuohai saw an opportunity to wipe out the secret order in one fell swoop. Zhang Tuohai put away the map and then asked 001 to come over and dismantle the car. 001 worked very quickly, quickly dismantling the car into parts and successfully obtained a blueprint for building a mysterious shadow. What bad luck! Zhang Tuohai threw the drawing aside and drove forward. At the same time, among the ruins, a car shaped like a coffin stopped in the middle of the ruins. Two guys covered in dark green, with scales and bat wings, but still retaining human heads, stood in the open space. If Zhang Tuohai stood here, he would definitely recognize that these two guys are George and Cal, the current leaders of the secret order. Lord George, what are we gathering here for? Shouldn't our goal now be to get to the top of the mountain as quickly as possible? Ka asked curiously. Ka has always followed George when he was in the real world. So now, even though he has taken genetically modified drugs and gained great power, he is still used to following George's lead. Of course, I am following the instructions of the mysterious Lord Shadow to open this forbidden area, George said with a smile. This is the arrangement left by the mysterious Lord Shadow. If you open this forbidden area, you can get the artifact sealed inside. Once you get that artifact, it will not be a problem to dominate the entire area. Therefore, with this artifact we you must get it. Otherwise you will not be able to explain it to the mysterious Shadow Master. It is completely worth wasting some time on this. But, since this thing is so important, why don't we just open it and take it away ourselves? Why do we need to inform the other guys in the meeting? Cal asked in confusion. He knows the characters of the other guys in the guild very well. They are greedy, cruel, bloodthirsty and cruel. For the sake of profit, even members of the guild will be beaten to death. There is no need to call for such a good thing. Them. I don't want to either. George sighed. But if you want to open this forbidden area, you must use the blood of at least five people as a condition for opening it. Just the two of us can't do it. Speaking of this, a cold light flashed in George's eyes. It just so happens that those guys in the club are a little restless. If they can't learn to respect me, let them use their lives as the cornerstone of my upward climb. Understood. Ka nodded. Should we do it directly? Or, don't worry. Just wait a moment and watch my face. George said with a smile. At this moment, a huge steel train came from a distance. This steel train is like a huge steam locomotive. Except that all the steel wheels are replaced by crawler tracks. And a carriage also made of steel is dragged behind it. Various types of armor plates are hung on the carriage to protect it airtight. Gun barrels of various types extend out from the dents shooting holes on both sides of the carriage. There is also a 230 mm train at the top of the carriage. The gun looks majestic. The huge steel train rushed over with a huge plume of smoke and dust. And slowly stopped near George. The rising smoke almost engulfed George. This guy Yuri is always so annoying. George fanned the dust in front of his eyes and said dissatisfiedly. He he. George. My old friend. It is not a good habit to speak ill of others behind their backs. The door of the steel train opened, and a series of steel spiral staircases descended. A man wearing a black leather coat and a bald head walked down the spiral staircase and came to George. Chapter 489 Opening, The Forbidden Land Ahem. Yuri, you should modify your car. If you go back to the original world like this, you will definitely be criticized by those extreme environmentalists, George said, fanning the smoke from his eyes. Oh, those flies. If they dare to come, I will hang them all on the street lamp. Yuri lit a thick cigar with disdain, took a puff, and said, When will it start? Wait until evening. At least until the number of people is gathered before we can start. George said, Okay, then I'll go to the car and wait for a while. Call me when the time comes. Yuri knew that George was a stubborn guy. And if he said he wanted to wait until evening, he had to wait until evening. So he simply returned to the car. As time passed by, people continued to gather in the center of the ruins. By evening, there was a fat man weighing more than 300 pounds. A weak, boneless woman with a graceful figure. A pair of plain-looking twin brothers and a guy with a dog's head. The sun is almost setting. Why hasn't that damn Rupert come yet? The 300-pound fat man looked at his watch and said dissatisfiedly. That damn guy died in the afternoon. Didn't you read the prompt? Yuri spat out his eyes and said calmly. That guy Piero isn't here either. The soft boneless woman also said. Actually, we came early, and the latest agreed time is tomorrow afternoon. The guy with the dog head finally said something fair. 
Then I don't care. Do we still have so many of us waiting for that damn guy? The 300 pound fat man said dissatisfied. Then what do you think we should do? The weak and boneless woman asked. If you want me to say, just start the expedition. We can't waste our precious time because of that damn guy. Don't forget, we still have a mission. We need to reach the top of the mountain before 5 o'clock in the afternoon on the 7th day. I miss you. You don't want to experience the feeling of mission failure. Right. The fat man asked the others in a cold voice. Hearing Fatty's words, other people agreed, hoping to enter the forbidden area in advance. What do you mean? Yuri asked casually beside him. Although his tone seemed casual, he had actually joined the ranks of those trying to force him to have a baby. If George couldn't give him a satisfactory answer, it might not be that easy to solve. Humph. I originally wanted you to live a little longer. But since you are so eager to die, don't blame me. George looked at the people around him coldly. And his heart became cold. However, a smile appeared on his face. Okay. Now that most of the people are here, let's get started. George led everyone to a door. The entire door is made of heavy granite. With stone beast heads carved on it. With their mouths wide open. He said to everyone. After this door, there is a mysterious forbidden land. However, we need to put our hands into the mouths of those stone beasts. This is part of the initiation ceremony. Come and do it with me, George said, taking the lead and coming to the far left side of the gate, and put his hand into the mouth of the stone beast's head. Upon seeing this, Ka followed closely behind George, came to his side, and also put his hand into the mouth of a beast. The others looked at each other with hesitant expressions. Yuri glanced around raised the corners of his mouth slightly, and softly uttered three words. Coward! After saying that, Yuri walked to the stone door and put his hand into the beast's mouth. But he stood next to Kaa. Seeing this, the weak and boneless woman came to Yuri's side and put her hand into the beast's mouth. Seeing this, the rest of the people followed suit and stepped forward one after another, putting their hands into the beast's mouth. Then, what should we do? The fat man looked around and found that nothing happened. So he asked impatiently, Recite with me, respected mysterious shadow. We followed your will and opened the mysterious forbidden land. Please give us supreme power and spread your glory to every inch of the earth. The sound of recitation echoed over the ruins. Just after they finished reading the last word, the head of the stone beast that was originally motionless suddenly started to move. Click, click, starting from the right side. One after another, the heads of stone beasts suddenly opened their mouths and swallowed the person in front of them, one by one. When Yuri and others saw this, they were so frightened that they wanted to take their hands out. However, their bodies seemed to be frozen, unable to move at all. It worked. The spell really works. George was secretly happy when he saw this situation. This was the second way the mysterious shadow told him to open the door. Using this method to open, the gate can close most of the mechanisms in the forbidden area. However, the only disadvantage is that it requires the blood of five ordinary players. However, those stone beasts stopped after devouring the 300-pound fat man, the mediocre twin brothers, and the kobold. The stone statue in front of the weak and boneless woman opened her mouth slightly, then slowly closed it. The huge force disappeared. The door slowly opened to both sides, and a three-way intersection appeared in front of everyone. George! You owe me an explanation! Yuri pulled out the Makarov pistol from his waist and pointed it at George. Although George's scales can block the direct fire of an AK-47, the pistol in his hand has been specially modified. I don't believe it can break through George's scales. Cal stood in front of George silently. The weak and boneless woman took out a long whip from her waist, stood behind Yuri, and made her attitude clear. Seeing this situation, George secretly thought it was a pity. The mysterious shadow clearly told him that the blood of at least five players was needed to open the stone gate in the second way. But why did it end after swallowing only four? Could it be that they took genetically modified drugs that improved the quality of their blood? Or is it that the fat man is too fat and is regarded as two people? However, no matter what the situation was, the facts could not be changed now. So he could only say with a helpless smile, Actually, I don't know what's going on. But things have become like this. And I can't do anything about it. It's better to just let the dead people die. And there will be fewer people to share the benefits. Of course, in order to avoid after entering the forbidden area, if you think I'm going to do anything, we can move separately, and I can enter first. After you see me entering, you can choose the passage you want to enter. Is that okay? George spread his hands and said. Yuri and the weak and boneless woman looked at each other 
and silently nodded in agreement with George's opinion. They were originally connected by a mysterious shadow. They had not even met each other a few times. So it was hard to say how deep their relationship was. Now that those people are dead, they will be happy because there is an extra harvest. The reason why I made this move just now was just to gain more benefits. Okay, then I'll do as you say. But I have to enter first. Yuri thought for a while and said, Yes, please. George smiled and made a gesture of invitation. Yuri looked at the three-way intersection of Ange and directly chose the middle one and walked in. It's your turn, the weak and boneless woman said to George. George smiled and took Ka directly into the left passage. The weak and boneless woman waited at the door for three minutes. After confirming that George had no intention of returning, she dived into the passage on the right. After everyone entered the passage, Zhang Tuohai emerged from the hidden corner and looked at the three-way intersection in deep thought. Chapter 490 Demacia Zhang Tuohai had actually arrived at the center of the ruins long ago. However, with the addition of silencer tiles, he can allow the infantry fighting vehicle to sneak in silently without being noticed. After seeing all three people enter, Zhang Tuohai came to the door and looked at the three intersections and pondered which intersection was more appropriate to enter. Enter from the road on the left to reach the central control room as quickly as possible and control the switches in the forbidden area. Entering from the central road, you need to face the strongest combat puppet. If you want to hone your martial arts and seek the stimulation of explosive seeds in life and death, you can choose to enter. Enter from the road on the right, which is the shortest way to the center of the forbidden area, but it requires the most mechanisms to face. The prompt system gives a prompt. Is there still a choice? Of course. Just choose to enter from the left. Zhang Tuohai made a decision immediately. However, arrangements have to be made outside. He called Delina out of the laboratory to take charge of guarding outside. Although this is a remote ruin, it is not ruled out that other players will arrive here. Lilina can just stay here to deal with them. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai also called out a large number of self-propelled machines such as 001. Zhang Tuohai pointed to a large number of cars parked in the center of the ruins and said to 001, Have you seen these cars? I have torn them all apart. I want these guys to face the dilemma of not having a car even if they leave the forbidden area. They're stuck here. For these people in the secret order, Zhang Tuohai strives to catch them all. Now that there was an opportunity to dismantle the car that they relied on for survival, he naturally would not miss it. 001 rushed forward with many self-propelled machines. After making arrangements, Zhang Tuohai walked into the left passage carrying a honeycomb rocket launcher. After running forward for about a kilometer, there was a fork in the road ahead, with one road leading to the left and the other to the right. In the middle of the two roads, Ka was standing in the middle of the passage with his shoulders crossed. Kao saw Zhang Tuohai rushing in with a confused look on his face. Who are you? Why do you appear here? He was ordered by George to guard here to prevent Yuri and the others from going back on their word and following them. But unexpectedly, before Yuri and the others arrived, a young man they had never seen before arrived instead. The mighty Tian Long. Zhang Tuohai didn't talk nonsense to Ka and directly activated the honeycomb rocket launcher. Whoosh whoosh. A series of rockets were fired at Ka in an overwhelming manner. Ah! Ka was dumbfounded when he saw the overwhelming rockets and quickly crouched down to defend himself. However, the rockets were too dense. A series of violent explosions sounded. When the smoke cleared, Ka, the dragon transformer, had turned into fragments. That's it? That's it? Zhang Tuohai had a look of disdain on his face. When he was watching the video, he thought he was so powerful. But he was killed with one rocket, and so much of his emotions were wasted. After dealing with Ka, Zhang Tuohai came to the fork in the road. He was surprised to find that the explosion intensity of the rocket just now was so high that it directly destroyed part of the wall. Revealing a black metal passage. Discover the ventilation duct, through which you can quickly reach the central control room in a straight line. A prompt pops up from the system. Hey, there is an unexpected discovery. Zhang Tuohai laughed when he heard this and hurriedly climbed into the ventilation duct. In the distance, George, who heard the explosion, stopped and looked back. He couldn't help but frown. Yuri, this guy is really going too far. He even brought so many explosives into the maze. However, it's useless no matter how many weapons you carry. I am the fate chosen by the mysterious shadow. Son, just slowly find your way behind. Your death will be in the central control room when I arrive. After thinking about this, George turned around and ran towards a passage, his figure disappearing into the darkness. Damn, why are there so many of these guys? 
Yuri shattered the head of a large steel puppet with one shot. And the steel puppet fell to the side. Yuri has killed more than ten of the same steel puppets. Click. Click. A sound of metal friction sounded. This proves that a new steel puppet is about to arrive. Yuri pressed bullets into the magazine one by one and stood there waiting for the arrival of the steel puppet army. The weak and boneless woman crawled through the trap full of spikes like a snake. Her body seemed to have no bones, perfectly avoiding the ten-meter-long spike trap. At this moment, Gulyalu roared, and a huge steel ball rolled down the ramp in front. The diameter of the huge sphere was the same as the width of the tunnel, leaving only a gap less than 20 centimeters wide in two corners. Normal people would never be able to pass through there. If an ordinary person encountered this situation, they could only turn around and run away, competing with the steel ball in speed. However, the weak and boneless woman pressed directly against the corner and stretched her body into a long strip only 15 centimeters wide. The whole person became taller and taller. The huge ball rumbled past her without hurting her at all. After the ball rolled over, the weak and boneless woman returned to normal and continued walking along the passage. In a secret room, countless monitors were lit, recording everyone's forms one by one. Boom! The door to the room was kicked open, and a bruised George rushed in. Although he was guided by the mysterious shadow, no road in this forbidden area was undefended, and it took a lot of effort for him to charge all the way. Phew. We finally arrived at the central control room. George looked at the monitor with a smile on his face. He looked at Yuri and the weak and boneless woman on the screen with a proud smile on his face. I admit that both of you are very strong. Maybe I am no match for you in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But here, this is my home court, so you can rest here forever. George said, activating all the mechanisms in the passage between the two of them. Hundreds of mechanical puppets were awakened and rushed towards Yuri's direction. Even with thousands of troops, Facing so many mechanical puppets, they would probably fall into disarray. Poisonous mist, strong acid, flamethrowers, and various mechanisms were activated, making it difficult for even a weak and boneless woman to move in the passage. Go to hell. If you are dead, find another chance to kill that damn guy Piero. I am the only one favored by God. I am the real child of destiny. I will become a god. George clenched his hands into fists and shouted loudly, his eyes full of madness. At this moment, a loud shout came from his head. Demacia. Chapter 491 Golden Legend. Additional updates with monthly pass. Who? George was shocked and wanted to turn around. He never expected that he had already defeated the two strongest teammates. So why was there another attack sound coming from behind him? He has obviously seen all the monitors. Why didn't he find any enemies? But these questions of his can never be answered. The wildly rotating chainsaw in Zhang Tuohai's hand cut open his neck. Blood splattered all over the console. Looking at George's body lying on the ground, Zhang Tuohai showed a look of disdain on his face. I thought it was so strong. It turns out that the brain is the same as before. There is such a big flaw. How have you improved? You are not as good as Garrison. Why are you so arrogant? Zhang Tuohai sighed and stopped all the mechanisms in the forbidden area. Then a switch was pressed. And a secret door opened, which was the final passage to the core area. Zhang Tuohai followed and walked in. After passing through the long passage, Zhang Tuohai was shocked to see that at the end of the passage was a platform, with a golden supply box placed on the platform, exuding a dazzling light. Golden supply box? Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up with excitement. He had never seen anything like this before, and he couldn't wait to open it to see what was inside. Go back to the car and open it again. Don't open it here. You can't move it. The prompt system popped up an eye-catching prompt. Looking at the pop-up prompt, Zhang Tuohai stopped his hand in time. It was so dangerous. So dangerous. I almost opened it. Zhang Tuohai wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. However, he became even more curious. What was it? It was strange that it was something he couldn't move. The exoskeleton he's wearing now has no problem lifting a ton or two. What is in this supply box that makes it impossible for me to lift it? Is it an intercontinental ballistic missile? It's useless for me to want that thing. Full of suspicion, Zhang Tuohai returned to his car with a golden supply box. At this time, 001 had dismantled several cars and produced many drawings. Zhang Tuohai no longer even thought about looking at the drawings. He ran all the way back to the car and placed the golden supply box on the table. He put his hands together and bowed and murmured, The gods of the past, the goddess of luck, the koi spirit, bless me to bring out good things. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai held the crowbar with both hands, 
inserted it into the gap, and pressed it hard. Let's go! A golden light emerged from the supply box, almost blinding Zhang to eyes titanium alloy dog eyes. Then, several system prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player for obtaining a small nuclear power reactor and a small laser transmitter. Small nuclear power reactor, a level 8 auto accessory. Blessed as unleveled equipment that can provide normal energy supply for cars for 50 years. Fuel rods need to be replaced when due. Small laser launcher, a level 8 car accessory. Blessed to be a levelless equipment. Capable of emitting lasers for attack. Range, limited by prevailing weather conditions. Interpretation, non-level equipment. Equipment that becomes unrestricted for special reasons and can be installed on vehicles of any level. Can player Zhang Tuahai install these two accessories? Zhang Tuahai was stunned by this series of reminders. Nuclear power reactor? Laser transmitter? I actually got these two things? It is worthy of being called an artifact. This thing is really an artifact at its current level. Nuclear power reactors were the most powerful power source he knew. Aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines, which can only be equipped by big guys with tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of tons, can be equipped on a land vehicle? Among other things, with this thing, his car will no longer need to burn oil. A small nuclear reactor can completely make him have no shortage of power and energy in the future. Energy for 50 years. He was not even sure whether he could survive 50 days. This energy is almost unlimited for him. Even the electric tiger with a small laser transmitter is the same. Small laser transmitters are even more awesome. This is a laser. If it goes down all at once, no armor can stop it. Long range and powerful. The only disadvantage is that it is severely restricted by weather. Rain, snow, haze and weather conditions are greatly restricted. And the effective distance can even be compressed to less than 10 meters. Any further away, and it will be refracted and dispersed by the water molecules in the air. However, this is enough to be proud of. He can now equip level 4 cars with level 8 vehicle accessories. Is it awesome? I would like to ask the entire regional channel. Who else can do it? Who else? Zhang Tuohai's heart was beating with excitement. Equipment! Zhang Tuohai shouted excitedly, and his voice even became hoarse because of the excitement. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle. After a while, the white light dissipated. There are buttons for switching power sources on the control panel of the car, and various parameters of the small nuclear reactor are also displayed on the screen. However, Zhang Tuohai couldn't understand any of them. Well, this is a nuclear power reactor. So that's it. It can still be like this here. The parameters are like this. TSK TSK. On the pixel portrait of classmate Xiao Yai. I don't know when a pair of black rimmed glasses appeared. Classmate Xiao Yai pushed up her glasses while circling around the parameter table of the small nuclear power reactor. From now on, the reactor will be under your care. Don't let anything go wrong. Zhang Tuohai reminded from the side. Although the small nuclear reactor has almost infinite energy, it is still a bomb. If it explodes in the car or leaks, they will be finished. Don't worry. Commander. Xiao Yai blew a kiss to Zhang Tuohai. Level 4 is equipped with accessories for level 8. Commander is awesome. An emoticon appears on the spherical screen. Go aside. Zhang Tuohai was speechless and climbed into the car to see the laser transmitter. Compared with small nuclear reactors, laser transmitters are much simpler. It looks like a large camera with a square head and a square head and looks harmless to humans and animals. But when it starts, everyone will shudder. I have to try the effect. What test should I use? Zhang Tuohai looked around for suitable test subjects. After a while, Zhang Tuohai finally selected a huge stone. Then you can test it. Zhang Tuohai activated the laser transmitter at the boulder. Gee, there was a low buzz. A dazzling white light shot out from the laser transmitter and dissipated in the blink of an eye. At this time, a round hole with a diameter of 5 centimeters had appeared on the boulder. The round hole runs through the entire boulder, and its edges are as smooth as a mirror, and there is even some melted liquid flowing slowly. Chapter 492 Unexpected Drawings and Industrial Upgrades Seeing the effect caused by the laser transmitter, Zhang Tuohai opened his mouth, and it took him a long time to spit out two words, awesome. With this thing, he no longer has to be afraid when he encounters any steel puppets, clockwork armor, etc. If he directly fires a laser, he will have to kneel down. As long as the weather is good, his weapon is invincible. At this time, the person Zhang Tuohai wanted to thank the most was the mysterious black hand behind the secret order. If it hadn't been for its arrangement, 
he wouldn't have been able to obtain such a powerful weapon. It was a pity that she had worked so hard to make a wedding dress for herself. Zhang Tuohai felt even more comfortable when he thought that he was equipped with weapons that the enemy wanted to use against him. Zhang Tuohai also stored the excitation light transmitter in the weapon storage compartment. He didn't have blueprints for this thing. When he got it, it was a finished product. If it broke, it was really broken. He didn't even have a chance to make it again. So it had to be protected. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai also mastered a secret in the game, which is unleveled equipment. Some equipment will be given an unleveled prefix for some special reasons. So players can wear it directly regardless of the level. This is a bit like the setting of a game he played in the original world. In addition, based on the level of the small nuclear reactor, Zhang Tuohai can infer that this car can be upgraded to at least level 8. Or even higher. But now, he is just a little ant at level 4 waiting to be promoted to level 5. And he is still far away from the top. Long distances to travel. It seems that there are still many secrets in this game. What I know is just the tip of the iceberg. Zhang Tuohai curbed his pride and prepared to continue on the journey. However, before leaving, he needed to take care of this place. The secret realm door closed automatically after he left. Zhang Tuohai turned his head and aimed the main gun at the big rock he had tested before. The launch button was pressed. Boom! A stabilized wing armor-piercing projectile hit the boulder, blowing it into pieces. All right! Zhang Tuohai clapped his hands and cleaned up the scene. Now, even if someone arrives here, they will not be able to find out that they have experimented with lasers here. Although this place is very remote, and the probability of players arriving is extremely small, we still have to be on guard. Details determine success or failure. After cleaning up his hands, Zhang Tuohai drove away from the ruins. After returning to the road, the sky had darkened. Zhang Tuohai handed over the control of the car to Xiao Ai and opened the pile of drawings obtained by dismantling the car. The first one is the transformation drawing of the steel train. Zhang Tuohai was extremely impressed by that steel train. The huge body, thick barrel, wide tracks, thick armor, and dense shooting holes all demonstrate its powerful strength. Zhang Tuohai originally thought it was a high-end vehicle, but he didn't expect it to be modified using modified drawings. In the past, Zhang Tuohai might have been moved. However, now that he has a laser transmitter, he no longer pays attention to such silly, black and thick things, no matter how thick the armor is. A laser can penetrate it directly. However, Although he doesn't like it, he definitely can't say it is worthless. At least among the current group of players. He is definitely a steel hedgehog. Anyone who wants to provoke him must think twice. This thing will definitely sell for a lot of money. Zhang Tuohai put it away cherishly. The second drawing is a manufacturing drawing of the RPG-7 rocket launcher. How do you say this thing? If he had obtained it in the previous world, Zhang Tuohai might be very happy. However, in this world... Zhang Tuohai has better Hellfire anti-tank missiles on his vehicle. And his individual weapons also have dedicated ultra-miniature rockets. There is almost no demand for RPG-7. However, just because he doesn't need it doesn't mean that other players don't need it. He can learn how to sell it in large quantities later. Now that the sales of AK-47 are declining rapidly. And the sales of steam machine guns are also not good. It is time to upgrade the products. Moreover, this thing is a consumable product and consumes a lot of money so it is more cost-effective for him. Scroll down further. And the following are the manufacturing drawings of the mysterious statue. There are six sheets in a thick pile. These were naturally thrown into the garbage pile. In addition to these, the bodies of George and the boneless woman were brought back by Zhang Tuohai. The two corpses were thrown into the unstable potion-making machine and turned into two cans of potion. One jar is the dragon potion that George demonstrated, and the other pot is a potion that can make human bones extremely soft. Zhang Tuohai did not move the two cans of medicine and planned to keep them for now to see the situation. After dealing with these matters, Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel and prepared to find the last player of the secret order. He had eavesdropped on George's conversation and knew that the last player from the secret order was not present. However, the wind was a bit strong at that time, so he didn't hear the name clearly. It seemed that it was called Pai, but he couldn't hear clearly. He planned to kill this last target and eradicate the secret order in one fell swoop. However, when he opened the regional channel, he found that because there was only one player left in the secret order, it was automatically disbanded, and he could no longer find the other party based on the secret order. Zhang Tuohai tried again to find players with the word, leather, in their names. But there are seven or eight in number. Piero, Pisano, 
and Piperu. He can't kill them one by one. Right? Moreover, the arena statue can only be used once per world. So it is not possible to invite so many people. This is how to do. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but scratch his head. In the past, Zhang Tuohai was secretive, and the other party was in the light. So he could plan secretly. Now that the other party has also turned into the dark, there is nothing he can do. I wish I had written down all these guys' names. Zhang Tuohai regretted a little. He didn't expect that things would go so smoothly. He would actually deal with all the players who entered the forbidden area at once, leaving only one person to hide directly. However, there is no good way. I can only slowly look for opportunities. Zhang Tuohai looked through the comments of players in the regional channel, preparing to see what status the players were in now. Damn it! I just collected the heart. Why did the guy in charge of the exchange die again? Didn't I promise that he would be invincible after the exchange? Why did he die first? Brother, have you seen the cause of death? He was decapitated and died tragically. I didn't expect that he still had such a big weakness. This wave. This wave is a weak attack. I don't care whether he dies or not. But who exchanged the hearts in my hands for me? I worked hard to collect 10 hearts. But the exchanger died. George came out and raised the price to 20. Okay. If you can exchange it. No problem. I finally got it together. But this guy is actually dead. Are you guys joining forces to play with me? Brother, do you have a heart in your hand? Let's chat privately. A player said to the man. Huh? Zhang Tuohai's heart moved and he stared at the player. Chapter 493 Reincarnation Plan After the player finished speaking, he seemed to realize that he had said the wrong thing and quickly chose to withdraw it. The player who had been complaining stopped talking. However, what the player didn't know was that although he retreated quickly, he was caught by Zhang Tuohai. He clearly wrote down the man's name Kasano. There's no leather in the name. Did I hear it wrong? Or was it just a white glove I found? Zhang Tuohai's mind changed rapidly. Zhang Tuohai is sure that if he comes out to discuss the matter of his heart at this time, there must be a way to recycle it, whether it is to make potions or for other purposes. He will not allow this kind of digging of his leak roots to continue to happen. Therefore, regardless of whether the other party is a remnant of the secret order or not. Zhang Tuohai will find him out and kill him. However, he cannot do this kind of thing. He has too much blood from the secret order on his hands. Who knows if the other party has some secret method to reveal his information. It's okay if there isn't. But if there is, then the other party will be frightened and run away. And it will be extremely difficult to find it again. At this time, we should not be anxious. Zhang Tuohai drank a cup of milk tea to calm down and then wrote a private message to Song Shaokong. Contact Asano in a natural way and find out who is collecting players' hearts and what is the purpose. Spying on intelligence? I'm good at this. Boss, please keep an eye on it. Song Shaokong said confidently. I want to protect my own safety. I'll give you a few RPGs for self-defense. Zhang Tuohai said 4 RPG 7s over. There are blueprints. He is so arrogant. Seeing RPG 7, Song Shaokong's eyes were filled with light. Zhang Tuohai doesn't like this thing. But for many ordinary players, this is still very important heavy firepower. And it is very popular for dealing with armored targets. Song Shaokong had just converted his car into a spider car. The main weapons were a steam machine gun and its own mortars. Heavy firepower was very lacking. These four RPG-7s just solved the urgent need. With the tools, Song Shaokong worked harder. Don't worry. Boss, even if he is hiding in a mouse hole, I will dig it out for you. Song Shukong's chest slapped loudly. Pay attention to your own safety. Zhang Tuohai warned. Then stop caring and listen to the news. Leave professional matters to professionals. This is a saying he believes in very much. If he does everything himself. Why do he need those subordinates? The tracking was left at Song Shukong. While Zhang Tuohai continued to observe the regional channels. After observing for a while. Zhang Tuohai discovered a problem. That is. Whenever a player complains that there is no place to change his heart, his message is suddenly interrupted. After a while, that player's avatar will change. Some have completely changed heads, while others only have a slight change in the exposed shoulders. Some are not shown. There must be a place where you can exchange your heart for transformation potion. Zhang Tuohai secretly concluded in his heart. We must catch these guys. For this guy who dared to dig up his own leak roots, Zhang Tuohai wanted to spread his ashes. After watching for a while, Zhang Tuohai found that there was no new information. So he came to Lilith's laboratory to see how the repair work on the can was going. 
As soon as Zhang Tuohai walked into the room, he saw a huge steam machine busy in the room. There is something huge and special about this steam machine. There are two crawlers and steam equipment underneath it for movement. A metal processing table and a differential engine are installed on the huge body. There are more than 20 mechanical arms and mechanical tentacles installed next to it. On the top, there are five more six monitors are doing different jobs. After seeing Zhang Tuohai come in, an old monitor lit up, showing Lilith's original appearance, half of her face covered with a brass mask. Hey, long time no see, Lilith greeted. Are you resurrected? Zhang Tuohai asked, pretending to be shocked. Well, to a certain extent, you can say that, but not entirely, Lilith sighed. What exactly happened? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't have much time. I will put the most important things first. That is, never use the sore stone as a life carrier. And never use it to treat your injuries. Never. Lilith emphasized her tone. Why? Zhang Tuohai was confused. He remembered that in Lilith's research notes on the origin stone. The two most important items were that it could nourish life and restore injuries. Now, actually telling him that this is all wrong. My previous research was too one-sided. And I consider the properties of the origin stone too well. Lilith on the screen showed a regretful look. Some time ago, I attached my soul to a small origin stone. Trying to store the soul also gave me the opportunity to learn more about the source stone. As a result, I found that if the source stone is used to nourish life for a long time, it will produce irreversible radiation to the soul. This radiation will destroy the human soul, gradually becoming mechanized. It will eventually become a digital life. In the eyes of this digital life, all emotions no longer exist. Only zero and one. Is that so? After hearing Lilith's description, Zhang Tuohai frowned. If he really lost his emotions, could he still be himself? At least, he didn't want to be like that. I don't have much time. If I delay it any longer, it will become a real digital life. I don't want to become like that. So I want to give it one last try. What are you going to do? Zhang Tuohai asked with a frown. I'm ready to be reincarnated. Lilith looked enthusiastic. A thermostat popped out from under the monitor. Zhang Tuohai looked inside and was shocked to find an egg inside. This is? Zhang Tuohai asked. This is a cultured egg, Lilith explained. Thank you for the information and various test materials you provided. I spent almost everything before I finally produced a qualified product. I will transplant my and my sister's souls into them and reincarnate. If successful, we will regain our bodies. Human bodies. Lilina is going to be reincarnated too? Zhang Tuohai asked in shock. Yes. She has been lying in the ice coffin for 10 years. And her soul has long been radiated by the sore stone. If she does not undergo reincarnation, she may one day unknowingly turn into a real mechanical life. Lilith sighed. What if it fails? Zhang Tuohai asked. Then, there will be one more broken egg. You can choose to make scrambled eggs. Lilith made a rare joke. Although it wasn't funny. Chapter 494 Lilith's Gratitude Okay. What do you need me to do? Seeing that Lilith seemed to have made up her mind, Zhang Tuohai knew that it was useless to persuade her now. There are indeed some technical issues that need your help, Lilith said. Because the experimental materials you sent are all female, bionic dolls, I can only imitate egg cells based on their cells. However, according to common biological knowledge, egg cells alone cannot be hatched. Wait, you mean... Zhang Tuohai felt a chill running down his spine as if something bad was about to happen. Yes, we need to borrow some life essence. Zhang Tuohai, thank you. Lilith held out the incubator containing the cultured eggs in front of Zhang Tuohai. Do you need a show to cheer you up? A list of optional educational films appears on the screen. Or props? Lilith popped up a box, which contained various props that Zhang Tuohai had collected before. He clearly remembered that he had thrown these things into the warehouse to eat ashes. So why was Lilith collecting them again? This is so shameful. Zhang Tuohai scratched his head and felt a little pain in his balls. As expected, primitive means are still needed. Lilina, come on. The curtain was drawn. An hour later, Zhang Tuohai limped out while holding his waist. Nanometal machinery is indeed a tireless existence. In order to ensure the success of the experiment, three experimental materials were collected. Thank you for your generosity. In return, and to thank you for taking me in. I specially left you some gifts, Lilith said as she pulled over a brand new self-propelled machine. The legs of this self-propelled machine turned into eight sharp legs. The circular chainsaw turned into four. The long chainsaw turned into two. 
and there were four additional mechanical arms on the back. The new self-propelled machinery has about doubled its working efficiency and increased its body strength by 3.5 times. It is made of materials modeled after the body shell of a can. It can be used as a perfect human shield. Most importantly, it is loaded with cans. After the logic program, the computing efficiency has been greatly improved, and it can handle more complex tasks, such as mine clearance and auxiliary operations. After speaking, Lilith asked a self-propelled machine to perform a powerful scene of carrying an RPG in one hand, a steam machine gun in one hand, and anti-tank grenades in the other two hands. Zhang Tuohai wiped the sweat from his head. Lilith's research is good, but she has the potential to be a bomb madman. She wants to get some explosives to research anything. If it is an explosive itself, then increase the yield a little more. So, you remove the can? Zhang Tuohai asked. But the new 001 can perfectly replace the work of the can. And it does it better. You also have countless cans. Lilith waved. And the remaining self-propelled machines, all equipped with the same equipment, stood up. Zhang Tuoha, fine. Looking at the uniform self-propelled machines, Zhang Tuoha nodded resignedly. Although there is one less bodyguard, there are more bodyguards with higher levels and better capabilities. Moreover, when not fighting, it can also help recycle resources, which is quite good. From this point of view, the transaction is still cost-effective. Seeing that Zhang Tuohai had no objections, Lilith breathed a sigh of relief and continued. I helped adjust the production factory so that it can mass-produce and repair new self-propelled machinery. I have read the blueprint of your titanium alloy armor and made certain modifications. The efficiency has increased by 30% compared to the original effect. I have remade your exoskeleton. The outer shell is stronger and can block the direct fire of the 88mm artillery. The effectiveness of the micro-missiles has been improved and is comparable to the original honeycomb rocket. The palm machine gun can also be used as an ordinary anti-tank gun use. This is the biggest improvement I can make based on existing technology. If I want to improve again, I will have to acquire new technology. Lilith said. I can't thank you enough. Zhang Tuohai felt much more relaxed when he heard Lilith say this. He was about to deal with the remnants of the secret order. And his personal strength had once again improved. Giving him more confidence. This is the care manual for cultivating eggs. Please read it when you have time. Our lives are in your hands. Lilith handed a manual to Zhang Tuohai. A thick one that could kill someone. Seeing such a thick stack of information. Zhang Tuohai's head got big. So much. It introduces in detail how to deal with various problems. Just follow it. It's not difficult. Lilith said lightly. Here. Is there anything else you would like to entrust? Zhang Tuohai asked. Of course. Don't use the medicines produced in this world. Especially the gene-changing medicines. Casually, I studied Lalina's body and found some problems. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. If I can be reincarnated successfully, I will continue to study. If it fails, just pretend that I didn't say this and you can do it yourself. Lilith said. There are other things like this. I remember them. Zhang Tuohai nodded. Last point. According to my research on possessing the Source Stone, detonating the Source Stone will not only bring destruction, but if detonated in a specific way, it may open another door. Call the door of reality, Lilith said solemnly. Real? What do you mean? Zhang Tuohai sat upright, his instinct telling him that this should be very important news. I'm not too sure. I just vaguely touched a threshold. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. I'll study it after I'm reincarnated, Lilith sighed feeling that time could not wait for us. By the way, after I am reincarnated, the body left behind will be converted into a detonator. You can put the origin stone in it. And when you want to detonate it, just enter the password. This detonator is better than what I gave you before. Your detonation method is much more stable and faster. Now, having said so much, it's time to say goodbye. Lilina, we are on our way. See you again if we are destined. After saying that, the screen went out, and the huge body began to collapse inwards and condense. Bye! Lilina ran over, held Zhang Tuohai's face and kissed him, then jumped into the collapsed machinery and disappeared. After a few seconds, the originally huge machine collapsed into a palm-sized metal box. The surface of the metal box is covered with complicated patterns, making it look like an exquisite jewelry box. There is a code disc and detonation button on the side. The workmanship is quite exquisite. Unexpectedly, Lilith's aesthetics is still online, and they are not all stupid and crude things. 
after playing with the metal box for a while. Zhang Tuohai put his two origin stones in and put them away. Then, Zhang Tuohai focused his attention on the black incubator with a white egg inside. Chapter 495 Initiating a Duel Monthly tickets will add more updates. Are these Lilith and Lilina? Zhang Tuohai poked the egg with his finger. The shell is a bit soft and slippery. A bit like a peeled hard-boiled egg. I don't know how long it will take to hatch. I hope it will be faster. Zhang Tuohai handed the incubator to classmate Xiao Ai to take care of. While he watched the regional channel to see how it was progressing. As soon as he opened the regional channel. Song Xiaokong sent a private message. Boss, I have found out. There is indeed someone behind the scenes selling genetically modified medicines. This person's name is Piero, who is a member of the Secret Order. As for Cassano, he is a downline and a mouthpiece responsible for his development. To pull people off, the price they offer is 30 hearts for one transformation potion. But the effect is not guaranteed. Song Xiaokong sent a long message, followed by Piero's photo. As expected of a professional, the speed is just different. Zhang Tuohai took the photo and looked at it for a moment. Piero has a mixed race face. One front tooth is missing. His hairline is a bit high. And he has a half smiling face. Which makes him look like he deserves a beating. Zhang Tuohai searched around the regional channels again and confirmed that there was only one guy named Piero. That's you. Zhang Tuohai took out the statue of the arena of life and death. This thing can initiate a force duel in each world. He got it from Sakura Racing Team. He hasn't used it yet. And today, he finally got the chance to play. In fact, if Piero wasn't so eager to sell potions, Zhang Tuohai might have let him live for two more days to see if he could be found on the highway. However, by selling potions privately, he was inciting players to fight each other in order to protect his own safety. Zhang Tuohai also wanted to kill him. Initiate a duel! Zhang Tuohai activated the statue. Please select a duelist. Piero! Please select a duel method. 1vs1 duel. Please choose a duel venue or enter the arena first. Enter the arena first. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, with a prompt system, he can handle any terrain with ease. Therefore, I directly chose to enter the venue first. If the venue is small enough, maybe we can even let the opponent do a floor to ceiling box. Duel request is being sent. Waiting for response. At this time, Piero was humming a song and checking supplies. He had just completed a few deals and made a lot of money. Hey! Hey! It's finally my turn to make a fortune! Garrison! George! You idiots! You have to sell potions in front of everyone! Are you going to be killed? These days! If you want to do business safely, you still need a white glove! Put yourself on the bright side! Isn't this looking for death? With this wealth, I can move to the next level! Just as Piero was happily counting cans, a prompt from the game system suddenly popped up in front of him. You have been challenged to a duel by the player Zhang Tuohai. If you refuse, you will need to hand over all your supplies. Do you accept it? What? Hand over all the supplies? How is this allowed? Piero jumped up as if his butt was on fire. He had worked so hard to save these things. How could he just hand them over to others casually? He will never agree. Zhang Tuohai, you actually dare to challenge me. Right. You are dead. I will break your neck with my own hands. Hang your body on a tree. And let crows eat it. Piero cursed angrily. Player Piero accepts the challenge. Please choose a venue. The game system pops up a series of venues to choose from. There are so many venues. Which one should I choose? Piero flipped through the list and compared different dual venues. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Is there such a venue? It's just perfect for my car. That's it. Piero clicked OK. White light shrouded the two people and disappeared from their original positions. When the white light disappeared, Zhang Tuohai felt that his eyes suddenly opened up. He was surrounded by birds singing, flowers fragrant, and coconut trees growing into a forest, giving him a southern style. Looking to the side, I saw surging waves and various small crabs on the beach. It was the map of the southern island. It's really fate. Seeing this map, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but sigh. In the last duel, he chose this map. Unexpectedly, Piero had a clear understanding with him and actually chose this map. In terms of familiarity, no one is more familiar with this map than him. After all, last time, he walked around this map several times and understood the situation of the entire island. According to the rules, Piero will land on the other end of the island, and the opponent will look for him along the ring road. The two will meet on the road, and then have an encounter to decide the winner. Hey! 
This time, I will save some trouble and wait for you to come to the door yourself and catch the turtle in the jar. Zhang Tuai thought, drove into the coconut grove, covered the infantry fighting vehicle with huge leaves, and pointed the muzzle at the road. He prepared an ambush for Piero. However, the prompt system popped up a prompt at this time. I'm sorry. Your plan went bankrupt. Just as you thought. Piero is setting up an ambush in place and installing a camouflage net, preparing to hold on for a long time. Gone! Zhang Tuohai dropped the leaf in his hand to the ground. He didn't expect that the perfect plan he came up with would actually collide with Piero. If it hadn't been for the reminder system, the two of them would have been waiting there. He had no time to waste with Piero. Very good. Just stay where you are. Okay. I'll go find you. That's all right. Zhang Tuohai turned the car around, secretly crossed the island, and drove towards the opposite side of the island. Because he crossed the island last time, Zhang Tuohai was still very familiar with the roads on the island. Fruit is everywhere. When passing by the altar on the island, Zhang Tuohai also wanted to see if he could fix a bug and create a statue. Unfortunately, the altar is still in its original location. But the statue is gone. I really don't give you a chance to take advantage of any loopholes. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and continued to drive forward. After driving a few kilometers, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Piero's vehicle is found two kilometers ahead. If you continue to get closer, you will be discovered by the other party. Two kilometers ahead? Where else? Let me see. Zhang Tuohai brought the distant scenery closer. After a careful search, Zhang Tuohai finally found a car covered with camouflage netting in the coconut grove. This car is a bit special. It looks a bit like the kind of electric car that children play in amusement parks. It looks like a cute big frog. But on the back of the big frog, he actually carried a mortar with a diameter of 400 millimeters. Chapter 496 Capturing Piero What car is this? Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he saw the car. He has been in this world for a long time and has seen many different kinds of cars. But this is the first time he has seen this kind of car. The appearance is secondary. But the most terrifying thing is the 400 millimeters caliber mortar on the opponent's car. Mortars and regular cannons. Howitzers are different. Famous for their thick muzzle and short barrel. However, this was the first time he had seen such a thick barrel. 400 millimeters. If such a big shell hits my car, even composite armor can't withstand it. Right? Fortunately, I got the hint and took this guy's retreat. Otherwise, he would be in trouble if he was hit by a bullet from the front. Aim directly with the main gun and knock out the opponent's cannon first. Zhang Tuohai stared at the huge mortar and said, Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai quietly turned the muzzle and aimed at the main gun on Piero's car. The automatic loading machine pushed the shell into the barrel. Boom. There was a gunshot. And the stabilized wing sabo armor-piercing projectile directly hit the mortar. The body of the mortar was not armored, but was made of steel with a relatively high chamber pressure. After being hit by an armor-piercing projectile, it was directly blown into the sky. The violent explosion even directly blew off the top shell of the car. Following the explosion, a figure jumped out of the car and disappeared into the coconut grove. Is this guy so strong? He didn't even get killed by the explosion? Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he saw this. Unexpectedly, this shot did not kill Piero, but made him run away. However, this is not a problem for Zhang Tuohai. Anyway, the island is so big. How can he escape? Zhang Tuohai drove his infantry fighting vehicle slowly over, deliberately only revealing the 120mm main gun and not any other weapons just to lure Piero into a trap. Unfortunately, Piero did not take the bait and appeared from his hiding place. This guy is really good at it. It seems that I need to add some fire to him. Zhang Tuohai jumped out of the car, got into the frog car through the hole, and began to rummage through the items inside. It has to be said that although the frog car does not look big from the outside, the space inside is quite large. There are two ordinary warehouses and two high-end warehouses inside, which are filled with all kinds of things various materials and parts, various foods, weapons and ammunition of various specifications, and various clothes. Zhang Tuohai seriously suspected that Piero was a collector. He liked to hoard all kinds of things, regardless of whether they were useful or not. He piled them all in the car. Zhang Tuohai even found two old flintlock guns in his warehouse. There are no matching cleaning tools. And I don't know what his mentality is in keeping this thing. Zhang Tuohai did not call 001 for help but move things into the car one by one. The goal was to create opportunities for Piero to jump out and attack him. However, Piero just kept silent 
and had no intention of coming out at all. John Tuohai almost finished moving the things. But there was no movement. This guy is really a Voldemort. How can he endure this? Let me show you how powerful he is. Zhang Tuohai called 001 out and began to dismantle the frog car. If you don't come out to move your things, you should come out by dismantling the car now. Right. Zhang Tuohai leaned on the car, scanning the surroundings quietly, waiting for Piero to come to the door. He has already decided that if the car is dismantled and Piero does not come out, he will send out all the self-propelled machines to clear the wilderness on the island, cut down all the trees, and gradually advance. Where else could Hiero hide? In fact, he didn't know that Piero was also very anxious. From the moment, he saw Jean Tuohai carrying his supplies. His heart felt like a knife. Those were the supplies he had worked so hard to collect. Before he could even enjoy them, Jean Tuohai was given the advantage. He was very unwilling to do so. However, the mysterious shadow statue he was wearing told him to hide on the island. It must not be exposed. He gritted his teeth and watched Jean Tuohai empty the things. Now, he couldn't bear it anymore. Because Zhang Tuohai has already started to dismantle his car. If his car was really dismantled, wouldn't he be dead? Idiot! If he dismantles your car, you won't snatch it from him? By then, won't all your supplies be yours? And, will all his supplies also fall into your hands? Also, as long as you snatch his car, won't that guy become a toothless tiger and let you take care of him? The mysterious shadow taught from the side. Why didn't I think of that? Piero slapped his head. If Zhang Tuohai demolishes his car, he can also grab Zhang Tuohai's car. This is called Ko. And I can go too. Piero made up his mind and quietly climbed towards the infantry fighting vehicle. The potion Piero swallowed was a chameleon, which could make his body change with the surrounding environment. He was confident that as long as he moved smaller, he would not be discovered even if he passed by Zhang Tuohai. However, he did not know that his behavior had been informed to Zhang Tuohai by the prompt system. However, Zhang Tuohai wanted to catch someone alive, so he kept refraining from taking action. When Piero was quietly preparing to crawl past him, Zhang Tuohai suddenly raised his right foot and stepped on Piero's back. You dare to crawl in front of me. Do you think I'm blind? You? You can actually see me? Piero looked at Zhang Tuohai in disbelief. He was very confident in his abilities. He once stood next to a tree, and several players passed by him without noticing him. However, now Zhang Tuohai discovered it. However, Piero was also a decisive person. After discovering that he had been discovered, he immediately took out a dagger from his chest bag and cut it towards Zhang Tuohai's leg, preparing to cut his Achilles tendon. This dagger was given to him by the mysterious shadow. It is extremely sharp and can even pierce many steels. He tested it, and his car door was pierced with one blow, which was very powerful. And the mysterious shadow also told him that the dagger in his hand could definitely break open Zhang Tuohai's exoskeleton. Only after receiving God's assurance did he dare to do this. But something unexpected happened. Stab. A spark lit up the exoskeleton. The dagger left a spark on the exoskeleton, leaving only a shallow mark on it, not to mention cutting the Achilles tendon. It didn't even pierce the exoskeleton. What's going on? Lord God obviously said it's okay. Piero was stunned. Before he could react, a gunshot rang out. The bullet from the palm machine gun directly broke his wrist, and the dagger fell to the ground. Boom. Zhang Tuohai shot another shot and broke Piero's other arm, then stepped on his back and completely controlled Piero before he breathed a sigh of relief. He looked at the cuts on the exoskeleton and felt a sense of fear in his heart. Fortunately, Lilith helped him increase the hardness of the exoskeleton today. Otherwise, he might have capsized today. Chapter 497 Identifying the Black Hand Ah! Piero started to cry after being stepped on by Zhang Tuohai. Be honest. If you dare to talk too much, I will hang you in the sea and feed it to the sharks. Zhang Tuohai put the gun in his hand against the opponent's head. Now! I ask you to answer. Don't say unnecessary words. Otherwise, I will make you regret coming to this world. Do you understand? Kill me if you can! Piero guessed that he could no longer survive. So he simply stiffened his neck and pretended to be a hero. It's quite tough. This knife is quite sharp. Tell me, what will be the effect if I try it on you? Zhang Tuohai picked up Piero's dagger, and the tip of the knife hovered over Piero's body, as if looking for a place to cut. How about starting from here? I'm very skilled at cutting sausages, and I'll make sure that the difference in thickness between pieces is no more than two millimeters. Zhang Tuohai said, 
as he moved the knife in his hand towards Piero's lower body. Hiss. Piero felt a cool breeze coming from behind. And his body couldn't help but shiver. Don't. If you want to ask anything, just say it. I'll tell you that we have something to discuss. Don't use the knife. Seeing that the knife was about to fall, Piero immediately gave up. Although he knew he would not survive. Piero was obviously not a hard-nosed person and did not want to suffer that kind of torture before he died. Sometimes, being able to die quickly is also a blessing. Ha uh ha. -huh. It would have been better if it had been like this. Why do you have to ask me to use extraordinary means? You think so? Right. Zhang Tuohai did not move his hand away, but asked directly, Tell me, where did you get those gene-altering drugs? Those potions are made by machines. Piero gave up resistance and said directly, Where did you get that machine? When Garrison, Celia, and George were selling potions, why didn't you sell them? Did you have an agreement not to sell them at the same time? Zhang Tuohai was very curious about this. How could there be such an agreement between us? Piero showed a wry smile on his face. We are just a loose alliance. We usually play our own games and would never establish such an alliance. That machine is the mysterious shadow just gave it to me. Otherwise, I would have been selling potions to grab business. Wait, you said that machine was given to you by a mysterious shadow? Zhang Tuohai felt that he had grasped the key point of the matter. Yeah, what's the problem? Piero asked curiously. Does he usually give you things? Zhang Tuohai asked. This has never happened before. But after George died, the mysterious Lord Shadow came and gave me the medicine-making machine and the dagger, as well as the mortar on the car, and promised that if I can kill you, they will also give me more rewards and even give me a chance to get out of the game. Then why do you want the player's heart? Is this a key material for making potions? Zhang Tuohai was a little confused as to why they wanted the player's heart. He seized a potion-making machine from Garrison and did not mention that the player's heart was needed as an auxiliary material. It was requested by the mysterious Shadow Master Tebby. He asked us to dedicate the player's heart as a sacrifice. The more we donate, the more rewards we will get. That's it. After hearing Piero's narration, Zhang Tuohai nodded. He somewhat understood. The real driving force behind this genetic potion should be the mysterious Shadow. The purpose of asking for the player's hearts is temporarily unclear. Maybe it is a real need. Or maybe it is just to provoke a fight between players. The medicine-making machine obtained by the Secret Order was also given by the mysterious Shadow. From Garrison to George. And finally to Piero. They are all inseparable from the mysterious Shadow. What shocked Zhang Tuohai the most was that the mysterious Shadow actually wanted Piero to kill him. And had deliberately prepared weapons specifically to deal with him. He really went to war. Didn't I just tear down a few of your statues? Why are you so stingy? Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly. Suddenly, his eyes fell on Piero's waist. There was a small statue hanging on his waist. Its appearance was the same as that of a mysterious shadow. What is this? Zhang Tuohai pulled off the statue and played with it in his hands. Moriarty's medium to interfere in the world of survival. A portable statue of a mysterious shadow can be used to communicate with Moriarty behind the scenes in real time. P.S. Moriarty is the man behind the last attempt to downgrade your vehicle. The prompt system gives a prompt. It turns out to be this guy. After hearing the prompt system's explanation, a look of anger appeared on Zhang Tuohai's face. The last time at Red Maple Manor, after he killed Dog Tor Garrison, Moriarty actually attacked him brazenly and wanted to forcibly downgrade his car. If the kind-hearted maid hadn't taken action, he might be in trouble now. It would be miserable. And the body might even be too cold. Unexpectedly, this guy didn't give up and actually tried to target himself again. Okay, are you interfering with the medium here? From now on, I will destroy every mysterious shadow statue I see. Let's see how you continue to interfere. Zhang Tuohai exerted force with one hand, and the wooden statue was instantly crushed into pieces. After crushing it into pieces, Zhang Tuohai even felt that it was not safe. So he burned the pieces into ashes with a flamethrower and scattered them into the sea. After destroying the statue, Zhang Tuohai also summarized some information. One is that the prompt system has a higher level than Moriarty. Otherwise, it would not be able to explain the opponent's ins and outs so easily. The second is that Moriarty's ability to interfere in the world of survival is limited and must go through a medium. Third, Moriarty's perception of the survival world is limited and he is not omniscient and omnipotent. For example, he didn't know that Lilith helped him upgrade his exoskeleton and he still prepared based on previous information. After knowing this, he felt that Moriarty was not so scary anymore. 
as long as you can't kill yourself directly. There is always a solution. Humph. Moriarty. Right. I've got into trouble with you. And I'm going to settle the score with you one day. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly. I've said everything I know. Can you give me a good time? Piero asked from the side. It's not over yet. Who is that guy who is your broker? Give me his detailed information. Zhang Tuohai said. That guy. His name is Casado. He is a peripheral member who is inspecting. He usually helps me contact customers. The car he drives is... Piero sold all the information about the mysterious shadow. And he didn't care about this peripheral member anymore. And directly sold all the information about the other party. Chapter 498 Iron Turtle Zhang Tuohai did not kill Piero immediately. But took the opportunity to fish for a wave of resources on the island. Pick all the mature coconuts. Add some fruits that are not available in the ecological garden. And cut down some trees into wood. He even asked Xiao Yai to stretch out the solar charging panel and charge the battery fully. Although he now has a small nuclear reactor and almost inexhaustible energy. Zhang Tuohai always feels that he has lost something after seeing so much wool. Piero's car was dismantled. The newly debuted 001 got off to a good start and actually opened three drawings. A construction drawing with a mysterious shadow as usual. One is an upgrade blueprint for an unstable pharmaceutical manufacturing machine. After the upgrade, not only can genes be extracted from those mutated organisms for transformation, but recessive genes can even be extracted from ordinary wild animals for transformation. But the probability is somewhat low. The last one is the modification drawing of the frog car. The characteristic of the frog car is that it can travel in the water without any obstacles, is more difficult to be found in the grass, and can even eject over long distances in critical moments. It comes with a water cannon and a 20 millimeters cannon. This car has some unique features. But the effect is just that. It is more suitable for people who like Go. Zhang Tuohai put away the drawings and prepared to find an opportunity to sell them. Zhang Tuohai reaped the fruits happily. And in a dark room somewhere. An angry Moriarty smashed the monitor in front of him to pieces. I'm furious. Moriarty smashed everything in front of him in anger. Twenty mysterious shadows. This is a medium that he buried in the game at a huge cost. He originally wanted to use these media to expand his influence in the game and achieve his ultimate goal. But unexpectedly, this everything was ruined by Zhang Tuohai. All 20 mysterious shadow statues were killed by Zhang Tuohai, leaving no one alive, causing him to completely lose his influence on the survival world. Zhang Tuohai, I must kill you. Just wait. This world will let you be rampant for a while. And in the next world, I will make you die without a burial place. Wang Kai, are you done? Zhang Tuohai asked while lying on a beach chair and drinking iced watermelon juice. Soon. Soon. Wonkai dug out two razor clams more than a foot long and threw them into a red plastic bucket. At this time, the plastic bucket was filled with freshly dug seafood. From razor clams to cat's eyes. From crabs to jellyfish. We even found two sea cucumbers rolled up by the waves. We could have another seafood barbecue in the evening. Looking at the harvest in the plastic bucket, Zhang Tuohai nodded with satisfaction. The reason why he stayed here for so long was to dig out more seafood for dinner. Now that it's done, it's natural to leave. Killing Piero with one shot fulfilled Zhang Tuohai's promise and gave him a less painful way to die. However, Pisano's body was taken away by Zhang Tuohai and thrown into the potion-making machine. The chameleon gene in him is quite interesting. Zhang Tuohai decided to stay and wait for Lilith to be reincarnated and come back to see if he could research anything. As soon as Pisano died, a white light enveloped Zhang to a high. The duel is over and teleported back to the original location. The surrounding scenery flashed. And Zhang to a high returned to the original road. Squeak. An emergency brake sound sounded from behind. Zhang to a high looked back and saw a Wrangler covered in composite armor parked behind him. They probably didn't expect that a car would suddenly appear on the road. Driving at high speed and almost causing a collision. How did you drive? The guy driving the Wrangler stuck his head out of the window and kept honking his horn and yelling curses. Sorry. Wait. You are Kasano. As soon as Zhang Tuohai saw this man's face, he compared the appearance of the car. It was exactly the same as the subordinate Piero described. This guy is also an accomplice. So he is naturally included in the scope of being killed. Kasano was in the brokerage business in his original world and was very exciting. As soon as Zhang Tuohai called out his name, he knew something was going to happen. Although I don't know where I offended the other party. It's not important. There are so many people in his profession who have offended him. Who can remember it so clearly? Kasano reacted very quickly. 
turned the steering wheel, stepped on the accelerator, and immediately bypassed Zhang Tuohai and rushed to the front. Don't let him run away! Chase him and kill him! Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and chased after him. Xiao Ai controlled the four-mounted 23mm cannon to attack Kasano's car body. But the outside of Kasano's car body was covered with composite armor. And the cannons could not penetrate it at all. His armor is very thick. It is said that there are six layers in total. It is replaced by armor-piercing bullets. Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Xiao Ai controlled the 125mm smoothbore cannon and aimed it at the rear of the Wrangler and fired. Okay. Boom. An armor-piercing fin discarding Sabo round hit the Wrangler's rear body. However, after the smoke cleared, a half-meter deep crater was actually revealed behind the Wrangler. There was still solid metal armor behind it. It was unknown how deep it was. Feeling the vibration behind the car, Kasano's face was full of pride. Fortunately, he was lucky yesterday. He got some special metal chromium and made chrome-plated armor, which can block armor-piercing bullets of most calibers. Otherwise, he would have been killed by the shell just now. Commander, do you want to continue attacking with armor-piercing rounds? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. No, I don't know how thick the armor on the back is. If you use Hellfire anti-tank missiles to attack from above, I don't believe that the roof of his car is also equipped with such thick armor. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Everyone knows that the top of the car is the weakest point. This is caused by objective design. And there is no good solution. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai opened the weapon storage compartment and activated a Hellfire anti-tank missile. Whoosh. Anti-tank missiles roared towards the Wrangler. However, the Wrangler's roof suddenly has a lot of squares. Boom. The Hellfire anti-tank missile hit the roof of the boss Wrangler. However, the roof did not suffer any major damage. Except that one block was missing. Reactive armor? Zhang Tuohai's eyes flashed fiercely. He didn't expect that the other party actually had such a good thing. Reactive armor is actually a kind of directional explosion bomb. After being hit by a shell or missile, it triggers a directional explosion and uses the shock wave of the explosion to offset the damage of the shell or missile. It is a relatively mainstream heavy tank armor. As long as the explosive yield of the shell is not enough to break through the shock wave of the reactive armor, it will not be able to cause effective damage to the vehicle. Commander, do you want to cover it with rockets? According to my calculations, his reactive armor is not enough to completely offset the power of Hellfire rockets. After about seven to eight rounds, his bottom armor will rupture. Classmate Shao Yai asked. No, that's too slow. Didn't we just get a new weapon? Let's test the power of this iron turtle. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Chapter 499 The Power of Laser Updates added with monthly ticket. Kasano was very proud in the car. He didn't add too many weapons to the car, but instead put all his thoughts into adding various armors. In his opinion, only surviving is the greatest victory. Those who pursue offense always die the fastest. In fact, the people around him proved his theory correct. The companions around him died one after another, and the people around him changed one after another. But he was the only one who remained alive and well. Keep wasting your shells. You'll never break my armor. Not even with heavy bombs. Kasano thought triumphantly. What is this guy doing? Kasano saw a strange sight in the rearview mirror. The infantry fighting vehicle chasing behind did not continue to attack. A secret door opened on its roof. And something that looked like a camera protruded from it. What are you doing? Take a picture of me? Kasano thought curiously. However, at this moment, a strong light shot out from the camera. The light was so dazzling that even if he just looked through the rearview mirror, he would be blinded. Well, Kasano suddenly felt a sharp pain in his chest. He looked down and saw that there was a hole in his chest that was as thick as an arm and a carrot, penetrating through his body, and the hole was surrounded by flesh and blood that had been roasted by the high temperature. This is what? Kasano wanted to know what kind of attack this was, but it actually penetrated the armor he was proud of. However, his body could no longer support him to continue. His vision went dark, and the body was lying on the steering wheel. The Wrangler slowly stopped. This laser is really easy to use. Zhang Tuohai slowly parked the car next to the Wrangler, with a satisfied smile on his face. It directly penetrated the thick armor and reactive armor, killing the driver. Even six layers of armor could not withstand it. It was indeed worthy of being called an artifact by George. Zhang Tuohai is very satisfied with the effect of the laser transmitter. This thing has become his new trump card. However, although the laser launcher is very effective, it is greatly affected by the weather. Therefore, 
the development of normal artillery and rockets cannot be stopped and must be fully developed. Zhang Tuohai has set a development plan for his future in his heart. That is to equip the artillery with the largest caliber and install the most powerful missiles to blow all the enemies in sight into ashes and scatter their ashes. After killing Kasano, Zhang Tuohai released 001 and dismantled Kasano's car. Although Kasano's armor was very thick, without human control and repair, the disassembly speed was not slow. It took about half an hour to dismantle his car completely. However, it is a pity that apart from harvesting some metal chromium, no drawings were obtained. This is actually a good thing for Zhang Tuohai, because it proves that this guy is just an insignificant pawn and has no real contact with the mysterious shadow, which is Moriarty. Otherwise, Zhang Tuohai would have to exclude his interpersonal relationships to see if the mysterious shadow was passed on. Now that it is confirmed that those mysterious shadow statues are the medium for Moriarty to control the world of survival, Zhang Takumi naturally can no longer sell them. He will not do such an act of staking the enemy. It can neither be used nor sold, and can only be piled here as garbage which makes Zhang Tuohai a little helpless. When I find a chance to deal with it, I wonder if these drawings can be destroyed in the crater on the top of the mountain. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself, the car continued to drive on the highway, and Zhang Tuohai finally took time to continue to peek at the regional channel. Because all the people who could master the production of genetic medicines were killed by Zhang Tuohai, those players had no way to redeem them and complained on the regional channel. Hey, where are the people who can exchange for potions? Where have they gone? Someone quietly told me that 30 hearts can be exchanged for potions. I have collected enough. Is there anyone who can redeem them? Is it reliable to change the potion? I've already got more than 20 hearts. If it's not reliable, I won't do it. It went from 10 hearts to 20, and then to 30. Now there's no one left. Could it be that they want to increase the price again? I think there's a good chance he's going to run away. He might have been playing a trick on us before. But what good does it do him to trick us? It's all about paying with one hand and delivering the goods with the other. Who knows? Maybe there are people like this who like to play tricks on others. Maybe he was killed again. Let's wait and see if any kind-hearted person takes over the business. People in the regional channel had different opinions. But their knowledge of the situation was limited, and they could not discuss any useful information. The final conclusion that can be drawn is to wait and see if any players will take over the business. However, their waiting was destined to be in vain. The members of the secret order were all dead, and the statues of the mysterious shadows were all destroyed by Zhang Tuohai, and the drawings were all in his hands. The only remaining genetic medicine manufacturing machine is also in Zhang Tuohai's hands. Zhang Tuohai had no intention of selling the potion. They would not gain anything except endless waiting. However, because everyone chose to wait and see, the regional channel finally won a rare piece. Players will no longer fight each other over each other's hearts. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the number of remaining players in the regional channel. There were 989 players in total, which meant that more than 2,000 players had died in the previous heart-grabbing battle. The mortality rate was over two-thirds, which was simply horrific. This is the end of the fifth day. I don't know how many people will survive to reach the top of the mountain on the seventh day. The calm lasted until the sun went down. During this period, no obituary was posted on the regional channel. It seemed that everyone had chosen temporary peace by default focusing on their journey and getting to the top of the mountain first. After stopping the car and having a small seafood barbecue, Zhang Tuohai hung several drawings of modified vehicles that he had obtained on the trading channel, as well as various weapons obtained from Piero. Zhang Tuohai even hung 10 RPG rocket launchers. Now, those players have killed many of the same kind. It is the time when the assets in their hands are the most abundant and the weapons and ammunition are depleted the most. If they don't take the opportunity to cut a wave of leaks, they will be sorry for themselves. After thinking about it, Zhang Tuohai hung some more wine and cigarettes. This kind of thing that anesthetizes nerves and relieves fatigue is definitely the most popular. Sure enough, as expected by Zhang Tuohai, the market for these supplies was very good. In the first wave, all the cigarettes and alcohol were robbed, and all the weapons and ammunition were robbed. Even the price of a Chicago typewriter, which is usually only worth 20 level 2 metal ingots, has doubled. There are still people who haven't grabbed it because they didn't get it. And cursing. As for the drawings of the modified cars, the situation was even more intense. Especially the drawing of the steel train, which was almost intense. Chapter 500 returns come to your doorstep. The crazy killing of their companions created several extremely wealthy players. During the crazy killing, 
They also developed a deep fascination with powerful firepower and thick armor. After seeing the parameters and appearance of the steel train, they all went crazy. 200 mm thick homogeneous steel armor with 100 mm thick composite armor on the outside. A 230 mm train gun for 88 mm high level and flat dual purpose guns. Two 75 mm secondary guns. 40 machine guns. This kind of the configuration just drives them crazy. Several players bid wildly. Prices were rising steadily. And the last one-eyed man shouted, 1,000 units of high-grade wood. 500 units of high-grade plastic. 800 units of high-grade rubber. 700 units of high-grade fabric. 350 units of high-grade glass. 260 units of high-grade electronic components. And 15 boxes of fruit. Canned food. Two legs of lamb. And a high price for a drawing of the presidential suite. Presidential suite manufacturing drawings. Level 5 automobile general accessories. With one master bedroom. Two guest bedrooms. One butler's room. One study room. One conference room. Independent bathroom. Bubble bathtub. And its own luxurious decoration. After entering. The mood value will be doubled. The health recovery speed will be doubled. And the injury healing speed will be doubled. Materials. High grade wood. 180 units. High grade cloth. 80 units. High grade glass. 50 units. High grade metal ingots, 30 units. High grade electronic components, asterisk 3. It's actually a universal automotive accessory for level 5 cars. Zhang Tuohai was attracted by these words. Of all the offers, this was the one he was most satisfied with. It's not like other players didn't come up with blueprints. And one player even came up with a blueprint for a 120mm rifled gun. It can be said that a lot of money was spent. However, those drawings were either disdainful to Zhang Tuohai or there were similar substitute products, which were dispensable to Zhang Tuohai. Only this drawing exceeded Zhang Tuohai's expectations. Of course, those high-end materials are also what Zhang Tuohai likes. With the self-propelled machinery, he has no shortage of metal ingots at all levels. But other high-level materials are still not self-sufficient. He can barely survive by relying on the materials snatched from the Red Fort Munitions Warehouse. And now he has such a large sum. The progress is naturally very satisfying. However, he can't build the presidential suite yet. He has to wait until the car is upgraded to level 5. I have saved three blueprints for upgrading to level 5. When can I get the blueprints for upgrading my level 5 car? Zhang Tuohai thought helplessly. At this moment, Hagrid sent a private message to Zhang Tuohai. Did you sell that drawing? Yes. I sent you a private message. But you didn't respond. I thought you didn't want it. So I put it up for public auction. Zhang Tuohai said. Before selling the car. He asked a few friends if anyone was interested. And he discussed it privately. However, Su Mu and Xiao Wan Wan's car took another modification path. And Li Feiyu's modification needs obviously conflicted greatly with this car, and were not suitable. Song Xiaohong is very satisfied with a small and fast spider car, and does not want to change it into a stupid, big and thick steel train. Only Vladimir was very greedy. But the right to modify and upgrade the car was in the hands of his wife Natasha. Natasha insisted on continuing to upgrade the supercar. But Vladimir couldn't handle it and had no choice but to give up. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Hagrid sighed. Oh, it's my fault. I drank a little too much before I got up. Being too drunk made things worse. Being too drunk made things worse. I can't drink anymore in the future. By the way, if you have a similar car in the future, remember to keep it for me and I will exchange it with you with the modification drawings. Hagrid said with some regret after hearing that the drawings were sold. Okay, then let me help you pay attention. Zhang Tuohai responded. After selling part of the backlog of inventory, the warehouse was filled with various basic raw materials. Zhang Tuohai was very satisfied. After peeking at the regional channel again for a while and watching many players blowing off, Zhang Tuohai closed the regional channel and went to the laboratory to look at the reincarnated eggs of Lilith and Lilina. He didn't know if it was an illusion, but he felt that the eggs seemed to be a little bigger. No surprise. Right. Zhang Tuohai asked. Based on the manual left by Miss Lilith, there is nothing abnormal at the moment. Xiao Ai said while controlling the robotic arm and flipping through the training manual. How long will it take for it to be successfully hatched? Zhang Tuohai asked. Well, because Miss Lilith doesn't have relevant experimental data. She doesn't know what the normal situation will be. But the estimated incubation time is between 7 days and 30 days. Classmate Xiaoyai said. I see. It seems it will take a while. 
Zhang Tuohai nodded, looked at the soft egg for a while, then turned back to his room to sleep. He has been dealing with the secret order for the past few days, and he has not even had a good night's sleep. Now that the secret order has been completely wiped out, he can finally have a good rest today. The lights in the car were turned off, and they were plunged into darkness. A few hours later, a speeding steel train was driving rapidly towards Zhang Tuohai's location. Wherever it passed, fine cracks were formed on the cement pavement. In the driver's seat, the one-eyed man was holding a cigar in his mouth, his eyes shining with excitement. Humph! You dare to take my money! You didn't expect it! I have a tracking item in my hand that can track every player who has traded with me. Don't worry! When I find you, I will take it back with interest! After the one-eyed man finished speaking, he took another look at the cracked compass, feeling quite distressed. Recently, in order to hunt players and obtain hearts, he used this item desperately, causing the item to be overloaded and almost on the verge of being scrapped. He estimated that after one or two more times, it would be completely broken. However, when he thought about being able to recycle the materials he paid for, he felt that it was all worth it. The one-eyed man blew out a smoke ring, touched the thick car door, and couldn't help but raise his lips again. I didn't expect that there are such idiots in the world who would even sell such a good car. I will let you do it right away. You know, the real power of this car. Get up quickly. The return goods have arrived. The sound of the prompt system sounded in Zong Tuohai's ears. What? Zhang Tuohai sat up suddenly, wiped the saliva from the corner of his mouth and asked, What's the return? Is there anyone in this damn place who returns the goods? Player Lu Dabu has arrived five kilometers away in the steel train and is heading in your direction. Steel train? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. Didn't I sell it? What should I return? Wait, this guy came with a steel train? If I kill him and take out the blueprint, then what will happen to this guy? The guy actually returned the product, but there was no compensation. Chapter 501, Rotors and Shortcuts Classmate Xiao Ai, let me see if there is a steel train chasing you from behind? Zhang Tuohai put on a piece of clothing and ran to the command chair. There is indeed a steel train, and the other party has discovered us and is adjusting its main gun. It seems that it wants to kill us with its main gun. Classmate Xiao Ai said from the side. Through the spherical screen, Zhang Tuohai could see that the steel train was adjusting the firing angle of the main gun. However, because the position where Zhang Tuohai stayed was somewhat special, no matter how the opponent adjusted it, the main gun could not directly hit Zhang Tuohai's car. His grandma! Is this crap thing broken? Why can't I aim accurately? Lu Dabia slapped the podium angrily and accidentally pressed the launch button. Boom! There was a loud noise. And a shell was fired from the 230mm main gun. And the shell hit a cliff not far away. Wow! A large area of the cliff collapsed. Large rocks fell. And a huge crater 3 meters deep and 15 meters in diameter was formed on the cliff. Looking at this destructive power, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be speechless. It was indeed a 230mm train gun. But it was different. This is a cliff made of rocks. If it hit the ground full of soil, the damage area would probably be even greater. Lu Dachyung suddenly became excited when he saw that the main gun had such power. Grandmas, it's pretty powerful. He drove forward a little further, preparing to change the position and adjust the angle of the artillery. After seeing the power of the artillery, Zhang Tuohai did not dare to let the opponent fire any more. This thing is really powerful. If it hits directly, he will be seriously injured even if he doesn't die. You've already fired. Now it's my turn. Zhang Tuohai sneered and said to classmate Xiao Ai, Give him a shot of hellfire to let him know that it's not enough to be powerful, but it also needs to be accurate. Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai opened the weapon compartment cover, and a hellfire anti-tank missile was hung on the launcher. Whoosh. The hellfire anti-tank missile directly hit the cockpit of the steel train. Boom. Although the cockpit of the steel train is also covered with thick composite armor, it is still too weak against the hellfire anti-tank missile with a penetration depth of 1.4 meters. The thick composite armor was directly penetrated, and the missile exploded in the cockpit, under the dual effects of shock waves and high temperatures. Lu Dabia's corpse was completely destroyed. Let's go! 001 is at work! Zhang Tuohai brought 001 to the steel train and continued his great work of dismantling the train. 001 always feels familiar when looking at the steel train in front of him. He always feels that he has done this job once today. Perhaps rich experience has increased the success rate. Perhaps 001 is lucky. Or perhaps after modification. 
001 has increased its ability to disassemble the drawings. Anyway, 001 actually took out the transformation drawings of the steel train. Nice job! John Tuohai took the drawing and wiped 001's head excitedly. After receiving the drawings, John Tuohai immediately contacted Hagrid. I got another steel train drawing. Do you want it? John Tuohai asked. If you want it, I definitely want it, Hagrid said quickly. He missed it last time. And this time, he would not let this huge steel train miss even if he said anything. I'll trade this with you. Do you think it's okay? Hagrid said and took out a blueprint. John Tuohai's eyes widened when he looked at the drawings. This is actually a rotor modification drawing. Rotor manufacturing drawings. Special automobile accessories. After manufacturing, the car can fly in the sky. The time in the air is determined by the power system. Speed is determined by takeoff weight. Manufacturing materials. High-grade metal ingots. 50 units. Metal parts. 200 units. High-grade rubber. 10 units. High-grade electronic components. Asterisk 1. Using this blueprint, the car can fly like a helicopter. There is such a thing. John Tuohai has long been dissatisfied with the airbag. This thing is slow to inflate and has a large target. It used to be okay to bully some ground targets. Now, most players are equipped with anti-aircraft machine guns. And some are even equipped with anti-aircraft cannons. This thing has become a living target. He has long wanted to modify the flight power system. But unfortunately, he has never been able to obtain the appropriate drawings. Unexpectedly, I actually got it from Hagrid. Actually, this was originally for my own car. But now it's cheaper for you. Hagrid and John Tuohai made a okay transaction. John Tuohai produced the blueprint and replaced the original huge airbag. However, because John Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle was a bit too heavy, one could not bear such a heavy takeoff weight. So Zhang Tuohai had to make two. Due to the problem of takeoff weight, the flight speed is somewhat faster than that of a helium balloon. However, the target has been greatly reduced and you no longer have to worry about being hit by the opponent's airbag and causing a plane crash. Forget it. At least one problem has been solved. The rest will be improved once Lilith is reincarnated. Maybe the speed will be faster. Zhang Tuohai thought. After the transaction was completed, Zhang Tuohai couldn't sleep, so he got back into the driver's seat and continued to drive forward. He planned to drive a little longer while he had time to reach the top of the mountain as soon as possible. Driving forward, John Tuohai picked up two blue supply boxes and successfully opened two chicks, a duck, two live carp, and a large jar of honey. The chickens, ducks and carp were naturally raised in the high-end ecological garden. As for the jar of honey, John Tuohai collected it and prepared to make honey chicken wings in the morning. The sun rose slowly, and it was the sixth day. Originally, in other worlds, there would be bonus levels that would allow weaker players to get some supplies, while stronger players could experience the next world in advance and prepare in advance. Perhaps due to the different schedules. There were no bonus levels today, and it was still a continuous winding mountain road. The game system only reported today's date and reminded me that we should reach the top of the mountain on time, and then remain silent. It's such a pity that we can't know the next world in advance and prepare in advance. John Tuohai felt a little pity. If he cannot obtain information about the next world in advance, he will not be able to make corresponding preparations in advance. By then, I am afraid, he will not be able to happily cut leaks. This made John to a high a little unhappy. However, since the game system did not give him a bonus level, he decided to create one himself. He stopped the car and looked at the map in his hand. If he continued to drive along the winding mountain road, although it was smooth, it would take him at least a day or even longer to reach the top of the mountain. This is already very fast for other players. But John to a high is not satisfied. He decided to take a shortcut. Chapter 502, Anti-Aircraft Guns Kill Mosquitoes According to what is marked on the map, there are a large number of wild animals on the hillside ahead, including sword frogs, giant mosquitoes, piranhas, rhinos, wild boars, and even the legendary Komodo dragon. There are countless wild animals in the jungle. My gene potion making machine can now extract recessive genes from ordinary animals. So, can I also capture these animals to make potions? Even if it fails, I can add test materials to Lilith, which is convenient. She conducted more in-depth research and eventually created a qualified strengthening potion. Zhang Tuohai has always been obsessed with gene enhancement potions. Although he followed Lilith's advice and did not use these things, it did not mean that he gave up, since the gene-enhancing potions produced in the game are unreliable. 
then it's okay to let Lilith research them herself. Right? He believed that with Lilith's intelligence, he would eventually be able to develop a gene-enhancing potion that would have no side effects. That's it. Let's go through the jungle. Zhang Tuohai determined the direction of advance. The infantry fighting vehicle turned around and rushed into the jungle. This area is closer to the top of the mountain. More humid and hotter. And the jungle on the roadside is closer to the shape of a tropical rainforest. There are tall trees everywhere. Blocking the sun. The interior of the jungle is humid and hot. There are vines and moss everywhere. And there are dense mushrooms at the roots of the trees. Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to pick some and try them out. As a result, just as he was about to go out, Wong Kai stopped him, hugged his thigh and said, Boss, have you forgotten that you picked mushrooms in the secret realm last time? You picked a basket. But none of them were edible. Hearing one size words, Zhang Tuohai's face turned into a scapegoat. This is the dark history of his life. And Wong Kai, a guy who has no eyesight, still insists on mentioning it. Shut up. Don't say anything again without my permission. Do you hear me? Then you promise me not to pick mushrooms. Wakai hugged Zhang Tuohai's legs and refused to let go. Okay. I understand. Isn't it okay if I don't go? Zhang Tuohai nodded helplessly. Wakai let go of his legs, but still sat at the door to prevent Zhang Tuohai from sneaking out. Zhang Tuohai snorted angrily when he saw one size appearance. He sat on the command chair and looked at both sides of the road, looking for suitable animals. However, there is no need to consider the spider Zhang Tuohai because of the problem with the Okoin statue. All the spiders whose strength was lower than Okoin ran away. Within one kilometer around Zhang Tuohai, there are almost no traces of spiders. The ground in the rainforest is very muddy, and there are even many puddles. Even if an off-road vehicle such as the Predator enters here, it will be extremely difficult to travel. However, Zhang Tuohai has wide tracks, and the vehicle has also been professionally waterproofed. He can even travel under the river or even above the river. The water depth is really nothing to him. Therefore, apart from the vast number of trees reducing Zhang to a high's traveling speed, there is no additional impact. The car was moving forward. And suddenly, Zhang to a high heard bursts of noisy buzzing. What? Zhang to a high looked around for the source of the sound. However, he searched for a long time, but found no trace of the enemy. Instead, the buzzing sound became louder and louder. Commander, in the sky. Classmate Xiao Yai suddenly said. Zhang Tuohai looked up into the sky and was immediately startled. I don't know what a swarm of mosquitoes gathered in the sky. These mosquitoes were overwhelming. Like dark clouds. Almost covering the entire sky. At first glance, it looks like you are almost suffering from trypophobia. It wouldn't matter if there were just a lot of them. The key is that these mosquitoes are still very huge. Each mosquito is at least the size of a basketball. The largest one in the center has huge wings that even reach a wingspan of one meter. Its huge mouth parts are as thick as a milk tea straw. Its body is covered with red and black stripes. Look! It looks ferocious and terrifying. After discovering Zhang Tuohai, the mosquitoes began to circle in the sky and fly down from time to time, trying to attack the infantry fighting vehicle. Although these mosquitoes could not cause any harm to Zhang Tuohai, their dense appearance made Zhang Tuohai feel sick and uncomfortable. At the same time, the huge buzzing sound caused Zhang Tuohai to have some auditory hallucinations in his ears, and even lost his sense of balance. This mosquito is weird. The buzzing sound has the effect of a sonic attack. Zhang Tuohai frowned and made a judgment. Classmate Xiao Yai, use the flamethrower immediately to burn these nasty guys down. Zhang Tuohai said sharply, clear. Xiao Yai popped out 20 robotic arms, each holding a flamethrower. Ha uh ha, -huh. the fire dragon which was more than 10 meters long, was devouring all around and sweeping back and forth at the mosquitoes. The outer flame temperature of the flamethrower reaches thousands of degrees, and the mosquitoes are evaporated dry and ablated into ashes before they even get close. Soon, the mosquitoes near Zhang Tuohai were ablated, leaving a large space. The fine ashes left by the mosquitoes fell rustlingly under the blowing force of the wind, and soon spread a layer on the ground. However, there were too many mosquitoes around. One was burned to death, and two more were replaced. But there were still so many mosquitoes in the sky, as if they could never be burned out. Moreover, after those mosquitoes were burned once, they also learned the lesson and immediately hid outside the attack range of the flamethrower and stayed there. Zhang Tuohai wanted to get out of contact with these mosquitoes. However, this swarm of mosquitoes seemed to be staring at him, no matter where he went. The swarm of mosquitoes followed him, 
and the buzzing sound always echoed in his ears. The irritability made Zong Tuahai scratch his head. Kill the Mosquito Leader, and the Mosquito Swarm will naturally disperse. The position of the Mosquito Leader is at 12 o'clock, 65 degrees above, and 200 meters away. A prompt pops up from the system. Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked in the direction prompted by the prompt system. Sure enough, among the dense swarm of mosquitoes, there was a huge mosquito hovering in the air. Classmate Xiai, rush over and kill it, Zhang Tuohai said. As commanded, Classmate Xiai drove the infantry fighting vehicle and rushed towards the mosquito leader. But the mosquito leader was very cunning. When he saw Zhang Tuohai approaching, he immediately retreated and never gave Zhang Tuohai a chance to get close. When Zhang Tuohai changed direction, it flew back again, always keeping a distance of more than 200 meters from Zhang Tuohai. Play hide and seek with me. Right. Shall I? Hit me with the machine cannon. Following Zhang Tuohai's order, the 20 robotic arms replaced all the flamethrowers in their hands with four unit 23 millimeters cannons. Da da da. The dense metal storm swept towards the mosquito leader. Chapter 503. The Ground Licking Party, updates added with monthly votes. Normally, you would definitely not be able to hit mosquitoes with anti-aircraft guns. However, the problem is that there are too many mosquitoes here, and they are too dense. Even if Zhang Tuohai switches to a machine gun, he can kill a lot of them with casual strafing. Another problem is that the mosquito leader is also big enough. With a wingspan of more than one meter, the target is so big, as long as there are enough bullets dropped in this area, one or two will always hit the opponent. Moreover, mosquitoes are delicate and can be seriously injured if hit by a machine gun bullet. In addition, the mosquito leader gathered so many mosquitoes around him that he lacked enough space to escape. After being hit by several machine gun bullets on his wings, he lost his balance and fell to the ground. When the mosquitoes around him saw it, they immediately flew over and tried to take away the mosquito leader. Seeing the huge mosquito leader fall to the ground, Zhang Tuohai was immediately overjoyed. Rush over quickly! Don't let it run away again. Catch it. Use the flamethrower. Don't let other mosquitoes get close. Shao I immediately replaced the machine cannon with a flamethrower and fired towards the surroundings. The buzzing sound of mosquitoes became louder. A large number of mosquitoes rushed out from the safe area, trying to rescue the mosquito leader. But they were burned to ashes by flamethrowers before they could get close. Zhang Tuohai stopped directly next to the leader of the mosquitoes and started to encircle the spot to bring reinforcements constantly burning the mosquitoes. After a few minutes, the mosquito density in the sky decreased at a rate visible to the naked eye. After another two minutes, Zhang Tuohai didn't want to waste any more gasoline, so he directly controlled the robotic arm and punched the mosquito leader to death. As soon as the mosquito leader died, the mosquitoes in the sky immediately turned into birds and beasts and fled in all directions. After all the mosquitoes around him had retreated, Zhang Tuohai controlled the robotic arm and threw the body of the mosquito leader into the unstable medicine-making machine. Since this unstable medicine-making mechanism can extract the invisible genes in animals to make medicine, can insects also do it? Zhang Tuohai decided to give it a try. Unexpectedly, this attempt was really successful. The potion-making machine is really running. After coming over for a while, a jar of medicine rolled out. Giant mosquito potion, after use, it will grow a mouthpiece. Live by sucking blood, and produce a buzzing organ in the body, allowing the opponent to be attacked by sound waves. Nothing but sonic attacks. After taking a look at the instructions for the potion, Zhang Tuohai threw it aside. This thing can only be used as a test material. Maybe Lilith can extract the function of sonic attack. If so, the effect of this potion will be greatly increased. Sonic attacks are hard to guard against. When you notice them, you are hit. If you use this thing well, it can also be a surprise trump card. After successfully obtaining the first jar of potion, Zhang Tuohai was in a good mood and began to hunt other animals in the rainforest. Compared to swarms of mosquitoes, those large animals are easier to hunt. Animals such as wild boars, hippos, rhinos, and elephants. If Zhang Tuohai had encountered these animals in the first world, he might have hesitated. But now, these animals are as weak as babies in front of Zhang Tuohai. You don't even need to use the main gun. You can just use the machine cannon. This feeling of relaxation even gave Zong Tuohai the illusion that it was so easy here. Boss! Look! Komodo Dragon! The pixel portrait of classmate Xiao Yai pointed not far away and said. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction pointed by classmate Xiao Yai. And sure enough, he saw a huge lizard in the grass. This lizard was bigger than a wild boar. 
more than three meters long, and its tongue stuck out of its mouth from time to time. It looked like it was spitting out flames. There weren't many of these things left in the original world, and Zhang Tuai didn't expect to see them alive in this world. Kill it! I want its genes! Zhang Tuai rubbed his hands and said, It is not difficult to kill the Komodo dragon. A few 23 millimeter shells hitting the head can kill the Komodo dragon directly. However, something went wrong while transporting the body. When Zhang Tuohai opened the back door and carried the body of the Komodo dragon inside, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Be careful. There is a poison sword frog lying on a eucalyptus tree at the 3 o'clock position, ready to attack you. Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly lowered his body and rolled on the spot. A stream of venom shot past the side of the exoskeleton. Zhang Tuohai raised his hand and activated the palm machine gun at the poison sword frog. Click. 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 A few bullets smashed the poison sword frog's body into pieces. It's so dangerous. There are so many dangers in this rainforest. The poison sword frog is the most venomous of frogs. And the venom in its body can kill several people. After killing the sword frog, Zhang Tuohai carefully scanned his surroundings. There were many creatures like poison dart frogs in the rainforest. So he had to be careful. However, this poison dart frog also reminded Zhang Tuohai that in the rainforest, the most numerous animals are not various animals, but various reptiles. Although these guys are small in size, they can survive in the rainforest. After all, they all have one or two unique skills. In comparison, it is easier to extract strange abilities from their genes. Why didn't I think of it earlier? Zhang Tuohai patted his head and set his main goal to capture these small reptiles and insects. However, Zhang Tuohai would not take risks himself. The jungle is too dangerous. There might be a poisonous insect hidden under a leaf, a poisonous snake hidden under a rotten log, and a calm puddle. There are hundreds of leeches hidden there, and you can get caught if you're not careful. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and set out all the self-propelled machines. These guys are made of steel and have four mechanical arms, so they are not afraid of those poisonous insects. Those self-propelled machines lined up in horizontal rows with infantry fighting vehicles as the core, and gradually move forward. Now, the hiding reptiles and insects were in bad luck. Stones on the ground were lifted. Dead branches were sawed. Tree holes were hollowed out. Puddles were dug. And all insects and reptiles were caught wherever they passed. As if they were visited by adventurers. It's the same as the NPC's home. Everything of any value was looted. This kind of behavior is generally called landlicking party in the game. This situation lasted for two hours. Until Zhang Tuohai discovered that there were no newly discovered species. And then the self-propelled machines returned to the team. Commander, self-propelled machine number 096 has gone missing and has not returned to the team. Classmate Xiao Ai counted the number of self-propelled machines and reported. Missing? Which area was it responsible for before? Zhang Tuohai asked hurriedly. It's here. Classmate Xiao Ai pointed to a location on the map and said. Zhang Tuohai looked at the direction of the map and found that there were only two words written on it. Forbidden Forest. Chapter 504 Vegetative Potion There is only the word Forbidden Forest marked on the map without any detailed information. There is only a line next to it Extremely dangerous. Stay away. No matter where it is. If you dare to steal my self-propelled machine you can't do it. Come on. Come with me and have a look. Zhang Tuohai controlled the infantry fighting vehicle and walked towards the Forbidden Forest not far away. Approaching the Forbidden Forest Zhang Tuohai saw a large tree entangled with a self-propelled machine in the distance. Various branches and vines couldn't help but strangle the self-propelled machine. And the self-propelled machine was entangled tightly. The few mechanical arms that the self-propelled machine can only have are restricted. The circular saw in the hand cannot attack the big tree and can only idle helplessly. Bold Goshu! How dare you sneak attack my self-propelled machine! Put it down! Zhang Tuohai immediately controlled the mechanical arm to raise the flamethrower and sprayed it towards the big tree. Call. The raging flames approached the big tree. Perhaps out of instinctive fear, the big tree loosened its branches and turned its body away from the flames. As far away from the flames as possible. The person who bullied me still wants to run away. Zhang Tuohai controlled several other robotic arms and replaced them with gasoline-powered saws and sawed towards the big tree. Buzz buzz. The gasoline-powered saw buzzed and soon a deep fracture appeared in the trunk of the tree. Swish. 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 The big tree swayed its branches as if begging for mercy. However, Zhang Tuohai ignored it and directly sawed the big tree into two pieces. Bang. 
The branches of the big tree fell to the ground. Zhang Tuahai didn't stop and continued to saw fiercely at the tree trunk until all the branches were cut off. And then he finally stopped. After sawing down the big tree, Zhang Tuahai held his chin and came up with an idea. Since this big tree can hunt like a pitcher plant, can recessive genes be extracted from it? You can give it a try and see if you can get pregnant anyway. Zhang Tuahai immediately called to the self-propelled machine and threw the big tree into the unstable medicine-making machine. Unexpectedly, the manufacturing machine actually started running. After a while, the green light came on and a jar of medicine rolled out. Zhang Tuahai picked it up and took a look. Plant potion, after use, you will gain photosynthesis ability and can survive without eating. Regular watering and branch repair are required. The branches can be used as arms. The roots are movable, and they can secrete acid to decompose meat. The specific degree of modification is related to personal affinity. Looking at the instructions for the potion, Zhang Tuohai's head was covered with black lines. What a vegetative potion! However, photosynthesis is a somewhat useful ability and can be used as research material. After dealing with a big tree that could be used for hunting, Zhang Tuohai looked into the depths of the forbidden forest. This forbidden forest is so dangerous. Others might have retreated. But Zhang Tuohai was different. This forbidden forest is a treasure house to him. There are such strange plants just on the edge of the forbidden forest. But what about the depths of the forbidden forest? After searching, you might be able to get a lot of rare research materials. Zhang Tuohai decided to go in and take a look. The infantry fighting vehicle slowly drove towards the depths of the forbidden forest. The mechanical arms on both sides of the infantry fighting vehicle held flamethrowers, gasoline-powered saws, and four mounted 23mm cannons, ready to deal with any sudden troubles that might arise. When the trees in the Forbidden Forest saw the infantry fighting vehicle like this, they all leaned back and closed their branches, in order to stay as far away from Zhang Tuohai as possible. Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to pay attention to these same big trees, and went straight into the depths, trying to find something different. As he walked, Zhang Tuohai found that his vision seemed a little blurry. After careful inspection, he discovered that a faint smoke began to float in front of his eyes. The smoke became more and more thick, and soon formed around him a vast expanse of white. Is it foggy? Or is it miasma? Zhang Tuohai became vigilant. He often said that miasma in the rainforest is rampant and epidemic diseases are prevalent. Isn't this miasma poisonous? Zhang Tuohai thought secretly. Be careful. The miasma contains a large amount of psychedelic drugs, which can cause people to hallucinate, reduce the body's ability to feel, reduce coordination, and eventually completely fall into hallucinations, leading to coma. If you stay in the miasma for more than an hour, you will it can lead to irreversible loss of function of the human body and even death. A prompt pops up from the system. Is it so dangerous? Start the air purifier immediately. Zhang Tuohai immediately started the purification device. At the same time, the evolutionary statue installed in the car also began to purify the air in the car. And all the things that had penetrated into the car were purified. It seems that we need to get something that can detect the toxin content in the air in the future. It should also have an automatic purification function. Otherwise, it will be embarrassing if we accidentally get on the road one day. Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Ai to drive the car. While he sat in the car and scanned the surroundings. Unfortunately, the surrounding area was completely white and it was impossible to see the situation clearly. Suddenly, classmate Xiao Ai braked hard, and Zhang Tuohai was caught off guard and almost fell on the screen. What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked. Commander, a deep pit was discovered ahead. Classmate Xiao Ai responded. There is a deep pit. So why be afraid? Just go around it, and it's over. As soon as he said this, Zhang Tuohai saw the scene of classmate Xiao Ai passing through. In front of it is a large pit with a diameter of more than 20 meters and a depth of about 10 meters. This pit has obvious traces of artificial construction. The walls around the pit are very smooth and there is no place for borrowing force. The bottom of the pit is covered with venomous snakes. There are countless densely packed snakes, entangled with each other. Just looking at them makes people scalp numb. Moreover, there is more than one such pit. There are seven or eight in the surroundings. There are only limited roads that can pass between these pits. If you are not careful, you will fall into the pit. It is conceivable that those who are lucky enough to enter here, even if they were breathing masks and escape the miasma, can easily fall into these deep pits full of poisonous snakes if they do not pay attention to their steps. What is this place? Zhang Tuohai looked at the deep pit and felt a little dizzy. There were so many snakes entangled together. 
It looked like a scene in a horror movie. Zhang Tuohai's scalp felt numb when he saw it. And he wanted to turn around and leave here immediately. However, it is a good material for extracting genes. We need to find a way to catch these snakes. Zhang Tuohai hesitated for a moment. His greed for money overriding the fear in his heart. These snakes are in deep pits. Although they look scary. As long as you are careful not to fall. The danger is within control. Moreover, if he finds a suitable method and lures them up one by one, he should be able to easily dispose of these snakes. And he can also obtain a large amount of research materials. But what method should be used to lure the snake up? Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought. Chapter 505 Snake Fishing Wang Kai, why don't you go down and get them up? Zhang Tuohai turned to Wang Kai next to him and said, Look, they are down there. They must have been hungry for a long time. You don't have to do anything more. Just go and wander around. Just one lap and they will follow you. How about it? Look at me. I have arranged such an easy job for you. Wang Kai rolled his eyes at Zhang Tuohai and didn't want to pay attention to him. There are estimated to be at least hundreds or thousands of snakes in the pit below. If it goes down, it won't even have to turn around. It will probably be eaten before it hits the ground. Zhang Tuohai was just joking and didn't really want to throw away Wang Kai. If Wang Kai is thrown away, who will make him milk tea? Who cooks for him? Who will take care of the vegetable plot for him? However, this approach is feasible. If you can't use wealth as bait, you can use something else. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and sent a private message to Zhao Wanwan. Let me ask you something. Cruder seems to be very resistant to beatings. Right. What is the toughness of his skin? Can he resist the bite of a wild beast? I don't know what the specific upper limit is. But last time, I fired a magazine of bullets with an MP5 submachine gun. And not even a hair was lost. Xiao Wanlan quickly responded to the message. That's easy. Let's borrow it for a while. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and said. No problem. I can give it to you. But you can help pay for its food today. This guy is very good at eating. Just accept it and be careful not to hurt your feet. Zhao Wanwan immediately said crud over. Bah! A flash of white light flashed. And a huge fat pig with yellow and black stripes fell out of the void and fell to the ground. Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai looked at the squirming things on the ground and once suspected that Zhao Wanwan had sent the wrong thing. This thing is three meters long and one meter wide. And its four legs can barely reach the ground. It looks like a fat pig painted with yellow and black stripes. Are you really crud? Zhang Tuohai looked at crud in disbelief. He remembered that he hadn't seen each other for more than a week. So why did he become like this? Ah, of course. If it's true, I've gained a little weight recently. I heard there is delicious food here. When will the meal be served? Cruder dragged his fat body to Zhang Tuohai and asked. We'll talk about dinner later. Do one thing for me first. Zhang Tuohai said with black lines on his head. What are you doing? Crud asked suspiciously. See those snakes? Help me catch them. Zhang Tuohai pointed to the snake pit at his feet and said. Crud lay on the edge of the pit and took a look inside. There are a lot of them. But it's not impossible to eat them all. Do you have a fishing rod? What can you use as bait? Isn't it snake bait? Crud asked. Isn't this it? Zhang Tuohai pointed at Crud and said with a smile. What? Where is it? Why didn't I see it? Crud looked back. Then turned around again, but didn't see anything. Isn't that what it is? Wang Kai held a big net and covered Crud inside. Tied the hole. And hung up the thick cable. Let's go! Xiao Ai controlled the robotic arm to pull up the cable and lowered Crud in the net into the snake pit. What are you doing? Put me down quickly. I'm afraid of heights. Crud shouted while pulling the big net. Don't worry. I just use you to catch those snakes and they won't leave you behind. Zhang Tuohai comforted him from below. Wait. I'm afraid of snakes. Don't let me go down. Cruder kept flopping in the net. However, because its body was too round, its limbs were stuck outside the mesh. Although it tried hard, it could only make the big net sway. But it had no effect. The net was lowered into the snake pit. Those snakes may have been hungry for too long. When they saw fresh living creatures appearing, they became restless. As soon as Crud fell to the bottom of the pit, the snakes scrambled over and wrapped themselves around him with their thick bodies. Crud, trying to strangle Crud to death. Several venomous snakes bit Crud's fur, trying to inject venom into Crud's body. However, Crud's fart can't even be penetrated by a submachine gun like the MP5. So what does a mere snake tooth mean? Can't bite through it all. It's almost done. Close the net. Zhang Tuohai glanced at it. 
waved to classmate Xiao Yai, and the big net was slowly pulled up. At this time, crud was no longer visible in the net. It has been covered with many snakes. From a distance, it looks like a wriggling snake ball. There were also a large number of venomous snakes hanging on his body. And those venomous snakes were biting crud's skin and refused to let go. The harvest is good. Hurry up. Collect them all. Zhang Tuohai directed the self-propelled machine to pull out pythons one after another. Every time one was disassembled, one was thrown into the potion-making machine. By the time the last snake was taken off crud, crud was already lying on the ground with a look of despair. I'm angry. I can't finish this without a barbecue. Crud said angrily. Isn't it just barbecue? Two meals. Do me a favor. And go down a few more times. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. He doesn't have anything else. But he does have all kinds of meat. The meat obtained in the first and second worlds has not been eaten yet. Do you want to go on again? Five barbecues and ten sausages. Crud counted on his fingers and said. I'll give you a box. Get down quickly. Zhang Tuohai kicked the net bag down. This time. Cruder was already experienced. He didn't shout or make any fuss throughout the whole process. He lay motionless in the big net and allowed Zhang Tuohai to do whatever he wanted. The snakes at the bottom of the pit were a little disappointed when they saw the prey being caught. When they saw the prey coming down again, they immediately scrambled over and wrapped themselves around Crud. Cruder didn't refuse anyone who came. And he just lay there, embodying the words. Immovable as a mountain. To the fullest, Zhang Tuohai was even more overjoyed when he saw this and kept catching the snakes with Cruder. After several times, I actually caught all the snakes in the snake pit. Seeing the empty bottom of the pit, Zhang Tuohai still had some unfinished thoughts. So he aimed at the remaining snake pits. Anyway, we are here. Why not do more while taking advantage of this opportunity? When it comes to test materials, the more, the better. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and started working on the remaining snake pit. Snakes were caught one after another and turned into genetic medicine. Snake pits were cleared one by one. When Zhang Tuohai came to a new pit, he was about to repeat his old trick and put crud down to catch snakes. Suddenly, a huge snake head emerged from the dense pile of snakes. This snake head was about the size of a cherry car. In one bite, it swallowed the crud directly in the net bag. Chapter 506 Temple Zhang Tuohai was shocked at first when he saw this scene and then became angry. You guys, if you're being fished, you just need to be fished. What's the point of swallowing my bait? Shall I? Let him spit out the bait for me. Zhang Tuohai said angrily. Understood. Classmate Shao Ai adjusted the 125 gun on the car and pointed it at the snake's head. Boom. The giant python seemed to sense something was wrong and immediately tilted its head and fired an armor-piercing projectile with a tail fin, grazing the snake's head. Although, there was no direct hit, but it left a deep groove on the snake head's skull. Hiss, hiss. The giant python felt the severe pain, and a pair of golden vertical pupils revealed a look of anger. It opened its big mouth and rushed towards the infantry fighting vehicle, wanting to swallow the guy who had hurt it. However, before it could get closer, a blazing light shot out from the iron box. The python felt something pass through its brain. The giant python swayed twice and fell to the ground. Bang! The upper body of the giant python fell to the edge of the snake pit. Quickly! Help me and cut this guy open! Zhang Tuohai called many self-propelled machines to help and drag the python up. Zero Zero One held up a chainsaw and cut open the python completely from head to tail. Wow! When the stomach pouch was cut open, crud fell out mixed with acid. Bah! This guy doesn't know how to brush his teeth. What's the taste in his mouth? It almost smelt me to death. Crud stood up, shook the hair on his body, and said in disgust, That fat body is also constantly surging with the body. Are you okay? Zhang Tuohai checked Crud's body to see if there was any damage. After all, it was borrowed, and it would be difficult to account for it if it was damaged. It's nothing, but it has to be considered a work-related injury, and I have to be compensated. At least half a box. Not a box of sausages, Crud said, patting his little heart that was pounding. No problem. I'll add another aged ham to you, and you won't lose anything by working with me, Zhang Tuohai said, patting his chest. Really? Really ham? Pickled pork shank? Crud said with excitement. Is there any fake ones? I have more than one flavor here. You can choose by yourself when the time comes. Take whichever one you like. Zhang Tuohai said nonchalantly. Thanks to some unlucky guy whom he had forgotten. He had a warehouse full of this kind of ham and bacon for Crud to choose from. 
Even if Crud could eat one per meal, it would be enough for him to last for a year. Really? Then I have no problem. Just help me up and I can still do it. When he heard that there were so many hands for him to choose from, Crud couldn't sit still and immediately said that he could still continue to complete the work. It seems Wan Wan is right. You are indeed a good comrade who is hardworking and willing to work. Come on. I am optimistic about you. Zhang Tuohai patted Crud on the shoulder and got a new big net. This time, there was no need for Wan Tai to take action. Cruder got in by himself. He also looked like he was in no hurry to solve the problem. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm in a hurry. After Cruder was put down, Zhang Tuohai nervously stood by the snake pit, fearing that another giant python would emerge from it. However, what happened next went smoothly, and Zhang Tuohai fished out all the snakes in the pit without any accidents. After rinsing Cruder clean, Zhang Tuohai led Cruder to pick him. When he opened the door and saw the warehouse full of hams, Crud's eyes widened and he pounced on him. Oh, tiger god, is this heaven? Crud even started to roll around here. Looking at your potential, if you work hard in the future, there will be plenty for you to eat. Zhang Tuohai said a little funny. It's so hard to choose. I seem to take them all away. Why are they all so charming? Crud smelled the salty smell of ham intoxicated. Finally, after some hesitation, Cruder chose the largest looking ham. Before leaving, Cruder turned back three times. Can I come here again? Don't worry. As long as you work hard, there will be plenty of opportunities. Zhang Tuohai sent Cruder back. Oh my! You are such a promising person, and you actually know how to bring me delicious food. You are so good. Come and give it to me. Zhao Wan Wan snatched the ham out of Crud's mouth and put it into the warehouse with a smile on her face. That's mine. Crud hugged Zhao Wan Wan's leg and shouted. Oh, I know it's yours. I just help you save it. Be good. Zhao Wan Wan said with a smile and rubbed Crud's head. Zhang Tuohai threw the snake carcasses into the potion-making machine, made potions and stored them. And he drove on. He wanted to see what else was inside. As we walked, the front suddenly became clear. The originally thick miasma suddenly disappeared. And a clearing appeared in front of them. Above the clearing stood a huge pyramid. This pyramid is not of Egyptian style, but of Mayan style. The whole body is made of blue stones. And there is a staircase on the front that leads directly to the top of the pyramid. On both sides of the steps are two giant stone pythons. The pythons extend from the top of the pyramid to the end of the steps. The snake's heads are raised high and their mouths are wide open. They look extremely ferocious. Where is this place? Zhang Tuohai looked up at the tall pyramid. Doubts rising in his heart. He was sure that there must be something here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so much effort and so many death traps outside. Classmate Xiao Yai, be alert to the surroundings. I'll go in and check out the situation. Zero zero one will take two good hands and hold the guy in with me. Zhang Tuohai looked around and faced zero zero one, who was filling the potion making machine with snake meat. Said, zero zero one mounted rockets, steam machine guns, and flamethrowers, and followed Zhang Tuohai up the steps of the pyramid with two self-propelled machines. The height of the steps is normal, and they should have been built for normal humans. In other words, the builder's size is about the same as that of normal humans. Zhang Tuohai looked around while climbing up. Collecting information. The pyramid is not high. With only about 300 steps. When Zhang Tuohai stepped onto the last step, he found a huge platform in front of him. In the center of the platform was a small temple made of strips of stone. Zhang Tuohai strode over. And 001 followed with his self-propelled machine. Compared with the huge pyramid, the temple is too small. Zhang Tuohai can even see the inside of the temple from the entrance of the temple. The interior of the temple is very simple and can even be described as shabby. There is only a stone platform inside. On the stone platform, there is also a crystal fish tank, and a small jellyfish is constantly swimming in it. The jellyfish's body seemed to be emitting an orange light. Chapter 507, Lighthouse Jellyfish, Monthly Ticket Adds More Updates. Seeing the scene in front of him, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but froze. He anticipated many situations, and was even prepared that the statue enshrined in this temple was a mysterious shadow. But what I didn't expect was that there was actually a jellyfish enshrined here. And? It's still alive. Is there something wrong with these people? Why enshrine such a thing? Zhang Tuohai was puzzled. Congratulations to the player for discovering the special creature, Lighthouse Jellyfish. The game prompted a line of text to pop up. Is this a Lighthouse Jellyfish? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help being stunned. He had heard of this kind of thing before, 
when he was watching popular science videos in his spare time. Although this kind of jellyfish looks inconspicuous, it has the ability to rejuvenate itself. It will renew itself back to its juvenile form and grow again after a while. To a certain extent, this kind of thing almost has the ability to live forever. Eternal life. These two hit Zhang Tuohai's heart like a heavy hammer. This is the goal that all humans strive for. Who doesn't want to live forever? Who doesn't want to be eternal? Let you dominate the world. Be as rich as the enemy. And dominate the world. After a hundred years, you will be nothing more than a handful of lusts. And everything will be in vain. Only by continuing to live will everything you have become meaningful. However, a question arose in Zong Tuohai's mind. That is, didn't you remember that the size of this thing was only about 4 to 5 millimeters? But the jellyfish in front of me is about the size of a palm. How many years have you lived? Or is there any change? If you put this thing into a potion-making machine, can you make a potion of immortality? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but feel excited. My heart, which had always been calm, could not help but throb. A voice kept lingering in my heart. Get it. Gotta get it. Zhang Tuohai took two quick steps and came to the stone table. He touched the crystal fish tank containing the lighthouse jellyfish and touched the fish tank with his hands. Zhang Tuohai exerted force with both hands and the fish tank was picked up with almost no effort. However, under the fish tank, a circular black hole appeared. As soon as the fish tank was picked up, there was a noisy buzz inside, as if something was about to come out. Zhang Tuohai had experienced so many battles and reacted very quickly. Several octopus mechanical arms behind him immediately stretched out and sprayed acid and flames into the cave. However, the sounds inside the cave became louder and louder, and they kept getting closer. There are devouring beetles in the cave. They are not afraid of water and fire, and will eat anything. With your current methods, the killing efficiency is too low, and it is extremely easy to be killed by the devouring beetles. The best way is to escape from here quickly. A prompt pops up from the system. So perverted? John to a high cursed, turned around and ran away immediately. As he ran, he said to 001, Hurry up and blow up the temple before leaving. Stop those guys. 001, who had been following Zhang Tuohai, immediately turned around and fired the two RPG-7 rounds he carried towards the temple. Boom! Boom! Two clouds of smoke and dust rose up, and the temple made of bluestone collapsed. However, from the gaps in the wreckage, pitch black beetles rushed out. Soon, they gathered into a black wave and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. There are so many of these beetles that the color of the ground can no longer be seen. Everywhere you look is black. Run! Zhang Tuohai took the lead and ran ahead, followed by several self-propelled machines. As they ran, they used their weapons to fight back. Although the number of swallowing beetles killed was limited, it also slightly slowed down the progress of those beetles. However, the speed of those devouring beetles was too fast and they kept approaching Zhang Tuohai. The two self-propelled machines glanced at each other, stopped, and rushed in the direction of the devouring beetle. What are you going to do? Come back here! Zhang Tuohai looked back and immediately shouted. Two self-propelled machines rushed into the swarm of beetles. As soon as they stepped into the swarm, most of their eight mechanical legs were swallowed up. However, they did not move at all and opened the storage compartment on their chests, which was filled with anti-tank grenades. Boom! Boom! Two clouds of smoke rose, and two huge pits appeared on the ground. The swarm of beetles, like a wave, were delayed for five seconds. With these five seconds, Zhang Tuohai rushed to the infantry fighting vehicle. He looked back at the surging black beetle swarm, his eyes full of grief and anger. This was not the first time he had witnessed death, but this was the first time he had seen someone die for him. Although the self propelled machines are just a group of machines that act according to the program, the action just now made Zhang Tuohai regard them as living beings. Commander, let's go. They are too fast. They will catch up in five seconds. Classmate Xiao Yai said anxiously. Go forward and retreat to the bottom of the largest snake pit. Zhang Tuohai said with a cold expression. Clear. Xiao Yai immediately drove the infantry fighting vehicle to the bottom of the snake pit, where the giant python was found. This pit was much larger than the previous snake pits, with a diameter of 50 meters and a depth of 30 meters. After Xiao Yai rushed to the edge of the pit, he started the propeller and flew straight to the bottom of the pit. After those black beetles rushed over, they immediately surrounded the pit and quickly crawled to the bottom of the pit to kill Zhang Tuohai, who was snatching the lighthouse jellyfish. Zhang Tuohai just looked at the black beetles coming over and said nothing. When the black beetles were about to approach Zhang Tuohai, 
He pulled the operating lever fiercely. The two propellers on the infantry fighting vehicle began to rotate rapidly. And the infantry fighting vehicle slowly rose into the air. The black beetles couldn't help but become anxious when they saw the meat flying off their mouths. They kept jumping up. Trying to jump onto the infantry fighting vehicle. The beetles found that their jump was too short. So they began to stack the beetles higher and higher. And soon formed a huge pile of beetles. Drop heavy aerial bombs. John Tuohai said coldly. Whoosh whoosh. Heavy aerial bombs pulled out from the Red Fort Munitions Warehouse were thrown into the deep pit. Boom. Boom. A series of violent explosions sounded from the pit. These heavy aerial bombs are used against strong fortresses. Even a solid castle can be hit by two aerial bombs. Let alone some beetles. There's nothing that can't be killed. It's just that the power isn't high enough. As long as the power is enough. Even a god can kill you. This is the creep pursued by Zhang Tuohai. Under the bombardment of his heavy aerial bombs. The entire snake pit changed its appearance. At this time. The snake pit could no longer see its original appearance. There were scorched earth and deep craters everywhere. And the surface was covered with devouring beetles whose internal organs had been shattered. Chapter 508 Heavy Rain Huh? Can't you kill it? I don't believe there are things that can't be killed. Zhang Tuohai let the infantry fighting vehicle slowly descend to the snake pit. At this time, the snake pit was full of dead beetle corpses. Most of them were smashed into pieces by the violent shock wave, mixed with the soil, and could not be distinguished from each other. 001. Take the manpower to collect the carcasses of those beetles and make them into potions. In addition, Send two people to retrieve the fragments of the dead self-propelled machines. Smelt them into metal ingots. And remanufacture them. 001 arranged for manpower to handle it. The sorting process went a bit slowly. Mainly because the beetles were too small, and there were too many of them. There were even two devouring beetles that were lucky enough to survive hidden among the corpses of those beetles. However, just one or two beetles can't make any waves at all. And they can even be crushed to death by 001. Only when the number swells to a certain scale can their power become apparent. Piles of carcasses of devouring beetles were thrown into the potion-making machine, and bottles of potion were produced. Zhang Tuohai picked up a bottle and checked the effect. Swallowing beetle gene potion, after taking it, the body will inevitably appear the characteristics of a beetle, such as black carapace, mouthparts, tentacles, etc. The digestive organs are greatly improved and can digest most substances. After swallowing a large amount of a certain substance, the body will undergo corresponding changes. The vitality has been greatly improved. And it can withstand high temperatures and flames of about 1000 degrees. Low temperatures of minus 130 degrees. And a withstand voltage of 260 V. If it can remove those defects in body surface characteristics, it will be a very useful medicine and has some research value. Zhang Tuohai put away the medicine and waited for Lilith to come back to take charge of the work. After the beetle carcasses in front of the temple were disposed of, the sky had turned gloomy. A large group of dark clouds gathered over the dense forest. Lightning flashed across the sky. A cold wind blew up. And it seemed that a downpour might fall at any time. It's almost time. Close the team and evacuate quickly. Zhang Tuohai looked at the sky and called out to 001. Many self-propelled machines returned to the vehicle. And the infantry fighting vehicle accelerated away from the area and headed towards the top of the mountain. The wind became stronger and stronger. And the rain finally fell with big raindrops hitting the infantry fighting vehicle. There was even hail in it. Moreover, the size of hailstones has also begun to increase in size, from the size of rice grains to the size of peanuts, and finally to the size of ping-pong balls. If the infantry fighting vehicle had not been heavily armored and had no windows, the windshield would have been smashed. It was raining so heavily that Zhang Tuohai did not dare to take off in the air and walk on the road, so he could only walk on the ground. However, the ground has become slipperier due to rain. And many places have turned into quagmire. Even if the tracks get in, they may get stuck. Fortunately, Zhang Tuohai had steam equipment. And by using the crawler tracks and aid equipment, he finally didn't get stuck in the mud. The rain was so heavy and mixed with hail that we couldn't do anything about collecting animal genes. So we had to keep going. Bored, Zhang Tuohai opened the regional channel and prepared to see how other players were doing. He discovered that the heavy rain did not seem to only cover his area. Instead, all areas with players are covered. Many players are discussing the heavy rain situation in the channel. Some players began to show off the hail they picked up. Have you seen ice cubes the size of ping pong balls? Have any of you seen them? A player shows off his gains. What the hell? Look at me! 
a player posted a photo with ice cubes the size of apples. Are you so lucky to be so big? The previous player looked envious. You're so lucky. My car window was smashed by this thing. And it keeps falling from the sky. I don't dare to repair it now. So I can only drive in the wind and rain. Now the car is flooded with rainwater. If you think it's okay, let's switch. You're so lucky. Two pieces of glass were smashed. The Phoenix anti-tank missile I just installed was damaged by hail before I even warmed it up. A player said angrily, Isn't there a launch pad outside the Phoenix? Can a few hailstones destroy it? Some players didn't believe it. Just a few hailstones? Come and try. The previous player posted the photo. The ice in the photo is as big as a watermelon. And the Phoenix rocket launcher was smashed. Which is extremely miserable. Sorry. Let's make a new one. Hack. This is the actual thing I made. There are no manufacturing drawings. Really? That's great. We've lost another strong competitor. Seeing that everyone was hit by the heavy rain. And that many players were even worse than himself. Zhang Tuohai felt a lot more comfortable inexplicably. Compared to the unobstructed road. The dense branches above him really helped him resist a lot of harm. Coupled with the thick armor. Zhang Tuohai was not harmed in the hail attack. In such a comparison. He is relatively good. The heavy rain continued all day long and into the night. Until then. The heavy rain continued to fall. Not only did it not stop. It even tended to get heavier and heavier. Zhang Tuohai looked at the sky and decided to hurry up and drive through the night. Who knows what the situation will be tomorrow. If it gets worse, it will be in trouble. It's better to leave now while you can. Based on his understanding of the game system, the closer the time is to the end, the worse the road conditions will be. Tomorrow is the seventh day. Maybe there is something wrong. It would be better to reach the top of the mountain early. The infantry fighting vehicle continued to move forward hard in the rainy night. While walking, Classmate Xiao Ai suddenly stopped the car. Commander, we found a large river in front of us. The water flow is very fast. According to the terrain analysis, this place should have been a small stream. Due to the heavy rain, the water level has increased significantly, forming a river. There are many debris in the river, and a large number of them have been hit by hailstones, broken branches and gravel. Please ask if they can be forcibly crossed. Can it pass? Zhang Tuohai asked. No problem. The armor is very thick and can withstand the impact of gravel and branches. Classmate Xiao Yai made an estimate and said, Then just force the crossing. Don't delay. And reach the top of the mountain as soon as possible. Zhang Tuohai said, while looking at the increasingly heavy rain outside. At this time, it was no longer raining outside. It seemed like someone was pouring water down with a basin. Just as he stood there for a while, a lot of water accumulated under his feet. Clear. The infantry fighting vehicle rushed into the river. After entering the river, the infantry fighting vehicle activated its water surface form. A circle of floating airbags appeared around it, and two propellers protruded from its tail. He obtained this in the vacation world. He didn't use it much in that world, but he didn't expect to use it here. The process of crossing the river went smoothly. Although there were many branches on the river flowing down the river and hitting the infantry fighting vehicle, but with the heavy armor of the infantry fighting vehicle, there is no serious problem. Just as the infantry fighting vehicle was about to cross the river, the two propellers suddenly and gradually lost power, and the vehicle began to drift downstream involuntarily. Chapter 509 Climb to the top of the mountain. Hidden reward. What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked anxiously. Something got tangled in the propeller, and the car lost power. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Is there any way to stop it? Zhang Tuohai asked anxiously. If it is washed down the river, who knows where it will be washed away? Maybe a few days of hard work will be in vain. If there is a cliff ahead, there may even be a car crash and death. We have already grabbed the ground with our steam tools. But there seems to be a force trying to drag us into the water. It's very powerful. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Is there something? Zhang Tuohai shifted the perspective of the spherical screen to the back of the car. Behind the car was a raging river and heavy rain, making it difficult to see anything. However, something seemed to be wrapped around the propeller. Zhang Tuohai zoomed in and was shocked to find that they were actually two thick tentacles. What the hell? When Zhang Tuohai saw it, he frowned, immediately put on the exoskeleton, and rushed out with a gasoline-powered saw. Wait three seconds before going out. A message pops up prompting the system. Zhang Tuohai's hand holding the hatch cover couldn't help but stop. Snap! A muffled sound sounded overhead. Zhang Tuohai pulled back the hatch cover and saw that a hailstone the size of a watermelon hit the infantry fighting vehicle. 
If he had rushed out just now, he would probably have been hit directly. Even though he was wearing an exoskeleton, it would probably not feel good if he was hit by this thing. This game is really insidious. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly and ran quickly in the direction of the propeller. Zila. The gasoline powered saw cut rapidly, cutting off the two tentacles directly. The propeller regained power and rushed to the shore in one fell swoop. Xiao Yai accelerated, and the infantry fighting vehicle rushed directly to the shore. Once ashore, the infantry fighting vehicle is not afraid of any enemy. At this time, a huge octopus emerged from the water, with an angry look in its red pupils. Several tentacles kept slapping the water, and traces of being cut off were vaguely visible. You were the one who attacked me just now. Right. Let you also taste my power. Following Zhang Tuohai's words, the 125mm artillery turned around and aimed at the giant octopus. After seeing this, the octopus felt something bad and was about to dive into the river to escape. However, how can it compare with the speed of a cannonball? It had just made a move when an armor-piercing shell with stabilized fins had already penetrated its body and exploded. The armor-piercing projectile exploded just below its body. The links between several tentacles were blown off, and its body suddenly lost its balance. Being washed away by the rapid current, the octopus suddenly lost its balance. It quickly stretched out two tentacles to grab the rocks on the shore to stabilize its body. However, at this moment, a Hellfire anti-tank missile hit its body. Boom! The anti-tank missile exploded, and the giant octopus's body was blown to pieces. The tentacles holding the reef lost their strength and began to gradually relax. Before the giant octopus's carcass could be washed away by the fast river, a fishing net covered it, and Wonkai dragged the fishing net back with hesitation. While dragging it back, he muttered, How many octopus balls can be made with such big tentacles? Good job. Zhang Tuohai rubbed Wonkai's head and dragged the giant octopus back. Originally, he planned to throw the entire octopus into the potion-making machine. However, after one size repeated pleas, he decided to keep one tentacle as a teppanyaki material. The premise is that no harmful substances are found in the parts used to make the medicine. Standing in front of the potion-making machine, Wonkai clasped his hands and prayed devoutly. Great octopus god, please bless your descendants to not have any substances harmful to me in their bodies. Please, please. Zhang Tuohai looked at Wonkai speechlessly. He felt that if he were the god of octopus, the first thing he would do is slap this guy to death. Is this what people do when they eat their own children and grandchildren and then have to protect their bodies from harmful substances? No. Wonkai is indeed not a human being. In this case, the logical chain seems to be smooth. Buzz. There was a buzzing sound. And a jar of potion rolled out. Giant octopus potion, after use. You will gain octopus recovery ability. Your body flexibility will be greatly improved and you will have a chance to grow tentacles. Zhang Tuohai took the potion and examined it for a moment. It seems that there are no harmful substances mentioned, Zhang Tuohai said. Long live! Wonkai ran into the kitchen dragging the giant octopus tentacles. This guy, remember to leave some for me. Zhang Tuohai warned him, then ignored it and continued driving. The next journey is much easier than before. There are more and more gravels on the hillside and less and less mud. The friction of the crawler tracks increases, and the speed increases. After continuing to trek for three hours, Zhang Tuohai suddenly became cheerful. The wheels hit the smooth cement road. Are we on a new road? I remember there is no road on this route. Zhang Tuohai looked up mid-sentence and was stunned. At this time, in front of him was a wide flat land with flat concrete floors everywhere. He had reached the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain is an obvious crater structure, surrounded by a circle of open space and a huge depression in the center. Zhang Tuohai looked inside. It was pitch black inside, with black smoke pillars constantly coming out, and a pungent smell of sulfur. Have I reached the finish line? Zhang Tuohai looked at the situation around him, and couldn't help but look around with a curious expression. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for being the first to reach the top of the mountain. He received an infrared shield as a hidden reward. Do you want to install it? Is there a hidden reward? Install it! Zhang Tuohai has always been willing to accept rewards. As long as you dare to give them, he dares to take them. A white light enveloped the car. After a while, the white light dissipated, and the spherical screen had the function of an infrared blocker. Infrared shield, after being activated, it can effectively shield its own infrared band, reduce its own heat dissipation to the surrounding environment temperature, avoid being observed by thermal imagers, and avoid being locked by attack weapons such as active infrared seekers. 
Zhang Tuohai looked at the description and found that this was an auxiliary device. After installation, it was equivalent to adding a stealth function at night. The main means of night vision for players now is to rely on bright flashlights and infrared night vision devices. Let's not talk about the limited use of strong light flashlights for now. While infrared night vision devices outline the outline of the opponent based on the heat emitted by the object. If Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle drops to the same temperature as the surrounding environment, then, in fact, Zhang Tuohai will not exist in the eyes of the opponent. In addition to partial stealth effects, missiles and artillery shells that use active infrared seekers also lock, track and attack based on the heat of the opponent's engine. When Zhang Tuohai's infantry fighting vehicle drops to the same temperature as the surrounding environment, these weapons will also become blind. Chapter 510 Empty the Vending Machine It's quite useful. Zhang Tuohai really likes this thing. Now he already has anechoic tiles and an infrared shield. If he adds some night camouflage, he may really become a night assassin. And no one can spot him in the dark. Moreover, as long as he activates the device, the missiles and artillery shells equipped with infrared seekers will suddenly become useless. Presumably, the expressions of his enemies at that time will be very exciting. After operating it twice and becoming familiar with the device, Zhang Tuohai began to wander around the top of the mountain. The area on the top of the mountain is not small. After wandering around for a while, Zhang Tuohai discovered several light doors in the distance. Is there really a welfare copy? But it's always on the top of the mountain and can only be explored when you reach the top? Zhang Tuohai became excited and immediately drove over. Arriving near the light gate, he found that his guess was indeed correct. Those light doors are just welfare copies. And you can enter them and obtain specific materials. The light gate at the end is the entrance to the next world that can be predicted in advance. This is it! Zhang Tuohai was about to drive in when he suddenly found a machine standing next to him. He parked the car next to him and was shocked to find that it was actually a vending machine. Players can sell things they don't need and exchange them for points to get what they need. It's interesting. Let me see if you have anything good here. Zhang Tuohai looked at the vending machine. Suddenly, his eyes were attracted by the item at the top. Level 5 Vehicle Upgrade Drawing Asterisk 1 Required Points 2000 Level 5 Vehicle Upgrade Drawings Zhang Tuohai almost jumped up. He had already met the conditions for upgrading. And all that was missing was an upgrade blueprint. As a result, he has not been able to get it. Unexpectedly, he finally found it here. Gotta get it. No matter the cost. Zhang Tuohai clenched his fists. Selling unnecessary things. Right. Zhang Tuohai rummaged through the warehouse. There were still a lot of junk firearms obtained from Piero that had not been disposed of. So Zhang Tuohai threw them all into the vending machine. As a result, he found that these guns were not very valuable. Each gun only cost one point, And the assault rifle only had two points. If he wanted to mass produce and exchange them, he would have to make at least 1000 AK-47S. This amount was a bit too much. And even he felt a little bit pained. Let's see if there is a cheaper way first. Zhang Tuohai rummaged through his warehouse and threw in some useless jump guns, as well as some dolls and the like. Anyway, these things only took up space, so he might as well sell them to make some contribution. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai discovered the pile of drawings stacked in the corner. Some of them were duplicate blueprints he already had, but most of them were blueprints for the creation of mysterious shadows seized from members of the secret order. Can this thing be sold? Zhang Tuohai thought about it, and threw a drawing in. Unexpectedly, it really succeeded. And the price is not low. A full 200 points. Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw this and immediately threw in all the drawings in his hand. The final score was fixed at 5,232 points. Zhang Tuohai directly redeemed the level 5 car upgrade blueprint. A sheepskin scroll fell into Zhang Tuohai's hands. This is the vehicle upgrade blueprint that he has been thinking about for a long time. However, Zhang Tuohai did not upgrade the car immediately, but continued to scan the contents of the vending machine. There is actually a blueprint for an infrared shielding device here? You can't leave it to others and buy it. Chameleon camouflage? Can you change the camouflage color until it is similar to the nearby environment? This is good. I bought it. Chemical protective clothing? This thing actually costs 100 points? It must be very useful. Right. I bought it. The blueprint for making cloud explosive bombs for individual soldiers? This is good. I bought it. Zhang Tuohai started a large-scale purchasing mode and purchased all the good things he thought were useful. To this end, Zhang Tuohai threw in all the submachine guns and assault rifles he had. 
and even more than a hundred steam machine guns, and then completed the purchase. At this time, only gasoline, ordinary firearms, and canned food were left in the vending machine. It looks no different from an ordinary vending machine. Zhang Tuohai was satisfied after completing the big purchase and immediately returned to the car. He solemnly picked up the upgrade drawings for the level 5 car, took two deep breaths and said, Upgrade the car. It has been detected that the player meets all the conditions for upgrading a level 5 vehicle. The upgrade is allowed. Please select the upgrade route. Two evolutionary routes appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. One is focused on firepower. The reference picture given after the upgrade of this line is a bit like an apocalypse tank, with four wide tracks, a huge twin main gun, parallel machine gun, anti-aircraft machine gun, thick armor, smoke generator, and even it is equipped with short-range anti-aircraft missiles and honeycomb rockets. He looks like a king of land. The other line is biased toward all-round development. The car body adopts more edges and corners. And the weapons are also packaged, which greatly reduces the radar reflection surface. It seems that it is more biased towards the concept car of the future. However, if it is modified in this way, Zhang Tuohai's main gun and secondary battery are too large and need to be modified. The game system provides two modification methods. One is to remove the turret and retract the main gun into a mode similar to a buried assault gun. Remove the rotating assault gun and replace it with a set of 1130 close and defense guns. The other is to remove the 125mm main gun and rotating assault gun and replace it with a drawing of the ADAS multi-purpose missile, a drawing of the 1130 close and anti-gun weapon, and a set of manufacturing drawings of a hand-thrown drone. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and chose the second method, removing the 125mm main gun and rotating assault gun secondary gun, and replacing them with multi-purpose missiles, 1130 close and defense guns, and hand-thrown drones. The world has proven that the future is the era of missiles. The main upgrade direction of the 125 smoothbore gun is also to fire various types of missiles, not newer artillery shells. Facts have proved that the era of large caliber artillery has passed, and missiles are the mainstream. Zhang Tuohai also intended to slowly replace the main guns and secondary guns with various missiles. I didn't expect this step to come so early. The Adaz multi-purpose missile is a missile with strong comprehensive performance. It has a range of 10 kilometers and can deal with fixed-wing aircraft flying at an altitude of 7,000 meters. It can also penetrate the front armor of the T-80 at a distance of 2,000 meters and attack mainstream tanks. All have considerable lethality. This thing can even deal with light surface targets. It can be said to be all-powerful. Supplemented by the Hellfire anti-tank missiles used for attacking fortresses. It can basically complete his attack needs perfectly. Not to mention the 1130 close and defense gun, which has 1130mm barrels two magazines, three guidance methods, radar, optical, and infrared, can lock 40 targets at the same time, and has a rate of fire of 11,000 rounds per minute. A perfect close-range defense weapon, whether it is a missile or an artillery shell. Even some small fixed-wing aircraft can completely smash it. Chapter 511 Car Upgrade, Monthly Ticket Plus Updates Zhang Tuohai checked the data of the hand-thrown drone. It has a takeoff weight of 2 kilograms, a duty radius of 10 kilometers, a flight duration of 1.5 hours, and a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. It is equipped with an infrared camera, and the ground terminal can be directly connected to the vehicle control platform. A very obvious, low, small and slow, aircraft. If you have this thing, Zhang Tuohai's combat method will be fundamentally changed. His main observation mode can also be changed from physical observation, eyes plus telescope, to drone reconnaissance. Moreover, with drone-assisted positioning, his Hellfire and Cornet can also display their true power used to attack targets beyond visual range, rather than closed defense rockets. The only regret is that the takeoff weight of this drone is too small, so it can only be used for reconnaissance, not attack. In addition to these weapon advantages, the new vehicle's body is more airtight, waterproof and leakproof, and can travel on the river surface and briefly enter the river bottom. If necessary, short-term activities can be carried out on the shallow sea bottom. These are all features that come with new cars. In addition, the speed of the vehicle has also been improved, with the top speed increased to 300 miles. After weighing the pros and cons, Zhang Tuohai finally chose such an upgrade route. A white light shines on the infantry fighting vehicle, and the vehicle begins to upgrade. The 125mm main gun and the thick rotating assault gun have been removed, and the body shape has been changed from a rough infantry fighting vehicle to a body made of multiple edges and corners. 
which looks more modern and has a more reflective radar surface. Small. Looks more like a multi-purpose armored vehicle. Because the anti-radar surface must be taken into consideration. The weapon positions are also restricted. There are a total of six weapon positions on the roof. Zhang Tuahai thought for a while, and left two of them for Adaz multi-purpose missiles. This will be his main attack method in the future. Of course, there will be more. Of the rest, one is reserved for the Cornet anti-tank missile, and the other is reserved for the Hellfire anti-tank missile. These two are used for attacking. Of the last two, one is reserved for the 1130 close and defense gun, and the last one is reserved for the laser launcher. One is used to deal with dense small targets, fast targets, or rockets and aircraft, and the other is used to deal with some targets that are difficult for missiles to deal with when the weather is good. After the Cornet anti-tank missiles are used up, the 1130 close and anti-tank cannon can be used to fill the gaps, which seems to be the optimal arrangement at present. Of course, these are usually stored in the car body, and the hatch cover is open only when in use. As for the hand-thrown drone, Zhang Tuohai planned to throw it himself, so he didn't need to occupy a valuable weapon slot. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, and installed mechanical arms on both sides of the car body. These are auxiliary equipment, and do not occupy the weapon slot. However, Zhang Tuohai can still let them hold four 23mm machine guns, or honeycomb rockets to assist in the attack. It's a bug in the game system. Of course, the control terminals of these weapons were connected to the spherical screen by Zhang Tuahai and were assisted by Xiaoyai. The vehicle upgrade is completed and the requirements for upgrading to level 6 have been issued. Please check. Zhang Tuahai immediately took a look at the requirements for upgrading to level 6. Upgrade conditions. 0-8 level 5 general auto parts need to be installed. 0-4 level 5 special auto parts are required. And a level 6 vehicle upgrade drawing is 0 to 1. Zhang Tuahai looked at the upgrade conditions and couldn't help but curl his lips. He found that the number of accessories needed to upgrade the vehicle had increased. It seems to be getting harder and harder. Zhang Tuahai scratched his head and sighed. However, now that the car has been upgraded, several already prepared blueprints can be used. The first is titanium alloy armor, which is a level 5 universal accessory. After modification by Lilith, the defense has reached the level of immunity to direct fire from rifled guns below 200 millimeters or direct fire from armor-piercing projectiles below 125 mm. The defense capability has been greatly improved. It can be said that Zhang Tuahai can almost ignore the old artillery except trained guns and naval guns. The second is to load the Advanced Ecological Park Expansion Pack. This is an upgraded plug-in, not counting accessories. After loading, the area level of the high-end ecological park has been further expanded. There is an additional saltwater lake at the edge, with a complete ecological chain. John Tuahai will put in the bonus sea cucumbers, scallops and seaweed. Once inside, he can also put some seawater fish caught in the future, so that he can have a continuous supply of fresh seafood to eat. The last one waiting to be built is the presidential suite. What John Tuahai values most is not its huge area and luxurious decoration, but that it is a level 5 universal accessory and has a buff that doubles the speed of injury recovery. A series of white lights flashed, and everything John Tuahai needed to build was completed. Zhang Tuahai looked at what was waiting to be built. Materials required for chameleon camouflage. 20 barrels of paint of different colors. Weird upgrade conditions. I hope the next world can be a normal world where I can buy these things. Zhang Tuahai looked at the production materials and couldn't help but sigh. This material is not easy to work with. In a disaster world, this thing is almost first-class garbage. Except for the necessary waterproof coating. Almost no one will collect it. And there is no place to exchange it. Zhang Tuahai can only hope that there is a way to buy it. After finishing organizing things, Zhang Tuahai looked at his fully upgraded infantry fighting vehicle and nodded with satisfaction. No, it can no longer be called an infantry fighting vehicle. It should be a multi-purpose armored vehicle that integrates air defense, ground defense, water surface defense, close defense, assault, reconnaissance, flying and diving. Zhang Tuahai drove his brand new multi-purpose armored vehicle around the top of the mountain and after confirming that no other facilities were left behind, he came back to the mini light gates. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath. I hope it is a favorable world. After saying that, Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator and rushed into the light door that represented experiencing the next world in advance. The white light dissipated, and Zhang Tuohai quickly took stock of his surroundings. The ground is a flat cement pavement, surrounded by wooden two-story buildings with red roofs and white walls. It looks like a foreign town. 
Seeing this, Zhang Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief, feeling that he should have arrived in a modern world, and the paint problem should be solved. However, when he took a closer look, he couldn't help but gasp, because the surrounding environment is obviously a bit dilapidated. There are broken papers and garbage everywhere on the ground. Several houses have broken glass everywhere. Some houses even have obvious signs of fire. There are several cars parked on the road due to collisions. And the scrapped car. You can even see some blood stains and mottled bones that have turned black on the road. What kind of world is this? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown. Chapter 512 Virus Zhang Tuohai looked around, trying to analyze what type of world this was. Call it the end of the day after a disaster. The surrounding houses are obviously still intact. Without the dilapidated feeling that no one has cleaned for many years, Zhang Tuohai could also see through the white fence the neatly trimmed lawns of several households on the roadside. Looking at the grass, it was obvious that someone had taken care of it recently. However, if it is a peaceful world, as far as Zhang Tuohai can see, there are only a few houses with few pieces of glass intact. There are also several houses that clearly show signs of being burned by fire. And several houses are even still smoking. There were several cars parked on the street that had collided with each other. And there were some blood stains on the cars. Obviously, this all shows that something bad happened here. And no one has come to clean up the aftermath. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while. Then took out a hand-thrown drone and prepared to investigate the surrounding situation. However, when his hand just touched the car door, suddenly, the prompt system popped up. There are a large number of viruses remaining in the air outside. If you go out without protection, the probability of being infected with alpha virus is 75%. The probability of being infected with beta virus is 55%. And the probability of being infected with gamma virus is 35%. The virus is described below. When Zhang Tuohai read the long list of virus descriptions, he couldn't help but take a breath of air. These three viruses are actually one virus. Alpha is the original strain and is highly contagious. After infection, it will produce symptoms such as fever and cold. It will heal on its own with a certain probability. Most of the conditions will be improved by taking medicine. But there is a 10% probability that it will cause mutations in people. If it cannot be done in time, cure, the probability of this mutation will continue to increase until 100%. Mutated people will become extremely manic, bloodthirsty and violent, unable to control their emotions and behaviors, and will uncontrollably attack other people of the same type who are not infected with the virus, and even animals. The body fluids of these mutants also contain a large amount of viruses. If they are bitten or their body fluids splash into the respiratory tract, there is a 90% chance of being infected with the virus. Beta viruses and gamma viruses are both variants of alpha viruses. The probability of beta viruses causing patients to mutate has significantly increased, up to 55%, an increase of more than five times. Moreover, there is a certain risk of death after being infected with beta virus. And the probability of death within one to three days is about 15%. As for the final gamma virus, it is even more terrifying. The probability of mutation of patients is as high as 75%, and the probability of death is also as high as 35%. What's even worse is that after being infected with the gamma virus, there is a certain chance that a person's body will mutate, causing people to grow some weird organs and turn into those weird monsters. The most troublesome thing is that after being infected by the gamma virus, the mutated person will have a certain degree of self-control and can control the bloodthirsty desire in his body to a certain extent. However, they still cannot restrain the instinct to spread the virus. To put it simply, patients infected with the gamma virus are no longer bloodthirsty and brainless lunatics, but virus spreaders who are intelligent and can make plans. After seeing this long description, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but feel a little headache. Judging from the virus description alone, this alpha virus is similar to a zombie virus. However, this alpha virus is obviously more dangerous. Patients infected with the gamma mutant strain will have intelligence and mutate. With wisdom, this is much harder to deal with than those zombies who can only rush without thinking. Moreover, unlike the zombie world, the air in this world also contains a large number of viruses. You don't need a virus carrier to find you. As long as you breathe in the air without protection, you will be judged once. Moreover, there are still three judgments. One each for Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. I am afraid that only Ol Huang will not fall into this trap. The best outcome is to be infected with the Alpha virus, but not mutated. This requires you to find a specific medicine to treat the virus. Otherwise, if you are not cured for a long time, you will still turn into a bloodthirsty madman. Of course, 
it's not all bad news. There are two pieces of good news. The first good news is that these mutated virus carriers are still human in nature and do not have strong vitality that can only be killed by headshots. As long as they hit the vital point, they can be killed. But their vitality is stronger and they can last for a minute or two longer. The second good news is that after someone breathes air containing the virus, they will develop antibodies and become immune to the virus in the air. Of course, there is only one such person in a million and you need to fight against the odds with your life. After reading the explanation for a while, Zhang Tuohai grasped two core issues. That is, if you want to live in this world, you must at least have a set of protective clothing that passes the test. Also bring a filter. The second is that we must find a specific medicine to treat this disease. This thing is definitely one of the most valuable things in the world. Whether you use it yourself or keep it to sell to others, the price will definitely be comparable to gold. No, more precious than the accessories of a level 5 car. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's traitorous businessman nature was revealed again. We need to take this opportunity to get some protective clothing that can resist the virus. It's best to get some special medicines. At the worst, we need to search for some cold medicines. Maybe they can be used. By the way, we are also looking for an opportunity to get two detectors that can automatically monitor the toxin content in the air. The radiation content will also be added so that the air conditions outside the car can be monitored in real time. Zhang Tuohai was mentally calculating his plan. Then, he honestly turned on the air purifier and purification statue in the car, put on the exoskeleton, opened the back door of the multi-purpose armored vehicle, and walked out. Zhang Tuohai was holding a newly made hand-thrown drone in his hand and was about to launch it. At this moment, the roar of engines suddenly came from the distance. Zhang Tuohai looked in the direction of the sound and was shocked to see several black Harley motorcycles coming from the other end of the town. The silencer cover on the exhaust pipe has been removed, emitting a deafening buzzing sound. There were a few hippies sitting in the car, carrying baseball bats and chains in their hands, whistling on the road. However, what is more disturbing is that the whistling sound is occasionally mixed with coughing sounds. Zhang Tuohai could even see two people wiping their noses with their sleeves from time to time. The image instantly became down to earth. There are still people in this world who don't want to die. Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he saw those hippies. He was worried that he had no way to understand the worldview. But this happened to him. Zhang Tuohai looked at himself and put away all the weapons as much as possible, especially the eight mechanical tentacles, which were all hidden behind his back. After a lot of effort, a few fools came, but they couldn't be scared away. Chapter 513 Mutation When the hippies saw Zhang Tuohai, their eyes lit up and they immediately roared to Zhang Tuohai's vicinity on their motorcycles. Several hippies rode in circles around Zhang Tuohai, constantly pushing the accelerator, waving chains and sticks in their hands, trying to put pressure on Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai has experienced five survival worlds, and he considers himself to be someone who has seen big scenes, whether it's mutant creatures sieging a city, apocalyptic natural disasters, or rocket launchers cleaning the ground. He has seen a lot of big scenes. A few hippies even looked a little cute in his eyes. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's disinterested look, a hippie felt ashamed, turned the front of the car, and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the hippie rushing over, Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to be polite. He stretched out two mechanical tentacles and thrust them into the opponent's wheels. Bang! The car came to a sudden stop, and the hippie in the car flew out instantly, and a dog chewing shit lay in front of Zhang Tuohai. Upon seeing this, Several hippies around him immediately waved their weapons and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai. For these guys who didn't even have basic fighting skills, Zhang Tuohai didn't even bother to use a gun. He swung his mechanical tentacles back and forth a few times and knocked down several guys who rushed up to the ground. Seeing this, the last hippie suddenly took out a Glock pistol from his waist. However, before he could raise his hand, the palm machine gun in Zhang Tuohai's hand was pointed at him. Duh duh duh. After a series of bullets, the hippie was directly beaten into a sieve. The corpse fell to the ground, and the hippies who were still struggling on the ground suddenly became honest. The hippie who was the first to fall down in front of Zhang Tuohai quietly returned to his original position, not daring to move at all. After all, these are just a bunch of idle bastards. If they really use a gun, the first one will be intimidated. I ask, you answer. Otherwise, you will be just like that guy. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai asked coldly. I understand. I understand. The hippie lying at Zhang Tuohai's feet nodded quickly. Well, then tell me. What is your place called? Zhang Tuohai asked. 
You don't know what this place is called? Then how did you get here? The hippie lying on the ground asked in confusion. It seems that you still don't understand. Zhang Tuai stepped on the hippie's hand. The hippie let out a scream. The rule is that I ask and you answer. You have no right to ask. If you violate it again, then I will send you to be with your companion. Do you understand? Zhang Tuai said, patting the hippie's face with his mechanical tentacles. Apple Town. This is Apple Town, the hippie said hurriedly. Great. It looks like you've learned how to answer the questions. So where can I get some paint here? What Zhang Tuahai is most concerned about now is the paint issue. As long as he gets the paint, he can create a chameleon coating. And the car's visual stealth effect will be greatly improved. There is no paint in the small town. If necessary, everyone drives to the big city to buy it. The hippie said quickly. Where is the nearest big city from here? What's its name? Zhang Tuahai asked. The nearest big city here is called Blackberry City. It only takes more than an hour to drive there. This small town is a satellite town of Blackberry City. Everyone likes to go to Blackberry City to buy things. The things there are complete and cheap. Follow the entrance of the village, just keep driving on the main road, and don't make any turns. The hippie said quickly. Well, do you know where the residents here have gone? What are you doing here? Zhang Tuohai was curious. What on earth were these hippies here for? Don't they know about the virus outbreak? How dare you run around without protection? We don't know. We just heard that there was a riot here. Many residents ran away. There are no people in the town. We have no money in our hands and want to get something to sell. The hippie said, wiping his nose with his sleeve. Are you infected? Zhang Tuohai frowned. What infection? I just have a cold. It's nothing serious. The hippie said nonchalantly. Have you not been told about the spread of the virus? Or are these people at a low level and have not received relevant information? Zhang Tuohai's mind changed rapidly. Or maybe they dare to hang around outside because they are just infected with the alpha virus and are not in danger of their lives. Just when John Tuohai was about to ask some detailed questions, suddenly, the hippie's face began to look ugly. His face instantly turned red, and it became difficult to breathe. He covered his neck with both hands, coughing continuously, and coughed out two mouthfuls of blood from time to time. Upon seeing this, John Tuohai quickly retracted his feet, took two steps back, and stayed away from this guy. Brother! Brother! What's wrong with you? When the two hippies saw this, they rushed over and asked nervously. Roar! Suddenly, the eyes of the hippie who was coughing up blood turned red, with a violent light in his eyes. He stood up suddenly, grabbed the hippie closest to him, opened his mouth and bit it. With one bite, the opponent's neck was bitten open, and blood was scattered everywhere. Ah! Brother! Brother! What's wrong with you? When the other hippie saw this, he was so frightened that he peed his pants and crawled away. Ah! Uh, the hippie who was coughing up blood stood up unsteadily and staggered towards the escaping hippie. His speed seemed to be about the same as that of an ordinary person. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown when he saw this. Is this how the alpha virus mutates? This kid is really unlucky. He has a 10% chance of mutation. Zhang Tuohai raised the palm machine gun in his hand and fired a bullet into the guy's chest. Da da da. Under a series of bullets. The hippie who was coughing up blood had several large holes in his chest. A mess of blood and flesh. And the various internal organs inside were smashed into pieces by the tumbling bullets. The hippie who coughed up blood fell to the ground with a thud. But his mouth was still opening and closing. Proving that he was still lingering. The vitality of the mutants has indeed become stronger. They are still alive after being beaten like this. Zhang Tuohai frowned upon seeing this. Roar. At this time, a roar interrupted Zhang Tuohai's thinking. The hippie who was bitten through the neck before actually stood up unsteadily. From the wound on his neck, a tentacle actually grew out. The tentacle swayed randomly, and traces of green mucus continued to flow from the tentacle. Get down. Chapter 514 Infiltration Mutation so fast? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help being stunned. This guy has been bitten for less than a minute, and now he is mutated? This speed is so fast. Much faster than zombie movies. The tentacles on the hippie's neck quickly popped out, and wrapped around Zhang Tuohai's neck. Call. Several mechanical tentacles behind Zhang Tuohai blocked Zhang Tuohai's face and spurted out blazing flames. Flames engulfed the hippies and tentacles. The tentacles were instantly ignited by temperatures as high as 1000 degrees Celsius and began to twist randomly. In the blink of an eye, it was burned to ashes. The hippie was also covered in flames. He struggled a few times and fell to the ground, not breathing. When the few remaining hippies around saw this, 
they yelled, got on their motorcycles, and fled around quickly. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to chase. He already knew the most important news, and he didn't care too much about the life and death of these people. Moreover, these hippies also proved two things to Zhang Tuohai with their lives. First, the mutants caused by the alpha virus are indeed not very good. At least they are unable to fight back against machine guns and flames. Second, the onset of alpha virus is extremely fast. It takes almost less than a minute from infection to onset of mutation. This results in an extremely short treatment time and greatly increases the risk of the virus. This further highlights the role of specific drugs. Looks like I have to go to Blackberry City to have a look. John Tuahai made up his mind, got back in the car, and drove towards the road opposite the town. John Tuahai believed that if he searched carefully in this town, there might be some food, tools, and even civilian weapons. However, the value of these things to him is already very low. Moreover, his time in this world is limited. Only 12 hours. And he must use the shortest time to collect the most information. In comparison, the resources in big cities are richer and more valuable. Of course, the best part is that only in big cities can you find 20 different colors of paint. After passing Apple Town, John Tuohai drove on the road to the big city. The roads on both sides of the road were quite normal. No different from ordinary country roads. On both sides were endless fields. A peaceful scenery. However, John Tuohai always felt a little strange. But he couldn't explain what was strange. After driving for an hour, the skyscrapers of Blackberry City were already visible. And Zhang Tuohai finally figured out what the reason was. That is, it is too quiet in the wilderness. Under normal circumstances, there are all kinds of creatures living in the wilderness. They make all kinds of sounds. And wilderness is never synonymous with silence. However, this wilderness is really too quiet. It was like a tomb. Completely silent. Except for the occasional sound of wind. Not even a sound of insects could be heard. Did they feel the viruses in the air and run away? Or were they poisoned to death? Or even turned into those monsters? If it is the former, it means that the virus in Blackberry City has spread. If it is the latter, it would be terrible. You know, although there seems to be nothing in the wilderness area, if all the various creatures inside it emerge, it will be enough to submerge the entire city. Even if only 1% of them turned into monsters, Zhang Tuohai would still have to run away. Without it, there are simply too many of them. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but speed up. Pressing the accelerator, Zhang Tuohai soon arrived at Blackberry City. Blackberry City is a city built on a sandbank in the middle of a large river. Zhang Tuohai didn't know which designer with a bad brain designed the city. There are obviously better riverbanks, but they are not used. They are all vacant. All the city's facilities are built on the sandbank in the middle of the river. There are only two bridges across the river connected to the outside world. At this time, the bridge across the river was full of vehicles heading out of the city. At one end of the bridge, a checkpoint was set up, and a group of guys in protective clothing were checking something. Moreover, when each vehicle passes through the checkpoint, it must pass through a washroom-like equipment and be sprayed and disinfected before being allowed to pass. At the very outside of the checkpoint, there were more than a dozen armored vehicles with automatic machine guns aimed at the people slowly queuing out. So strict! Zhang Tuohai took a look from a distance and found that those queuing up to leave the city seemed to have taken a small plastic card, which should be some kind of identification card. How to do this? Zhang Tuohai was a little confused. In the past, the world I visited was full of natural disasters and monsters. Even if I encountered indigenous people, there were no strict inspection measures. Now, in a world where order has not yet collapsed, a piece of identity information stopped him. Are we going to force our way in? Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and immediately rejected the idea. Although there are more than a dozen armored vehicles at the bridge checkpoint. For Zhang Tuohai, who is equipped with the DAS multi-purpose missiles, it is nothing more than two salvos. But the trouble is what to do next. Who knows how powerful the forces behind these people are and how many guards there are in the city. It would be troublesome if it attracted a large group of Apache or A-10 attack aircraft. Besides, even if he defeated the bridge checkpoint, there would still be dense crowds of people on the bridge waiting to leave the city. If these people get into trouble, they can directly block the bridge. But he still can't get through. Looking at it now, there is no chance on the bridge. So we can only think of ways from other directions. John Tuohai observed the surrounding terrain, made a circle, and entered the river from a low-lying location. After his car was upgraded, the sealing system was greatly improved. Under necessary conditions, it could even stay in shallow sea for a period of time and cross the river without any problem. 
The multipurpose armored vehicle drove quietly into the river without attracting anyone's attention. The water area was relatively stable. After entering the river, Zhang Tuohai activated the crawler mode and crawled along the river bed towards the other side. After entering the river, Zhang Tuohai walked forward while observing his surroundings. However, whether it was due to the path he chose, this river was just as barren as the wilderness he passed before. Not to mention the fish. I didn't even see half of the snails. I saw a lot of aquatic plants. Zhang Tuohai also saw some abandoned cars, tires and so on. Logically speaking, this should be the favorite area of fish. Why is there no trace of any living thing? The uneasiness in Zhang Tuohai's heart became stronger and stronger. Chapter 515 Actually, I am a superhero. Looking at the unusually clean river, Zhang Tuohai felt a little uneasy in his heart. However, since the prompt system did not warn him, even if there was danger, it would not affect him for the time being. Never mind it. I'm just a passerby looking for some paint. You can just pretend I don't exist. Zhang Tuohai drove a multi-purpose armored vehicle and quietly dived across the bottom of the river and climbed onto the shoal. After landing on the shoal, there is a neatly planned villa area opposite, which seems to be a place where rich people live. Zhang Tuohai immediately rushed into an alleyway. Ta-ta-ta. Ta-ta-ta. At this time, Zhang Tuohai heard gunfire from the other side of the river. What happened? Could it be that my secret crossing of the river was discovered? Zhang Tuohai felt a little panicked. After all, the people at the checkpoints had unknown powers behind them. If they tried their best to surround and suppress him, he might not be able to withstand it. Zhang Tuohai quickly launched a hand-thrown drone to investigate the surrounding situation. Soon, the drone transmitted the footage back. It turned out that on the other side of the bridge, some people lined up and couldn't wait any longer. So they secretly moved out their kayaks and prepared to row secretly out of Blackberry City. The guards at the checkpoint actually fired directly at the river, forcing those people back. The guards took out their walkie-talkies and said a few words. Soon, several more armored vehicles came from the road. These armored vehicles began patrolling both sides of the river. There were also several small patrol boats patrolling back and forth on the river to prevent anyone from leaving through the waterway. How should I go out later? Seeing the strict patrol, Zhang Tuohai frowned. With this level of patrolling, if he tried to leave in the same way again, he would definitely be discovered. This may lead to a large group of people chasing him. It's like getting into big trouble for nothing. Forget it. We'll see what happens when the time comes. If it doesn't work out, just stay in Blackberry City for the rest of the time and rely on system teleportation to leave here when the time comes. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind and turned towards the urban area of Blackberry City. The area he is in now is a wealthy area and there will be no paint or building material stores. He has to go to professional commercial streets to find them. The drone was flying in front for reconnaissance. And Zhang Tuohai followed behind. He found that people in Blackberry City seemed to be running out with their families. And the two roads leading out of the city were crowded with vehicles. The rest of Blackberry City was deserted. With almost no sign of people. What are these people doing? Mass evacuation? Zhang Tuohai felt even more uneasy. He sped up, hoping to get the benefits he could get first. Soon, the drone discovered a commercial street specializing in various building materials. Zhang Tuohai became excited when he saw this, and immediately drove his car towards the commercial street. Anyway, there are no traffic police at this time. As long as he avoids the crowded streets, there will be almost no one around. Even if he violates the traffic rules, no one will come to stop him. Everyone is scrambling to escape the city. Zhang Tuohai came to the commercial street and found that it was deserted and there was no one there. Many people evacuated in a hurry, not even closing the store doors. Zhang Tuohai walked into a brand paint store and then took 001 directly into the warehouse along the employee passage. Carry one bucket of each paint back. Zhang Tuohai directed 001 to carry various special paints. Soon, 20 different colors of paint were collected. Making chameleon camouflage. Zhang Tuohai chose to make. A white light flashed. The paint disappeared. And there were more ribbons on the multi-purpose armored vehicle. Later, these color bands gradually distorted into gray-white pixels. Almost the same color as cement. If you look down from a high altitude, it is really difficult to distinguish Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle from the cement road. It's pretty good. It adds a layer of visual camouflage. Zhang Tuohai is still very satisfied with this coating. Although, he has something like a fog generator to hide his body. However, as a large mass of fog approached, everyone knew something was wrong. Nowadays, player strike capabilities are becoming more and more powerful. 
if they just use artillery to clear the ground, there is no use hiding in the fog. In contrast, the visual invisibility effect of chameleon camouflage is in some ways more suitable for sneak attacks and stealth. After solving the chameleon camouflage, Zhang Tuohai decided to go to the gun store in the city center. There should be a lot of arms there. Although he didn't like them, they could be sold to players. They were all useless anyway. So sell more. Anything less is earned. Under the guidance of the drone, Zhang Tuohai went to the gun store he had found before. This is the largest gun store in Blackberry City. Although it only has one floor, it is like a huge supermarket. There are rows of gun cabinets inside, and various weapons and bullets are stacked on the shelves like cabbage. For people to use at will. Good guy. So much. I'm making a fortune this time. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and pushed a trolley over, preparing for a big purchase. However, he just took two steps and found that someone had already arrived here first. A woman wearing glasses and a business suit is familiarizing herself with a Glock insurance with the help of a guy dressed in work clothes. When the two of them saw Zhang Tuohai, they were both stunned. Obviously, he didn't expect anyone to come here at this time. At this time, the woman in a business suit, her eyes shining with excitement, ran over in high heels, picked up a recording pen and handed it to Zhang Tuohai. Hello, sir. I'm this is Miranda, a reporter from The Honest Daily. Can I ask you a few questions? Zhang Tuohai, he imagined many situations such as the other party being a citizen, a thug, or a vulnerable group trying to take advantage of the chaos to buy something for zero dollars. But he never expected that this woman would actually be a reporter. He originally wanted to refuse. He was busy gathering supplies. So how could he have time to be interviewed? However, when he thought that this was his first conflict-free communication with the locals, he changed his mind. What if I could come up with something to say? Okay, you can ask, but I may not answer. Zhang Tuai said. Is the exoskeleton you are wearing a cost costume? Why did you come to Solon Gun Shop at this time? Didn't you receive an order to evacuate the city? Miranda asked. Sure enough, the whole city was evacuated. But we still don't know why. If this is the case, then the identity needs to be carefully considered. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and then said, Actually, I am a superhero, nicknamed Ranger. Of course, I received an order to evacuate the whole city. However, I am afraid that someone will take advantage of the chaos. So I patrol around here to prevent those thugs attack the area. Chapter 516 Deceive a Mission Superhero? When Miranda heard this word, her eyes shone with excitement. She is a girl who grew up reading superhero comics. She has had a superhero complex since she was a child. She often fantasizes that if she falls into a dangerous situation, a superhero will step forward and save her from danger, and then fell in love. However, apart from comics and movies. She has never seen any real superheroes. Just when she was doubting whether there really were superheroes, Zhang Tuohai's appearance ignited her childhood fantasy again. Are you really a superhero? Miranda became excited and touched Zhang Tuohai's exoskeleton with her hand. The metal feels cold to the touch. It's a real guy. Not one of those looks. Miranda's eyes became more and more excited. Is there something wrong with this girl's head? Seeing Miranda's excitement, Zhang Tuohai was a little confused. Why does this girl feel like she's on a stimulant when she hears herself mention superheroes? Could it be that superhero is the key word? In order to verify his guess, Zhang Tuohai took advantage of the situation and compiled it. Yes, I am indeed a superhero. Maybe you haven't heard of my name. That's because Blackberry City is where I was born. However, over the years, I have been traveling around the world to fight against terror. I just returned to my hometown recently, but I found that there seemed to be some very strange changes here. Beautiful Miss Miranda, can you tell me what happened? Why did the city evacuate? No wonder. I have never heard of his name before. It turns out he went to protect our peace in the darkness. He is indeed a superhero. Miranda's eyes were filled with little stars. According to the official news from United Pharmaceuticals, the virus was placed in the city by terrorists. But I suspect there is another hidden reason. Miranda said quietly. Oh, did you find anything? Zhang Tuohai looked very interested. I obtained some information from insiders who are not allowed to reveal their identity. It is said that the real situation is not that terrorists put some viruses in Blackberry City. The real situation is that United Pharmaceuticals has a secret research laboratory in Blackberry City that specializes in researching some pharmaceuticals. And even they also conducted many anti-human experiments, which are simply inhumane, due to an operational error. An irreversible leak occurred in this laboratory. 
causing the virus to spread everywhere. And the entire Blackberry City became a hell on earth filled with viruses. In order to deal with the problem, the company had to organize the evacuation of people as a last resort. Otherwise, do you think those capitalists would be so kind and organize people from the whole city to leave? Do you know how much resettlement money is needed? Those guys who deserve to be hung from the streetlights would not be so kind. Really? Is the news confirmed? Zhang Tuohai became interested, and he felt that this might be an important breakthrough. Well, the insider who gave me the information is still very reliable. This time, I am going to go deep into the R&D headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals in Blackberry City to find out what is going on. Are you willing to come with us? My dear Mr. Superhero? Miranda said, staring at Zhang Tuohai with bright eyes. Miranda sends you a mission to find out the truth about pollution. This task is an open-ended task, and rewards will be given based on the degree of exploration. Players are advised to act according to their ability. The system prompts a task to pop up. It's really rare to actually trigger a mission. I must take it. Zhang Tuohai immediately chose to accept it. It was really rare for the game system to issue a mission. So Zhang Tuohai immediately chose to accept it. Anyway, he also intends to explore deeply and get deeply involved in this world. This seems to be a more suitable entry point. Of course, it is our duty to expose the ugly faces of those capitalists. Zhang Tuohai looked upright and awe-inspiring. Really? Great. I knew you would join us. Miranda said with excitement. Hurry. Let's leave quickly. I'm afraid if we go too late, the evidence will be destroyed. Miranda looked eager to try. How did this bitch get so big? Zhang Tuohai looked at Miranda suspiciously. This guy looks like a fool. However, this is convenient for him. If the other party is a ghost, Zhang Tuohai will have to restrain his hands. Let's go. Matt, grab your video recorder and let's go. Miranda said to the young man in overalls behind her. Oh. Matt hurriedly took two pistols and took them with him, holding a small camera and ran over quickly. This is my cameraman, Matt. Leave the photography and evidence collection to him. Miranda pointed at Matt and introduced to Zhang Tuohai. Oh, hello. Zhang Tuohai greeted Matt symbolically and then asked, Do you have a car? Also, do you know where the United Pharmaceuticals Laboratory is? Of course. United Pharmaceuticals Laboratory is at the northern end of the island. I have gone on site inspections a few times, but I was kicked out by security personnel before I was even approached. It's really annoying. How dare they chase away reporters? Miranda looked angry. He he. Zhang Tuohai looked at Miranda speechlessly, feeling that if he hadn't followed her, this girl would have been sunk into the river by United Pharmaceuticals sooner or later. So heartless. I don't know how I became a reporter. Let's go. Let's go. Miranda cheered and led the way. Everyone came to the street and two people saw Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle. Oh my god! Is this your exclusive tank? It's so handsome. Can I go up and have a look? Miranda looked at Zhang Tuohai expectantly. I'm sorry, but that's not possible right now. If the mission ends, we can still consider it. Of course Zhang Tuohai didn't want an indigenous woman to get into his car. What if he discovered something was wrong with his car? I understand. I understand. This is a secret unique to superheroes. It will not be shown to others at will. Just like Batman's tank. Only the closest teammates can enter it. I will work hard to prove that I am a superhero. As a qualified teammate. Don't worry. I will definitely let you recognize me. After Miranda finished speaking. She made a cheering gesture. What is all this? Has this woman misunderstood something? John Tuohai looked at this woman suspiciously. It felt like I couldn't keep up with her brain circuit. When did he say he wanted to test her? Forget it. Anyway, when the time comes, everyone will be separated. And the next time, they enter maybe somewhere. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother and got into the car directly. Miranda also got into Matt Citroen. Let's go! Next stop. United Pharmaceutical Secret Laboratory Ford Drake. Chapter 517 Ford Dread. The group of people drove towards the northern end of the sandbank. According to Miranda's description, the secret laboratory of United Pharmaceuticals is located in the northernmost part of Blackberry City. And its name is Fort Drake. It is nominally a sanatorium of a medical institution. But in fact it is a secret laboratory. Researching some anti-human virus. Zhang Tuohai and his party carefully avoided those who were queuing up to leave the city. And followed Miranda to the northernmost tip of Blackberry City. A high wall was erected in front of everyone. The high wall is more than three meters high. With electrified barbed wire on it. Behind the high wall. There are several towers with huge searchlights on them. 
if Miranda hadn't told him that this place was a sanatorium in name only. He would have believed it if it was a prison. Who would build a sanatorium like this? An iron sign hung next to the gate that read Fort Drake, United Pharmacy Nursing Center. Is this right here? Zhang Tuohai asked as he looked at the big iron gate. Yes, but we'd better find a secret corner and sneak in, Miranda said from the side. What's the trouble then? Zhang Tuohai kicked the accelerator and knocked the big iron door open. Just now, he had conducted drone reconnaissance, and there was no trace of a single living person in the entire Drake Castle. There were no vehicles, and everyone inside should have been evacuated. In this case, there is no need to be secretive anymore. Just rush in. Looking at Zhang Tuohai rushing in, Miranda couldn't help but be stunned from behind. Also, is this still possible? He's so handsome. He is indeed my favorite superhero. Miranda held her hands together with a look of admiration on her face. Will United Pharma ask us to compensate for the gate? Will it be expensive? Matt, who was driving next to him, asked worriedly. We are carrying out a just cause. And with superheroes here, villains like United Pharmaceuticals will soon be brought to justice. They will all be tried justly and then put in jail forever. They will not have time to find them. Our trouble, Miranda said to Matt with a look of disgust. Can you do it? There are superheroes in front of you, but you are still timid. If you can't do it, hand over the camera and I'll tell the editor to find another partner. Okay, okay, why don't I go in? Matt sighed and drove in. Who told Miranda to be the daughter of a newspaper owner? If Miranda showed even the slightest hint of dissatisfaction, he would be out of a job tomorrow because he walked into the company with his left foot first. Two cars rushed into Fort Drake one after the other. Fort Drake is very large inside. With more than 20 buildings, a large parking lot, a helicopter pad, and a small runway that can take off some small aircraft. However, at this time, these venues were empty, and not a single vehicle was left. With the three of them, it would take at least dozens of days to thoroughly search the entire base. There are so many buildings! Where should we go? After Matt entered Drake Castle, he was shocked by the grandeur inside. What are you worried about? Didn't you see Mr. Superhero going that way? Let's follow him and prepare your cameras. I feel like I'm sure I can get a big news, Miranda said with excitement. Go to building number 470, where you will get the most benefits. A prompt pops up from the system. Building 470? Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked around. Only then did he discover that the numbering of the buildings in Fort Drake was different from the normal numbering. They were numbered directly from three digits. Moreover, the order was messy and there was no rule at all. Building number 470 looks similar to those buildings. They are ordinary four-story buildings with white walls. There is a neatly trimmed lawn in front of the building. Zhang Tuohai drove the car directly to building number 470 and got out of the car. At this time, he was fully armed. Not only wearing an exoskeleton, but also a Gatling gun and carrying an RPG-7. Oh my god! What are you going to do? Are you going to fight? Matt asked loudly. Zhang Tuohai glanced at Matt with a look that looked retarded, and then strode towards building 470. If he wasn't worried that the important information inside would be burned, he would have just fired a single cloud explosive bomb. In this way, no matter what monsters are hidden inside, they can be dealt with in one shot. You look so timid, and you still want a promotion and a raise? Come on and follow me. Or hand over your camera. Miranda glanced at Matt and trotted after him. Seeing this, Matt gritted his teeth and followed. Soon, several people came to the gate. The door to building 470 is an automatic security door that requires a swipe card. I know this lock, Matt said after taking a look at the electronic lock on the security door. This is Doyle's latest product. It has a 16-digit password, access control card, iris verification and triple protection. If there is a mistake, it cannot be turned on and will. Duh duh duh. Before he could finish his words, he was interrupted by a series of machine gunfire. The combination lock was completely broken by Gatlin. Several lock pins were also directly broken. Zhang Tuohai kicked him forward. Boom. The security door was kicked open. What will happen? Miranda rolled her eyes at Matt. Matt? Zhang Tuohai strode towards the inside. The entire corridor was empty and silent with pieces of paper and some broken glass scattered everywhere. I don't know why. But even though the sun is still high outside, the building is very eerie inside. It looks similar to a scene in a horror movie. Turn right to the security room and take a look. You may find some unexpected gains. A prompt pops up from the system. 
Zhang Tuahai walked straight to the security room on the right. The door of the security room has been locked. But a mere wooden door cannot stop Zhang Tuahai at all. When he kicked down, the wooden door of the security room was directly kicked to pieces. In the security room, two security guards were lying in a pool of blood. Each of them had more than ten bullet holes in their bodies. And there was another bullet hole in their forehead. They had obviously been shot. Moreover, these two security guards have obviously mutated. A security guard's tongue became noticeably longer, hanging down to his chest. The other security guard's face was covered with scales, and his eyes turned into vertical pupils. God! How did they become like this? Miranda couldn't help but be stunned when she saw the miserable state of the two security guards. Could it be that what the informant said is true? United Pharmaceuticals is really conducting human experiments again. This is definitely big news. If it is announced, this year's Golden Pen Award will be mine. Matt, come here quickly and record all this for me. This is all evidence. Miranda shouted. Chapter 518 Special Medicine Formula Matt was also stunned by the scene in front of him. Although he had grown up watching various shootings and vendettas, and various corpses were not uncommon. However, the corpses of these two weird security guards still shocked him. He quickly raised the handheld video recorder in his hand and filmed the scene as evidence. He was sure that this was big news. Promotion and salary increase are beckoning to him. Seeing the two excited people getting into work, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but look sideways. He even wondered if the place where these two people lived before was Gotham. But they could accept this kind of thing so quickly and went straight to work. However, he doesn't care what happens to these two people. They are just two tools anyway. It doesn't matter how they want to die. As long as he gets enough harvest. Zhang Tuohai began to check the room. The prompt system says there is something to be gained here. So be sure to look for it carefully. He looked around the room. This is a security duty room. The furnishings in the room are very simple. A few sofas, a desk, and a gun cabinet have been opened. All the weapons and ammunition inside have been taken away. There is a gun cabinet placed on the balcony. In the corner, Zhang Tuohai also found a broken test tube and some traces of moisture on the ground. Zhang Tuohai leaned over. Congratulations on discovering the original strain of alpha virus. You can become infected if you are exposed to this room for more than one minute. Congratulations! Zhang Tuohai was so frightened that he almost ran away. Don't panic. With your current protection level, you can stay in this room for one hour and 28 minutes with peace of mind. As for Miranda and Matt, they were already infected with the alpha virus when they entered Drakeburg. I'm scared to death. Zhang Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the prompt pop up from the prompt system. It's fine. So that he can still search for benefits with peace of mind. Zhang Tuohai continued to look at the surrounding facilities. The surrounding facilities are so simple that you can see them all at a glance. Could it be that something is happening to these two people? Zhang Tuohai locked his eyes on the two of them. But after just one glance, he was discouraged. Because the two people's bodies had obviously been searched. Their clothes were torn apart and cut one by one. All the pockets were turned outside. And even the heels of the leather shoes were cut open with a sharp knife. Apparently, the man who killed them was looking for something. These two guys stole important things here. Were discovered silence them, and smash the test tube containing the original strain before they died? Or maybe the two of them were infected with the virus when they stole things, came to the duty room, mutated, were exposed, and were beaten to death on the spot? But where did these guys put the stolen things? Zhang Tuohai can be sure that the things are definitely not on these two people. Otherwise, with the other party's professional search methods, they would have taken them away long ago and would not keep them for him. If I stole something, where would I hide it? Zhang Tuohai placed himself on the two of them, closed his eyes, and thought. Suddenly, he opened his eyes and cast his gaze on the pot of spider plant on the windowsill. He walked over and pulled up the pot of spider plant, knocking off the soil on top. Sure enough, a black USB flash drive fell out from inside. The discovery of a strange USB flash drive may be used as evidence to expose United Pharmaceuticals. This is a prompt from the game system. The stolen confidential information was discovered which contained the structure and production process of the alpha virus, as well as various experimental data, plus the formula of supporting special therapeutic drugs. This is a prompt from the prompt system. Marvelous! Zhang Tuohai clenched his fist excitedly. He didn't like the method of making the alpha virus very much, but the method of making the accompanying special medicine was a rare thing. This thing is like a hen that lays golden eggs in this world. Hand this thing over as evidence to expose United Pharmaceuticals? Zhang Tuohai didn't have that idea. 
United Pharmaceuticals was able to establish such a large laboratory on the island and also carried out an operation of the level of evacuation of the entire city, which shows its social influence and action capabilities. A large consortium of this level will never collapse just because of a few pieces of evidence. Just like the Umbrella Company, what if someone got the evidence from Raccoon City? Instead of being settled by the huge public relations team, Jill and others were wanted. Although Miranda is a relatively idealistic reporter, she is definitely not able to fight against a behemoth like United Pharmaceuticals. Might as well use it to increase his strength. Zhang Tuohai carefully placed the USB flash drive in his pocket. At this moment, Matt, who was taking photos, suddenly squatted on the ground and coughed violently. The cough was unusually rapid, and it looked like he was about to cough out his lungs. There was a lot of blood foam at the corners of his mouth. Matt! Matt! What's wrong with you? Miranda saw Matt's appearance and immediately knelt down and asked. Careful! Zhang Tuohai's heart trembled. He instinctively felt bad. Matt was about to mutate. However, before he could finish speaking, Matt let out a roar. Roar! Matt's originally gentle and thin face changed instantly, becoming ferocious and terrifying. His eyes were red, for sharp fangs grew out of his mouth. His original hands turned into sharp blades. His body expanded rapidly, and his clothes were it was torn, covered with scales, and a long tail grew out of the tailbone. Ah! Miranda screamed as she saw Matt transform into a monster. She had never seen such a scene before. She was so frightened that her legs weakened and she collapsed on the ground. Matt screamed strangely and bit Miranda's neck, causing blood to flow profusely. After the virus was infected, Matt picked up Miranda and threw her aside, then strode towards Zhang to a high. For the mutated Matt, now, there is only one highest belief left in his mind, which is to spread the alpha virus. Seeing Matt rushing towards him, John Tuohai snorted coldly, picked up the Gatling in his hand, and directly knocked Matt away. Then, he raised the muzzle of the gun and pulled the trigger on Matt. Da da da. A series of bullets were fired, directly turning Matt's body into a honeycomb. The scales were all broken into pieces. The monster mutated by the alpha virus is a bit weak, and it is not as effective as the transformation effect of the genetic medicine. After looking at Matt's body, John Tuohai smacked his lips. He turned his head and looked at Miranda's position. The guy was bitten by Matt, and was also infected with the virus. He was about to mutate, and had to be dealt with. However, Miranda's seat was empty at this time. Miranda is missing. Chapter 519 Undestroyed Files Where is that guy? Where did he go? Jean Tuohai looked around for the missing Miranda. This is a biological virus laboratory. And there are countless poisons and dangerous goods. If the other party escapes, something may happen so it is better to deal with it in time. Just as Zhang Tuohai was looking around, he suddenly felt a huge force on his neck, as if something was wrapped around his neck, trying to strangle him to death. Zhang Tuohai lowered his head and took a closer look, only to find that there was nothing on his neck. But that huge force is real, and even strengthened. Is it something invisible? Zhang Tuohai, who had experienced an eye spider attack, immediately thought of this possibility. He grabbed the thing around his neck with one hand, turned around sharply, and continued to shoot behind him. Da da da. Large amounts of blood splashed in the void. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately shot towards the place where the blood splashed. The attacker was quickly outlined in bullets and blood. The attacker was Miranda. At this time, her body was almost transparent, and one of her arms turned into something like a tentacle. Just now, she tried to strangle Zhang Tuohai with her tentacles. But as a result, she was beaten into a sieve instead. Miranda died, and the mission to explore the truth of the pollution failed. You can also investigate independently. But there will be no rewards. Because you caused Miranda's death. The relationship between the boss of Condeed and you has been reduced to hatred. He will do his best to avenge his daughter. If there is no reward, there will be no reward. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help curling his lips when he saw the reminder that the mission had failed. He felt that even if this task was completed, he might not gain as much as if he searched the laboratory again. If you fail, you will fail. As for the boss of the Condeed newspaper, he didn't care even more. Just now, Miranda and Matt have proved with their lives how terrible the alpha virus is. If United Pharmaceuticals does not distribute a specific drug to everyone, it is estimated that it will be difficult to control this destructive momentum. Moreover, the few hippies in Apple Town and the virus-containing air have proven that the alpha virus has spread. The world at least around Blackberry City, is definitely doomed. 
How can he, a newspaper owner, turn the world upside down? Zhang Tuohai threw these thoughts aside and continued to search for items. The other rooms on the first floor were all offices and the like. All the important documents seemed to have been packed up and taken away. There were a lot of papers scattered on the floor. It can be seen that the retreat was in a hurry and only had time to take away the important things. Zhang Tuohai immediately called 001 and took back all the papers with writing on them, preparing to check them carefully one by one. If you find an important blueprint, you will make a lot of money. Even if there is no blueprint, you can throw it to Lilith as research material. Zhang Tuohai slowly came to the second floor. On the second floor are small greenhouses, with many things planted in pots. Discover the ingredients for making the alpha virus special medicine, calendula. Discover the material for making the alpha virus special medicine, blazing cherry. Discover the material for making the alpha virus special medicine, dragon peel fruit. The prompt system popped up seven or eight prompts in succession, all of which were materials for making special potions. Developed. Developed. Quickly. Transplant them all to high-end ecological parks. Zhang Tuohai called 001 to start the relocation on the second floor. As for himself, he came to the third floor. Compared with the second floor, the third floor was much empty, filled with all kinds of machines that Zhang Tuohai didn't recognize. But this didn't bother Zhang Tuohai. If you don't know how to use it, you don't know how to dismantle it. Let's call two self-propelled machines to come up and dismantle all these machines to see if they can get anything good. Zhang Tuohai took advantage of the situation and arrived at the third floor. On the third floor is a huge office, which is extremely luxuriously decorated. There are also several duobao pavilions, which are filled with priceless antiques. None of these things were taken away. It seems that the retreat was really too hasty. Zhang Tuohai inspected the surroundings, but found nothing of value. He finally found a secret room filled with various whipping and restraint props. This gave Zhang Tuohai a new understanding of some special hobbies of the person in charge of this building. However, these are not things he cares about. He is here to search for resources, not the XP of the person in charge of this building. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to leave, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Turn on the computer. Enter the password, 123456. Select base control. Select to drain the host inventory. And after 5 minutes, you can choose to reconnect to the local host to extract data that has not been completely destroyed. There is still data that has not been completely destroyed? Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed and immediately sat on the main seat and entered the power on password. As expected, a detailed picture of the base appeared on the screen. Underneath this building is the main computer room of the base. At this time, the main computer room has been flooded and should be destroyed. Zhang Tuohai opened the drainage device. After a few minutes, the water in the main computer room was drained clean. Zhang Tuohai immediately connected to the main computer and was ready to see what else he could catch. However, most of the documents were damaged. After searching for a long time, Zhang Tuohai only found two equipment construction drawings and two weapon drawings. Advanced Disinfection Room Special universal accessories can perform all-round disinfection to prevent toxic substances from being taken out of the laboratory. Manufacturing Materials High-grade metal ingots 5 units Intermediate metal ingots 20 units High-grade plastics, 40 units. High-grade rubber, 10 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 1. Overpressure 3 proof device, a special universal accessory. Consisting of a gamma ray alarm. A poison alarm. A control mechanism. A shutdown machine. A poison filtration ventilation device and sealing components. It can prevent nuclear leakage. Biological weapons and chemical weapons from penetrating. Manufacturing materials. High-grade metal ingots, 10 units. Intermediate metal ingots, 50 units. High-grade plastics, 20 units. High-grade rubber, 5 units. High-grade glass, 20 units. High-grade electronic components, asterisk 3. Over-frequency electromagnetic gun, effective range, 200 meters. Adjustable voltage. Emits over-frequency current to stun or kill the enemy. Requires advanced batteries. Note, comes with advanced battery manufacturing drawings. Note 2, after extensive testing. It has been proven that the over-frequency electromagnetic gun has the same effect on alpha virus mutant organisms. The production drawings of the third generation Joint Pharmaceutical Special Forces protective clothing, equipped with an exoskeleton protection system made of a new alloy, which can carry five tons of objects, and can resist direct artillery or rocket fire with a caliber of less than 100 millimeters. It is equipped with a new protective mask, which cannot resist the penetration of alpha and known mutant strains. 
can support diving to 50 meters underwater, and provides 20 minutes of oxygen supply. Armament, 4 micro rockets. Chapter 520 Special Medicine. Looking at the drawings, Zhang Tuohai suddenly became excited. These things are priceless. Let's take the disinfection room as an example. You know, there are still a lot of viruses floating in the air in this world. Who knows what these things will fall on? What if the box of cans he picked up was covered in viruses? Could it be that he just brought the virus back into his car? At this time, the disinfection room perfectly solves this problem. All items must be disinfected in the disinfection room before entering the car, so that the environment inside the car will be much safer. As for the three defense system, it is even more powerful. It not only protects against biological and chemical weapons, but also prevents nuclear radiation and floating radioactive materials, allowing him to walk in the nuclear wasteland with confidence. The supporting detection system allows him to control the toxins and radiation dose in the outside world at any time, allowing him to directly know the conditions of the outside world without having to wait for prompts to find out later, making it easier for him to control the situation. Not to mention the two pieces of personal equipment, the protective clothing specially developed by United Pharmaceutical for his subordinates is actually higher in defense than the exoskeleton he is wearing. And it also has higher protection against biological and chemical poisons. And even comes with a diving function. Not to mention the overfrequency electromagnetic gun, which increased his attack capabilities. If the members of United Pharmaceutical were wearing a new generation of protective clothing to deal with him, even the Gatling gun in his hand would not be able to deal with them. Unless he uses the ADAS multipurpose missiles on the vehicle, there is no way to deal with them. However, now with this overfrequency electromagnetic gun, this problem has been solved. There is no need to think of ways to break the armor. Just attack directly through the armor. As for the gun needing to be charged, that's not a problem. There is a small nuclear reactor in his car. And the most important thing is electricity. In terms of shortcomings, the biggest disadvantage of this gun is that the range is relatively short. Only about 200 meters. For longer ranges, other guns need to be used. Zhang Tuohai immediately printed out several drawings with a printer. Sure enough, these drawings are all usable. Zhang Tuohai immediately produced these drawings. In order to ensure efficiency, he also specially installed the disinfection room at the rear door entrance of the car, which is the passage in and out of the car, ensuring that no virus will escape the disinfection process and enter the car. After Zhang Tuohai finished making all these equipment, 001 also brought good news. It had dismantled all the machines on the second floor and actually disassembled some special metals chromium and titanium. This is good news for Zhang Tuohai. Now, because Zhang Tuohai was making titanium alloy armor, he had consumed a lot of titanium and these two metals were hard to come by. So he took this opportunity to get some blood back. Zhang Tuohai ran back to the office on the fourth floor and carefully looked at where else there was in Fort Drake that could be looted. Zhang Tuohai kept switching monitors to check the situation in Fort Drake. However, the situation made Zhang Tuohai a little disappointed. Although the Fort Drake convoy was in a panic, they took away almost all valuable things and destroyed most of the remaining ones. In several experimental buildings, experimental subjects who had been shot and burned were everywhere. The virus library was also wide open, and all the virus strains inside were taken away. He was very lucky to be able to find a few undamaged files from the water-soaked host. After walking around and confirming that there was no advantage to be taken, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car and inserted the USB flash drive into the slot in the car. Copy all the important files inside to the Xi'ai classmates database. So much information? It's all about viruses. Commander, are you going to create a virus? The equipment in the car is insufficient. This is the list of requirements. Classmate Xi'ai said and listed a long list of machines, which made Zhang Tuohai dizzy. I don't just want viruses. There are enough viruses out there now. I just want to use them as data for research. Zhang Tuai said. Receive. The pixel image of classmate Xiao Ai saluted and went back to his own business. Zhang Tuai connected the printer he had created and printed out the method for making the special medicine. The recipe is then loaded into the system. Sure enough, it can be produced directly. This system is really rigid. And you have to use paper as a carrier to load the drawings. Zhang Tuai shook his head and then took a look at the effect of the special medicine. Special drug for alpha virus. It has the best effect on the basic type of alpha virus. If taken within two hours of infection, it can effectively treat and inhibit mutation. The treatment success rate is 90%. The effect on mutant strains is significantly reduced. 
with a cure rate of 70% for beta mutant strains and 50% for gamma mutant viruses. It seems that this special medicine is not completely effective. Zhang Tuohai sighed after seeing the effect of the medicine. It seems that prevention is the fundamental, and subsequent treatments have the risk of failure. After reading the potion data, Zhang Tuohai drove the vehicle and left Fort Derrick, preparing to return to the gun shop to make some extra money. The last time he took his identity into consideration, he didn't grab the gun. This time it would be okay. Zhang Tuohai remembered that there seemed to be sniper rifles on the shelves in that store, and he was going to take a look. However, not long after he drove out of Fort Drake, he heard intermittent gunshots in the distance. What happened? Why were there gunshots? Zhang Tuohai immediately flew the hand thrown drone. Soon, the drone sent back pictures. It turned out that mutants were discovered on the bridge, and the guards at the checkpoints immediately raised their guns and killed the mutants. After discovering the mutants, the guards began to refuse to let them go, using their guns to force those residents who had not yet had time to get out to return home. Are you kidding me? Such terrible things happened here. And you actually let us go back and wait to die? That's why people turn into such terrifying monsters. Please tell me clearly. Are you doing some biochemical experiments with joint pharmacy? And you have to make us wear masks and say, Is there something in these masks that controls us? Turns us, free residents, into your slaves? I discovered that there are metal wires in the mask. This must be an antenna that transmits signals. They want to control us. They want to make us slaves. Fight them. Several hot-tempered people pulled out Colts directly from their waists. And some pulled out AR-15S from their cars and opened fire at the guards at the checkpoints. The guards at the checkpoint were caught off guard and several were knocked down. At this time, the armored vehicle patrolling the shore arrived. After seeing this scene, he immediately called the headquarters. Thugs were found at the North Bridge checkpoint in Blackberry City trying to break into the checkpoint. Please authorize the use of weapons. Please authorize the use of weapons. With authorization, all types of weapons can be used. Make sure not a single living body passes through the bridge. Support will be here soon. A cold voice came from the intercom. Chapter 521A10 Air Raid After receiving weapons authorization, the armored vehicles began to open fire. Vehicle-mounted cannons of various calibers fired at the bridge. Although the citizens of Blackberry City also have civilian firearms in their hands, how can they be an opponent against a war machine like an armored vehicle? The entire battle was a one-sided massacre. In the blink of an eye, dozens of citizens were beaten to pieces. Moreover, the gunfire has not stopped yet, and continues to sweep towards the citizens behind, as if to catch everyone in one fell swoop. They are going to kill us! Run! United Pharmaceuticals is killing free people wantonly, and I will post your atrocities online! A person hiding in the distance took out his mobile phone and took a short video, preparing to upload it to his social platform. However, he was shocked to find that the wireless signal was cut off at some point. I can't log into my social media account at all. Damn internet provider! The young man punched the ground angrily, got under the car, and crawled backwards quietly. He knew that if he stood up and ran now, he would only become a target. The only chance of survival was to lie on the ground and crawl back under the car. This might still have a chance. However, he had just climbed halfway when suddenly he heard a roar in the sky. What sound? The young man looked up and saw an A-10 attack plane arriving above his head at some unknown time. Whizzing. Two 225 kilograms 82 Malawian Quatch's bombs were thrown onto the iron bridge. Boom. Boom. After two huge explosions, the iron bridge was blown to pieces. And that young man, without even cursing fake, was blown into pieces. Not only this, but the bridge on the opposite side was also blown apart. After blowing up two bridges one after another, the A-10 attack plane did not leave. Instead, it carried out precise bombing on the signal tower and broadcasting building in the city, blowing these facilities into ruins. Zhang Tuohai, who was watching all this from a distance, frowned. What are they going to do? If they just isolate the individuals carrying the virus, they can just turn this place into a geographical island. Now, they have bombed the signal facilities and turned this place into an information island, isolating internal and external information, unable to pass each other. What do they want to do? Zhang Tuohai's mind changed rapidly. Suddenly, he suddenly thought of the plot in the original world movie, after the Umbrella Corporation isolated Raccoon City. In order to clear up the trouble, they directly launched a nuclear bomb and completely wiped out a city. This United Pharmaceutical wouldn't want to do something like this. Would it? 
Such a terrifying thought flashed through Zhang Tuai's mind. If that's the case, then I should retreat. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuai immediately ran towards the edge of the city. He wanted to get into the water and leave Blackberry City. Although destroying the city was just a conjecture of his, he did not dare to bet on his luck. So it was better to be cautious. Zhang Tuai hurried all the way to the edge of the city and quietly hid in an alley to observe carefully. At this time, there were many patrol boats on the river patrolling around. Zhang Tuai was observing secretly, trying to find a patrol gap and sneak into the river quietly. However, those patrol boats were so densely packed that there was no gap at all. Zhang Tuai waited for 20 minutes, but could not find a suitable opportunity. At this time, a deafening roar came from the distant sky. We can't wait any longer. We have to evacuate. Zhang Tuai gritted his teeth, stepped on the accelerator, and rushed towards the river beach. Several patrol boats saw Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle rushing out. They didn't know what he was going to do. But they still set up the 20mm cannon on the ship and pulled the trigger at the armored vehicle. Da da da. A series of shells hit the titanium alloy armor plate of the armored vehicle. After Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle has been modified several times, its armor is now hard enough to withstand direct fire from a 200mm rifle gun or 125mm armor-piercing projectiles. A mere 20mm machine gun can't even leave a crater. Zhang Tuohai's multi-purpose armored vehicle took this opportunity and rushed into the river. Did that guy commit suicide? A guard on the patrol boat asked. I don't know. Keep an eye on the river. Don't let that guy escape. The captain said coldly. Understood. Several patrol boats patrolled nearby. After Zhang Tuohai entered the water, he immediately started running quickly in the water in order to prevent being discovered. He deliberately drove 15 or 16 kilometers upstream. It wasn't until we almost reached the limit of diving that we found a shoal and headed towards the beach. Is it finally safe now? Zhang Tuohai thought. However, what he never expected was that as soon as he came up, he encountered the evacuating patrol boat. Captain, isn't that the guy who rushed into the river? He actually didn't drown and actually rushed out. A sharp-eyed crew member spotted Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle and shouted loudly. Report to the headquarters immediately. Otherwise, if the news gets out, we will all die. The captain stared at the armored vehicle and took out the communicator. Call the headquarters. Call the headquarters. This is the patrol boat detachment. A diving armored vehicle passed through blockade, broke out of the encirclement, and are now fleeing towards the E-12 area. Heading southeast, cried the captain. Delay as long as possible. Support will arrive soon. A cold voice came from the communicator. Understood. The captain hung up the communication. Open all firepower and let the headquarters know that we are doing our best. The captain ordered loudly. Da da da. The 20mm machine gun fired at Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. What are these people doing? Wasting bullets? Zhang Tuohai glanced back at the patrol boats. Was too lazy to pay attention to them. And drove forward quickly. He knew that dealing with these people would have no effect except wasting time and ammunition. What he needs to do now is to leave here quickly before the opponent's reinforcements arrive. He accelerated and rushed forward. However, before he could run five kilometers, there was another deafening roar in the distance. Zhang Tuohai took a closer look and saw that the A-10 attack plane had actually flown here and was flying rapidly towards him. There are also two 82 Malawing Quatches aerial bombs hanging under the opponent's wings. The warhead of this thing has a full 225 kilograms of explosives. Throwing it on his head is enough for him to drink a pot. Ha ha. If it had been a few days earlier, it would have been more difficult for me to deal with you. But now, classmate Xiao AI. Lock the target. Target locked. Zhang Tuohai sneered and pressed a button. Whoosh. And a DAS multi-purpose missile was launched from the launcher. Turned in an arc in the air. And headed straight towards the A-10 attack aircraft. Chapter 522 Keep Silent. Seeing the incoming Adez missile, the pilot of the A-10 attack aircraft looked horrified. He didn't understand how he could encounter anti-aircraft missiles when it was just an ordinary ground attack mission. Moreover, originally thinking that it was just an ordinary attack mission, they did not even prepare thermal decoys for the aircraft. This leaves them defenseless when encountering anti-aircraft missiles. Boom! The Adez missile hit the engine of the A-10 attack aircraft. The A-10 attack plane exploded in the air and disintegrated into pieces in the air scattered everywhere. Run! After Zhang Tuohai saw the A-10 attack plane being blown up in the air, he immediately changed his direction and fled into the distance. Zhang Tuohai knew that his victory this time was entirely a fluke. He relied on the fact that the opponent did not know 
that he had the Adaz missile and underestimated the enemy and rushed in. So he found the opportunity to succeed. If the other party reacts and sends a few more high-altitude strategic bombers or a large group of drones, then he may be in danger. Faced with enemies who fought in organized and systematic ways, Zhang Tuohai was still weak and too fragile. News of the A-10 attack crash was quickly received by headquarters. Schneider, the commander-in-chief in charge of this attack, looked ashen. He held the communicator and shouted loudly, Send me the electronic warfare plane immediately. I will dig out that mouse and tear it into pieces. But what about the signal suppression in Blackberry City? It will take another hour to clear the attack. The deputy asked cautiously. Didn't they blow up the signal tower in Blackberry City? They have no ability to transmit signals to the outside world. Since this guy can kill A-10, he must be a spy sent by other consortiums. If we don't get rid of him, Blackberry City will the news will definitely leak out. Blackberry City will be wiped out soon. Nothing is important anymore. The goal now is to lock in this spy and catch him. I want to know who sent him. How much do you know about our plan? Schneider said coldly. Understood. The deputy immediately attended to it. Zhang Tuohai, on the other hand, was galloping all the way in the wilderness. Stop immediately. Turn on the infrared blocker. Remain silent. And do not show your head. The prompt system suddenly popped up. What happened? Zhang Tuohai didn't know why. But he still stopped the car according to the prompts. Turned off all radios. Turned off the lights and maintained silence. Not far away. An electronic warfare aircraft with an electronic warfare pod hanging on it flew over from a distance. And various radars were turned on. Looking for ground targets. However, Zhang Tuohai has turned off all radio communications. The infrared blocker has blocked the heat source in the car. The lights have been turned off. And even the color of the car body has changed to the painting of the surrounding grasslands. If an electronic warfare aircraft flies over at low altitude, there may be a chance to visually spot Zhang Tuohai. However, because they were afraid of Zhang Tuohai's anti-aircraft missiles. They hid at an altitude of 8,000 meters above the ground and did not dare to get close at all. From this distance, it is impossible to see vehicles on the ground, let alone multi-purpose armored vehicles with chameleon camouflage. The electronic warfare aircraft patrolled the area for a long time and failed to find Zhang Tuohai. In the end, it had no choice but to ask Schneider for instructions. A bunch of losers who can't even catch a spy Schneider cursed angrily, then turned around and grabbed the black phone. Get the president for me. President, I am Schneider. I suspect that a hostile company has known about our plan and is systematically sabotaging our operations. The theft of Fort Drake is proof of this. I propose to implement the ARC plan immediately to avoid being blocked by the enemy. Are you sure? Asked an indifferent voice. Everything is ready. All supplies have been stored. Only some D-class researchers have not yet had time to deploy. Schneider said immediately. They are just D-class researchers. They are just some consumables anyway. Throw them away. It is their honor to dedicate themselves to the future of the company. I order you to start the ARC project immediately. The authority has been delegated. Don't let me down, said the cold voice. Clear. Schneider hung up the phone respectfully. And then he activated the emergency contact channel. The virtual screens lit up one by one. And the heads of various regions appeared on the screen. Many people came in a hurry and didn't even wear a tie. I don't have time to talk nonsense with you. The ARC plan will be launched immediately. This is the president's authorization, and should be implemented immediately. Schneider said decisively. But isn't it the plan time yet? I'm still on vacation on my private island, and won't be able to go back in a short time. A bald supervisor said. Then you die on that damn island. You're dismissed. You idiot. Schneider directly lifted the other party's authority. Now, does anyone else have any opinions? Schneider asked coldly. No more. The others responded immediately without any hesitation. Everyone goes to prepare immediately. In ten minutes, the ARC plan will be implemented immediately. Clear. Zhang Tuohai sat in the car, waiting boredly. Suddenly, he was attracted by the scene on the horizon. Wherever he looked, a missile soared into the sky, dragging a huge tail flame and flew towards his direction. Hack, can't you afford to hit me with strategic missiles? Are you unable to find me and use nuclear weapons to cover me? Zhang Tuohai looked at the strategic missile trailing flames in astonishment. However, the missile exploded in the air before it reached Zhang Tuohai's head. Moreover, the yield does not seem to be large. Only a few hundred kilograms. Compared with such a large rocket, it looks a bit like a firework. What are they doing? Did they forget to release the warhead? 
just when Zhang Tuohai was suspicious. Classmate Xiao Ai raised the alarm. Commander, the concentration of alpha virus in the surrounding air is rising rapidly. Please request immediate transfer. Agree to transfer. Run. Zhang Tuohai said eagerly. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai saw countless missiles rising from the horizon. And then one by one exploded in the sky. What is United Pharma going to do? If you can't afford to play anymore, just destroy the world? What good would it do them to spread the alpha virus around the world? Zhang Tuohai doesn't understand what these guys are doing. Isn't it good to be a consortium? Why do you have to play destruction? However, the missile has been launched. And he alone can't change anything. He can only find a place with a lower virus concentration to stay in bed first. He was certain that places with people were definitely the most dangerous. And only the wilderness was the safest. He immediately drove away from Blackberry City. Chapter 523 Active Defense System Zhang Tuohai galloped all the way, running towards the distance. The virus concentration range has never been exceeded. Fortunately, however, the further he ran, the lower the virus concentration became. He drove forward for several hundred kilometers and suddenly saw a convoy driving ahead. Who? Zhang Tuohai quietly leaned over. When he approached, he discovered that the convoy consisted of three armored vehicles and two trucks, all of which were spray-painted with the United Pharmaceuticals logo. United Pharma's convoy? Where are they going? Zhang Tuohai decided to follow him to see what happened. He was sure that at this time, the United Pharmaceutical Convoy would not be going anywhere else. It must be some extremely important place. Zhang Tuohai followed quietly, with infrared shielding activated, silencer tiles, and chameleon camouflage paint. Zhang Tuohai followed the convoy like a ghost. Return in one hour. Please pay attention to the time. The game system popped up a prompt. Hack! So fast? Zhang Tuohai looked at his watch. He decided to follow for another half hour. And if there was no result, he would directly attack the convoy, steal the supplies and run away. Half an hour passed quickly. The team still had no intention of stopping. However, the surrounding virus concentration has indeed decreased. Almost to the level in Apple Town. We can't wait any longer. Just do it. Zhang Tuohai made up his mind and opened the weapons hatch. The hand-thrown drone took off and locked on the target. Two Adaz multi-purpose missiles roared out and hit the two armored vehicles at the head and tail respectively. Boom. Boom. The two armored vehicles did not expect that there would be a surprise attack in the deserted wilderness. They were caught off guard and were hit by Adaz, who drilled in from the top and exploded. Two armored vehicles stopped, blocking the road in front and behind the convoy. As soon as Zhang Tuohai saw that it was effective, he immediately activated the third Adaz rocket and fired it towards the last armored vehicle. At this time, the last armored vehicle had reacted, and an anti-aircraft machine gun turned around and fired in the direction of the missile. The last Adaz rocket was directly exploded. However, before the armored vehicle could counterattack, a high-energy laser beam hit the anti-aircraft machine gun, directly piercing the near anti-aircraft gun, and then another Adaz missile was fired over. This time, the armored vehicle had no counterattack capability and was directly destroyed by the Adaz missile. After destroying the three escorting armored vehicles, Zhang Tuohai immediately controlled the 1130 close range anti aircraft gun to shoot at the cabs of the two trucks. The 1130 close in defense gun is a super close in defense gun composed of 1130mm thick barrels. It has a theoretical firing rate of more than 10,000 rounds per minute and can intercept missiles and even artillery shells. Dealing with the cab of a truck is no problem. In less than three seconds, the cabs of the two trucks were riddled with holes and they lost their ability to move. After confirming that there was no counterattack capability, Zhang Tuohai immediately sent a self-propelled machine to cut the door of the truck. Soon the door to the van was cut open. As soon as the door to the van was opened, fire started inside. More than a dozen guys in special protective suits held up assault rifles and fired continuously. The two self-propelled machines were caught off guard and were hit by the camera. However, the remaining self-propelled machines reacted, raised their overclocked electromagnetic guns, and continued to fight back. Stab. Sting. There was a flash of electric light in the car. And soon it became quiet. Go up to check and replenish the gun. Zhang Tuohai said in a deep voice. Zero zero one one rushed forward immediately. Began to inspect the corpses. And shot each one. However. It was no longer necessary to replenish the gun at this time. Because all the escorts were electrocuted into cokes. Zhang Tuohai looked at the opponent's special combat suit. It was different from the third-generation protective suit he was wearing. And the protective power was not as good as his own. 
he speculated that it should be a second generation or earlier product. It seems that United Medicine has not fully distributed the third generation protective clothing. Zhang Tuohai had an idea when he saw this. If United Medicine promotes the third generation protective clothing to everyone, then Zhang Takumi will definitely avoid him when he sees him in the future. However, now it seems that United Medicine has not done it. After all the bodies were dragged away, only a safe was left in the car. The self-propelled machine saw it open the safe, revealing the medicine inside. The two vehicles carried different things. One contained a strain of the alpha virus, and the other contained a specific drug. No idea where they are going to ship this thing. However, no matter where they were sent, Zhang Tuohai simply accepted them. There happened to be no original strain as a test sample. So now we have everything. Let the self-propelled machine carefully transport these medicines back to the car. Zhang Tuohai sees the last moment, and let the self-propelled machine dismantle the cars, destroy the corpses, and eliminate traces. Although Zhang Tuohai didn't believe that United Medicine could find out about him, the traces that should be cleaned up still needed to be cleaned up. In less than 10 minutes, 001 used self-propelled machinery to dismantle these vehicles and obtain two drawings. One is a blueprint for the modification of an armored vehicle. This thing is also a hot commodity on the trading platform, so you don't have to worry about selling it. The other one is a bit interesting. Active Defense System Database A high-performance active defense system developed by United Pharmaceuticals, which can improve the active air defense effect of weapons. So there is such a thing. No wonder that guy was able to shoot down my missiles with an anti-aircraft machine gun. Zhang Tuohai nodded, showing a look of understanding. According to common sense, it is difficult for ordinary anti-aircraft machine guns to intercept ordinary rockets, let alone missiles. The reason why that armored vehicle was able to intercept Zhang Tuohai's Adaz missile was entirely due to this active defense system. Classmate Xi'ai, can you use this thing? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't have an active defense system myself. I was equipped with one when the 1130 close and defense gun was installed. However, this set of databases should also have merits and should be able to improve work efficiency. Classmate Xi'ai thought for a while and said. Then let's make it. Zhang Tuohai chose to make it and the parchment blueprint turned into white light and disappeared, and was loaded into the database of classmate Xiao Yai. Sure enough, there are some unique features. After I finish the analysis, the active defense efficiency should be increased by about 30%. Moreover, after loading the extended database, I can include all weapons in the active defense system. In the past, when I encounter a problem, I can only use the 1130 close and defense cannon for defense. Now that the system is installed, not only the 1130 close and defense cannon can be used as a close and defense weapon, but also lasers and missiles. As long as the weapons can be linked, I can include them in the active the defense program will automatically counterattack after encountering a crisis. Classmate Xiaoyai said excitedly. Can everything be incorporated into the active defense system? Zhang Tuohai also looked a little excited. If this is the case, then he has many more ways to deal with danger. Chapter 524 Airship Zhang Tuohai is also very excited about the improvement of his classmate Xiao Yai. Previously, when the multi-purpose armored vehicle was equipped with the 1130 close and defense gun, it had a matching close and defense system. However, that close and defense system is only linked to the 1130 close and defense gun itself. And other vehicle mounted missiles cannot be linked. If the incoming enemy is very powerful and cannot be defeated by the 1130 close range anti-cannon, other defense systems need to be activated using a DAS missiles or Hellfire missiles to fight against it, which is more troublesome. And efficiency is also a problem. Now, a new type of close and defense system is used to link all weapons together, which invisibly simplifies operations and improves efficiency, thus increasing the vehicle's overall combat effectiveness. Well done! Zhang Tuohai is still very satisfied with the improvement of the combat effectiveness of the car body. After carrying the dismantled materials back to the car, disinfecting them, and storing them in the warehouse. Zhang Tuohai's stay came to an end. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took one last look at the world and estimated that when he comes again tomorrow, it will be a world shrouded in viruses. The white light flashed, and Zhang Tuohai left the virus world and returned to the top of the spiral mountain range again. Of course, it can also be said to be a volcanic crater. At this time, those light doors had long since disappeared, and there were more than a dozen cars parked on the crater. It seemed that they had driven up during his absence. However, the crater is very large, more than 10 kilometers long, and Zhang Tuohai's appearance did not attract the attention of others. 
several players were gathering next to the vending machine, smoking cigarettes together. A new player walked up to the vending machine and took a look, showing disgust. Why is it all this garbage? One player said dissatisfiedly. To be honest, the gasoline, canned food and light weapons sold in vending machines are basic supplies and the basis of survival and should not be classified as garbage. However, most of the players who can reach the top of the mountain at this time are among the best. At least, there is no shortage of this basic material for the time being. After working hard to climb up the mountain, I found that the vending machine on the top of the mountain only had these things that I didn't lack. It seemed understandable that I would complain. Actually, there are still some good things in it, but I came first and packed them all away. Zhang Tuohai said silently in his heart. He didn't dare to say this in front of everyone. Easily beaten to death. Zhang Tuohai glanced at his watch. It was now past 12 noon. Less than 5 hours before 1700 hours. However, at this time, the smoke coming out of the cracks in the crater became thicker. The black smoke rose. The temperature gradually increased. And the smell of sulfur became more pungent. Giving people a sense of suffocation. Everyone on the top of the mountain felt that they couldn't bear it any longer and they all prepared to retreat into their cars to escape. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to return to the car, he saw a figure slowly walking up from the bottom of the mountain amid the smoke. The man was wearing a brown jacket and a certain yellow straw hat, and he was pulling a trolley suitcase. The small wheels made a crunching sound on the sandy ground. Did this guy come up? Was the car broken down? Or was he attacked? Zhang Tuohai guessed in his mind. This kind of player has two paths to choose from. Either get into another player's car and become a partner or subordinate, or just kill other players and steal the vehicle. There is no other path to take. Without a car, it is impossible to survive in this world. However, Zhang Tuohai had no idea of taking in an unknown person. Just as he was about to get in the car, he suddenly felt that the person in front of him looked inexplicably familiar, as if he had seen him somewhere. Zhang Tuohai's mind was spinning rapidly, recalling where he had seen this guy. A picture flashed through Zhang Tuohai's mind. I remembered. Zhang Tuohai remembered that on the second day after he came to this world, he saw the body of his ex-girlfriend. At the fork in the road, he seemed to see a man walking away with a trolley suitcase. That person seemed to be wearing the same clothes. At that time, my attention was on the body of my ex-girlfriend, and I didn't pay attention to that person. Judging from the clothing, that person seems to be exactly the same as this person. Zhang Tuohai wanted to see the person's face clearly, but the smoke coming out of the crater became thicker and thicker making it impossible for him to see the other person's face clearly. Did this guy change his car midway and then it was scrapped? Or did he just keep walking on his legs? Zhang Tuohai erased the idea as soon as he came up with it. It took him more than six days to drive from the foot of the mountain to the top. However, if we take a shortcut and climb up the cliff, it is possible to achieve it in theoretical time. But Zhang Tuohai thought about the creatures he met on the way. Even he spent a lot of effort and even used large caliber artillery and anti-tank missiles. Those things were simply not something that a hiker could deal with. There's something wrong with this guy. Zhang Tuohai stared at this guy. After the man came to the top of the mountain, he looked around, found a corner, and sat down. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, but he didn't dare to go there. The first is that he is not interested in other people. The second is, what if this guy really killed himself? This combat power is a bit scary when you think about it. If you don't like yourself, Zhang Tuohai did not dare to approach such a terrifying guy at will. Zhang Tuohai returned to his car and asked classmate Xiao Ai to investigate the surrounding situation. After the hiker reached the top of the mountain, he sat there motionless, not knowing what he was thinking. At this moment, there were bursts of sounds in the sky not far away. Zhang Tuohai looked into the distance and saw huge airships flying over from a distance. The huge helium balloons were painted with sharp paint, and the four propellers rotated rapidly. The airship slowly landed on the top of the mountain. All players who reached the top of the mountain, please board the airship. The game system popped up a prompt. Getting on the airship? What are you doing? Leaving the top of the mountain. Or are you planning to do some other trick? Zhang Tuohai was confused. However, he did not dare to refuse this request. According to his experience, whatever the game system requires, you should work hard to complete it and don't try to take advantage of it. Otherwise, most of them will die ugly. At this time, the man with a trolley suitcase who had been sitting in the corner and who seemed to have hiked to the top of the mountain also stood up, pulled his trolley suitcase and walked into the pod of an airship. Other players also drove towards the airship closest to them. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while 
and drove the car into an airship pod that was relatively close to him. Chapter 525 Bounty Mission Hunting Down John Tuohai The inside of the airship's pod is simple and clean, with nothing but a huge space. There isn't even a wheel lock or anything like it should be. The facilities are rudimentary. What should I do if the car slides during the flight? Who is responsible for the scratch? Is there any insurance claim? John Tuohai muttered softly. Of course. He only dared to whisper in a low voice. That's all. John Tuohai found a remote location to huddle up. Next to him. There was a window through which he could observe the situation outside. Time continued to pass. And players continued to climb to the top of the mountain and enter each airship. Zhang Tuohai also had more than 10 cars packed into it. Many players with social angst couldn't wait to get out of the car and get together to smoke and express their dissatisfaction with the world. By 16.30 in the afternoon, only 223 people had successfully reached the top of the mountain. By this time, the regional channel had exploded. Players who have reached the top of the mountain are showing off everything they have seen on the top of the mountain. While those who have not reached the top of the mountain are cursing and stepping on the accelerator desperately trying to make themselves faster, faster, and strive to reach 17, arrive at the top of the mountain before midnight. Some players, who were sure that they could not reach the top of the mountain laid down completely and began to exchange their hard-earned materials for wine and meat, preparing to have one last pleasure before dying. Seeing the appearance of everyone in the regional channel, Zhang Tuohai couldn't say much. What they chose was their own business, and what he could do was to help these people who had given up and give them final care. The time finally came to 1700 hours in the afternoon. Ten airships took off and flew into the distance. Several players, who had just rushed to the top of the mountain cursed at the retreating airship. Hey! There are a few of us! Wait! Wait for us! However, the airship seemed not to hear it and flew away into the distance. Maid, you didn't wait for me. So let's finish it together. A player angrily jumped on the car and controlled the 75mm cannon on the car to aim at the airship. The players on the airship were immediately frightened when they saw this look. The fragility of airships is well known. Not to mention the 75-meter cannon. Even the anti-aircraft machine gun may bring down the airship. You bastards. You are late. So you want to drag others into the water with you? If you dare to take action. I will kill you. I am a member of the White Bear Association. Do you know who our president is? Do you dare to take action? Several players on the airship were cursing and threatening loudly. They wanted to fight back and kill this guy first. However, their cars were locked in the airship cabin, and the airship was at a high position. The artillery and machine guns on their cars did not have negative angle shooting functions, so they could not effectively fight back. When Zhang Tuohai saw this, he put his hand on the buttons to start the Hellfire rockets and rotors. If something goes wrong, he will blow up a hole and fly out to run away. Humph. I'm going to die. Why are I afraid of threats from you idiots? Let's all stay and be buried with him. The player sneered and pointed the 75 cannon at the airship and was about to pull the gun breech. At this moment, the ground shook violently, causing the player to lose his accuracy. What's going on? There's an earthquake? The player helped the cannon and almost fell down. Boom! A violent sound came out of the ground and then large pieces of gravel and soil flew into the sky and red lava and black smoke pillars shot straight into the sky. The volcano that had been silent for a long time finally erupted. Several players standing on the top of the mountain were affected first. And several players near the crater were directly vaporized by the hot lava. The remaining ones were not much better. They were suffocated by the thick volcanic ash. And even had their internal organs cooked directly by the hot volcanic ash. Several players saw the bad opportunity and immediately put on dust masks and protective clothing. However, their fate was even worse. It was directly wrapped in thick volcanic ash, and it was as suffocated as a beggar chicken. The scale of the volcanic eruption became larger and larger. The top of the mountain began to collapse. Huge rocks continued to roll down the mountain. Hot lava flowed down the mountain. A large number of trees were ignited, and the flames quickly spread down the mountain. And the entire spiral of the mountain range is like a huge burning torch. Death notices streaked across regional channels. The airship still maintained its original speed, and continued to drive further and further into the distance. Eventually, the erupting spiral mountain became smaller and smaller, and finally disappeared into the night sky like a candle. If it weren't for the cross-death obituary, no one would even know that there are players dying in the darkness in the distance. However, this will have nothing to do with them. Congratulations to all players for boarding the airship on time.
The airship is about to fly to the next world. The estimated arrival time is 8 o'clock tomorrow. Please make arrangements. The game system popped up a prompt. Want to spend the night on the airship? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. He looked at the dozen or so cars parked around him and informed his classmates. Shall I? To secretly increase their vigilance. Perhaps because he has lived in this world for too long. He has become instinctively wary of strangers around him. Always afraid that others will plot to harm themselves. The airship fell into silence. The huge airship kept flying forward in the dark night. It wasn't until around 7 o'clock the next morning that a light door appeared in front of the airship. Airships filed in one after another. And after passing through the light, the game prompt suddenly popped up. Welcome all players to the New World Biochemical Frenzy. Players will spend seven wonderful days in this world. Warm reminder, there are a lot of viruses in the air. Please look for special medicines as much as possible. This will be the guarantee of your survival. On the seventh day, you will face disaster. Didi, the task is being modified. Released a special bounty mission. Kill Zhang to a high. Task description. Completely kill player Zhang to a high. Reward. Players who complete the task will get a chance to make a wish to the manager. Note. Managers can realize any wish. Including allowing players to become auxiliary managers in the game. In order to facilitate pursuit. A flashing mark has been added to the bounty target. Players with flashing marks will flash a red light once every hour for one minute. The staff in this area has been replenished. The current number is 5,000 slash 5,000. I wish all players a happy life in this world. Happy you are selling your skin! Zhang Tuohai slapped the podium fiercely. What kind of bullshit bounty mission is this? The mission goal is actually to hunt him down? There is also his profile picture next to the target. Which is absolutely unmistakable. Some shit must be targeting me! Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes and thought of the guy named Moriarty. Apart from him. I didn't make enemies with anyone else. The last time he forcibly downgraded his car. He was stopped by someone. This time. He was determined to use this destructive trick and directly use the hands of other players to eradicate him. You want me to deal with 4,999 people? You really think highly of me? John Tuohai's face became extremely ugly. The regional channel became lively. Chasing a player? What kind of mission is this? Who is this guy? He can actually make the system issue a mission to kill him. He must be very powerful. Right. It doesn't matter if he is great or not. I have to make this wish anyway. And I want to get out of this damn game. Our white bear group has taken over this mission. No one can compete with us. I really don't know which lucky person will meet this guy. No one in the channel is optimistic about Zhang Tuohai. After all, the number ratio is 1 to 49.99. No matter how good you are at fighting alone. Can you still defeat the strength of a division? Damn it. Boss, we seem to have won the lottery. A player from the white bear group shouted to him. What prize did you win? The boss in a bearskin coat asked dissatisfiedly. Boss, look back. The player said. Everyone turned around and looked towards the corner of the airship. An armored vehicle full of modern industrial beauty was flashing red light.